way to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your Legend Keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the role play relay even happening. We see the star spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this. We came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you proposed to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. <laughs> and I don't like those big deals <laughs> that sneak up on you. You guys think you can just break in here to this floor and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do it then, bruv. I'll fucking dance you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could ride on your back. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> so stupid. This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes, so how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, a 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties, but you can just call me Twerk, and I am one of the players playing the eldritch knight fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing D&D, I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet stay cheeky folks Mwah. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild.
You're watching the Roleplay Relay, which means you know this is Felrosia. But this is Felrosia on LegendKeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those. And the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without LegendKeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? LegendKeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your legend keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your legend keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the roleplay relay even happening. We see the star-spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this. We came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you propose to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. (laughs) And I don't like those big deals (laughs) that sneak up on you. You guys think you just break in here into this fort and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> do it then, bruv. I fucking dare you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could ride on your back. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. It's so stupid. This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes, so how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties, but you can just call me Twerk, and I am one of the players playing the Eldritch Knight Fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing d and I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War of Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet stay cheeky folks hey guys 
What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching the Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild.
Dragons. Guys, we Dragons. are back. Um, we had a little bit of a... Uh, you know, like I took some inspiration the other day when I said, when Garrick said he gets the shits from tea, and well, you know, I had some tea, and well, you know. Yeah. This he just kept wiping and wiping we and wiping. We definitely weren't just yeah. really talking to Day Crew and getting really excited. Guys, here's the thing. Roleplay Relay is sponsored by Torque's bowel movements. <laughs> and kidney stones. <laughs> and kidney stones. Hey, we have a treat for you today. Uh, his kidney stones are not here on the table with him. Um, sure, they're my, it's in my suitcase. <laughs> we are a respectable, Shut professional, up. actual play. Uh, and we were getting some comments in chat, apparently, uh, on how great our music is. Shout out to our amazing stage manager, Jack. Woo! Um, he Love is you. not just a stage Man, manager. I got a, he's got a voice, uh, too. He's got talent. Oh, oh my he's, God. He's a super he's talented actor, singer. Uh, every time he sings uh, Santa Fe from Newsies, I fucking cry. You want to swap uh, this? It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Have you, you seen you, all how handsome he is? You want to play grunge and Gary? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> amazing. Also, for those who don't know, Jack is also like staying up the full twelve hours with us. Yeah, like, yeah. This isn't just he is a, part of the squad. He yeah. is. He is, the, night he, squad. he is the night crew. With yeah, us. our, our yeah. SM is up twelve hours. Last with night us. when yeah. we had our big group hug after, we definitely Jack was part of that. Yes. We were just yeah. All, it's yes. the six of us. We are the night yeah, crew. Yeah. The music yeah. was like. Dude, it was oh, so good. Oh, we couldn't hear it, and we got to actually watch our scene afterwards. And uh, it was so good. Uh, yeah, the yeah, music right, right afterwards. Jack, 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 Jack come, 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 come see how he's doing. Come see how he's doing. He's super yeah. handsome. Yeah. He's, he's so hot. He's, he's so hot. So he's so lovely. Come see him on that button. There he is. And goodbye. We love him. Everyone, uh, tell tell, he, tell him he's hot in chat because he's reading your chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hashtag constantly reading chat. So hashtag Jack. Uh, hashtag Hot Jack. Hot Jack. Hot Jack. Jack is off. <laughs> Jack is off. Jack is off. That's, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's 7:25. Friends, remember uh, once again. Uh, it's, if people forget to realize this, I think, when they sit down and watch folks on the internet. We've been doing this 12 hours a day for three days, so... I passed uh, a kidney stone yesterday. This is day four, right? Yeah. Four, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was like, three days for them, four days. This is four days for I was posting on Instagram, and I was like, is it yeah. What day is it? I just checked, I've, you can't breathe water. Yeah, I've been, not, I, I've been hey, off this. I have not been on social media <laughs> very much. Um, but yeah, so where we left off, our party okay. went down to uh, a, an ancient vault that has not been uh, not been opened in the castle of Ula for well many 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 decades before the time of the current king of Ula, who is in uh, spry for his early sixties uh, as a human man. Uh, they unlocked it with a key that he kept on him under his armor at all time in case of emergencies. Uh, a beautiful gold crusted um, stone key, uh, iron key actually. Opened it up, found a hoard of gold, and sitting in it like an egg on a cup, a dragon egg. Um, we found a few magic items that they might find out what they do later if they so choose to identify it. Took a little bit of gold from um, the hoard, and then, well, through the power of friendship, through the power of love, and through the power of Garrick's hot, hot fire, they helped the dragon hatch into a beautiful, young, gold dragon wormling. Just clip that, and that's the recap. There you go, you just did the recap. Yeah, you just did the recap. Yeah. Just clip that. Yeah, yeah we can, if I do another <laughs> recap uh, later, yeah, we can just do that. Yeah, that yeah. was, re what, what number? That was a good recap. You yeah. just edit it, pack it on. I was, I, was like, I was like, you don't have to do that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a good recap. That was a good recap. Yeah. I, just, I just felt it, I was locked in. Yeah. Because I feel like a whole new man. Not a um, <laughs> Listen, I would, I'd ride on a carpet with you. you know? Yeah. I'm always down to get down dirty with some carpet. Okay. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Rob and I have this joke, and uh, it's called laying down a rug. Every time we lay down a rug, it's a party for everybody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No. Well, watch his face next time I say something. Like what does that mean? We're here to play, okay, guys. We're D and D. All right, let's, let's play D and D. Um, like, like I said, we're tired. Let's play some D and D. We had to wait super long because uh, twerk was, uh, you know, exploding it. Pooping. Pooping. Um, so, uh, while you're in this space, <laughs> and so begins the descent into madness. What are you guys doing? For the serious group. Um, well, we should probably get back on the battlefield, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how is the battle going? You don't know. 
Yeah, let's let's start you moving. You wanna go outside and find out? Let's start moving out of the space. All right, so they're gonna go outside and they're gonna right. find out. Aurelia, A-U-R-E-L-I-A. Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, we named the dragon, her name is Aurelia. Yeah. Meaning the golden one. Cause she's a gold dragon. All right, can somebody do a mini? Uh, sorry, do me a favor and grab uh, no, I'll just move all these here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, this is not the right mini, so we're not going to do that. Oh, really? It's a good one. Uh, no, 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 it is the right mini. This is a young mm. dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got a worm. You got a baby. We got a baby. Um, I'll get it in a second. Uh, so you guys uh, run outside and head to see the battlefield. <coughs> um, all right. As you, as you run out, um, and see uh, across, and I guess you can go up on the towers to look down at what's mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. uh, you do see the battle still rages, knolls galore, um, but it looks like there's a few skirmish areas still happening. You do see the king and Clarence, um, and you see what seems to be a large sort of, um, just give me a second here. Pile of treasure? What? Large pile what? of what? poopies uh, happening over there. No, you do see a large. I don't know what your character should throw. What do you have uh, HP wise and spell slots? Uh, I don't care about your spell slots, HP wise. 69? Yep. Uh, I have 37, because we haven't leveled up, so I'm 37 health right now. Oh, oh how many have that? Yeah, okay. So you see, most of the battle is raging on. I only yeah. have 23, yeah. but I, I think I went down, right? So yeah. Sometimes we need, I need a moment to process information because uh, we got a lot going on. We're totally good here. Uh, let's say, yeah, no, you see the battle is still raging outside. It looks like it's winding down. The humans are doing well. You see uh, uh, the, the king of Ula, Harry Nubbins, back-to-back uh, -back with Clarence. Um, you see there's a moment where um, Clarence looks over, smiling uh, like the Pedro Pascal meme. <laughs> from uh, the Nicolas yeah. Cage movie, oh, so good, and like this, and you see like an arrow going right towards his head, and um, the king, you see like the king in slow motion kind of looks over, and just whips his sword around, and just kind of like, and then grabs him and slaps him to the floor, slays another person, and then kind of goes like this, because he's old and it's looking badly. Um, but after a while, uh, do you guys go down and try to help with the battle? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so what we're going to do here, this is going to be a skill challenge. You're joining Warfare. We're not putting a bunch of minis on the battlefield. Right. Um, I need you guys to first roll athletics to get there as fast as possible, and uh, while not tripping over bodies, uh, uh, over we like have swords. Four Advantages to use as needed, right? I used one. Okay, so. Mm. I, I, use, I haven't two. used the one from earlier. Yeah, I, I. Well, I used. Wait. We all had one, and the yeah, I haven't used yeah. that one yet. Is that yeah. the one you used? I, I used. Yeah, I used one at the beginning that I was given think beforehand. We only have one left. And then I used one of the four that was given to and the I party as needed. So I think we have one left. Okay. okay. I'm not using it. Um, I'm. Taking a healing potion as well. But yeah, go for it. So bad at yeah, you use cool. it. And this is happening like as you move along, right? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, running downfield. As merely roll, roll, roll along to the battlefield. Oh okay, I. Ten. Every. Ten athletics? Seven. Stunning. Seven. I'm. I have a dice break. Fuck off. Nine. Uh, Nine. Eleven. So, what you're gonna do for me. Here's what we're gonna do. You guys are going to switch over to your level 11 character sheets, but you're going to put your current HP to what it is now. Okay. Uh, any um, spent hit dice are going to be still spent. That's what happens, guys, when we level every 12 hours. Uh, shit gets intense, right? Um, so we're level 11? Yeah, you're level 11. Cool, cool. Um, but not long rest. Not long but rest. But not long rest. I yeah, will say, though, I will say, though, uh, your spell slots are what they were before. If you have new spell slots, those. Yes. Okay. And your spells prepared are now the ones that are prepared for today. Yep. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, as you feel a burning rose gold fire in your stomach, oh. I'm going to roll athletics for Aurelia. Mm. What'd you get? 
Uh, seven. Eleven. Nine. Oh, God. Nine? Okay. So you bad. all start running, what running, running. Aurelia's really running behind you, running behind you. There's a moment where you trip over a body. You trip over uh, what seems to be a severed head. Uh, you trip over what seems to be a spear in the ground, but like planted really mm -hmm. like intensely in it. And what'd you get? Nine. I'm Nine? trying to wrangle my, my dudes. Yeah, yeah, I'm you're like, you're like you're running, like they're having a hard time, you're getting them back up, and you just see uh, that continues running on a 19, your baby dragon is running ahead into the battlefield, starts soaring up, and starts flying. <gasps> no, 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 Yeah, yeah. Flying away. We good? Sweet. Um, flying into the battlefield. You see like... Uh, come back, start, come back, start, come back. Spears start flying over under your dragon as it's happening. You see a lot of the people in the battlefield start up and look up, <gasps> stunned. There's a moment where like a lot of the battle kind of stops and looks up at this baby dragon. We need a leash. Uh, <laughs> you see the king of Ula looks up and says, My kinsmen! Our ancestry! The gold in our vaults that was not for us shows that we are allied as men. We are allied with everyone. We will fight and win this battle today and win every other battle afterwards. We will push these forces back. And then everybody roars across and you hear like a uh, uh, as like across the battlefield, uh, another group uh, of like just running soldiers arrive from another skirmish that happened after they completely defeated. There were multiple skirmishes going on mm -hmm. everywhere mm -hmm. in the city, right? This is just the one in front of the castle. Mm -hmm. And they join in and there's a moment where you see a large ogre kind of go by, just slam through a few of them and your baby dragon just flies down and just jumps on it and just <laughs> and burns fire right behind its head. You feel the ogre grab your baby dragon, slam it down. <gasps> Uh, at this moment, you're getting back up and you're moving towards this. You're not just uh, sitting there yeah, stunned, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, your baby dragon's gonna take uh, six points of bludgeoning damage Do as it have gets a back up. Block for it or anything? It's right here. Yeah. If, okay. Well, yeah. We, we, as, we don't know. No. As we're moving in, I'm casting enlarge on myself to okay. get big because yeah. I'm going for that ogre. Yeah. No worries. Uh, roll me athletics check. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do this uh, skill style. This is more for uh, flavor guidance. and fashion. Guidance. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I have advantage because it's strength based and I'm enlarged. Guidance, uh, guidance which is great because yeah. I have a natural 20 plus four on the guidance plus uh, eight on the athletics. So that's a 32 oh. athletics check. Four, 32? 32 athletics For the purpose check. of this, uh, I'm gonna say uh, in, this, in the way that you're enlarged normally it doesn't do much for your speed. You are exhibiting extreme dad energy, and you are not running, you are fucking leaping. Yeah, I feel like I'm just yeah, like yeah. bulldozing, just like yeah, yeah. I'm knocking the baddies out of the way. Yeah, 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 like yeah. I'm trying to like, I'm um, making the beeline for her. You make the beeline and double dash. This would be about 120 sure. feet where this creature would be. Uh, knocking uh, gnolls out of the way as you go, like they're fucking uh, I am tapping tens. that ogre. Uh, because you can't use an action or That's anything with this. In terms of it's not really combat, yeah. friends. We're just, we're just having fun times with yeah. make-believe here. Uh, you just go head forward, knock it down, mm -hmm. um, and it looks up at you, and you feel something perch on your back as you feel a face go next to you. Yeah. Breathe fire down onto the ogre's face That's as it so melts bad. its face off. You see a bunch of gnolls, 12 of them around you at this moment. I need you to roll a, a strength based intimidation check. And I'm gonna roll an intimidation check for your baby dragon. I've only had Aurelia for five minutes, but if anything happened to her, I would kill everyone else. In the I rolled a natural 18 for her, plus three, that's a 21. What did you get? I rolled a natural 18 plus four for strength, so that's 22. So not only is your strength kind of looking like this is intimidating, but you're locked in on top of this ogre while she starts bouncing on your back. She's probably, uh, as a newborn child, I'd say about five, six hundred pounds. I yeah. love her so much already. Yeah, yeah. No, she is She is medium teetering on. Yeah. I would say she's about a medium. She'll grow as she goes. But she's a medium creature, but she's quite long and lithe. And, and the musculature is very, like, dense. Right. She's pouncing on your back, and you yeah. feel the claw on your back. And she takes flight again, and the gnolls just flee over here. There's a moment where all the gnolls start just turning around and running away uh, as the battle is seemingly over. The crowd just roars. What do you guys do? Uh, you. 
You sneeze. <laughs> um, um, I think um, Valara is going to use her her. Um, she's going to use her house bark. Okay. Her dragon. Her dragon form. Uh huh. All right. And um, I don't think I have used this, yeah. but um, Goblin has. Okay. And the way that she described it was that, like coming from hell, it, it starts at her feet in this purplish, pinkish energy that's kind of cosmic that kind of travels up, and it kind of covers her in stars, and then two large stars that look like dragon horns. Ooh. Come up from her. I love that. We haven't seen um, this before, and so what yeah. she's using this for is defense. She is helping anyone mm -hmm. that is here and trying to make sure that that the defense is really strong so less lives are lost. You begin floating off the ground as yep. you can she do that floats. now. And, and she starts flying across the battlefield. And she kind of wants to like, I don't know, move in tandem with Aurelia. That's yeah, I uh, Aurelia, there's a moment where Aurelia like jumps up and you manage to like kind of turn on your back and she jumps down and licks your face. And you see like there's just a little flash of magic. I need you to make it a, an arcana check. Um, would you be going into the battlefield at all yet? Uh, your zombies are back up. You can start moving. Uh, I was gonna say like my zombies are probably. I'm commanding to like help people How many up. Hop right now. Six. Uh, gosh. I want to do four, five, six zombies and then three skellies. You think Chris picked a really chill, easy class to play ball with? Yeah. Fucking incredible, yeah. dude. Six, right? Sorry. Six zombies and three skellies. So nine total. You have six and nine. six to nine. Yeah, you're all army. Yeah. Wow. It's That's happening. Amazing. Yeah, I'm getting to like help people up yeah. and just like yeah. crowd manage. Yeah, absolutely. I will say, side note, like if you're gonna play a necromancer through and through, especially if you multi-class a little bit, having to wait three days, work hard for three days, to start getting the army as opposed to, you know, the eight months it would take in a regular campaign, bother. Yeah, yeah, your zombies start helping people up. Uh, people are, are like this at first, but then they notice like how you sort of oh wait, no, a lot of these are what, gnolls and werewolves and stuff? Uh, yeah, 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 a couple of them are, uh, there's one goblin, with, yeah. like, caked in armor. <laughs> yeah, there's a moment where they're kind of scared and they're kind of going like this, and, uh, Clarence walks over, and he's like, Nah, man, zombie's cool! Yeah. I would, I would even say, uh, Mysterious Valentina was, like, leading the fray. Yeah. <laughs> Valentino's just letting soldiers grab on to the his dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asseldexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asseldexy is still there, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Haley Killiams. Haley Killiams. Haley Killiams. Yeah. Haley Killiams. Okay, you know, so, I'm sorry. Everyone is helping people up except yeah. Haley, Haley Killiams. Killiams. She has one command, and it's kill. kill. Yeah. 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 So nah, dude, that moment. Oh, so good. That moment yeah. was so good. She's like a uh, uh, Terminator, like when they have like everything yeah. melted out. She's just like. <laughs> that might be one of my favorite moments I, from the campaign oh, so far. Absolutely. The absolutely. fact that after yeah. such an emotional... We don't have a talk show chat, so we're going to do it as we yeah. go. Um, the fact that after such an emotional moment yeah. that we had, that it was like sorrow and, and like loss for a second, we came back up, and you were like a glimmer of hope and focus. Yeah. Was, Epic. Also like anger. Yeah, anger. Yeah. And like yeah. and like anger. there's a monologue um uh from oh my god, what's the play? Uh mm, <laughs> you, theater kid. Yeah, <laughs> no Dig D. Um I'll, I'll I'll get I'll get back to it. Um uh I forget the but he was married to Marilyn Monroe, someone you know is what are Not JFK. Nope. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'll, I'll come back to this moment because I really want to say what it is. He talks about something being a monument, like something, a moment, uh, or it was somebody, a soldier talking about his sock uh, in, in the play, and he was like, that moment was a monument in his mind, a simple moment, and that was a monument for this campaign to be yeah. like, we have tarnished the look of something that se uh, of a creature that seems so unattainable, a figure of status, and now this figure of status is just a weapon for you. No, a have, meaningless weapon. But I hope that like in right? the battles to come, yeah. like people recognize like yeah. it's kind of an intimidation yeah. factor. No, it, it absolutely yeah, is. The goblin commander that was like yeah. a big shot. Look what happened to her. It's heads yeah. on a pike. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. heads on a pike and it's freaking metal. Yeah, and she looks like fucking yeah, like Terminator like T one thousand or whatever. Okay. So um you help people up. Uh, uh you start flying around with the dragon. Um 18 on that Arcana check. 18 on that Arcana check. There was a little flicker of 
magic that was described in the way and color of the, the, that uh, Grunge was talking about when he saw the runes of, like mm -hmm. the, the, the time runes, mm -hmm. kind of flickered on the dragon. You're not sure why or what it does. Yeah. It's very complicated magic, but you did see a, a sort of flicker of that. Um, on Ooh. that note, uh, as you, as Clarence walks over and is like, no, 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 they're cool, they're cool. And he's like kind of waving his sword around and like, you see like, uh, you're like, oh, Clarence, and, uh, like, no, they're cool, they're cool, they're cool. The and, then, and then he sees the baby dragon and he looks at the scimitar, he's like, shit. And he like sheaves it. And he's like. And he looks at you, he's like, I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> is, is it like, is the dragon gonna be scared of it? Is it gonna know? That I'm Clarence the Dragon Slayer? Is it not gonna like me? Clarence, you're asking me. I don't use souls. I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't want like my first impression with a dragon to be like, oh, you're 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 a bad guy. Just punch you know? people like this guy. Just be like him? Yeah, just punch people. Oh, just punch people. Okay. Yeah. I don't need a sword. I'm just gonna punch people. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Garrett, I'm gonna be just like you, man. Is Garrick close about that? Garrick's just like deep in the battle. No, no, he's gonna look over it. We're pointing at you like as your giant. How many more like Garrick? Yeah. Yeah. He's like the coolest guy. Am I doing it right? Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> I don't think it sounds like that. Uh, don't do that for too like long, that. that's gonna kill your voice. I'm trying my best to like just put it forward. Okay, um. Talk like this. Yeah. Hi, right. I'm Clarence the Dragon Slayer. Where the fuck put the drugs? Yeah. Where are the cookies? <laughs> sort of me. I'm not wearing hockey pads. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Fenora, you're going around. What are you doing? Are you dead? Um, I have a question. Yo. I don't... So, Greater Restoration is a fifth level spell, right? Yeah. I have a sixth level spell slot open. Maybe yeah, you can use Greater Restoration as a sixth level spell. Okay. Well, okay, it doesn't say that, but... Um, I am going to be, like, beside Garrick and notice, like, how tired he's looking, and I'm going to cast Greater Restoration to give him, like, uh, a big boost, and you, uh, like, regain, or you lose a point of exhaustion, like, in terms of, Sweet. you get one back, so now you only have one. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You feel invigorated. Yeah. Refreshed, right? Like like you would feel after a spa day. You're so tired. Yeah. And sore. You know, because well, I the feel a little beats that you the hell up. But you feel a little bit of that relief. Yeah, yeah. yeah as much as, you know, what pampering can do. Yeah, I think he's just, you know, eyes on Aurelia and eyes nearby to make sure nothing yeah. is getting close to him. No. Or no, no, no. her. Aurelia, Aurelia, is, Aurelia is. How's um, the king doing? He's looking rough. He's looking tired. Uh, he took some hits. You know, yeah. it's like a lot of what you healed went down. But he's, uh, it, you know, it, it looking well. There's a moment uh, that you saw rushing on the side of yourself that um, uh, you saw like a knoll kind of creep up, and it looks like he was gonna really get a killing blow on the king. And uh, you saw Clarence kind of like go to scratch his nose and just go like this and slice the knoll's hand off. Um, and then kind of look over. You're gonna go like this. This fucking guy. This. I don't even know you, man. But... Yeah. You're cool, man. Cool. Your zombies are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, man. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, badass. Guys, guys, let the zombies help you. Look at this one. Hung like a horse. A horse. Whose horse is that? Um, and, and so you're really zombies. Naked, yeah. What? It's completely naked too. Yeah, it's naked. Serious Valentina. Yeah, it's an intimidation check. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. um, Alara is going to be focusing a lot on the king and making sure that mm -hmm. he is yeah. protected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, As everything's fleeing, I think that's the move is to make sure the king yeah. is okay. People are fleeing. Uh, he gets up, but he's limping heavily. Yeah. Um, Ooh, can I cast healing word? Yeah, healing word. He feels a bit better, but it's like this is going to be a bit of a lingering yeah. kind of injury. He's old. Some things just don't heal as well, yeah. you know, over time. Um, yeah. yeah, no, exactly. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to say for the purpose of time, the battlefield, the Titans, people, you know, they gather the bodies, that moment passes, and we pass through the day where a great feast is organized. 
um, there were there was food here. There was there was food here. You know, these gnolls ate, they hunted. Um, the same kind of game that was around here, uh, and. Uh, they gather in the center of the, the city of Ula. Now, a lot of it is in ruins, and they will begin reconstructing the city, right? But, you know, all you need is space and some good pals, some food. Um, Whenever there's a feast, yep. there's food. There's food. Yep. Also food for music. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, do see, you do see at this feast, um, there is like, there's one, one of the soldiers that kind of busts out his loot. Um, and his loot is sort of shaped we like... We never got to see... <laughs> the bugs. The bugs. No. Uh, no, I'm going to say over the night the bugs did perform. They oh, performed a few okay. songs. You know, they were there. They were there. They performed. Like, that was later on in the night. Oh, Essentially, okay. it was like... I, I moved it to a point where it's like... it's. You know when you're in a social situation and you all are like... It's physically impossible to get there at this moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And you... You know, it, it's like a sign of disrespect to like go at a table at that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and they look very intense and... When that moment clicked, where you saw the thing, that's when you all—that's literally—that's yeah, when, when you guys. Yeah. I was just describing what yeah. was happening. Yeah. You know, and you were trying to be subtle because it was there was goblins around. There was yeah. there were those goblin like clad assassins. One of them that fought you. Which they were just around. They were just yeah. there, right? It's yeah. part of their, you know, part of their outfit. Almost like their their little um. Did you say Mi Seven? That's a Warcraft reference. Uh, their what's the what's the American? Uh, CIA. CIA. No, no, no. The other one. Well, uh, the Mi Six is UK. UK. Uh, the, the like the Secret Service. Oh. Secret Service. It was yeah. her Secret Service, right? Why not be Stormwind? Yeah. <laughs> Mi Six. That's the Secret <laughs> Service of Stormwind <laughs> City no, like, of Warcraft. He just for, the you, oh. for the Alliance, baby. It was like engineering. Um, I cheated between the two. It wasn't like espionage yeah, yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. I go both ways when it, it comes to Warcraft. Right. Good for you. Um, yeah. So the Warcraft just been fighting the comments. Um, yeah, so you um, you gather around, and there's a massive feast that happens. What do you all? Uh, they do find uh, the giant stashes and barrels of ale everywhere. Alara's not drinking; she is stuffing her face. However, yeah, I absolutely, think she's starving. Yeah, um, they take grain, and over the afternoon, they're they're a group of people who start baking crazy amounts of bread over fires. There are fire pits sort of everywhere so people can gather e over every single fire pit is, is things that are roasting. Um, you know, uh, it's lovely. It's not, s it's centralized, but there's enough space everywhere where you can find some solace among yourselves if you'd like. Um, but yeah, she'll what would bring, you guys like to do? She'll bring Faye a drumstick. This is so good. Um, just eating together. After Faye has eaten a little bit and, and feels a little more energetic, she's going to realize that there were a lot of casualties and a lot of people injured during this battle, and she'd like to go to the medic or, or wherever okay. uh, those injured people are and bring them food from the feast. Food from the feast? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You easily, uh, there is a huge space. There are a lot of like medics. They're mostly people trained, you know, Can herbs. I count this as a short rest right now? Oh, absolutely, take a short rest. Um, and, uh, you know, it's rough. There's some people who have like a severed arm. You see, you can see people with wraps over like their knees, because they lost a leg, um, lost eyes. Uh, you see people that are just kind of like this. There's an arrow sticking out of say their shoulder and trying to find a good way to like kind of cut in and around because the arrows are so they don't want to like rip more flesh on the way out mm -hmm. um but you do bring them food and you sort of see i just want to like raise yeah. their spirits yeah, yeah, and make them feel like yeah. included and, yeah. and thanked for what they did and where where's aurelia say so that's what i was going to say garrick is doing is he is with aurelia um, aurelia is at one of the spitfires and people are like 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 People are around it, mm -hmm. like a little away. They're just like they just don't want to get too close because they don't know what to expect. And Aurelia yeah. is like eating the meat off the Spitfire like it's her own stick. <laughs> she's going like, as she's eating it, it's kind of turning, turning, and turning until it like breaks down into the fire. And it's like the fire is on it and burning. And she puts her face into the fire uh, like it's nothing. Yeah, she's yep, she's a dragon. Yeah, she's a freaking dragon, right? Uh, she's fully immune to it, and she's just like eating the meat and like. You're a dragon. Really. Be a know, dragon. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think he's just like he's like patting her and everything, and he's like eating himself, um, and just saying like little things to her in draconic. Yeah. 
kind of. It's pretty much just like that. Yeah. Like it's just like it's You're nice, so cute. like little baby talk to her and Draconic as yeah. she's just doing her thing. Yeah, no worries. Uh, she, you were the first person she looked at when she got out of her egg. Her dad. She imprinted probably. Hey, Garrick, have you ever thought about being a dad? <laughs> Sounds like a lot of responsibility, right, guys? I looked more ten. It's obvious. Um, Garrick, when, when you when you when you say that to him, his face kind of drops a little bit. There, there was a time a long time ago, and I didn't think I'd be able to have that anymore. And it's just like a, a slight, small smile kind of comes back on his face as he, as he pats Aurelia as she, as she eats. I don't think before today I ever saw you smile. It's a good look for you, man. As you talk about being a dad, you look over and you see the young grunge, but behind him, all his zombies and skeletons and you just see this vision of I don't know whatever you feel about it but it's like just all these zombies there's a moment where you see a grudge you turn around you see two of your zombies sort of fighting over a rock hey, hey, boys, boys 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 <laughs> look at you you know um, nice. Wait, nice. there's yeah. a moment where mysterious fellow Peter goes and his dog is caught yeah. like like just like on something and it's just like he keeps moving because he doesn't understand there's, there's no <laughs> sentience there right this is him just following you as you walk um, and it's like stretching and stretching oh, God. Or do you do something oh. I'm not gonna personally touch it but I'm gonna get like Fester Skellington to like <laughs> pull it out or like reattach it I don't I know I just realized guys I've been doing it for a long this time <laughs> this is the first time I think the concept of actually touching dong has happened <laughs> well, yeah we we fade we, to black we did yeah we had to have fade to black we had to have fade, we, we've talked about fade to black we've had we've set our I just what's the word in English je bege I am yeah no I was saying I'm just stuttering right now because this is ridiculous yeah <laughs> normally it's like there are, there are hard lines and that was one of them and we just crossed that hard line um, but it's okay it's only for mysterious ones Okay. <laughs> He's Let's, the exception. Thank you again for exception. our Kickstarter supporter yeah. for this yeah. wonderful zombie. You just see, you know what? Watch this. You just see that uh, Chester Skellington goes over, grabs your as uh, a uh, mysterious Valentine by the shoulders, and just pulls him, and then just kind of wiggles him from the shoulders, and it unstucks. And there you go. See, take care of your brothers. Yeah. Oh my God. Um. I think Alara is going to uh, find somewhere where she can see the sky. Okay. And Further away from all like, the sort of yeah. fire pits that are blowing the smoke up. Yeah. yeah. She's just going to be there for yeah. a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, if I do uh, see Alara looking up to the sky, I'm also going to look up, and if I see the moon, how does the moon look right now? How does the moon look? The moon's full. I immediately... You realize you fought a bunch of lycanthropes. Yeah. Uh, the moon is full. I find Gare immediately. I need a wisdom saving throw. Actually, no, the moon is... I'm going to say the moon's not full full. Okay. It looks like it... Was it's just like that full. right stage right before. We know that he's aware of Right? You, yes, you turn sure. in combat and start okay. fighting. I don't okay. think I. Oh, yeah. I, I think we as a group forgot for about an hour. Yeah. Um, oh, I, didn't I was not. I didn't forget. forget. For Sick. Yeah, okay, that's why you said that. Okay. Garrick has never yeah. turned in combat, but he was bitten. Yeah. And it was visible and it's known. Okay. And your abilities were. Better, yeah. Right? Got, a, got a few few perks there. Um, yeah, I go find Garrick immediately, like if he's like by the fire or whatever the case. Uh, I got, I'm gonna read this. Uh, uh, occasionally, Jack will send me really funny things that Chad said to read, and this is amazing. <clears throat> For Rant Almore, Garrick, first among fighters, passer of stones, and father of dragons. Aww. <laughs> Rant, I adore Twisting you. Because you've been giving us buffs this entire time. Thank you, Rant. That is actually That's so brilliant. Nice. That's brilliant. Put it on a shirt. <laughs> I want to make a Death and Divine 
metal. Oh, yes. 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 yeah, I saw. Yeah, they practiced like toy dates on the back of all the. Well, like yeah. on actual drug, paper, I would grunge. squish it down a lot more so it has kind of like the 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 deeper ends with like it kind of going into the center with like the and in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have it in my head. I don't. I'm, I have a cricket, so I'm definitely definitely yeah. making. Do that. you draw? Uh, not well, but like enough, <laughs> enough that I can enough. make it. Enough. And if I spent like I when I I did a there's a chalkboard in the other room, so I did a little drawing of it. Mm-hmm. It looks bad, but because I was super oh, late at sick. night. It no, sick. it's so bad. Uh, but if I had it, if I had more time to like really like give myself ruler ruler lines mm-hmm. and everything, I think I could make a really cool one. I think also um, Chantel talked about making. Ooh. Oh yeah, so, really good. Yeah, either way, good. it's gonna be made. Yeah, it's gonna be made. The back yeah. definitely has to have like Ferrosia tour and then all. Yeah, yeah, Mag- like we can make it Mag- actual and then band the dates shirts of, like, and all the, of the the roleplay relay maybe, and then oh, just like all the that's amazing. Like, and all the, of the day that the days that, that we went, all yeah, those Felrosia. days, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Felrosia tour. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So yeah. Sick. Um, oh. all right. You see the brainstorming live, Jack. Hell yeah. Yeah, I go to find Garrick. Let us know if you would like that. You want to find Garrick? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, Garrick, you're still hanging out. Oh, no, you... Are you leaving, then? Are you leaving? You don't, at this moment, leading up to the sun going down and the moon going up, what would you be doing? Definitely staying with Aurelia, but I think, you know, he's kind of forgetting the true events of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just kind of like trying to, I guess, kind of be the dad that he didn't think he'd get to ever be. Mm. And then I think it's going to hit him as the sun goes down, the moon starts rising, what that could mean at this point. And so I don't know the layout of this castle. Um, you want to go inside the castle? Where's everyone? Is everyone? You guys are. You guys outside? are not in the castle. You guys are more like in the center of the village. Uh, you feel like there's something just thematic about we're having a feast with the entire community, all the soldiers yeah. that are here um, in this city. A block party. A block party. You're literally having a block party with like different campfires a little bit everywhere, different spitfires allowing people to do stuff. The king is just among people. He's not at a table separated from others. Um, and from what, you, from what you would have heard of, like, the King of Ula, this is not the man that existed 16 years ago. Yeah. This is a man, I don't know if humbled or extremely regretful. He's learned. That's up to you. Yeah. It's up to you which, you know, but it's somewhere in that spectrum. The last time you saw him, you saw a man filled to the brim with regret, ready to go die. Yeah. That hits. The fact that he hadn't taken his soldiers before being like, I don't want them to die. The fact that it started with him being like, I will go. Mm -hmm. And then his men followed. It's very, it's different. Yeah. Um, so the castle is kind of, I guess, empty still? Yeah, the, cap- cap- the castle's empty. It is open. It is like there is no lock. No one's there hanging out. You know, it, to them, it's like if something, if, if the castle gets attacked, they'd rather have everybody together. Yeah. Right? If, if something, if there's another way, if anything's going on, they'd rather all just be together. Um, I don't know if you discuss, if you talk to the king at all, but the castle's open. Okay. I will, so starting with Aurelia, I'll speak in Draconic to her to go find, or not go find, but like go stay with everyone else in the group. Yeah. Um, that way she's not like going after him. And I think Garrick will try to find a, go into the castle and find a spot. Okay. And... Take a poop. <laughs> Big shit. Yeah. Um, and transport mid... Mid squeeze. Mid squeeze. <laughs> um, I think he'll try to find like an area that's below ground okay. and maybe do like booming blade on the stone to kind of like cave things in a little bit. You're going to the room? 
I, I guess I just don't know this layout of this castle, but yeah, I want to go like, like under, I guess, you know, kind of like hold myself in a little bit, I guess. Do you want to go if, back down to that sort of yeah. close room? The, the door is open. You guys didn't close it nor lock it. Yeah. Um, go, go back to, down there? Yeah. Go back down there. To uh, lock it. On, to, those, on that space is those rooms are still there. Um, the horde gone melted into yeah. uh, the dragon egg, helping it revive itself. Um, what would you like to do in that space? Close the door. Um, are you trying to go subtly? Yes. Roll a stealth check. Are you trying to follow? Uh, can I roll investigation? Uh, you're roll perception. perception. To see to see if you see him leave uh, as he's rolling. But if I'm like check. intentionally going to like look for him though. Oh, so he, if he's already gone, you want to uh, look for him? Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna say this is gonna be intelligence based insight. Okay. This is using. Because I know you want to use logic, but this logic-based context clues to see how much you know about Garrick and his patterns and his intentions. Okay. Ignore the stealth check. Okay. I don't know what you rolled. I rolled eight. Good. Insight. I, insight. I, I, we're going to ignore it anyways. Okay. It's intelligence-based insight. Okay. And I need you to... Whatever is rolled on this, you can tell advantage. them what you think. You're, you're going to be the one... Isn't With insight it? checks, it's not my purview. Yeah. But you guys decide. If you're trying to deceive, that's different. But then I'll uh, have you guys do okay. the a contested check. Um, yeah, I'm catching in my advantage for this. Uh, and I'll just try. Uh, that was a 14. 14? I would say at this point, you know, Garrick is. He might not like always, always show it, but he cares about y'all and wants to protect y'all and probably does not know what's going to happen. So he's going to prepare for the worst and just try to find, I guess, a well-protected spot for him to go to for the night. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what you think. Do I find a level 14? Um, do you, so, based on that inside check, that's what Twerk is giving you. Would he assume you would be going towards the fortress? Uh, would you be careless about leaving context clues to where you were going? Um, I feel like he's not. I feel like he's probably being like a little. It's hard careless. for me to, to decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like you know, he's, this, he's being I don't careless because really like it's, it's a thing that's sneaking up on him as he's, yeah. as, he's, as he's as he's yeah. taking he's being taken out of a good moment for him. Yeah. I'll say and earlier on, would he have clocked you kind of looking up to the sky as it started getting dark? Probably, right. and the realization sinks in. It's like, shit, I don't know what's going to happen. I need to leave. Sick. And I'm going to say you would have been anticipating the moment for him to leave. Okay. Because the moment it happened, I was not, I had never stopped thinking about that. No, of course, that, that's yeah. why, this is yeah. why this is a yeah. little, guys, D&D &D is a game of communication, so yeah. you gotta yeah. make sure that everybody's on board with what's going on. Sweet. Yeah, so I, I don't think it would be too difficult for you to realize what's going on and where he's going. Sweet. So, yeah. so you start heading towards the castle, you clock him leave because you're keeping that in mind, and you follow him. You go inside the main gate, you start moving. Are you trying to be subtle about it? Um, to um, them, to like everyone else around us, yeah. Stop. Um, yes, are you leaving your zombies behind? Yeah, they can, uh, yeah. They can uh, hang out. You <laughs> Socialize. They can help me with the, the medical supplies. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, holding, just holding stuff yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah. 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 The you, commands, except for Haley, are yeah. just like help. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you ultimately get to command them, so let me know if that's, this is not what they're doing ever. But there are moments where they're just kind of like, eh, eh, and like rabbling amongst each other, like they enjoy being. And that is like a remnant of your own, the way that you are now perceiving your friends. It is, once again, yeah. your magic is bleeding through these zombies, right? I just like, Haley's like dormant. Yeah, okay. She's not, yeah, she's just sitting there. Bother. Um, she's like scabbing the building. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this happens. Um, stealth check? Aurelia, I'm assuming, uh, because they're kind of gone. Yep. Um, does she come out to me? Could she? 
Yeah, absolutely. She um, she wouldn't have followed you into the castle. And I, and I told her. It would have been like, very unsubtle. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, she's she's a bit in a puppy sort of stage. Mm -hmm. uh, less like I'm going around dancing around. She's a little bit tired, so she's just kind of curious, poking around. Mm -hmm. um, but she would probably stick around to the people that she first saw, what one by one. Um, and so yeah, she can easily come find you uh, while you you've removed yourself a little bit from the group. So. Laura's kind of sitting down at this point, yeah. like laying back, looking up, mm -hmm. and I think, I imagine that she would kind of come up in her vision, it would just be a dragon, <laughs> like... Yeah, oh. yeah, you just see the, you just see the little <laughs> face, the little whiskies, just. and it's just like closed mouth. Um, um, no, it's going to be like, you know the little blip, when it's like, when cats have their mouth just slightly open? Yeah. And it's just like a little blip. Uh, what do you do? She wants to, uh, since she knows she, uh, she understands her, yeah. um, she'll uh, sit up mm -hmm. and like kind of motion for her to join her. She kind of sits down. Um, and she will take out her star map mm -hmm. and she's going to unroll it because it's kind of big mm -hmm. and she's going to mind meld with her and she's going to tell her the entire story of the Kalashtar and her people and herself. Wow. As you begin to do so. Because she understands she, like the weight of this being. She, yeah, she understands, especially because you're like the psychic way, she can see the imagery as well. Yeah. It's really helping you look a good picture book, right? Um, kind of like telling a kid a story. I think yeah. she's a little... She's not as she tr she's not trying to scare her, and so I think that she it's kind of more talking about an epic tale, mm -hmm. more than giving her like the gory yeah, details yeah, yeah. of it. I think it's more of trying to give her context, okay. and kind of you know teaching her mm -hmm. and telling her kind of what come came before her. Yeah. So I think that's yeah. I get you. Um, as you do this, the sitting turns into lying down, tempted, turns into her dragon neck just lying right over your. It's like a, you're probably sitting down, like yeah. crisscross uh, applesauce, and she puts her head on your applesauce. Aww. It just falls asleep. Yeah. Uh, her wings just kind of like flutter back, uh, and they, they kind of sort of bent to the tail. She's just just giving her scratches. Lots of scratches. Uh, giving her scratches. She's warm, and you feel the like just power in her breath as she sleeps this mystical, mystical baby. Um, all right. What are you doing during this? Are you? I'm still, yeah. I've like taken full command of the medical tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I've yeah. just taken over and I'm telling people what to do. As long as have scrubs on. Yes. <laughs> you. Um, I asked, how many are there now? Uh, nine, but nine. well, eight, because Haley's just by herself. So. I'm going to ask. Or you could have asked, doesn't matter, uh, four of them to pick up an instrument and start performing to like raise the spirits <laughs> of the patients. Uh, roll a performance check. Give me just choose one of your zombies, like it's whatever gonna the be stat like, block is, and do that. It's gonna be like it's charisma, right? Yeah. Emo music. Uh, who do you? Which yeah, one do you pick? Three. Which one do you pick? Which zombie? Uh, which zombie is, is heading this? Which zombie? Gerard is Decay for sure. Yes. Gerard Decay. Gerard Decay. All right. Decay. My alchemical romance. Let's do it. It's a seven? Seven. <laughs> uh, you commanded them to like go help wherever you can or whatever, yeah. and, and so yeah. they notice you, they know you, who you are, so they just start like following you like a bunch of Pikmin. You know, like, <laughs> but like slower and grosser. Um, and uh, the zombies start out of tune, but they're doing their best, uh, doing a pitch perfect style acapella. <laughs> and they do that for a little bit, and you can just see everyone, all the people, you see one person who literally severed the arm is holding, and it's just like, 
<laughs> starts laughing and giggles go across the I imagine room. Imagine someone who's like on their like who's like severely wounded, just like and 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 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one, just one guy yeah, yeah. that like is reaching for like a dagger, <laughs> and uh, one of the other medics is just like, no, let this happen. Um, <laughs> and like they slowly go like, is that nerdy? Yep, that was nerdy. Matt shows off his true voice. Listen, I, I call that voice my uh, Russell Crowe. Oh, no. Monday Mortal Revolution. <laughs> so nasal. Oh. I know. Chris. Yeah. Well, that, the that's the voice I get paid for, guys. Musical theater. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what my student debt goes to. Um, all right. So, yeah, uh, you do that. And it takes a while, right? There's, a lot, there's so much to do, right? I'm surprised that Grunge hasn't done the, like, <laughs> the Eddie Munson. The Eddie Munson, because he's done oh. this, but he hasn't done the like. Yeah. Mine aren't just the brown. Yeah, they're still, they're, they're, coming, still out. they're yeah. coming out. Yeah. Every day I'm checking. They're coming out of your skull. You know, they're doing just fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Why is that defensive? Huh? You, I don't know. That just felt defensive to me. You're like they're doing just fine. Like don't ask about it. Like, jeez. I'm not change. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> okay. So, self check. What'd you get? That one. <laughs> um, you, everyone sees me. Leave. Grunge just starts tripping over everything. Oh. What do you What do you do What do you do to like just make it very noticeable that you're leaving? Um, I'm like you're just, actually you're stealth checking. They're busy doing stuff. You're stealth checking for this guy to not notice you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they're not even around. Like everyone's gonna split off to yeah. do their own thing, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm like hyper focused on him yeah. and I'm like following his movements and I'm like getting up I'm not even looking where I'm like walking and I'm just looking at him and I don't know I, I fall into the fire the campfire <laughs> no. um, or like I step into it and yeah. I just don't even <laughs> and then I just yeah I, everyone sees me scream and yeah uh, you turn around and, and grunge is like putting fire out on his yeah it's like, not like a full turn it's just kind of like a half turn to like catching peripherals and like not stopping and he's just gonna keep walking just kind of like pick up his pace a little bit do you need wait a bit and keep going yeah I'll keep going yeah, absolutely um, so at this point you know he's following you you, yeah. continue, you continue on, you go down, uh, you go into the castle sort of proper area over here, mm -hmm. uh, and you go inside to just like sort of the entrance space. This is kind of like a back entrance of the castle, and it goes through some winding halls down like a set of like sort of circular stairs down another hall where that door is open. You enter that room and you do see what was described before, rune, 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 uh, on all the sides, uh, all the walls except for the one with the door. Um, and uh, grunge, you kind of make it down the hallway. Probably, how long were you, would you be tracing him? Like, as long as I can. Sorry, what's what's the distance? Thirty feet, forty-five feet? Uh, I mean, however long it took me to like put out that fire and then just gotcha. catch up. Yeah. Sweet. Um. Okay. I would say as Garrett gets into that room, you said it's like two double doors, right? Yeah, it's two double doors. They're kind of open up. Uh, they're kind of open. The way it locks in is like uh, one door sort of goes over the other, and there's like a semicircle with the key lock in it that kind of locks into the other door. Yeah, and I feel like it's been a big day, busy day. Mm -hmm. The key has been kind of forgotten about, yep. aka not given back to the king. And so I think at this point, Garrick's going to take the key out because he had it. Yep. He's going to throw it out into the hall. Yep. He's going to start closing the doors. Yeah. And he's going to yell out to Grunge, because he knows Grunge is there. Don't unlock the doors until morning. And he shoves the doors closed. Okay. All right. I got to wrap to those doors. Mm -hmm. And the key's out there, too, for you to pick for up. The, for the door. Yeah, for you to lock it. I pick up the keys, I don't lock it, but I knock. You hear a very faint knock on these very iron-clad, like, three-foot, uh, three-inch thick doors. Lock it until the morning. Hey, 
listen, man. I know what it's like to be turned into something that you don't really know a lot about. And when it happened to me, I kind of, you know, I had a choice, so I can't imagine what it's like for you. But I just want you to know that we're here for you. Just like you were here for me, or there for me, when I was going through it. He's just like still in that position of having closed the door. We'll figure it out. I just can't hurt anybody. I don't know what control I'm going to have. I've been doing a bit of reading. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I might have something that can help. If you let me in. I think at this point, Garrett knows grunge enough and what he can do and the talent that he has to, you know, crack the door to like let him in, to give him a chance to do something. Yeah, I'll go in. You go inside? How you feeling? Just feeling pretty good, but not so much now. But at the moment, I feel fine. You did great out there today, man. I think everyone here saw that. So did you? Mostly my, my dudes. But that comes from you and the things you can do. I guess so. Honestly, I don't, I don't think I'd have, you know, this much faith in myself without you guys. And honestly, I've, I've come to accept what I am and what I've, like, turned into. And, like, thinking back to, like, the vampiric bite that I did mm-hmm. yesterday, a couple yeah. days ago, um, sometimes it can be kind of cool. You don't want this stuff, do you? For yourself? No, I don't. Uh, I'm going to uh, reach an arm out, touch him on the shoulder, mm-hmm. I'm going to cast Remove Curse. Okay. Uh, how does this look like? This is, a, this, is, this is I've written in the notes from Chantel yeah. uh, at some point before she left, so that's that's a Chantel thing. Love it. Um, what does it look like? Uh, if if you could like sense the difference between the the necro energy and the vampiric magic. Uh, you sense the vampiric magic here, and like, if there was any similarity between this and what he's going through, you you can feel almost like a synergy between the two. You put your hand on his shoulder, and you just kind of hone in, and unlike you, you hear the this <laughs> this heartbeat and you feel the course of blood in it and there is a connection between what you have is unfortunately not a curse that you can just remove it is baked into the physiology of who you are now but his is something that can be removed Garrick you get this feeling as he puts his hand on your shoulder and you tighten your arms on your gauntlets wonder, is this something you can also never undo? Is this another thing that you're stuck with that you didn't choose? Where's your agency? These are just thoughts you have. 
how you feel about them, how you react to them, is you. Mm -hmm. Like sweat through your pores, blood starts coalescing around your hand. And the droplets start towards you, and it goes on your clothes, it's absorbed through your clothes, dry, it's your skin, you just feel something start prickling into your shoulder and it hurts for a moment. It stings as it's like a bazillion, a million little needles piercing through your skin and you feel a pain in your stomach. Yeah. And oh, it's almost like this puff of shadows comes out of your mouth. And you feel feel good. I'm not sure what that was. You feel good. You okay? Fuck, did I fuck up? <laughs> <coughs> no. Shit, I fucked it up, didn't I? No, you did good. <sighs> Unless you want to run an arcana check to see what that spell was. Nothing gave full indication that you lost your lycanthropy. You could try to trigger it, if you'd like to. I do want to roll an arcana check. You go for it. At this point, I'll close the door and lock it. OK. And I'm in, in, I'm in there yep. with him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 17. 17. You remember the spell. You don't know it now. It was a remove curse spell. Mm -hmm. It worked. Side note, guys, real quick. We're doing some pretty close scenes. Are you okay if we turn the AC off for a bit? Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time hearing, and I'm sure it's, they're having a hard time hearing, too. I, I, I DM'd him asking him if, if that was okay. So you should check with these I was guys. thinking about that, actually. Yeah, and I was, like, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should check with these guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just remember that the noise gate will pick you up if you're being too soft. Yeah. yeah. Too. Okay, yeah. Sweet, so we'll yeah. do... Come into your words. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do both. Okay. Yeah, we'll do both and we'll, we'll, hear, we'll just hear each other a bit more and hear ourselves a bit more, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like for the streamers in the room having those mm -hmm. canceling headphones with no monitor on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Garrick takes a moment to process... And he looks at you. Um, I have spent the last 16 years hating myself. Despising every bit of it. Who I am. Who I was. What I failed to do. And I don't think I could have lived with myself. If I had turned into a monster and hurt any of you. After finally feeling some sense of comfort that I haven't felt in so long. I didn't want to become that monster. He puts his hand on your shoulder. He looks you in the eyes. Thank you. You do good work. I'm proud of you. Uh, one of the few times Grunge has heard that, uh, you do see like you know, him look. Um, he just kind of shakes his head and just like, I mean, at this point, I don't really have a choice. But if I could help give you one, I would have stayed in this room with you until I could have figured that out. I gave you back the key. Love you, Dave. <laughs> As he takes a moment. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh. 
Love you too, kid. He unlocks the door and opens uh, it. Let's get out of here before they get the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Han Solo you've ever been. Yeah, I know. I will say, up to you. Two, wizard, ex-wizard. There are still three glowing runes in this room. Mm-hmm. Is there anything, this is, you just look at this stuff. I'm just saying this is still here. You see it? And look at them as you walk by, but just reminding you, space. Yeah. I want to take a moment to look at these again. Now there's not a giant battle going on outside. You can let's try to roll out Arcana. You can say it's prayer. Any right spells now. that maybe. I did cast the Tech Magic enough. earlier, and that, that, that just showed me like all the items and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And the school's of magic, right? That also shows you. Yeah. yeah. You saw essentially like just this complicated mesh of it's like it's like being a scientist yourself and looking at an equation board of something you're like this is far beyond something I understand, right? Uh, and the styles of equations don't make any sense. I'm not a scientist, guys. I know the metaphor is really bad, but it's so you get the you get the emotion. You yeah. Get the emotion. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll flatter, kind of. I don't. I don't think I have anything beyond the. I don't have magic. Yeah. I don't have a magic thing either. That's one. Good. That two. <laughs> For a total. Twenty nine. Yeah, I was gonna say like I feel with the confidence boost. Mm-hmm. Him telling me that he was proud of me. I feel in tune with my magic. The cops are here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the time police shows yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This is oh, about shit. to become time a very cops. different yeah. campaign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Grunge feels very in tune with his magic. He feels better than ever. He feels confident. He feels mm-hmm. like he has at least a little bit of the validation that he's been searching for the day he left and Temper needing. Academy. And just truly needing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And also... Upon seeing this work, realizing that like maybe he doesn't need that external validation where it, it should come from within. Mm-hmm. And so when he looks around, a little more in tune with his magic, he confidently looks around and, and is seeing things that may have been clouded by insecurity. Yeah. And just this little boy see. Little boy. <laughs> the sweet, sweet lad. Starts... Analyzing patterns, right? Now, it may not be the great detective work that you did <laughs> the other day when you started detecting for the first time. Uh, but you started analyzing patterns, and while it's not something you comprehend or could do yourself, there is something about a backwards center forward to it, a past, present, future kind of thing. And Each you, room. Each room, yeah, yeah. And there's something about the enchantment on these runes that is seemingly, and you think about just an egg being here for at least over 60 years, that, that, that couldn't have survived. You know, it needs to be kept warm, it needs to be, you know, from your from your understanding of the schooling, the legends, you know, you've seen pictures of dragon and eggs being breathed on by their, by their, by their parents, by their makers, right? Um, and so the fact that no. You good? Am I back? <laughs> the fact that this egg stood here in a room that you were told was locked and closed for probably at least 30, 40 years, depending on how long this guy's been king. You know, he's been king for at least a dec- uh, two decades, right? Probably couldn't have survived that long. This, These runes, whatever they are, you know, you recognize them earlier sort of as like a strange sort of time-ish magic. These runes probably kept this thing in a status. In a moment in time where it wouldn't age and, you know, in a moment in time waiting for his parent. Or another dragon. Bring it up. Bring it alive. I think with these Arcana checks going on, Garrick feels he feels a bit of that sadness that he's had for a long time. 
on just not having the same abilities that he used to have. Mm -hmm. And not being able to really help or figure out what these runes are. Yeah. But seeing Grunge do it, and again, just the talent and ability that he has, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And he does feel that, that, that pride. Mm -hmm. That grunge is coming into his own, so it doesn't hit so it doesn't hit so bad like it has. All right. Can I take note of like the runes are like emblems, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I take note of like, what they look like? On yeah, on a twenty-nine, your best to sort of draw them. Uh, drawing the rune is more like the aftermath of equation of the spell, right? There is, mm. you would know this is probably like a couple spell books worth of, like, that was the word, research, right? Uh, but you can take note of what they may look like. Another day. For another day. I know the spells that involve time. <laughs> time! They are good, do you? Time is a super. Bo -bo. <laughs> um, all right, so what do you guys, do you guys head back? Yeah, let's head back to All right. friends. Um, you head back. Uh, is there anything you, like, you guys would like to do before receiving the long rest? Okay. All right, so uh, you get your long rest. Um, we love a lot. Sleeping. Yeah, no worries. Sleep. God, I love it. It's Fuck. almost as if I'm sleeping in game because I can't do an IRL. Um, Fantasy. Yeah. As you Good night, sleep. as you get your long rest, um, just sleep. a reminder, a lot of like the big things that you as a party before swapped over um, were kind of like told. Um, we're all on the same page, right? Mm -hmm. um, a lot going on. I know you promised two dwarves, the two uh, mm -hmm. the two older dwarven, very much old married couple, little grumpies. Uh, who seem to come out of their shell a little bit um, when even just the mention of helping them at the Dawn Smithy and, you know, dig it back up, deal with whatever subterranean mess may be there. Um, there's been talk, you know, Laura, you saw some stuff. Um, there has also been a, a talk to this dragonborn that you Charmed, but not with magic, just with being the first kind person they've ever really talked to. Spoke about something happening huge in Delbroke Sphere. Do we have the map? Mm -hmm. we have the map? It's right here. Um, so, we are uh, here in Ula. Mm -hmm. It's right there. The Delbroke Spear is essentially oh, the center of a lake. Be able to see um, and you would all know, like, part of what really rocked Ula is north of Ula. No. It was better this way? Okay. Um, north of uh, Ula. Um, Ula? The place that yeah. does happen. Ula Oblongata. Yeah. Ula. Um, Do you guys want to take a look? Yes. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, cartographers did their best to, you know, remake a map of what is spell Roja. It's hard to make a map when exploration is very difficult mm -hmm. and the political situation of moving through places. Um, but up until recently, there wasn't much of what a map is. Uh, and when they finally made a map together, there was one place called the Unmapped Disaster because no cartographer that ever went through that ma place made it out alive. Um, there's a lot about that region of the world uh, between the Kin of Men, uh, which is a Bugbear City and uh, Delrock Spear um, is one of the largest collisions that created a mountain range uh, that was absolutely devastating. It, it's just like a huge, almost impossible to cross landmass, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is where you heard about, you know, uh, Davram, the head sorcerer of the Dragonborn, is has been recalling sorcerers back to 
you know, out from the battlefield, out from like different outposts, being sort of heads of Arcana uh, for the Empire and for their armies, uh, heading a bunch of different battle mages and uh, sorcerers um, for something big. Uh, they don't know what it is, but they know it's something that has been almost like this big. As a people, we are about to do something incredible, and this Dragonborn seemed pretty kind of fucking terrified about it, to be quite honest. Uh, mm -hmm. They didn't seem like someone who can cast magic, so the concept of magic, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit scary. You know, there is a bit of a class separation between casters, like magic users in the Dragonborn society, and you've always sort of known this, mm -hmm. right? You had to study a little bit of this stuff when learning Draconic, um, and learning just the concepts behind certain meanings and phrases, and uh, you would know that that this person probably being from a lower class. Joining an army, you know, to survive. Yeah. But that's just a little bit of a recap of things that you would have been a part of those conversations, right? Um, you do wake up. If you're long rest, as a group, what would you like to do? Um, I think the first initial thing to do is um, Garrick has swapped out to get identify. So, oh, yes. Mm. And he will Goodies. Um, identify the things from the um, from the treasure room. Um, then also, I think I have a dragonborn staff from the day shift. It's like it's jumping out of the lake is like this massive sort of how deep into the lake is it? Do we know? You don't know. You don't know. Got it. It's not. It's like this is type of information that like it's a no one's ever had gotten a scout out there, right? Sure. Um, sorry, what did you say? Um, I want to identify, I think, the three things we got from the treasure room, and I believe I have a Dragonborn's staff from the day group. We identified that one earlier, no? I think, uh, I think that we... was the, 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 the fireball staff. Oh, right. Yeah. Like, I think I was told we got another, another staff. But you're saying... They did fight other Dragonborns, right? Yeah. I think Rob said it was from the, the guy we interrogated, but you just said that that's not a magic user, so... Oh, I didn't know he's a magic... I thought he wasn't a magic user. It might have been from a different... Dra I just have Dragonborn staff. For now, staff we'll just say... I, I was told you the Dragonborn soldier. Um, I don't think it's from him. I was told he was a soldier. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, no. Uh, uh, I'll wait to confirm. Yep, Is that okay? Perfectly um, fine. I, I have to go pee, because I've been trying to catch up. I'm going to so give you these so you can so read bad. and uh, talk... Cool. Everybody about them, okay? Yep, and I will mark um, off the three spell slots. Read them uh, wait, before role playing because I want to see what you guys do. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's take uh, guys. Let's take a, an actual five. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, uh, but I will. I will. I will do a recap. Absolutely. Um, we'll make it. We'll make it seven. So I get a five after my recap. Of course. Sweet. All right, chat. We're gonna take. Um, we're gonna take a break. Uh, yeah, yeah. I Quick break. pee. I need to fill up all my my drinks. Um, I, I have currently none here, which is very homophobic. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we left off at the beginning of the session. I process this a second, and then we'll go into it. Um, yeah, you guys went in and saved the king. Cool. Yep. Uh, I know where we're at. Got you. Um, Jack, let me open the play by play. Let me know. Oh man, internet, it is time for another one of these recaps for the role play relay. The recap number is right under here because at this point I'm losing track. So our party had just defeated a, um, a, a Yaklol, uh, a, a crazy ooze-like demonic yellow thing with the eyes, it was gross, um, and uh, helped uh, you know, take back the fallen city of Ula. Um, they rushed inside to uh, the central castle area where the king of Ula was essentially being held by two gnolls uh, with a an enlarged spell and uh, an intimidation check that went very su successfully. Everyone's favorite child, or favorite dad at this point, uh, Garrick, 
uh, managed to stop the gnolls. Uh, they saved the king. The king gave them a key to the downstairs vault, a vault that hadn't been opened in, well, since before he was a king and he was gifted this, an ancient part of Ula's history. They went downstairs uh, through a slew of um, stairs and, and winding paths to this ancient hidden underground um, treasure room. Unlocked the door, they saw a pile of gold, a few magic items, but in the center of it, like an egg in a basket, a gold dragon egg. Uh, through a period of trying to connect with it, uh, Alara realized there was a little bit of a barrier protecting this from any outside sort of psychic source. Um, they gathered together as a group and performed a ritual of their own making. Uh, Garrick used his burning hands, a flame strike spell from uh, Feynora into Garrick's gauntlets to boost it, um, a fireball from um, uh, Grunge to essentially heat this thing up. This egg needed a lot of heat to come to life. With that, the egg hatched, consumed all the gold, and became a young dragon wormling. Um, a little gold baby dragon named Aurelia by the party. Uh, they exit, uh, went back into the battlefield, helped finish off the last remaining forces, and then finally, um, well, a few of the group members went for a long rest uh, as uh, Garrick went to try to close himself into the throne room, uh, afraid that he would turn into a werewolf and help his friends. Grunge came uh, and wanted to help him cast Remove Curse, removing the lycanthropy uh, the group had a lovely moment looking at these sort of time magic like runes, uh, runes in the room, not understanding this very ancient lost magic. Uh, they took a note of what these were, went back to the group, and took their long rest. And that's all you missed on the roleplay relay. I'll catch you guys soon. Let me know when I'm out, Jack. Perfect, thank you. All right. Which means you know this is Felrosia. But this is Felrosia on legendkeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those. And the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without legendkeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? Legendkeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your legend keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your legend keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the roleplay relay even happening. We see the star-spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this. We came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you propose to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. <laughs> and I don't like those big deals <laughs> that sneak up on you. You guys think you just break in here into this fort and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do it then, bruv. I fucking dare you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, 
I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could ride on your back. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. It's so stupid. This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes. So how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties. But you can just call me Twerk. And I am one of the players playing the Eldritch Knight Fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing d and I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet. Stay cheeky, folks. Mwah. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching The Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild.
You're watching the Roleplay Relay, which means you know this is Felrosia. But this is Felrosia on LegendKeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those. And the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without LegendKeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? LegendKeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your legend keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your legend keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the roleplay relay even happening. We see the star-spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the hot potato. Tish. We are a truck. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Uh. Tish. I got a Tish. Tish. Anime Tishies. Tish. Tish. Welcome back, chat, to the roleplay relay. So our friends uh, are, are, are death and divine. Tish. Our uh, the grand, baby. Uh, amazing party the of adventurers um, finally get their long rest. Um, I think most people are sleeping kind of out in camps. There are many rangers uh, and soldiers doing perimeters, uh, and uh, there are tons of guards up in shifts. Uh, and you would know if something would have happened, because I know all your little hearts are always beating real fast. Um, and you wake up with a long rest. Yep. Okay. And as we start the day, mm -hmm. Garrick does identify or three yes. items. Yeah. They do, Garrett. Do you want to tell, or do you want to you want to pass them around? If those are not uh, chat paid items, you don't have to yet say them. Uh, but you can if you want to. I want to tell. I want to keep. I want to cue chat in. There you, you go. Know, whether we're on you. the same page. Your we have the first one is the filter. <laughs> that one don't. That one. That one don't say it though. Yeah. That one's so much more fun if you don't say it out loud. Come on. Okay. You know what I mean though. Like real quick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pass this one around then. That one oh, I just saw the name of it. So, yeah, no, that Secrets. one specifically, it's one of those things where it's like, if we were, we were sitting at a table and we didn't have like a kind thing, you'd see the thing and you decide what, yeah, as the identifier. They kind of fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm saying, yeah. That's when you know D&D &D is written by Anyways. Anywho. <laughs> I'm wrong. Hmm. No. We've got the cloak of Arachnida. Did I say that right? Yep. Okay. This fine garment is made of black silk interwoven with faint silvery threads. While wearing it, you gain the following benefits. You have resistance to poison damage. You have climbing speed equal to your walking speed. You can move up, down, all around, and across vertical surfaces, up and upside down along ceilings while leaving your hands free. You can't be caught in webs of any sort and can move through webs as if they were difficult terrain. You can use an action to cast the web spell, save DC 13. The web created by the spell fills twice its normal area. Once used, this property of the cloak can't be used again until the next dawn. Pass that around. I was going to say that would be, that would be Grunge's vibe in terms of like aesthetic. Yeah. But he already does half those things because he's a fucking vampire. Two. So I will, I'll, I'll RP it, I'll RP it thing. Up to you, man. And then we've got the Elven Chain. You gain a plus one bonus to AC while you wear this armor. You are considered proficient with this armor, even if you lack proficiency with medium armor. It's a chain, nice pretty chain shirt. Um, I think as, we, uh, as we're all getting, I know you already read them. Okay. Um, 
I think as we're we're sitting together and Garrett casts identify on these items and he starts to you know see what they can do mm-hmm. it's almost instinctively when his hands are on the elven armor that he pushes it towards Feanor to have. She looks really excited. <laughs> um, it is a chain shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, just for the purpose of you guys knowing that. No oh, shirt, uh, not armor. Gotcha. Uh, it's not like a chain mail, it's a chain shirt, so yeah. it is medium armor. So, yeah, I was going to ask because currently I'm wearing chain mail. So what's your dex modifier? Zero. Okay, so what this does specifically, the chain shirt, um, uh, it is uh, 13, this one is plus one, it's 14, plus your dex modifier to a max of two, um, but it does, um, it doesn't weigh much, and it doesn't give you disadvantage on stealth checks. Yeah. And so you, I, do, I, believe, I believe with this one, I don't know if it, did it say on it, I was like looking up just to help you out with the accolade AC, because no, it wasn't written on it. Um, does it say you, you don't need to be proficient? With yeah, it gives, it's, it's, yeah, it gives you proficiency. I mean, I am anyway, so. Yeah. Matter, but um, so essentially, my AC would go down by two, I think, because I'm technically at 16. Yep. If you don't have decks, it's not as useful for you. Mm. Yeah, I think it might be more useful for you. Yeah, but I could give you my plus one leather armor or well, plus that, one armor. I don't think that would do anything for you then. No, no, so. Because it's plus dex, right? It's a plus your dex modifier up to a maximum of two. So Faye's going to take it and, like, this is so pretty. And I love it. But she's going to remember Alara going down. And... What? Hey, yo. <laughs> oh. What, what oh did that God. happen? Oh, my God. What day shift get oh, into? Yo, day shift. Damn. You goofy bunch. <laughs> what fade to Crazy black fade. moment did we miss? Yeah. yeah. Oh, how could Faye forget? She's going to remember Alara dying. <laughs> and hey, yo. Hey, yo. What did that happen? For grunge. Yeah. Death <laughs> by snoo snoo. Death by oh snoo snoo. Yeah. yeah. And. Sorry. Sorry. We're still here. We're still here. We're still here. Uh huh. We are the We're serious, serious group. <laughs> Present. Present. We're the serious group. Present. Don't you forget it. Uh. You need this more than I do. And gives it to her. So. Not in like a mean way. <laughs> but also, you are the one that goes down the most. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, She's a giver. <laughs> so, so my armor class is fifteen right now. Mm-hmm. So, what would it be? Would it be sixteen? Um, I have. What are you wearing right now? Um, plus one armor. What's your dex modifier? Plus three. Plus three. Yeah, it'd be sixteen. Sixteen. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. There you go. Much better. Uh-huh. Oh my god, so much better. Um, so I'm gonna have to roll for this. And I am actually provisioned in medium, so. Yeah. Um, but I would like to take this cloak of. I would assume they give it to Grunge immediately because it's a uh, it's gothy. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it fits, it fits your vibe, so it's mm-hmm. like. Me, uh, the medium armor does it give her a uh, 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 disadvantage to stealth checks? Not the mythical. Not uh, because not the, it's sorry, not because it's elven, right? Yeah. 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 Literally make. Getting my preference wrong. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. I'll get you. I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Um, um, do you want my rope of entanglement? I believe that chain shirt's also not a tune. No, I think the only yeah. tune nope. item is maybe yep. the cloak. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, if, yeah, tell me I have to roll for this, but uh, Grunt would like see like the cool aesthetic of it and, and mm-hmm. dig it, but uh, it doesn't really. I mean, resist the poison damage is whatever, and then he can already walk vertically and mm-hmm. shit. Um, so he's gonna like I don't know like take like like pieces of glass and like try to do arts and crafts and like put it on the 
uh, on the cape and like paint it like not black, like maybe like a, a lighter color. Um, and like go up to Faye and be like, hey, remember when we were on that broom? Mm -hmm. And like we almost fell because you have to do your spells and you have to use your hands and then I had to use my hands. Oh no, we, we fell. Yeah, we did fall. Yeah. Well, this I might help, and I made something for you. And you see this, like, arts and craftsy, like, it's, like, it, like it, there's, like, broken glass on it. Like, that, that's where, like, reflect, refracts light, and it kind of, like, sparkles a little bit. Uh, and I give it to you, because I feel like if you can move vertically and, 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 and across vertical, so you can stand on the broom and just... I'll oh, oh, skateboard right? the broom if you... Uh, well, it says, while well, leaving your hands free. It literally yeah. says that. Um, yeah, it's tunement, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah tune to that, you can fucking... You can Marty McFly the broom. Ah. <laughs> so I get that too. You can fucking skateboard on a broom. Yo, what's that. up? Two advantages for Vaynora for a very selfless moment. Oh. oh. Uh, that, that was two advantages for Fenora if you didn't hear. From who? Andrew. From Andrew Seal. Andrew Seal for uh, a very selfless Seal. moment. Thank you, Andrew. Thank, Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Um, Faye takes the, the cloak and looks at like the the chain the very pretty chain shirt that she just gave away I like this better now you'll uh, hopefully never fall again you can add like little like little you can embroider the bottom on like little little buttons so I just say that as a, uh, I'm like, hopefully not fall again. As I turn, like, accept in love. <laughs> and that What'd you like, say? Accept in love. <laughs> <laughs> when when you when Thank you say you. you like that better than the chain shirt, oh. Garrett just goes. Uh, <clears throat> and grunge, uh, this I don't know if you can use this, but you will do a lot of espionage stuff, so it could come in handy. What is this? I just drink it. Like the other no, 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 <laughs> no. no. No, no, no. Smells good. Like his kind of like his his disappointment then just immediately turns into like panic. Like, <laughs> don't drink it, but if need be, get somebody else to drink it. I'm curious. You smelled it. What does it smell like to you? Like rose, right? Yeah. Yeah. Flowers. I will say, um, this is very beautiful because I just picked like oh, this is good. And you both found moments of like, hey. You, yeah. You you died. This is gonna be so much good, for, better for you. Hey, you like fell. This is gonna help you not do this thing. She like, fell. I was like, sweet. <laughs> and then that one, uh, vaguely remember what it does. Read the name. one like, fuck yeah, have fun. I've used them before and. Uh, yeah, I trust you guys. You're not gonna get away with it. Interesting. Right? Interesting. Yeah. I mean, shift might get away with it though. <sighs> you, have, you have nine hours. <laughs> uh, eight hours. I'm kidding. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna make like two turtles fall in love with each other, and then yeah, then then the fate to black rule is gonna be broken immediately. Uh, <laughs> you know, with turtle turtles. fucking. With turtles. Yeah. Turtle fucking. Yeah, that's never happened with us. Right? Yeah, never. Never had turtle fucking in our campaign. Imagine I give this to my dad just to see what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Chat doesn't know what it does yet, but I think well, that might happen. Well, you can deduce it now. Yeah. Some some people probably know enough about D and D in chat. Yeah. I said the word filter. You, did, yeah, you yeah, said the yeah, word yeah, filter, yeah. and they're just like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it is. <laughs> okay. Um, never mind. Same point. Um, okay. I think our work here is kind of. We have two options. Done. Yeah. I think we have some time, and what that. What was the dragonborn's name? Dapper Bashir. Dapper? No, 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 no. The one that, the we, guard. We talked oh, to. You, you never asked him his name. Oh. Okay. I was specifically told, because I always, every, t every time an NPC told me, I'm like, what's our name? Because I never know. It's my kryptonite as a GM. Um, you never asked him his name. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Um, well, the guard, the guard said that that is where Dapper mm -hmm. is. And there's something happening there soon and yeah. i think we have a little bit of time and we have i have i think a way to get us there a lot faster okay and i can get us over to don smithy mm -hmm, a lot faster as well because i had a conversation with um with those doors 
with a conversation we like they told me about that area. Mm -hmm. So I, I do think that I think that I could help us get there quickly. Okay. I think we need to go there first. Um, Matt, I know you said from a topography standpoint, like most map make or not most, like all the map makers would go into that general area. Mm -hmm. Don't come back, so there's not really a map area of it. But would I know the rough time frame to get there to Del Roque Spear? Traveling from the ruins of Ula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you can, let me look here. Yeah. I'm just looking at distances. It's like maps are cool and all, but when you don't have a legend, it's like, oh, it looks close. Roll me a history check. History check. Actually, you know what? Yeah, roll me a history check. No longer exhausted. Um, that's pretty good, actually. That's really good. Uh, history, 23. 23, yeah, no, that's very good. Um, it's hard to tell what the topography of the unmapped disaster is. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's an area where it's like moving by horse might be a little bit difficult, um, that might be a thing. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, you can figure that out as you go. It's looking at it to be about maybe, maybe a week if you can do your absolute best. So seven days we do our absolute best yeah. and we told the dwarves we'd be there at nine days at this point. Because we yep. said 10 days, and that was yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So we have nine days left. Um, we, have, we have nine days to get there with seven days of travel. I have, I have a plan. Okay. I have a plan to get us there, maybe today. To Del Roque Spear? Yeah. It's How? Right. How? Okay. How <laughs> does that look? So, first. What's up? Magic item. Oh! <gasps> for who? From who? Uh, uh, am I am I opening the same file right now for redeems? Uh, yeah. Sweet, all good. I'm From that Tom, Jack, one. Daytona. Yeah. <gasps> Thank you for the magic item. How'd for you know? Because he said from Tom. What? He said from Tom and. Oh, Tom, oh, Jack, oh sorry, I, I, I didn't hear. Done a few things, so. To who? Like, mm -hmm. He's asking for who it is. Oh, um, sorry. While he is getting that information, uh, if you'd give me a moment, mm -hmm. I need to do something real quick. Okay. Do your thing. So she's going to sit down, mm -hmm. and she's going to take out her her herbalism kit, and she's going to um, kind of arrange. Faye's going to get really excited because she's going to think that Alara's making her tea. <laughs> Yeah, I have to do some real important, guys. Yeah. Um, oh, I mean, I guess it is just give the party a magic item. Okay. And they decide? Yeah. Okay. Randomly from the deck. It's oh, random, yeah. so yeah. Perfect, wonderful. Yes, we looking. appreciate thank it. So it's like yeah, thank you. I'm shoveling now. She's going to kind of take out, I'm assuming that she has like a mortar and pestle yeah. for like tea making. She's going to take that out and she's going to kind of make a little concoction that seems kind of weird for tea, like really weird for tea. And. <laughs> It's made of tobacco and seaweed and a bunch of things that you don't really get. And she takes a very tiny little pouch of this little ground up sparkly dust. And she sprinkles that on top. And if you've seen her, her focus, her meteor rock, mm -hmm. it looks to be dust of that rock. Ooh. She sprinkles it on top, and she holds her hand over it, and she closes her eyes, and they kind of roll back, and her head goes up, and she casts Ryan. She Ooh. wants to look at Dagger. Oh. And when she does, she wants to pay very close attention to the flora and fauna around him. Oh. Now. And around the area. I'm going to run this spell as it is, okay? This is 
all in a caveat that it is loud. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just double checking the specificity fine. of you scrying on a target you've never seen before. We've heard descriptions of them. You've heard descriptions. Second hand, you've heard of the target, so they get a plus five to their saving throw. What's your spell save DC? Um, I believe it's 17 now. Oh, oh shit. I think. That Chat. sounds about right. Chat, this is a great time to uh, do disadvantage on the GM. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's 17. Oh, and let me find out if she has woe. Uh, she has woe today. She has what? She has woe today. Does she have to see the target to cast woe on them? Let me find out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep. We should see it. Uh, okay. Yeah. So she, it, you, she would not be able to woe. Cool. All right. Woe is me. Spell save DC is a 17. With this, I'm rolling at a plus 11. Okay, so I need a five or lower. I'm rolling this in front of you guys, chat. You can't see this, but you'll see the player's reaction. Oh, Silvery barbs. Nope. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Damn. Is it natural 18, chat? Um, if the the item. Uh, uh, chat would love it if it went to uh, Feynora. I just oh, got a, I just okay. got a, a, a ping. If it hasn't been assigned yet, which I don't think it has. Mm -mm. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's the guys one. also, just, this is a message from me and Nerdy. This is going to be a campaign where there's going to be a lot of inter-switching. You're going to have way more attunement items than you will have slots for. Yeah. Ooh. We're not thinking about how many you have, so you're going to have way more things than you need. Don't feel bad about inter-swapping things. It's just part of the game. Can, can yeah, we yeah. say that... Um, uh, you can also, at points, if you... We, we can do trades outside of things, like... Yeah. I want these to be items of value, so even if chat gets an item that's dope that eventually there's less use for, you can trade it for something else and they've provided value to you guys. Can I read what it is? Out loud? Absolutely, yeah. you can read what it is. Oh. Of course. Gives me a Thank second you, to figure this out. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Tom. Okay. Um, so, this is the necklace of adaptation. While wearing this necklace, you can breathe normally in any environment, and you have advantage on saving throws made against harmful gases and vapors, such as cloud kill and sticking cloud effects, inhaled poisons, and the breath weapons of some dragons. That's big. Can we say that we found it in like the vault, and like we... Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can say it was part of yeah. the vault, yeah, the yeah, vault yeah, thing, yeah, and uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. What, what, what does it look like? <laughs> well, you tell me. I knew you say that. That's my favorite line. You tell me. No, so that's not my favorite line. What's my favorite word? Twerk? Agency? Yeah. Oh. Coalescent. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. This one has been so. No, like, I know, know it is. I just. Making the joke. Yeah, no, it's fair. It's, it's fair. a good joke. It's a good um, joke. I was thinking of it. So, one well, thing that I lot. haven't been able to describe all that often, maybe Ariel has, I'm not sure, but. Um, like, you know about my crystal circlet and my crystal jewelry, but what I also have a lot of is uh, jewelry and like, kind of like hair pieces and stuff made of feathers. Um, so it would be really cool if this was like a, like a, maybe a pendant sort of thing, but with a feather. Absolutely. Mm. Um, do you tune to it or do you keep it part of your it's, a, it's an attunement thing, but... It's, is it attunement? Sorry. Un it is. Okay. It is, yeah. I heard un unattunement as un, like, yeah. English. Like English. English. That's Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. So that's the third... I can't explain. America. No, wait. Why? Man, this also is attunement. Why are you American? You have three slots. I know, but my circlet is attunement. Yeah. You can also like swap out. So the way I'm doing this, just to remind you guys,
It's an action to attune yeah. and an hour to unattune from something. It's right. like taking it off I and letting like the tether to between it and its magic the sort of and then slowly yeah. sever. The rod so, the but I can like switch them out like. Here you are. As yeah. long as you have a, an, so if you are, if, if, if I have you, an hour to do if, so. Yeah, if you have three attuned right now, you just need to spend an hour to unattune to one, and then an action to attune to, to the other. Got it. Right. Okay. Um. Okay. So the scrying spell does not work. Mm hmm. So you get your little ritual ready. Um, it does take something that is worth over a thousand gold as a component. Cast not to use forever. You have, you have a pair of goggles that are priceless. You put them on for, for this. Yeah. Put them on and they glow and you start like, your eyes shoot to the stars and for a moment you feel among them. You start moving, 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 moving towards so fast that you can't see anything. It's like you're moving at mock speed towards Delroque's spear until something happens and it breaks. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I have advantage on all wisdom saving throws. Oh, kind of star. 21. So, what are you guys doing? So oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I'll wait. So what's your plan? <laughs> she takes them off and goes, shit. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Um, didn't work the way that I wanted it to. Okay. Um, I've been thinking about these, and I've figured out a way that I think I can look in at people, it's mm -hmm. easier if I've seen them, mm -hmm. though. So, I was trying to see Dav room and their surrounding area so that I could uh, check in, get an mm -hmm. idea of what's going on there. However, I still, it would be a little bit riskier without seeing the area, I think. But I, I might have figured out a way to use maybe trees, flora, fauna, to get us there now, if it works. At what? This, sorry, no, go ahead. So what if it doesn't work? Um, we might end up in the wrong place. Closer, but not where we expected, I think. It is not correct. The, which one? Um, transport via plants. You have to know a specific tree. That's what I thought. You have to literally picture it in your mind. Yeah. It's the one thing, it's like if you've been somewhere and you've taken a moment to just kind of like glance at a tree, and by the time you have that spell, it's like you're so in touch with the nature around you. Mm -hmm. You can glance at that tree and you know you won't forget it. Yeah. Um, but on that note, I've been waiting for the moment over the past day and a bit, uh, you receive a message in your mind. Hey, um, did you send me an owl? Did I talk back? Before you, that, yeah. what was the note on the owl? I have it written down. Give me a second. Because Matt doesn't know. I have it. Goblin wrote it. Um, which session was it? Okay, dear Taryn. I'm so incredibly sorry for how we parted. I don't think I did a great job of letting you know how grateful I am for everything you did for us. Thank you for everything you did for me and the rest of the group. Keep writing. I can't wait to read it one day. Um, uh, he's not done. Uh, this is me being like, this is what I heard. He read it. So I just wanted to know what no, it was. No, no. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm getting, giving you the letter. Giving you the letter. Um, oh, it's not done. Okay. Uh, sorry. 
One day I, I would love to apologize to you in person. I, I, I'm still getting used to opening up and I'm, I'm doing better at it, but please know that you're so important to me, to us, Alara. That was for now. He says, um, I don't know where you're traveling to, uh, but my ship is about to port in Small Hand. Um, uh, Small Hand is the dock. You would actually know about Small Hand. It is the closest, it's one of the only places you might trade with. Uh, it is the Dwarven dock um, near Don Smithy. Um, so I don't know where your adventures have taken you, but that's, uh, that's where I'm at. In case you want to apologize to me and, and it cuts off. <laughs> I didn't count the words. I don't really care. Is this one of the spells that I can talk back? Fuck, I have 25 words. Yes, you do. Take <laughs> okay. hey, card. You're going to do it for I me? I got you. I got you. Okay. Oh, my God. This, uh, this feels kind of surreal right now. All right. I'm going oh. to start marking off his spell slots. Good. Let's all, uh, we can all keep track. <laughs> oh God, this is so Are you living trash. your best Travis Willingham moment right now? Right, that's am, exactly what I'm thinking. Of. That's why it feels bit, a little a surreal bit. right hey, now. Hey, we're not, we're not, we're not shy from the fact that a lot of the roleplay relay folk are huge Critical Role fans. I've been for a while. I have a gesture yeah. tattoo. Nerdy just tore through campaign one. Like I was so impressed. Like the yeah. speed at which he watched. When you it. really get into it, it's, yeah. it's big. Um, Travis is my text. Okay. Can I say? Yep. Oh. Ah. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I think we're going there next. We'll see you soon. I'm sorry about Timothy. <laughs> About, about I'm sorry. shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about gun! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> That's funny! Yeah, you keep up with I know, I know, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. You have yeah. particles in there, and you're like, shit. Yeah. He's gonna cast sending again. <laughs> uh, buddy's out at sea. Like, he's got nothing better yeah, in the slots. And you just he's hear. He's waiting by. He's gonna. You hear. Sorry about what? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, They're just having a text silly. message conversation right now. That's oh so yeah, no, a thousand percent. That's hilarious. That's so funny. It's old SMSing where you had to break it up into like two or three. It's just a couple messages. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and you know, at this point, he could kind of keep doing this if you wanted him to until he runs out of minutes or runs out of like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> available texts, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like in 2005. Oh my god. Runs up his data. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a throwback. Okay. Um. I'm sorry about Jimothy. Huh? That was four. It's four. Huh? Yeah, I was getting syllables too for sorry. a second. I'm like, uh, sorry. No, no, yeah. No. I'm sorry about Jimothy. Um, I was trying to make the best of a bad situation. Uh, uh, bad situation. <laughs> and <laughs> I think I really offended you Andy. by accident. By you, accident? No, you. By accident. You by accident. Two more. <laughs> Please forgive me. Please, Please forgive. forgive. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know why forgive me in my head was like, I don't know. Yeah, it works. Forgive English. me. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, he's going to he's gonna answer back to that one. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. No, no. Okay. No, he's going to burn another third level spell slot and cast again. Um, <laughs> Nice. He's gonna go through all of them until he doesn't have it anymore. Uh, you know what it's like. You do this thing where you like message a person when you're young, and you're like, oh, they're, oh you have your anxious because they're not gonna like message you back. You know when you're like 14 or some mm -hmm. shit, and they answer you back, and it's like the biggest rush of dopamine you've ever gotten uh -huh. in your life. Uh -huh. And so you oh, keep the conversation when you're 14, going. When you're 32. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't stop. Dude, that shit, that shit hits different. It's still, yeah. <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah. Um, NRE is a yeah. drug. Yeah. Um, That's new relationship energy for those guys. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know when you go like match for match, like you're never gonna send two in a row? Mm -hmm. 
that's kind of the vibe. Mm -hmm. Yep. But even though like the last thing wasn't posed a question, like he's sitting there going like, there's a mo there's moments between them, you know, and it, you picture him on his boat just kind of like. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. nice answer every. Uh, and for chat test. here, you you essentially see uh, across the ways just on a boat sitting in the middle of the deck, a crisscross applesauce uh, is. I never really done this before, where it's the players don't get to see this, but yeah. you do see like. Um, I mean, you want to catch crying? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, you you guys see him like all right. Uh, so what should I say? And you see in front of him is a pigeon. Oh, no, a pigeon, a seagull, and a uh, an owl. And the pigeon, uh, the seagull's like, ah! <laughs> and uh, the owl's like, oh. he's like, no, you're right. I should just send another one. Right? She's in the position where she wants to apologize to me. And then he just kind of goes like, and his eyes glow like that, that lightning, and he kind of just goes like this. <laughs> and you don't, you don't see that, but like that's, that's his like oracle sort of Lord of the Rings like uh, sending. It's not pretty. Uh, and you hear, um, <laughs> you hear like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. Um, so like, where are you guys at? The, how's grunge? Aww. That's so cute. Um, oh, yeah. Team what? We're in Ula. Saved the king. Saved the king? Uh, I can count. We'll be at the Don Smithy. Don Smithy? Don Smithy sounds like yeah. one word to be. Uh, today. today. If that's where we decide to go. I'd like to add. I'd like to, to add. To add. <laughs> this is amazing teamwork. We got you twenty going back. here and five there. Send more spells. Send, send more. more. Send <laughs> more. Oh. Send more what? I'd like to add send more. <laughs> send more what? <laughs> I think you hopefully get the picture of like I have more words to say. A moment passes. Another moment passes. Sure, uh, I could send more. Um, uh, uh, y yeah, uh, I mean, y'all do you. Um, I'll probably be arrived to the port really soon. Uh, you know, I can send more. I really hope I don't get attacked by a uh, cuts off. <laughs> How do I fucking say this? Um, I fucking say this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not her accent, it doesn't count. Um, <laughs> we wanted to get to Mag. We wanted to get to Mag. As fast as possible. As fast as possible. To save as many people as possible. We didn't mean to make you feel bad. Mean. To make you feel bad. Oh! Wow. Yay! We beat it. We beat Dungeons and Dragons. We beat it. We did it. We hit 25. All right, guys, that's it. That's all she wrote. All right. Yeah. We did what? Sorry, yeah. nerdy. Uh, we, can, we can start a new yeah. campaign. I'll get the old ones out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Right. Um, right. right. baby. We're done. There we go. Uh, Good job, team. Yeah. Woo. Wow. The answer is back. No. Hey. Hey, it's okay. I had some time. Maybe I just reacted poorly to what you said in my interpretation and not your intention. Y'all are heroes. Um, enjoy Ula. Um, if you go north uh, and pass by a small village, Um, like it, it wasn't done, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to answer that, or do you want to? She'll answer just because she knows that she gets the words and she doesn't want to waste them. Um, yeah. 
I'm gonna say higher spell slots. He starts. You, his ward count goes up. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. You know? I upcast sending at ninth level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's just a phone call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, psh, phones are invented. This is my dissertation. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Um, we have a dragon. We have a dragon. Comes council over there. Yeah, I know. Um, I, know too. I thought you should know that because it's cool. I thought you should know that because it's cool. <laughs> um, Jack's laughing at me. Um, <laughs> um, this is the most stressful spell in the game for players. I had yeah. this. My yeah. <laughs> this is like, we're all my, like 13 year olds again. Sorry, or 32 year olds. Um, my impact sorry. was very different than my intent. Than intent. My no, intent. Intent, intent yeah. I recognize that. Nice. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> um, he, 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 give me a second. Cool question mark? Uh, cool? No, no, he doesn't, no, he can't answer you back. He's got to recast from, from scratch, right? You know what, yeah. Oh god, I, in this world, it's just like, fuck, do they not respond because I said something fucked up, or do they shout out from spell slots? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, did they run yeah, out of data? Yeah, how do you know? Yeah, no, no, you're know? good. You can keep going. I mean, anxiety unless you guys want to, uh, unless you guys are over this moment. Uh, no, no, this is I, great. This is the rest of the... This is the silliest d, &D the thing. Next I, I would hours. like a little information about this village north of Ula <laughs> that we could potentially see a tree to. Uh, he's got three more. Um, okay, so. Uh, well, I've got a pigeon and an owl. The village I, from, that I told you is for about four days north from uh, Ula. Uh, it was torn down as the forces went down from the rope spear. That's his message. I don't know how many words that is. Definitely under 25. Can we get a visual, mind visual, Alara, of trees in his head of his hometown? Don't know what you can do, but. Can you send me? Can you send me a tree pick? A. <laughs> a very <laughs> visual memory of a tree okay. that's important to you. That would be very useful. That would be very useful. If you could do that. Hey! Double Jeopardy! We're going back to back. Also, so I'm guessing it's like somewhere in there. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah cause that's oh, uh, over halfway. Before you say anything. Yeah, of course. Would, would, no, are you saying any of this out loud? Are you, is this How does it work? Head? Is it in her head? Yeah, you can, but you can like hear it. Are we having like girl Answer. talks about it in no, between, you, you, and then I'm telling yeah, yeah. to say? Absolutely. It does take some time in between everything because he's being he's yeah. being like. So I too. think I think um, you say your thing between. in your head, and then you oh my god, you can like tell them. Everything no, yeah, I think in between at the very first time he messaged her, yeah. you saw her just go and like <laughs> blush a little bit and just go like because she wasn't expecting it. Yeah. And it's her voice like in her head, so it's just like oh god, that's like in there. Um, and she's used to doing it to other people, mm -hmm. and so she's not used to someone doing it and to it's her. And it sounds like slightly, it sounds slightly distorted for him. Yeah. U used to giving, not receiving. God damn it. Hilarious. <laughs> He's back, baby. He's, He's back, back, baby. baby. We're going to be He's saying back. that all week. We're going to yeah. be saying that all week, even though you're <laughs> literally only going to miss yeah. one day. Knock on wood. Yeah. Someone, I don't know. Yeah, he has got a, 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 I've got wood over here. 
It sure does. <laughs> Chat, um, you can't so see. After He's the first got one, no pants on. Hashtag doll. Garrick's banana. <laughs> Hashtag Garrick's banana seed. Um, she, yeah. after, after she sends off the first message, she just goes, she kind of bumps you. She goes, you okay? Karen just messaged me. What? I, I think he has a spell to message me. What hold did on, he say? Hold on, I'm getting another one. She'll do this. Yeah, yeah, just keep going until you, until you want to. And yeah. then, well, you know, they kind of catch yeah, yeah. up. Um, what do I say? I so should apologize. So wait. Again. Should I? I'm going to apologize again. Anyway, she sends it off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's telling, he's in the, he's in a port near Johnson. Mm -hmm. Isn't that where we need to go? Yeah. Yeah. And he's also telling me about um, something. Give me a second. Oh. He got cut off. One sec. God damn it. Okay. Um, he has his, his old family home, uh, village, used to be in between here and, and um, uh, Del Oaks Beer. Uh, so I'm asking him for a tree. We'll yeah. see if yeah, that works. Yeah, a tree works. visual. We'll see if that works instead of words. I don't know. She's going to wait. She does not know how that spell makes. She doesn't have a spell, so she has no idea. Where how is my hometown village? <laughs> um, I I don't know. Uh, let me check. Because I know it's around here. Something. What did they say about small? You know hand? what? What was said about small hand? Small hand is a poor. It was. It was out of. Area. It was out of Ula, right? It was like yes. in that area. Yeah. What is it called? What was it called? Fisherman's Grove. Sounds right. That exists. Fisherman's Grove, yeah. Cool. It could be maybe like right here around this lake that's right here. Yeah. There's this lake that's like. Yeah, I know exactly right what you're talking here, about. So, so like looking right about, yeah, it's here. right like at the corner. Like, you know, the lake has like a little like Batman head? Uh huh. It's <laughs> somewhere there. Yeah. yeah I think it's like right here. That's where you're from. <laughs> if it doesn't work, it's, I think it might be a little bit closer. He said it was a lot. It got mm. it got destroyed. I'm gonna say. Remember, this map is just a map that was made on a site that we're not sponsored with. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be a little bit north here. Like the, the, the lake can be a bit north here. Like, don't worry about the size the, of the yeah. here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, that's an option. I'm still waiting for a response back from him. What was the last thing you said? Uh, tree picks. Uh, visual of the tree yeah. near his hometown. If he has one. And if he doesn't, he can say Hometown? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, no. Yeah, perfect. No, we're good. We're locked in. Um, he answers you back. Oh, uh, why? I mean... You drew a persuasion check. Mid-sending spell. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Got swayed, bro. <laughs> uh, he's gonna say, uh, if you guys can get to me, I can get you there tonight. Uh, he's gonna say. Do you need a live tree? Does a boat count? And that's where he's going to cut that message off. Okay, um, guys, guys, good guys. Okay, um, new plan, new plan. Um, okay, we need to go to the dots, Betty. Yes, we do. Because I think if we meet up with Taryn, um, we can, we, he can help us get back over here really quick and we can fulfill our thing. And, and I do believe that there's a specific tree because when I was talking to, um, when I was talking to the, uh, the dwarves, they told me about a specific tree um, that, that one of them put their head up against and touched. And I, they showed me, I was mind, mind melding with them. And um, it's, uh, uh, a cavern by a lake 
uh, by stone trees. They're different. In Dawn Smithy or like somewhere between small hand and Dawn Smithy? Memory of a tree be? by the Dawn Smithy in by case Dawn we can Smithy. transport via plants. Um, large rectangular hole in cave or uh, there's a there's statue, there's a big statue of a dork, uh, dork, <laughs> of an orc given. You know what a dork is, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Us. Yes. A yeah. dwarven Us. orc. Um, <laughs> what? You know what you're You don't know what a dork, a, what a, what a dork is? Like, like an actual dork, like a whale dick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool, sweet. No, oh. no for, for, for a moment I thought nobody knew that was... I hope it. I did. Um, hey, chat, you learned something new here at the Roleplay Relay. Very Night cool. Crew. I'm so focused sorry, on that. I'm so sorry. No, no, please um, go ahead. Next uh, a statue of an orc <laughs> given food to a dwarf and a dwarf given an axe to the orc like it's a thing. Yeah. And so the tree to the right side of the orc, there's a large gray oak tree in the memory this this dwarf as a child, leans his head against the bark. Where did you, you got this memory? Uh, okay, you were given this, this visual memory? Yeah. Okay. And like, in her mind. And so the hope is that because in her mind she has seen it and touched it, mm -hmm. she, can, she can cast... She's familiar with it. She's familiar with it. Okay. And can recognize, like she knows you, the tree, she can see yeah, it, no, she knows course. exactly what it Are looks like. Are you trying to go to the Don Smithy to do that stuff there first? If you're trying to meet up with him, he's going to be at Small Hand. That will be a few days of travel between the two. Did you say Small Hand? I think if we're going in that direction, let's fulfill our promises first and foremost. And then we can go to him after. Well, yeah. those dwarves won't be there yet. And Don Smith, because they're still traveling for Mag. That's why I was like, meet them in nine days, right? It's because that's when they'll get theirs in nine days from today. Is that right? Yeah, it's about nine days. And yeah. Until they get there. Yeah, and they want to. They're 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 moving. They're moving like quickly through the plains to get there. Yeah. And they want They wanted really to like give you a tour. To there's, there's a, it's very complicated. Like I know this is also um, from Matt's perspective. This is how I give plot often. Yeah. It's subtle, and you're you're used to it. It's subtle. It's kind of ch pick and choose. It's try stuff out, ask me questions. There's a lot of little tiny things, you know. There's stuff you can how definitely urgent, try. How urgent did she feel that the stuff going on with Davram and the? Um, oh, you guys weren't there for the scene. Fucking urgent. Like it sounded like, it sounded like uh, for a while now they've been calling these sorcerers back. Roll me it's uh. Hmm? Roll me. You're gonna call. I'm gonna call this a wisdom based arc. Oh, you. Yeah, a wisdom based arcana check. It's only saves that I get advantage on. Um, wisdom based arcana. Does that mean you so want me to add wisdom, but you're proficient? So wisdom plus proficiency. So, oh, so nine. Okay. Plus nine instead of whatever. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah. Um. Filthy. Being a Kalashtar, having an idea of how just your mind and sort of your control over it works and understanding the scrying spell how that works immediately after you cast it and you didn't and it didn't work for you someone tried to scry on you mm -hmm. not, coincidence. not a coincidence thank you yeah every time you can't hear me if i'm too low and i'm in the scene you just tell me to go loud I'm a professional, folks. Let me know I'm good. Just means I have to pretend like I'm not sad when I'm interrupted. Mm -hmm. um. What? What do I know about that distance between Don Smithy and Small Hand? Like how many days? Because like, if, if it's gonna be like four days to get there, honestly, just to take the same amount of travel. Looking at the difference between Mag and Don Smithy, I'm gonna say two days. You can still save two days. You can save figure it out. You like I, a lot is being tossed at you right now. Yeah, there could be steps towards making decisions. Like you don't need to mm -hmm. root it all now. Uh, it's up to you guys. And I know you guys apparently were, were the Oppenheimer crew and their Barbie. You guys are like, I don't know. Let's uh, actually formulate a plan here and like stick. Yeah, to Yeah, you know we kind of like. You guys do a really good. I you guys do a really good job to stick to your plans cute. the best you can. Jeez. Except for when. You guys don't let Grand Chef a rock show. Yeah, thought process. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Here's what's going through my brain right now. Mm -hmm. Just to clue you guys in. Yeah. Um, no, 
Yeah, if you guys have like favorites, if there are things like think outside the box, like feel so, free to think outside the box. I'm, I'm. I think yeah. the option right now, it would take a lot of days of travel to get to this, um, the rock, the spike, whatever the fuck. Uh, Delroy's spear. Spear, that thing. It yeah. would take a couple days of travel, and her method of getting there fast did not work. Mm -hmm. But I think we have a potential way to get there a lot quicker and also get the Dawn Smithy done a lot faster. And if we get the Dawn Smithy stuff done early, yeah, they're not going to be there, but is there something that we can do before they get there? So, like, yeah, here's the thing. Like, we, we talked to two dwarves. Yeah. We're not going there specifically to help those two people. Okay. No. We're, We're going there yeah. to help their yeah. people. The dwarves so in general. I feel like Moving it's through, like, this, this, it's a ruined it's city underground. I think they were just going to be your tour guides. Got gotcha. you. I, I think, okay. I think, I think it would make us a lot, yeah. a lot more sense okay. to do this, yeah. where we can do it now, mm -hmm. get it out of the way, go to uh, to Taryn, and then have him help us get, get to back. there really quickly. Yeah. Because then that way, we're just saving time. Yeah. Yeah. And I think in the long run, I think that's the way to go. No, no, I agree. I, I. I'm really torn up about it, but I, I do think. No, I think. Tw Twerk wasn't fully in on what we were doing with the dwarves, just like where and yeah, now that that and all that stuff. That but now that makes, now, makes now that sense, we're cued into yeah. that, and so. I also, as Faye, feel very strongly about getting there and helping. Yeah. like We promised we would. Yeah. Yeah, and I, Garrick agrees. It's just it's understanding the logistics of it all, because, um, for Garrick. So the last time, spell, right? she can, has she responded yet? The, the last time there were a. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of exchanges. I kind of lost track a little bit. Has she responded yet? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, the the last time a bunch of spell users were gathered in one area, shit went fucking down very fast for the continent, for the world, because mm -hmm. it's multiple continents. Um, so I think Garrick feels very strongly about the taking care of Delroke's spear. But with the logistics of it all, of like, okay, it's seven days to get there if all goes well. Yeah. But Taryn can shave off four days going north of it. So it's the logistics of all that. And if we go to Don Smith, he can take care of that stuff. And then two and days like, to him. Mm. And then, I mean, that, that time just ends up kind of like... Evening out. Evening out, yeah. if not saving a day or two, ideally. So, yes, in favor of Don Smithy. Okay. It's just thinking through those logistics about yeah. where are we going, what are our options, yeah. the time it takes to do all these things to know how it all fits. What is, how do you, just get, I'm I'll get everyone's input. Taryn said he's in small head? Or he like said he's basically... He's gonna dog. He's basically yeah, dogging I've there. I've always wanted to go to Small Hand. That's where my, one of my favorite bands is from. What Take, band? Taking back Small Hand. Um. Do me a favor. <laughs> Never speak again. No. <laughs> Chris, yeah. I would never. Oh, I would never. I You're like fucking up here in my books, buddy. Yeah. Roll me. Roll me a history check. Uh -oh. Guys. I'm gonna be leaning with this. Remember, this is the role play relay. As a DM, I don't get time to plan and plot and organize as much between sessions to adapt. 19? 19. I'm conflicted because Matt as a GM has an idea. When you play with me, I think through a zillion different ideas and mm -hmm. my brain's mm -hmm. working a little bit differently today and mm -hmm. uh, Kind of liking this one. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 And yeah. not overthinking it. Mm -hmm. Bring it on. Taking back small hand. Yeah. <laughs> you remember an album cover of the band, their first album, that is just the band all posing by a tree. But you remember that. Yeah. Just you. Just you. Hey, there's this like uh, album cover of, I know, my plans aren't great, but 
Oh, you can do the mind melting thing. I it forgot looks like, about that. Yeah, it looks like it looks like this, and they're from small oh, hand. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. I see that. Uh, that's a you, really good portrait. Yeah. Ranj, that's incredible. What, is exactly. there a song playing in your head during the mind meld that like just kind of as your emotions coalesce with you? Oh, fuck. I no, I can't say songs. that word anymore. <laughs> I can't say that word anymore without <laughs> unless it's drink. Overthinking it. Yeah, you know what? Lean into it. Yeah, lean into there it. Does Use it more often. Well, you guys know there does exist a playmat drinking game. Yeah. Yep. We gotta add, add it to the drinking game. Yeah. Chael, <laughs> add it to the bingo card. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Uh, agency is one of them. When I'm gonna drink, yeah. uh, there's every time I mention being French or something about being French. Every time I get up to pee, is using one of them. a French accent. Mm -hmm. using, using a French mm -hmm. accent, mm -hmm. you know. For the purpose of time. I saw that from, from you know. Like, I know, I know, I know. What else? Yeah. yeah. Um, she's gonna send back to him. Okay. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, are we going to <laughs> small hand first? Yeah, that's well, that's for. Yeah. I have an idea. I think we could also potentially. I think we could also. Oh, wait, <laughs> also <laughs> potentially. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> no, no, it's hard. Like when you're, no, come you're to small hands. Come to small hands. Small hands. Would, you, small hand. want would you want? Would small hands one word? Nope. I think it's two. And we're really meta gaming the sending spell, so we're gonna go. It's two words here. All right, so add another one. Yeah. Um. If you want, is that's where I stopped, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want, wanted to come with us. To come with us. To the Don Smithy. To the Don Smithy. Don Smithy. Don. Don Smithy is one word. Yeah. Don Smithy. Um. Otherwise. 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 Other. Yeah. Otherwise. Then. We'll go straight there. Thanks. We're getting good at this. Yeah. Wow, well, you're getting good. So at this. you're asking him if we go to Small Hand. Does like, he does he want to come with you guys so it's to the Don Smithy, mm -hmm. yeah. or vice versa, or go to? Yeah. So you're asking him like, hey, do you want to? Uh, you're gonna go. To, you're gonna go to Don Smithy. You're asking him if he wants to tag along. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. Can I bring my birds? We'll bring our dragon. <laughs> That's it? That's it. I mean, I did give one of them to you. Yeah, I did give one of them to you. I'm glad they're growing on you. I'm glad they're growing on you. Did we give both to him? Uh-huh. But I don't think she's claiming credit for the second one because she just sent it to him. The fact oh. that it stayed means that it likes it. Oh, okay. um, Forget that back. Uh, of course. Of course. They can't. They can't. Can. No, it's can't. Can. No. Um, see you soon, I guess. Sorry, one second. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, so, what are you guys doing? We can go to Small Hand yeah. via you. Yeah. And then we could go. Fly. I could fly. We could fly on broomstick and me. Okay. okay. Wait. If uh, we want to do that rather than like. It'll make it go faster. Okay. And then we will. Wait. What? What's the plan? And Pinar's like. We're going to go to Small guys, Hand. I'm just going to. Go pee real quick? Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll we're we're right formulating. Now. Sick. Formulate the plan. Yep. When I come back, tell me the plan. Action. Yeah. Okay. You're doing okay. good? I know that was, that was a lot of... That yeah, was yeah. actually yeah. so fun, no, though. That was great. Yeah. That was, like, that was fun. I like that. It, was it good. also, I think, gave us an easier... Look, 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 I need to know the plan! Right, go I'm going to get her! Go to Small right. Hand. We're gonna pick up Taryn. Small Hand by tree. By tree. Pick up Taryn. What about the tree? Fly to Dawn Smithy. Dawn Smithy. Wait, wait, okay, hold on. With the flying thing, you grab one, she grabs one, then there's still... I can grab two. You can grab two, perfect. I can definitely grab two, especially she, since... Wild shape? Oh. Broom. So you, you oh, two can yes, go on the broom together. Yeah, it can hold up to, what was it, 400 pounds? Yeah. We both have... And then we can have our dragon fly with this. 
Bing. Yeah. Bing. Should she stay I here? I think she might. Because if we're going to go underground into a dwarven city, yeah, she I, might worry, stay here. I worry about her there. But also, okay. I don't want to like abandon her kind of thing. Gosh, no. Um, so I think that's the part of like, what do we do with Aurelia? Why don't we ask her and see if she thinks... If she can communicate? See if she would, because yeah. she's very smart. We could ask her if what she wants. Yeah. And we also could give her the option of um, of talking to the king and having her go to um, the uh, academy or drone tall to hang out with some of the people we know there. Um, yeah. Like, there's lots of options for her, but let's yeah. also include her in this. She's no. a really smart. She's absolutely being. important part of this. So, so. I think we, she needs to have. Yeah. Uh, agency. Agency. <laughs> agency check. Um, she needs to coalesce. Coalesce. <laughs> she needs to coalesce. Okay, so we picked up Taryn. Um, fly to Dawn's maybe. Um, handle whatever handle is Dawn's there. Maybe. Like, figure yeah. out what's stopping what the Great Forge from being lit and mm -hmm. get that lit up. And then we will... Light. I, light the fires. Light the fires. And then hopefully Taryn can give like, us... Oh, beacons. shit. Dude, what if we had a dragon to help us light the fires? That might be cool. That might be really helpful to that have might, golden dragon fire. That might be game. what we Father, need. son, bonding time of lighting fire. You mean father, daughter? Daughter, yeah. So sorry. I'm, I'm used you, to saying father, <laughs> son with grunt. Father, daughter. Okay. I... Forge. Okay, we'll see how she feels easy. about going I love that it's like bullet points as if this is just like simple, easy, And it easy. helps it for like, for however long this takes for any kind of handoff. Like, here's yeah. what we were doing. Exactly. Here's no, our no, no, step that's by why step plan. Right Great Forge. Um, use Taryn's memory. Tree, tree travel. Tree memory to tree travel yes. to outside of, to his home village outside of Dorock's Del Rock, Del Pier. Tree memory. To travel to, to Delrock, near Delrock's Beer. To travel to his home village near Delrock's Beer. How many days away? Is Two. It? Four. No, four. Uh, it was four Two from. Three. Four from Ula, so that means ideally it'll be three from Delrock's Beer. Right. Which we can village. probably shorten with flying. Yeah. Three. Days south of E L R. I always like going down south. L E K. Rocks. Spear. Okay. Good timing. Uh, and then, and bullet point. Fantastic. Fuck up, Davin. Yeah. yeah. Fuck up, Davin. Okay, that brings up a good question for my Davram. perspective as player. What is it? Davram. Yeah, from I said that. Okay, cool. Because I, for a while, I wasn't saying it right, so no, you're good. Yeah. I'm saying it right, right? I don't the know. We'll find out tomorrow. Is How do you that, spell it? That's the character name in my let me, original, let me check. my home campaign that's been going on for three years. Davrin is a character name. So, so many character names are similar. Uh, I, I'll, I'll get you. I'll get back on the spelling for you. D a v r i m. I thought it was. Possibly. That's yeah. how Goblin's Brain written it. Oh, then, the then, then she, she knows. She knows. So yeah. Uh, um, what is it? I was a trip designer. D a v r i m. Yeah, from Bashir. For Garrett's perspective, mm -hmm. having been a well-known magic user and knowing well-known magic users, what do what does he know about Davram? Does he know anything about Davram? I will add that in her, she they it is it is known we we know that we don't know where his magic comes from. Mm -hmm. His magic is very mysterious. Yeah. And he is always at this location. Like, he is just there. And so it sounds like he does a lot of his studying wherever, whatever's going on here. It's yeah. really, A, hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Good. It's hard to tell. Because it's not like someone's fought him and survived his tell right. tale. Yeah. Or made it to him. He's in this, he's in Delroke Spear. It's an impenetrable tower. There are a few places you think in Felroja that, like, Trying to get in there would be really hard. Like, you could probably disguise and go around the Kingdom Coon. It's a mass. It's the biggest city in, in Del Roche, right? But Del Roche Spear is something that people don't go in and out. Right. Why well, is been like pre Tectonicum? Oh, oh shit. That that's Our what I'm asking history. about. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Pre Com. 
Yeah, oh, fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar. Uh, the amnesia's kicking in. It's an 11. Yeah, it'll look dry. Yeah, that's very okay. okay. Happens to all of us. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Okay, we have our plan, though. We have our plan. You want to hear it? Shoot. All right, so you got this. Step one. <laughs> we traveled small hand by tree via uh, album memory. Album memory. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. We pick up Taryn. Mm-hmm. From there, we're going to fly to the Don Smithy. Okay. My crew. And my... Wild shape. Your wild shape. Wild okay. Shape. My axe. Yep. And my axe. axe. We're gonna we're gonna light that great forge fucker. We're bringing Aurelia. Aurelia. We're gonna check with Aurelia to make sure she's cool to. going underground and everything. Mm-hmm. But ideally, we want to help light a forge. We want to bring her down to light this great forge along with you know. You might not need to wild shape. How big is Aurelia? Yeah. How big is Aurelia? Can she hold one of us? She's medium. Uh, no, not yet. Not she's, yet. Like, she's too little. Not okay. yet. You said she's like 600 pounds or something. Yeah, but she's, she's too She's medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is like... The lion? Yeah. Hey. A lion would be large. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She, oh, well, because because yeah. she's a gold dragon, mm-hmm. she kind she's of... She's she's one of She's the bigger of the metallics, right? So she sits in between medium and large. She's still... Unless one of you is a small size, then... You can only do it for a minute. <laughs> Reduce. Yes. And larger dudes. It'd be really funny if, if it was the opposite. It's like if you got if you were large, I can only do it for a minute. Um, <laughs> but no. Well, he's usually more of a grower thing. than a shower. But she can fly too, so she can just come with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, she can absolutely just fly herself. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna use Taryn's tree memory to travel to his hometown village. Um, okay. And then from there, we're gonna travel to Del Rosco. Sweet. Yep, that's a plan. That's the plan for the world, you and me. Okay. And we get to hang out with Taryn. Yeah, baby. Because we're not the ones who ruined that relationship. <laughs> I'm so cool, then. I think. I don't, I don't know if Garrick's yeah, cool I, with him. I, I, I hope so. Uh, does Garrick, does Garrick say that out loud? I think Garrick was like dark and broody that time because uh, kidney stones, so. Uh, yeah, you guys don't really interact too, too much. He, 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 real an insight check. Retroactively, I'll give you some give you some lore that you miss. Lore, depending on this check. That's it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Insight. Yeah. That's a minus one for a fourteen. That's really good. No, no. Okay. So, <laughs> you you would know mm-hmm. um, that uh, specifically. Just give me a sec. Here. Do a prep thing and apply. Um, you would know that. Specifically, Taryn would kind of like walk up to you and like over, over time and like say things, and he'd kind of like walk away a little bit. You know this now with the way you're feeling now. He was probably trying to give you space, like you seemed like you didn't want to talk to him at mm-hmm. all. Like it seemed like he was like he kind of read your body language, yeah. and it was one of those things where like it was it was. Not it was you, but he just wanted to give you space just it in was, case. It was respecting something. the boundaries. He didn't know you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he just saw someone who seemed very frustrated and very. And yeah. that was right after a bunch of shit happened to Garrett. Mm-hmm. So that makes sense. Cool. 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 <laughs> yep. Love that. Okay. Should we have our plan? I think. I think. Going into character. Cool. Um, here. Alara, get what you need. Uh, do your thing to get to small hand and we can uh, we I'm can ready to go. talk ready to go. with Aurelia to make sure she's cool with let's do that now. everything and then let's do it so at that point uh, Garrick's going to find Aurelia and probably the rest of the group too no reason to do it solo okay. but um, if you guys are around like yeah. chatting yeah. Aurelia would kind of just be around probably you guys be there. Yeah. so I yeah. think I think at that point uh, what's she doing? Is she like laying? She's sitting? She's standing? In the early in the morning? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She found a big ass chunk of meat. She brought it back over to you guys and she eaten the whole thing. She looks ravenous. Cool. I think um, Garrick's gonna walk up to her and just kind of like yep. take a little knee. Mm-hmm. Just kind of look at her. Yep. And draconic. You know, he doesn't have to do in draconic. Like you said, like magically she understands languages, but just like put his hand on her and go, hey. Good morning, girl. How you doing? Uh, you go over to... Give me a persuasion check. 
I say she's like chewing on a bone, and I'm like, wait, it's cannibal corpses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, the meat's on the side, but for some reason, she she was like, put it down, grabbed his bone, yeah. and like yeah. put both of them in her mouth and kept like, you know, panting It's like around, when a dog like a accidentally picks up yeah. two different things. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, he yeah. Picks, he's yeah. trying to pick up a toy, but he'll grab something else. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. look at like cannibal corpses, like, what's your aunt? Hey. You, you would have seen, yeah. Like a, yeah. Just, hey. she, she was running with the meat and going like this with the meat, and she ran right next to, uh, the cannibal, cannibal corpse, corpse, and just went like this, knocked his, like, uh, femur off, and just ran back down, grabbed both, and kept walking, and <laughs> now you're just, your skeleton is moving all weird. Did you roll? Five. Five. So when you go to stick your hand near her mouth while she's eating, she immediately and right on your jaws and let, sorry, her jaw like lands right on your gauntlets. <clears throat> Doesn't do anything because yeah. you have your gauntlets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's my fault, girl. You're good. You're good. You're all right, girl. Yeah. You're all right. Hey. Kinda, hey. All right, hey. Arthur Morgan. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of yeah, going for there. Hey, drop that. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> drop it. Right, animal handling. <laughs> Is this your first animal handling check of the whole campaign? No, she did it before, and she was very bad at it. Oh, was this uh, for Goblin? Was this Goblin? Goblin? I think from like when I'm she hearing, she told me that she had failed. Yeah, something. Goblin's doing a lot more druid stuff, like like talking to animals, Why was she doing all this stuff. This is not like liquid war. Yeah, more. so it's funny with like all the animal stuff that she's because it's fun. You yeah, know, like all this no, it's a great fun, time. Right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Twenty-three. She's. We don't bat people, hmm? even if we're eating. She didn't understand a word you said, but the body language is very clear, and like the tone was clear, just like how dogs don't. But speak you said English. she understands. She understands draconic. You said she understands uh, common, though. Did I say that? I think you said that. She can't. I said to you, she can't speak, but she understands. Every time you were speaking, you, you kept saying, "I speak draconic to her." Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. No language. Okay. You, 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 I, I, you I specified confused language, that. right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you I literally told me, yeah, like, anytime, I speak Anytime I'm talking to her, I got confused by that then. Yeah. No, yeah. you're all good. You're all good. All good. Um, well, you're getting confused by all the make-believe things we're saying randomly improvised without sequences of order? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Um, at that point, you know, let's go, like, my fault. Uh, she still needs to learn. Huh? She needs to learn not to bat at people, even if they get near her food. We're not going to take it from her. Unless they're bad people. But we're not bad people, so you don't you worry. All right. Um, so we're going to go on a little trip, like, okay? Yeah. yeah. And it's going to involve us going underground to light big fires. Pretty fires. Does that sound okay to you? You want to come with? She can't wag her tail the same way as like uh -huh. a longer tail animal does, so it's just like a flutter of the wings. Mm -hmm. Or is it like when they move their little hip? It's like, it's like when they move their whole butt. butt. Shaking. Yeah. She like breathes a little bit of fire. Would you be okay going underground? If you want out, I'll take you out. She doesn't. She thinks of like underground as the room she was in. And she yeah. thinks of like warmth and relaxation. Okay. Okay. And I'll, I'll slowly reach my hand out and not go all the way. Yep. Because I don't want it to feel threatening. Like, give you a little pet. And then I'll give her a little, we'll give her a pet and some ear scratchies, you know, on the horn, kind of okay, horn of the base. You're literally mm. just like. Are you, are you out here? Are you Jay Barishal? You talk? Oh, hey, Cole. How's, how's it going? Hi, Aurelia. No, I can't do impressions. Um, I don't understand his voice or accent because he's from NDG Montreal. Mm. Like, I'm oh, from really? there, and I'm like I'm from I lived there, but I'm from like nearby, and I'm just like what? You're just your own specimen. Yeah, you know? he's just doing his own thing. Yeah, it's like how okay. nobody but talks is like she, this. Is she yeah, okay. she's excited. So ready? Yeah. She's okay. What are you doing? I am casting uh, travel through things. We're about to be zipping all over this fucking yeah, travel mega wow. continent. Um, did you say where you would meet him? Or where he is to meet you? We're in the city? He's docking there. He said he was docking, oh, yeah. so I said Sweet. we're going to go to the docks. Yeah. Cool, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just double checking. Just we'll double checking. Right. Posterity's sake. Yeah. So, um, you see her walk up to a tree. Mm -hmm. And she she's never cast this before. So she kind of looks up at the tree and looks down at the roots. 
And I think, you know how roots are all connected? Like the idea that trees mm -hmm. speak to each other? Mm -hmm. I think what she does is she puts her hand on the tree, finally doing druid shit. Um, <laughs> Level 11. <laughs> Finally doing druid. I mean, Goblin has. I have wait, wait, you're druid? I thought we had two clerics on this side of the scene. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, so she puts her hands on the tree, and she kind of sends her spirit herself mm -hmm. through these trees, through the ground network. It's kind of like, you know in any really cheesy movie where they go into the internet? It's always like going <laughs> through the, the wires. <laughs> It's like that, oh, where man. she's like, Digimon, digital <laughs> Yeah, no, but she's going like that, and so it's like, it's almost like finding a network, yeah. you know? She's finding a route, and it's kind of, it's quick, you know what I mean? And so I think she's picturing the tree, and she's picturing the area, and also kind of the essence of their friend mm -hmm. in that area, and that's how she's opening up that. Point. As you do this and you kind of picture this into feeling, uh, is there any like song titles that may come to mind? Arcane without the E. <laughs> Arcane. No, I mean for like taking back s yeah. small hand? Arcane without the E. Is there a song called Arcane? No. Key without the E? Key um, without I the E. I, I, would, I don't know the song. I Key haven't been, I haven't the e. unlocked Arcane. today. Yeah. Arcane without the E. Oh. Arcan. 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 Traveling to Mag. Um, starts what? playing in your head. Uh, as you open this space, this like almost like void like portal of your purple magic uh, opens up. Do you guys rush in? Yeah. All yeah, and I'm going to Aurelia. Come on, girl. She oh, doof, doof, follows you in. And you. Come on, boys. I'm a dragon. Down. Down. Here. That was all um, good. <laughs> <laughs> in a port city, you look around, uh, there are many like square and uh, trapezoidal shaped sort of buildings uh, built out of stone. Uh, you see the tree, it's a, like, it's one of those trees that, y this thing's still alive? There's no leaves on it, you know? It's hard to tell. Uh, this is a northern region. It is kind of cold. Um, it is by, you know, a, a more northern sort of water. Um, it's chillier than you've been to the south, southern part of the continent for both basically or the world for basically this entire time, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you are sort of in this open area where this tree is, and you can see there are stones around it, and there's a little sign, like a little uh, sign that says like a historical landmark, um, and uh, there is a, a behind the sign is just like a portrait of the first album of Taking Back Small Hand. Uh, as it is a protected tree in this in this town. That's so cool. Um, so um, you look around the streets and you kind of see um, small hands, not huge. Get, get, get a photo of me with the, with the tree. Get, draw, get, draw. get a get a get, get a, a etching of me. An etching. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get a portrait. A yeah. portrait. Garrett yeah. goes to take out a quill. It's like a little stick figure. And he yeah. just like he's seven tree. hours. But he but he snaps the quill because it's his gauntlet. It's like oh. Yeah, um, and so uh, you head you look around. Uh, yeah, you head to the docks. Start moving through the streets. Uh, you notice you notice a poster uh, mm -hmm. that taking back small hand is playing tonight in town. <gasps> Do I have time to uh, see a concert? I mean, <laughs> I don't I don't have a lot of my biggest abilities because I'm kind of tapped out now. You know what would be cool. Which time is it? It's still early, isn't it? Yeah, you just woke up. You yeah. just transferred yeah. to be a plant, you woke yeah. up. Yeah. And time differences, you yeah. know, going to the western side of Nice. That's yeah. true. Is, it, is there a time difference? Is how big is it? Yeah, what's the world building like, Matt? <laughs> 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 what you got in Legend Keeper over there? I dreaded the time this day. Differences. Uh, in my life as a dungeon master, uh, you know, uh, 
the world that I built, uh, been building for five years, I've never had that, anyone answer that, that question, and even with that world, I wouldn't have it prepared. I was watching an actual play of some of my favorite people from Vancouver do, do their D&D, &D, and I had to watch their DM, and he's a great world builder. In real time, go like, ah, oh, it would actually be this. You don't know. You don't have watches. But it feels but earlier. The we the have the sun, though. It would be in a different yeah. position. Here comes the sun. Do -do 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 -do. That was beautiful. <laughs> Look, we haven't even talked like with how like the day works with everything being here like this. I'm gonna say, bug. yeah, the sun. Oh, here. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's it's like later on in the day, probably like dinner time for these people. So you see, the sun is lower. Oh. Like it's like on the other side, cool. towards oh. where you kind of woke up. So okay. it's not too far right? away from when a concert would be. <laughs> or from yeah. when he would be docking. Hey, Terrence, kind of mad at us. Right? Why don't we, like, as like a sorry, take him to a concert tonight? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I feel really bad about what I said to him. <sighs> okay, so. You guys Garrett sort of just lets out that big sigh when when face. Guys, are we taking Aurelia to a concert? <laughs> I can, I can, I can stay out. Yeah, by the way, you guys are parading a gold. young gold dragon yeah. through the streets. You see a I'm gonna polymorph her. Okay. Uh, she doesn't know what this is. Actually, before I do that, can you tell her that I'm gonna polymorph her so that we can keep her secret? Before we go into town? I'm gonna look at her and talk to her. And if she's okay with her. Like, Because yeah. otherwise, it's dangerous. For yeah. Her. Yeah. It might be a little dangerous with people seeing you. Is it okay if our friend here changes the way you look for for now to keep you safe. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be funny. Roll an animal handling check. Uh-huh. Yeah. The way you said that I was like kinda of waiting for a little bit more. I was getting a little nervous, like a disadvantage. Oh. Hey uh my animal handling uh it's minus one for a fifteen. I am not wisdom based people. That's good. That's yeah. really good. Oh, yeah, it's really good. good yeah, yeah, no, you're yeah, no, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you polymorph her into? So my idea was to make her a little orange cat, but oh. has the rose gold eyes, and so that she can oh. kind of sit on Garrick's shoulders. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. And um, big man little cat. You okay? Yeah. Do you need a break? No. Okay. I'm good. Just double checking. I promise I'm good. No, I know. I know what it is. I know what it's about, so that's why I'm checking. No, it's good. Yep. It's good. I know. I love you, buddy. I love you, too. No, you're good. Don't you worry about it. You're perfect. You're wonderful. I love this. This is good. Cats give torques the shits. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, man, loves his pussy. We, <laughs> you got that damn root. <laughs> That's your I don't have whiskey dick voice. It's so perfect. Oh my god, I can hear me. Oh, oh my god. All right. Oh, I love you guys. You, so sorry. I will say, even I'm in not. the even in the polymorph, as she turns into this little cat, she has long whiskers and like her fur kind of sticks out and sticks out like this. There is still a little bit of like just the aesthetic of what she looks like under this. She has her belly fur kind of fluffs out like her um, her wings do. And uh, she's like And she kind of looks at you and she's like And she goes to try to do her fire breath. And a little fur ball. <laughs> but the fur ball, as it comes out, you see it's like kind of on fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just a little smoky. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here, you want me to uh, want me to pick you up? Uh, she just kind of like. You didn't realize she that. She just like, jumps she on gets you. Out of this, she's gonna try and do it. Oh, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. She jumps into your arms. Cool. And I'll just kind of like see if I can't let yeah, her. Yeah. She just she goes under your cloak. Yeah. She'll like pop under your cloak and then just like kind of hang out there and just flop, uh, kind of over your shoulder. She enlarges. And I'll just kind of, you know, just like yep. every so often, just reach back with little chin scratches. You just kind of like, Rrr. um, yeah. You make your way towards the docks. Uh, the docks are quite big. It is at Port City. It's you know, um, but the city looks a little bit like a little tired, a little barren, a little like, you know, um, just not not all 
you know, not all great. Like this, yeah. this, this once great sort of society between Don Smitty and Small Hand is still having a hard time. You know, you can see it. You can see it sort of in just the way this looks, right? Um, but yeah, you make your way towards the docks. You see the slow ships, and after waiting for a little bit, you do see three hours. She has three fourth levels. She has three. That we have three hours. Got it. Three hours of polymorph cast. She will it. use all four, all of yeah. her fourth okay. levels. Okay, you can you can recast it. it right before every time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm just letting you know that that's all she has, okay. max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, unless she uses higher levels for yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Actually, she has a fifth. Mm -hmm. Would that last maybe like two hours then? If she uses a fifth to cast it? Let me a wisdom check. Add your wisdom on a fire. Uh-oh. I don't think the can help <laughs> based on those reactions. Oh. Savory Bobs. Ron? You know yes. why it's, <laughs> you are trying to turn her into a cat. I'll allow a fifth level to be two hours. Alright, I'll be nice. He's a kind and gracious DM, folks, when he's not trying to kill us. Okay. Uh, or succeeding or at it. Or actually <laughs> killing us. Or yes. Yes. very well succeeding at it. Uh, okay, yeah, so. Okay, so she'll start with the fourth level just for now. The next one she'll cast will be the fifth. And then she'll, if she needs it, she will cast more fourth levels, but she'll start with the three hours, so she'll probably leave. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll mark so those two We have off. that as a backup plan. But she has two more hours after that. Perfect. If need be. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. If we can't, like, get out of there in time for some reason. I don't see it happening, but... It'll be fine. Just in case. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you make it to the docks, and after waiting for a little bit, you do see the unmistakable ship of Terran just kind of... What's its, its name? Way. What's its name? The ship's name. Did you ask him? We never asked him. We, no. we named it. But you didn't name it. Garrett's banana. I don't think we get to name a ship. Yeah, it's not ours. I mean, you as a collective group can decide to call anything. You any asked, no, you asked chat what to name the ship. Uh, in chat, I oh, think chat said, 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 I think chat Garrett's said Garrett's banana. banana. What time in the morning was this at? Super late. Yeah. I, 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 I don't doubt it, guys. I don't doubt it. Um, oh, okay. I let you travel via plants based on an album cover say. memory from Grunge. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, the preciousness I have with like the moments is... Does it say the name on the side is basically what I'm asking. Girl of Perception check. So that sometimes, folks, if you're newer to DMing and you need a moment... Natural 20. No. <laughs> wow. Oh, this didn't work. What I'm about to say didn't work, but uh, if it does for you, uh, this is a thing that newer DMs do uh, when they need a moment to process with the question was just asked. Especially when it's something about, do I see something? Uh, it, you ask them to roll a perception check, and hopefully, if they have a hard time finding it on their sheet, that gives you a bit more time to answer that question. Natural 20. You okay. see, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, because you guys haven't earned his, like, he's still a little like, mm. he's trying to be not a baby about it, but he's just a little like, you know, like I'm not gonna, yeah. you know. It's good, because then Garrick would be like, what the fuck is, Especially boat? with this relationship with Garrick, you guys, you can absolutely call the ship Garrick's Banana. Taryn doesn't call it uh, Garrick's Banana. That's okay. fine. Yet. I didn't expect him to. I was just curious. He doesn't call it If yet. the name was on the side of the ship. If it's not there, then it doesn't matter if she rolls a natural 20 or not. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah. Natural 20 does not mean success. Oh, you're validating me. Yes. No, you're okay. All good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought it's you were like... To I, not have the name. No, no, no. I thought you were like, where's my natural 20 treat? <laughs> no. Where's my little treat? <laughs> no. Give me my natural 20. Natural 20, 20 doesn't, does not, does no, not no, automatically no. mean success. No, it doesn't. I, I, I don't sure. like it when people act like nope. that's what that means. I mean, A, it doesn't. Yeah. And B, here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. We're going we're gonna to give a really good DM lesson here. I think this is a good one. You can just all disagree with me if you think. It's about communication and, and setting a, an expectation of what a thing means, right? If you guys discuss at a table, hey, we want our natural 20s to always be something fucking juicy, sure. But if the GM's like, hey, natural 20s doesn't always necessarily need to mean that. And if a player goes like, oh, you know, I was really excited to roll that dice. I was hoping for something more. It's just called basic communication. Just talk with your friends. That's all. Yeah. Right? Communication. That's it. That's it. So much. I'm yeah. sure and then just you make will a bunch give of me something. Yeah. I feel I trusted you. I know that it will even out, and you will give me something cool later. I I get it. It's, it's like you've jammed before. He let he let I mean, you, you come back to life though. last night. With the natural twenty, I feel you like probably know that it's his ship. Like, I think we already did. I think. Um, yeah, his ship's like a little little. Uh, little she might be able to tell exactly where he is on the ship from a natural twenty, though. That's up to him, though. Oh, he's. 
he's you know. Is he still coming into port? Yeah, no, he's uh, he's backing it up. Like, pipe in the sea of these. What? Is like pipe in his mouth? No pipe in his mouth. There is. Uh, you do with your natural twenty perception check. You do see a bird on each of his shoulders, though. Aww. <laughs> um, did you oh, end up knowing the name of that owl? Uh. uh I know you named. She named the, the seagull Jimothy. Jimothy. That was goblet. Okay. Also, there's so many. There's so much crossover between some of my other games in my LARP. Because Jimothy is one of my friends. It's a thing. Oh, my other Jimothy is a character in Blink Space Blues as well. Dude, I think it's just God. a silly name, and people yeah, like silly names. Yeah, yeah. Jimothy like, Shadow, man. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had so a Jimothy much crossover. before. I think. Elise is my yeah. character's name in my LARP. No, it's Jimothy. Um, Davrim, uh, Davrin is a character mm -hmm. in my game. I told you about Garrick. Like, there's so much crossover mm -hmm. that I'm just like. Fancy names are the cool. world. Yeah. This game names. is so serendipitous. It's crazy. Chat, I'm just gonna go on a whim here. If you've played a game and there has been a Boblin the Goblin, let me know. Boblin and the if there's anybody that's, that says yes genuinely, Jack, I'd love to know. Timothy the Seagull. Perfect. Um, okay. Okay, um, perfect. So she points it out. There it is. Let's go. Oh, perfect. You, he docks and She's then he kind of like. like yeah. yeah. She's kind of vibrating. Good for her. Like, uh, nervousness, I think. I yeah. think she's nervous. Like, you can tell she's nervous. Venora is also nervous, but for yeah. different reasons. Okay? You don't know her reasons for we, being nervous. We, we, we okay over there? Yeah, you don't, right? I'm just, I, I don't know. He never really said if he was forgiving us or not. Well, I think. I can't speak for everybody, but you know, he reached out. He was really mad. Kept reaching out. She, they had the conversation on the ship because she went back on the ship to talk mm -hmm. to him, and so I don't think anyone was there for that. Yeah. Um. He was really mad. Yeah, but he also has reached out. If he was really, really mad, didn't like it, he wouldn't have reached out. So, he's at least talking to you. I guess. And said where he was going to be for us to meet him and then also said yes I you can meet me and then I will go on this potentially dangerous journey with all of you so I'm going to be honest from my I just don't like it when people are mad at me I don't I don't like Sam likes it I don't I don't I don't like upsetting people all right guys oh. it undocked the ship and walked down uh, as you were having this conversation Lando howdy hi um, oh, not howdy, sorry. Good to see you guys. Grunge, hey. uh, how you been, buddy? Good, how are you? Good. I'm mean, better than ever. Yeah, good. Good to see you. Oh my gosh, and he sees your posse? <laughs> oh, I put them all in the portable hole at this point. Oh, you did, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Portable hey, hole, forgot about it. guys. Yeah. <laughs> and then you move through the tree. Yeah, Easier, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Um, Captain? Garrick? Howdy. God, why is <laughs> too much of howdy? Hello. <laughs> you 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 went from Salutations. Harrison Ford to uh, like Arthur Morgan today a little bit, yeah. Mm. You know. Ah, girl. Texas coming out. You know. Bad. Put a put a big big old beautiful animal and uh, you know. Yeah. 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 Cute. He looks yeah. he looks at you goes like. Ah, uh, right. Um. Uh. So uh, what's the plan? Should we should we grab a drink? Maybe some food. I'm tired of oh. eating Russians. Crunch. Yeah. Oh, so there's a band playing. Take uh, it back, small hand. Yeah. We got you tickets. I mean, after everything you taught me, man. Grunge, I, I was coming to Small Hand to go see Taking Back Small Hand. That, that means a lot, man. That means a lot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this here. Um, I, I got you a gift in uh, Port Tag. Yeah. Um, I, you know, it, it, it took about a day for, for them to, to, you know, for me to find a black market there it was a bit, a bit of a rough thing, but uh, uh, I've got something enchanted for you. Um, oh. Yeah, I did some CD business, but it's okay. All um, of us, sir? No, just you. Oh. Um, and he uh, pulls out this... Um, oh, man, you, you, you've given me so many gifts of wisdom. Ah, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I feel like it's just, it was nice to hear that someone took the words that I wrote that I thought I'm just thrown out in the wind and, and and it meant something to them. And so I, I had a few days, you know, 
by myself and uh, I just thought of another band for if brunch. You listened I to bands for brunch. <laughs> if you listened to what I had to say, maybe the world should listen to what you have to say, and he's going to pass you uh, what seems to be like this um, small spherical object with divots in it. Um, you know the thing I showed you I can do? Yeah. Through this, uh, you can do it. Uh, and it's um, a thaumaturgy, basically, microphone. It's a, it's a, oh, it's a, um, it looks like it's like made out of metal. It's a thaumaturgy trinket. Uh, we'll call it a tr thaumaturgy trinket. That's so cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Oh man, thanks. I mean, I wish I had something for. Hey, you know what? You got me the tickets. What do you mean? And you have something uh, no, for me? No, 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 no. You yeah. gave me so many things. I give you some more back. You know when you're like standing there with the steering wheel, looking all cool. You want to look even cooler? Looking cool? Yeah. I was looking cool. You want to look cooler? Sure. Why? I put on the cloak of billowing on him. And activate it, and it's just there's no wind, but it's it's like. <laughs> Whoa. Pirates of the Caribbean theme starts playing. As the cloak of billowing starts like billowing, he's just like. Whoa, man! I really feel like my confidence usually goes down when I'm not on the sea, and the wind's like flowing through my luscious hair. Um, it's very luscious. Thanks, Did we roll for hot for him? We rolled for butt. <laughs> That's what I was. feel like day shift might have because all the notes I've seen about him are like hot sea captain. So <laughs> <laughs> it must have. Yeah. No, you know what though? I'm gonna say you don't need to because David canonized it. And uh, Nerd literally asked me, he hot? Literally, the first thing I said when I mentioned this character, I'm like, oh yeah, so there's this um, uh, Tempest cleric of Gal of Galbu, you know. Uh, different to what Finor does, but like they, they kind of bonded on that a little bit and you know, said like, you know, they had this weird flirtatious thing going on. So I just want this break and see if there's an advantage for Alara and an advantage for Garrick. Garrick and Alara advantages from uh Andrew Seal. Andrew Seal, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Um, Andrew. And the David just looks at me like, oh cool, he hot? And I'm like, yeah. 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 Asking the important questions. Yeah. Asking the yeah. important questions. Listen, listen, he's a cleric, he's hot. Hot priest. Hot <laughs> you know? priest. Hmm. I mean, he, his armor is black. I did describe his armor as black, right? Um, and so he is going to. Uh, 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 sorry, where were we at? I just gave him a cloak of billowing. You gave him a cloak of billowing. Yes. So as it's billowing, he's like, Grunge, this is awesome. He kind of tucks the. Is there like an upper part to it? Yeah, there's the yeah. tucks the upper part kind of in. It's not really a style. Yeah. He's like, Sick. I like that. Like that. You're sick, man. You're sick, man. We missed you. Missed All you of too. us. Yeah. It's good to see you, Captain. You too, buddy. How you doing? Doing all right. Is that a cat under your... Yeah. And you see the cat starts peering up. In, um, in his head. Yeah. He'll hear, that's the dragon. Oh. You just kind of give her a little, oh, little scratches. Oh, and the dragon's looking at the, the, the two creatures. You know polymorph changes their mental stats, right? Uh, she's going to pounce at, uh, do you try to catch her? Yes, at, at, at the owl and the pigeon? Absolutely try uh, Roll a dexterity saving throw. They're going to kind of fly away, uh, the, the owl oh, and the pigeon. Oh, what did you name the owl? Celine. Celine? Oh. Yes. Too close to Celine. I don't like that guy. <laughs> Could have been Alfred. for a Celine? It's fine. Yeah, the weirdo guy that was like, I'm going to grant a wish. Oh my, that was his name. Didn't he? Yeah. No, no, you're, you're totally right. This is him yeah. saying that. His name is Celine, yeah. like salt. Um, Celine, like Celine Dion. Mm. Oh. And if you don't know how to spell that, I'm not. I do. I do. I, <laughs> I, know, how to, I know how to spell it. Listen, you don't know what province is <laughs> east of this. Yeah. No, no, you, you literally figured it out. Andrew, um, I, I really appreciate the advantage. Unfortunately, I rolled a two and a seven, so it's a seven for that dexterity saving throw. Uh, so uh, the cat pounces out. They kind of fly out and just gets him right in the face. <laughs> and he's just like, and he's gonna like claw his on. He's Aurelia, like, oh, Aurelia, 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 off. Please. He is going to just. Now he's gonna roll an animal handling. Probably. He's just gonna like freeze. Uh, like, okay, I've gotten used to birds. 
I don't know what to do with the dragon cat. Well, when, a, when a pussy's on your face, <laughs> you just gotta, you just got when a pussy's on your face, you just gotta take it as it comes. Let me here. Let me help. He and freezes even more. Aurelia, Aurelia, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna reach. Her her claws, her. Gar, let go, let go. Gar, gar, let go. Gar, yeah, I'm not gonna pull too much if the claws are still in. Yep. The track claws, the track. Come here. And she just slinks down her like body, like just like slings. <laughs> long, yeah. yeah. Long, 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 long. And I will just like take her and just put her back over my shoulders. Yeah. Um. Oh come on, dude. DM's brain backfires. <laughs> <laughs> Is it when I turn into Parky the pig? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. For a while, I thought that was nerdy. But, but no, no, I realized it. I was like, I was like, go to bed, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Mm. Um, Sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. Okay, Nora's gonna be like very quiet during yep. this entire encounter and like super awkward. Um, uh, I mean, Laura will kind of walk over and she'll just be like, like kind of nudge her forward. You guys want a drink? I could use 10. Yeah, let's get a drink. Yeah, uh, we can go to the Rolling Rock Cafe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we'll do that. That's sweet. Alara's gonna check in with Faye in her mind. Yep. Hey, are you okay? It just I just feel really bad about Yeah, well you can't. he's left off and uh he said hi to everyone except for me. You said hi to everyone, including you. I don't know um, if that's true. I think the only way to make it better it's by starting to apologize and to start start to make a difference and show your change and show your 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 knowledge. He's a, he's someone that understands um, needing some time to process, and I think that if anyone's going to forgive someone for being imperfect, it's going to be the writer. A storm of emotions. That's true. Which I haven't read. Okay. Uh, she'll give you. Do you want some context? He wrote the book that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I didn't. I totally yeah. forgot. Okay, that. okay. So series of events is he gets the book uh, in Kelter time. Right. 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 Uh, then they end up uh, going, when they go to Temper Academy and leave, Taryn takes them across to Sizzle. Uh-huh, uh-huh, um, uh-huh. He has the book or whatever. Uh, they have a conversation. Because he start starts reading it at the time I had um, to, like, step yeah. out. He they, also worships Galdu, her god. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I remember, I remember and that so part. she shows him her weather form, which is a Galdu-related oh. form. Did we all um, see that, or is that just... Mm-hmm. I mean, you've seen you've seen her. She's it's, uh, that's her dragon, the one that looks like the dragon horns. Oh, okay. That's okay, okay. it's related to Galbu. Gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, but he, yeah. she showed him that, and so they connected and yeah. never. He that. he talked he talked about like you know how he's an author, and she's like oh like or he's he's working on his sequel or something. And then she what's the book and showed showed him the book showed her the book. She started reading it, and then um, overnight grunge was like. Guys, it's I just the finished the most book amazing book ever. And, jumped uh, into the ocean. And uh, he, yeah, yeah, they were like, he just jumped into the ocean because he was like just super shy about it. And then later on, I had a conversation with Grunge, and uh, Grunge became, was talking about the book, and most. Grunge didn't know that he was the author until after a while. And yeah. it was incredible. Cute. It was cute. Yeah. Incredible. It's good stuff. Yeah. See, this, don't get kidney stones, chat. You miss important things. Drink water. Drink water. Hydrate. Yay! Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Thank you so much. Andrew's just like, oh man, here you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so. Yeah. All right. That happened. Are, are y'all still going? or? You guys were you guys were still chatting. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're going. But she's talking. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I, I, that's what I meant with like, are y'all still like chatting? That's what I meant. Oh, like going isn't in the yeah. conversation. Yeah. He's gonna oh, lead the way. He's um, been here before. He kind of. Really and I'm just definitely goes to going to make an effort to pay. Um, I think okay. once we all get there. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to respond to me? Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe I'll talk to him in private at some point tonight or something. If you get the chance, I'm not. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I just. I just don't. I don't know if I want to do it in front of everyone. Sure, that's fine. That is a lot of pressure. You're right. Um. You're right. Sorry. Um. I have faith in you. I know that you're going to do great things. 
and that that you want to make it up and you want to make it better and you will. That's what matters. I do. I do. We can't control what other people do after you've done something wrong. You can only control how you react. So you've already improved and you're working on it and you're more, you're a better person because of it. You know, you're not going to make the same mistake, I don't think. Right. <laughs> it's fine. You got this. Let's ignore anything else. <laughs> and she's going to keep walking. Okay. If it's not, turn this conversation on anything else, please. It's about to be the most awkward concert ever. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking awkward. I was standing there like this. <laughs> Just you and him, just rocking yeah, out. <laughs> go crazy. And yeah, Eric's going to be in the corner with the cat dragon. Yeah. Uh, um, Alora has to concentrate on that. So I think part of her still has to concentrate the entire time. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This is concentration. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I, um... Eek. So we're going to Red Rock Cafe, Round Rock Cafe. Rolling. No, Rolling, Rolling Rock. Rolling Rock Cafe. Rolling Sorry, rock. there's a lot of different kinds of rock. Rolling rock. Rolling. Sorry, the weather, the I, by the way, Hellspark. It's like I a got, place and there's a venue. There's not much in terms of bars here like that are big enough to, you know. Clarification, uh, my brain is not working. Um, the Hellspark is their dragon form. You saw that earlier. The weather, um, you guys haven't seen day shift has seen. It's like okay. healing waters that come from uh, her. That's what she showed him. Sorry. Okay. Um, so you're right. Actually, you people have not seen it, but day shift has. You gotcha. people. You people. Uh, gotcha. What do you mean, us people? <laughs> um, the straights. <laughs> yes. I was literally thinking how, like, oh man, I was like, this subclass is so freaking bisexual. It's like, oh, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. I can't make a decision. I'll switch to this one. <laughs> true. I, I play it. I literally play it. I get it. Uh, um, but we get there. Um, and then Garrick will definitely yeah, get, um, he'll get the captain himself an ale. Yep, yeah, you arrive, uh, so just to, to well, describe what you guys see when you get there, yeah. uh, once they're listening, um, you know, we can just like keep staring and like talking a bit. Okay, so, uh, you, <laughs> um, you guys get to this like large sort of structure, very oh, like stone on the outside. Um, long, it, it looks venue style, right? Mm -hmm. You walk yeah. in and there's immediately like two bars on each side and it like opens up into more of a sitting area and then it opens up into like a ground floor with a stage. Uh, all made sort of a stone, it's really nice. There's some amazing trimming everywhere. Uh, there's like stone tablet carvings of like a lot of the bands that have played here. How um, uh, busy is it already? Um, it is already pretty busy. People are coming early to drink and stuff, uh, hang out. Um, yeah, Grand, yeah. Grand is very excited. Yep. Yeah. Can see it. Yep. And um, Garrick's gonna get three ales for myself, the captain, and Alara. Mountain Dew for Grunge. And he'll get a tea for Fenor. They don't have a Mountain Dew. Okay. Um, oh, Chalky yes. milk. Um, <laughs> uh, but they, they do have a very too. special dwarven sort of moonshine type thing. Um... It's called Red Minotaur. Red Minotaur. Well, he'll he'll get it, not quite knowing what it is, and like, oh, yeah, God. that'll be a good that'll be a good substitute. Oh God! <laughs> you see a wired grid. <laughs> yeah. And then as as we get all the drinks, he'll just uh, kind of like. So you get everybody but Finora a drink. Well, I get her tea. A tea. Tea. Okay. So and, I, I and it's like half looking, kind of looking. This is but small not hand. They don't. Have you, um, if you need tea, Alara, you just get hot water if they have it, and mm -hmm. then Alara can make tea. Um, we probably have to have hot water because we need to sanitize certain things. I don't know. Disease. Yeah, they're like, we have water. And then uh, <laughs> Darren's like, uh, get, get the water. Okay, I'll get the water. Um, he snaps his fingers, and almost like a spark of electricity, tss, as like a little, like, flame uh, that is like a little torch fire, like a blue torch fire, tsh, 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 lights the, like lights under the cup, it's like a steel mm -hmm. cup, tsh, and it warms it up. Oh, man, you're like the coolest guy ever. And, and Garrett's just like holding the cup too, because he can take a little bit of fire there. Uh, Laura, do you have some? Earth? Oh, yeah, yeah, Please. of course. Um, she'll get out uh, tea, and she'll put in probably some nice like rose, 
mm -hmm. and like rosy, something sweet but fun. Hibiscus. Yeah. yeah. And and Garrett will just uh, hand it to you, and then kind of like almost quickly just like her. you. You're like fingers brush. Yeah. You guys notice that he cast magic here, and the bartender didn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. By the way. And what? The bartender didn't give a shit. Didn't flinch. So you weren't specific on telling Grunge what the potion was, right? You were just like, just give it to someone or something? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Garrett? <laughs> please, um, please, please. Yes, he wasn't yes. specific. Yes. You yes, know that. He was yes, not. He was not specific at all. Please. Yeah, Garrett just said, like, hey, don't drink it. Just, like, use it for, like, Subterfuge stuff. Maybe not subterfuge, but like. So use it for like subterfuge stuff. Yeah. And like, yeah, no, you didn't identify it. You're just like, hey, you can use this for subterfuge stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. Okay. You know? Well, because seeing the, the rose, uh, like, tea that you made, it's like, yeah. yeah, I have like a rose drink too. I pull it out and I'm like, yo, Taryn, you just give me so many gifts. You saved my life with the death ward. Yeah, buddy. Can you try this? Uh, what is it? I don't know, it's like this rose drink we got. You're right there, right? I, I, <laughs> to an extent, yes, but also I feel like Gare is just like. Right. I feel like me and Taryn like went in the this ground. Whole, this whole team yeah. situation just kind of like rattled Garrick a little bit after like events of that day and how things were handled and the day before. And so he's a little rattled, but just happy to like have the tea over there. And so he's kind of just immediately went to his, his ale. Yeah. Um, are you sure being subtle about it? Yeah, he's like, oh, where'd you, where'd you get that? Oh, it's like a, I don't know, we got in like a treasure hoard. Cool. So it's really, really good. I guess it's like treasure hoard. Oh yeah, it's probably like expensive rose drink or something. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah. I don't know, the sweet things aren't really my, my purview. Uh, you okay there, Greg? Roll a deception check. Huh? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do I always have to use the advantage? From chat, I always have to use the advantage. I rolled a natural. I rolled a natural nineteen. So okay. Uh, deception. It's a dirty, filthy, naughty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. <laughs> He's like, huh? Do you not want it? What's up? Do you not want the drink? What drink? No, do you want to split it? How about, how about we go half? You want to go half? How about the three of us have? Oh, I would say this oh, when I poured oh, it out. Oh, 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 oh. I would say I poured it out into cups so like he doesn't know that it's like yes. from that bottle. Yes. Yeah, so There's just like three cups of yeah. like a pink. Mm. He did see the bottle. You showed him the bottle. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. well, no, him. Him. I showed him the bottle, and then I like we, we poured some out, and then we poured a third, and we're like, Garrick. <laughs> do you want to try to see if you saw the bottle? Do you want to see? Do you want to try to see if you saw your bottle? <laughs> This is gonna be the bestest concert ever. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so messy. The best of the card. Oh, I literally don't remember what it does. I was just reading it. I was like, this is gonna be fucked. <laughs> Chat. Here's hey guys. Hey guys. guys. We're in our. I'm so. You're also the DM, so you can do whatever yeah, yeah. you want. I so. No. The reason to come back. It's like, so how much of this turn we get through? Well, about that. Um, See, I'd much rather do use it for this than than like the icky wave using it. Cause mm -hmm. it yeah, because I'm I don't know. So the icky wave feels gross. It feels gross, and I don't grudge like, whatever. I don't think okay. No. He also doesn't know what it does. I think. Uh, yeah, he has no idea what it does. It smells like gross. It smells with tasty. The, it smells good. Yeah, with the setup like it is. Yeah. And with Garrick's cer oh, uh, current state of mind being oh boy. <laughs> honing in, need a drink. You have another drink. Sure. You want to you want to perception to see if you see the, the bottle? No. Okay. Oh okay. boy! Yeah. Here we go. From who? Uh, That's from Zero Fox. Oh, thank, thank you, Zero Fox. Thanks, Nikki. So you poured in three cups, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get weird. It's gonna be so <laughs> weird. It's gonna get so weird. Um. So do I drink this and the ale? What's that? Do I drink this and the ale? We'll do what I want. So you found this in a dragon horde? Yeah, something like that. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. He's gonna smell it. He's very insightful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's like, well, I'm not gonna take a strange drink. If I, like, grunge. Like, he's kind of like, oh, grunge, you know? <laughs> okay. He's gonna be like, 
On three. Are we just taking shots right now? He looks at it, smells it. <laughs> One, All right. two, two, three. three. All right. <laughs> I looked directly as I was like, had a taste. Great. Uh, roll perception checks. <laughs> he threw it behind him. Can Alara clock that? What? He threw it behind him. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, no. Did Garrett drink it? Zero. Yes. <laughs> uh, after, after he threw it behind him, 16 um, he's just going to be like, oh, uh, one sec, guys. I, um, I've got to, I gotta go to the bathroom. And he's going he's gonna to leave. Leave the entire establishment? No, no he's going to go to like, uh, the, the rest of the Oh, wait, for a second? Yeah. Um, the first people you look at are each other. How is it? <laughs> and that's where we're gonna take our dinner break. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chad, if you wanna know group, guys. what that serious means, group. we're gonna be back. Uh, we're gonna be back in just under an hour. Um, we took a longer break earlier. Would you guys be okay if we just took moves through stuff? Maybe 40, 50? A solid, a tight 50. Yeah. So let's we'll be back in our chairs in 45 minutes, and then at 50, we'll start the game. What time okay? are you waiting? Uh, well, 11. 11, 11 on the dot. I'm going to do a recap. Have I done a recap yet? I have done a recap. I'm going to do a recap <laughs> after this. Yeah, 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 I feel like, yeah, like it was mostly them just planning. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to figure out like how they formulated the plan yeah, got yeah, here, and then we'll do that, okay? All right, so we're going to BRB. We'll be back in just an hour. There's no, okay, yeah, we're good. Guys, uh, we're gonna see what Garrick and Grunge drank, why uh, Captain Terran threw his over his shoulder in about uh, 50 minutes. So be, uh, come join us. Ciao, guys. Bye. <laughs> Which means you know this is Felrosia, but this is Felrosia on legendkeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those and the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without legendkeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you wanna keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? Legendkeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your Legend Keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your Legend Keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the role play relay even happening. We see the star spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this. We came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you propose to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. <laughs> and I don't like those big deals <laughs> that sneak up on you. You guys think you can just break in here into this fort and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do it then, bruv. I fucking dare you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could 
right on your back. I don't know. I, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> so stupid. This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes. So how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, a 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties. But you can just call me Twerk. And I am one of the players playing the eldritch knight fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing D&D, I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet. Stay cheeky, folks. Mwah. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild.
You're watching the Roleplay Relay, which means you know this is Felrosia. But this is Felrosia on LegendKeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those. And the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without LegendKeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? LegendKeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your legend keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your legend keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the roleplay relay even happening. We see the star-spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this. We came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you propose to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. (laughs) And I don't like those big deals (laughs) that sneak up on you. You guys think you just break in here into this fort and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> do it then, bruv. I fucking dare you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could ride on your back. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. It's so stupid. This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes, so how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties, but you can just call me Twerk, and I am one of the players playing the Eldritch Knight Fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing d and I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet stay cheeky folks hey guys 
guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching The Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild.
Yeah. Can I see this magic item again? Heather? Yeah, yeah. I need to <laughs> too late. To too late. You, you've had it. You've no, no, but we need to read it. To, 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 to help wording. us RP. What? To help us RP. To read the wording. To help inform our choices. All right, yeah, sure. For the next first. 10 minutes. That's the thing, right? Guys, welcome back to the roleplay relay. Hey, folks. Um, I feel Hello. like the first bit when we first come back, you just kind of see that, like, the talk show people, like, when the things they say, when it's, you don't hear them, but yeah. they're just yeah. saying, like, you know, strawberry rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb. But we're talking shit every time. Because uh, that's, that's what we do. Yeah. Not about other people. Oh, man. The, the, the that could go done wrong? Yeah, yeah, my girl dinner betrayed me. Oh, no. Do you have water? You You're bisexual. Um, of course you have water. No? He's got sparkly water. Three drinks. One for taste, one for hydration, one for caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have caffeine right now. It's a bit too late for that. Okay, friends, it is... Uh, hi, hi, everybody. It is a, 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 a lovely 11.53. Hello! 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 I love you guys, but I could not deal with that for, like, no, another... No, I was like, my throat would be dead Okay. Especially when it's like you were just like your character was just like mimicking the NPC, so there's like double of it. Oh Guys, God. go back and watch. Uh, I don't know how they're gonna be split up. Go back and watch the whole campaign. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, well, there's a lot of good so moments, good. honestly. Like, so I'd I'd watch this. I'd watch this. Oh, boy. Um, you know. I will watch this. Yeah. So. Uh, you guys are inside a bar called the Rolling Rock Cafe. Mm -hmm. It is a big, almost like concert venue uh, type establishment. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You arrive to the bar. Uh, Garrick, you get a couple drinks for everybody. Uh, you got some ales uh, for uh, Alara, for Taryn. Alara's not drinking. He still got the ale, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If when we bring it over, we'll, yeah, uh, no, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess. Um, She'll take sips, but she's really not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has not yet brought it to you, as before that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right? My brain always paces like the, the series of events. Oh, no. So, um, I did get the tea, though, right? You got the tea. Yes, yeah. you, you got, got the tea. tea. Yeah. You're about to get a lot more tea. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, you passed over the tea with like you came two hands with the with the yeah. tea that they made, came back to grab the ales, and he said his thing, and the ales are all sitting at the bar, and uh, he he poured out um he poured out. So here's the thing. Here's the, Here's the thing. Roll, roll an insight check, Grunge. Seven. Okay. All right. It feels weird that, as a DM because I just don't want. I'm not gonna say it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, he was a little sussed out of what this drink was. Uh, you know, the series of events of you pouring it into a cup. Taryn was, you mean? Taryn, Taryn was right? a little Why not up. to say that, if yeah. I didn't say that it came from a dragon lord, would he be SS? Okay, between uh, DM to player, yeah, he, he saw you turn around, pull out this bottle that's this big, <laughs> and pour it into cups. And he saw the bottle, and, and, and where that's you said it, it was, he was like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> and I rolled a natural 20 medicine check, chat, and yeah, I told them yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you poured into three cups. Uh, Garrick didn't see the liquid being poured. Uh -huh. uh, and so uh, you filled the cups at you, cheers, and he poured That's his wild. back. You guys take your drink. You ask him how it was. He says, yeah, it was good. And he's like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. He kind of leaves, kind of walks past uh, you two and just kind of like locks eyes with you really quickly and just kind of like the two of you and kind of keeps going. Well, yeah. I'd like to intercept. Okay. Is this on the way to the bathroom or on the way back? Uh, up to you. This was on uh, from the bar past you guys to like uh, the the lavatory. Um, I think I'm gonna see that he's going to the bathroom and gonna wait for him to come out. Okay. So I'll be like hovering like around the bathroom. Perfect. For him to come out. The two of you look at each other. Can you roll for? And I'm not like being a dame asking you to roll for something, but like. Chris, be, I trust you full heartedly. Would it be cool Ask, to like, roll for when he something. like whipped it back? Like we're in a crowded venue. Did it hit someone or splash in someone? Oh, You're yes, back. absolutely. Um, I'm gonna say, roll me. Oh yes. Oh, look Abu, that. you're the absolute best. Abu, we love, I love you. you so much. I would not survive this week. You're the greatest in the world right here. Yeah, fantastic uh, crew. Shout out to Fabu Moose. Would not survive this week without them. Yeah. Just not. That's true. Truly delightful. This week would not happen without any, like, if yeah, every one single, of our stage every single managers person in this and crew is... mods were, weren't able mm -hmm. to help with us, mm -hmm. you guys are the best. Roll me d20. We're going to call this a luck check. It's yeah. a big day. Yeah, the higher the dice roll, the more shenanigans you get, Chris. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Please. So I want, I want. Yeah. yeah. We want shenanigans. 
19. <laughs> we got shenanigans. Oh, <laughs> you want to take a moment uh, to thank Misty Mountain Games for uh, oh, sponsoring sorry. our yeah, shenanigans? That Nitro 19 is brought to you by Misty Mountain Gaming. <laughs> oh, Use amazing. code Roleplay Relay at checkout for 15% off. 15, that's 1 5. 15. Every time I hear people say 15, I'm like, 1 5. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a really good deal yeah. for like beautiful dice. Like, yeah. look at these dice. You've all seen them. They're they're stunning. Yeah. Um, a natural Jillians. nineteen on a luck check. As Taryn lifts off and goes, you see. <laughs> um, ah, oh, this uh, young. I'm gonna say dwarven girl with a mohawk wearing like leather and like chains and stuff here to see the band she kind of looks up at you um and she's like did somebody just splash a drink in my face no no that was like eight accents i heard myself <clears throat> did somebody just splash a drink in my face what was that he looks at you and me yeah <laughs> I was thinking because Taryn was the one that splashed it, so he, he would have been immediately... Oh, he didn't look. He just went like this real mm. quick and then walked away, and it went into her mouth. Um, acceptable, man. Yeah. Acceptable. You okay? Sorry, what, what was her question to me? She's like, did somebody just splash a drink in my face? Huh? <laughs> Keep looking back at Gary. Uh, what? You. Yes. <laughs> Roll me a d4. Oh no. So scared. Chat still doesn't know what this is. Not entirely. But they should by now. It's a three. Okay. Um you like pan over and you sort of lock eyes with you see this um you see this orcish woman. She is probably six foot three. Uh she has black lipstick, she is Wearing clad in all leather, uh, black hair, um, very very dark black makeup. Mm -hmm. um, she looks over at you, just like, and kind of looks away and like it goes like somewhere with an ale. Uh, and we established that I already gave Alara her ale, or I was going to give it back to her, or I was going to give it to her once I. She doesn't have it yet. She doesn't have it yet, uh, but you did first. Lock eyes with this woman. Right, right. Yeah. So knowing yeah. that I have a second ale, mm -hmm. I'm going to take the two ales and go after this poor woman. Okay. Um, you you see sort of uh, <laughs> Garrick? Do you even like look at them at all? Or you just you just like no. It? It, it's just like yeah. it's just like a shit, and it's it's a beeline. All right. Um, you you beeline it past. Uh, you, what do you do? We uh, did say that I looked at him first. You did look at him first, absolutely. Okay. You okay. did look at him first. Okay. That splashed in her mouth. The rest, that's it. This yep. is so messy. This is so messy. This is very messy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. This is, gonna, when, this, is when, what this is what we're doing. When did we let Chad in on the uh, the no of what? Uh, what? They're going to find out during yeah. the scene. Just go. Go, okay. go. Roleplay. Yeah. Role play. Come on. Uh, okay. Ask Eric. You walk away, right? Yeah. Dance monkeys. Um, uh, dance. Dance, dance monkeys. Dance. Dance. Um, you make me dance yeah. all the time. Let me enjoy uh, it. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, we're hanging out. Are we hanging, <laughs> we're hanging out. <laughs> What? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, my, one of my favorite bands, taking my small hand. He is just like, he is Enjoy. He's beelining. <laughs> he's beelining. Where are you going, dude? Oh, th there's this there's this woman. Like this, where's this, this work woman? Oh. What? what yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, it, like he's not looking back at anything. Yeah. He is, he is If, if you like point out, I was like, oh, like that's your thing? Well, yeah, she, I mean, she, Strong, strong woman, attractive. Eric, you're strong. You're attractive, dude. You're one of the handsomest guys I've ever met. You're so strong. Every time you punch something, I'm like, God damn. I wish I could punch like this guy. You just get to just work out a little bit. It comes with time. And also, like, lose your magic and just spend 16 years barely surviving. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm gonna go. I need to. I need to go. Derek, man. <laughs> I got something to say to you. Every time <laughs> you talk about how much you doubt yourself, how much you're not enough, man, it just kills me inside. Cause you're one of the most talented, strongest guys I know. I know you used to do magic. <laughs> I don't know what that was like, but I know you were probably one of the sickest, coolest <laughs> wizards. Wizards ever. I fucking love you, man. <laughs> and he's just like so kind of confused at the moment. <laughs> I, Who cares about that? Uh, <laughs> it's I, I me mean, and you tonight. I mean, and taking no, back I, small hand. I really, I really need to talk to her though. Uh, you're, you're doing great, buddy. You're doing. Right. You're doing great. Yeah, you got her. Yeah, go for it, man. You could do anything <laughs> you set your mind to. Hey. <laughs> but I see it, man. I'm like, go for it, man. She's wonderful. You're wonderful. It's a match made in heaven. I... Brother. <laughs> Yeah, she, she doesn't even. She's not even interested like that. Like I mean, no, she's not her thing. She she didn't. I tried to give her like a album thing, and she said your thing was better. Like, and then also fucking Clarence. Fuck Clarence. Fuck Clarence. Fuck Clarence. Fuck Clarence. Who was? It's like I never even met the guy. Fuck Clarence. <laughs> and then I make a beeline towards the uh, the orphan. You got this, bro. You're so fucking sexy and, and strong <laughs> and beautiful. <laughs> You're so well-rounded. I wish I was like you. Well-rounded like his butt. What? Well-rounded like his butt. I turned to like this uh, you dwarvish. Just, this girl whatever you drank just turned you into chat. Whatever chat was this yeah. afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned to Garrick this like, dwarvish. Garrick can divide by zero. I'm like, what a guy. That's my best friend, you know. <laughs> Chris tongue. Chris fucking tongue. <laughs> All right. Like, where do I start? Um, do I you start. Over? You start making your way towards this woman with mm -hmm. the two ales. Do you look at them at all? Cross eyes. No. Um, as you do, you kind of do this thing. You know, you walk by someone, you both kind of do a little spin, so you don't like run into each other. Mm -hmm. You kind of do a spin, and, and it's Tara. It's Tara, and he's, he stops in front of you guys, and he's like, he's just kind of like looking at you, Ansi, looking at uh, um, Garrick. Uh, Garrick, you walk up to this uh, this woman. What do you say? She kind of looks towards you. She's like, um, "Hello." Hello. Uh, looks like you could uh, stand to have a second ale with you. A little persuasion show. Yeah. Now I'm gaming. <laughs> uh, that is a natural one for a two. <laughs> she looks at you. The fuck is that me? You have one. You have a second hand that's free, so why not have two? Um, not interested. Not at all. Oh. <laughs> you sure? Did I stutter? I mean, no. Did I fucking stutter when I said that? I mean, no. It's just more like, uh... Are you a big, strong man? You think you'd come here and tell me what I'm thinking? Is that it? Is that I mean, you're a big, it? strong woman. Like, you can handle your own shit. That's exactly right. Yeah, I respect it. That's why I came up and talked to you off of your nail. Oh yeah, cheers. Was it good? She nods and walks away. <laughs> <We're> away. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it last? I think it said 30 I don't minutes. Anymore. I don't have a anymore. Oh, it's an hour. It's an hour? It's an hour? Um, yeah. I, I, I clocked that he was like pursuing this this. Oh yeah, he went person. for it. Yeah. Um, you guys, what are you doing? What are you trying to look at? What, like, what's... Well, I was waiting for Taryn. Yeah, yeah, Taryn gets here. He's like... But, but she was by the bathrooms. Yeah. Oh, you buy the bathroom. Wait, I like yes. that by the bathrooms. He, okay, cool. Then he does not clock. That doesn't happen. Uh, I thought you were waiting for him when he came back from the bathrooms. You, he exits the bathroom. Oh, uh, um, hi. Uh, um, do you need to go? Um, no, no, not right now. No, I just, I, I feel like we left things on a bad note. 
last time, and um, I just wanted to apologize. Uh huh. Uh, uh, yeah, you're, 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 my behavior. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, no worries. Is everything uh, okay? Yeah, you're, you're forgiven. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, because um, I feel like I was pretty rude, and I just wanted to make sure we were good. No, uh, it's, it's like you didn't say hi to me earlier, but you said hi to everyone else, so I just wanted to make sure, you know. Yeah. Um, no, you know what? It's uh, people. People get uh, people get weird when they drink things, what, and um, what, I uh, completely understand that. Um, what are you doing? What are you uh, looking at? Um, and then I look. Oh, uh, he's looking. Uh, you just see. Uh, you just see Garrick, uh, the lady in front of him, kind of chug the drink, slap it down in front of him, nod, and go away. Garrick's just like. <laughs> so I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But you don't this know why he's so looking. Messy. He's just kind of like. This is good. This is this is this is my favorite thing. Okay, go. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, Faye just sort of forgets that Taryn is standing in front of her, yeah. uh, and her face just falls, and she turns around and goes into the bathroom. Oh shit! Does she know too? Does she know what the? He runs to you. He's like, hey, uh, hey, um, how? Hi. Hi. Um, hey. Hey, how, how, how you doing? Um, you good? Uh, looks over at Grunge. What is Grunge doing? He's walking over to, 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 to Garrick. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's gonna go see how that went down. Yeah. And he's just like, he sees you kind of walking over, he's like, oh, okay. Actually, it's actually in, it's, it, if I saw their interaction yeah. and then like her walk away, I would actually chase the uh, orcish woman. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, you start moving. Uh, you go past Garrick. Garrick, you kind of see him go go by. Uh, but over here, uh, he he says to you, Alara. He's like, um, yeah. Uh, uh, did you did you guys find any like strange pink liquids in like cute bottles or something? Uh, yeah. I think Grunge picked something up. Yeah. Uh, uh, they drank it. Do you know what it was? No. Uh, Grunge tried to offer it to me, and uh, there's something. So the bottle. It seemed a little off, and um. I took like a small taste of it and I felt, I felt, I felt really good for a second and, and I, I realized maybe I shouldn't drink this entire thing. What, what do you mean really good? I mean, if it's like a health potion, wouldn't you want to drink more? No, 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 um, I, roll an inside check. That's a natural 19. Ooh. Uh, his heart skipped a beat when he looked at you and he said, I felt good for a moment. And after that, he looked away. Uh, oh, 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 you mean? I mean what? Do you know what it does? They're act. They, they. I I think I think it's some face shit. I think it's like some 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 face shit. Like a, you mean it's okay. Um. You know what I mean? Are they being weird? I, I saw Grunge go up to. Oh, Grunge. I saw, I saw Garrick uh, go up to talk to someone random. I, that it seems they seem fine, right? I I just I felt. Wait, he went to talk to someone. Yeah, look over there, and you just see you just see um, Garrick kind of like this, and now Grunge, you pass by, you go towards uh, uh, the woman. What do you what do you say to her? I like pass by, and I see you probably like sad looking. Yeah, like sad, just like yeah, yeah. dejected, just like. <sighs> uh, I walk by, I'm like, I got this. I go up to the orchestra. Yeah. Like, hey, what's your problem? It's <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> In, in, mm-hmm. in Garrick's head, mm-hmm. he will hear, what potion did Grunge take? What, what potion? Grunge took a potion? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, while this is happening, just, uh, he's going to answer her, and he's going to be like, so she's going to answer him, she's going to be like, I'm sorry, what? What's your problem? You offered me a drink. Yeah? I took it. Yeah? And I was done with it. Yeah. If he gives me a drink, is an expectation? No. So, so what's You're the problem? You're gonna be rude like that to this handsome, smart, 
beautiful. I, I said two basically the same thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe people besides those things. If you like again, why don't you go kiss him? <laughs> That's my best friend. I love him mm -hmm. more than anyone at this point, honestly. Roll me, roll me a persuasion, roll me a persuasion <laughs> check. <laughs> well, I think I have a three of them. Fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah. Okay. Kind of looks oh, at you. I didn't use his advantage yet, did I? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. Uh, Eighteen. She looks at you like, you're a good friend. Yeah, but I'm not interested. It's your loss. No, it's okay. I, He's I, the best. I'm not into half lens anyway. <gasps> Short guys, you know. And that um, come up to my waist. You know what I'm talking about. You think this guy's short? One no, I'm not into short guys. You think? So I'm, I'm just short? into short guys. Oh. I don't like. I don't like tall guys. I don't oh. know where this accent's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like fucking Jamie Tart right now. That's perfect. I'm look somewhere like in the Jamie England. Jamie Tart, Jamie Tart, Jamie Don't care. That's stupid. You don't can't change their height. So? That's fucked up. It, it doesn't mean I have to kiss everybody. No. <laughs> uh -huh. Doesn't mean I have to be rude to my best friend. Well, obviously he likes you. Walks up to Garrick. I'm sorry I was rude. You should kiss him if you like any. You're like, pushing like small fire. <laughs> <laughs> also too tall. Too young. How old are you? Old enough. <laughs> I drink the, the red uh, Minotaur. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah. That was gonna be wired. <laughs> you, you jump forward, I'm in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a constitution Parkour. saving yeah, throw. Hardcore dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you just had this world's version of the Jaeger bomb. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, how's your saving throw? Yeah. Nine. Nine. <laughs> you feel the effects as if you were 18 and you just downed five Jaeger bombs. Oh, he is 18. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm singing my lungs out. You, you actually see, like, uh, Grunge probably, like, the happiest that yeah. he's looked in a long time. Like, like in his element. Yeah, the yeah. The music. Uh, but like times ten yeah. uh, energy, oh, yeah. where he's There's just an like opening band windmill right kicking yeah, everyone. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he's he's going around on the pit <laughs> by himself. Um, but, but every once in a while, looking back over yeah, to yeah. Garrick and Garrick, like, uh, you heard that in your head, and you, you heard potion. What potion? And she walks up to you, and immediately, uh, do you talk at the same time as you see her walk up to him? So uh, while while uh, she's saying this, what do you hear in your head at the same time, like in an overstimulation fashion? <laughs> yeah. What do you say to him? Sorry, in his it head. was it was. Um, so what else do you say? You would have said that as she's walking. Oh up. right, right, do you continue right. Okay. Talking or do you um, wait? Do you stop as she walks up to him? Um, because uh, Taryn just said that you guys drank something and it's making you act weird. Maybe. Does that trigger anything in my head? Because I know what the potion is. <laughs> it wasn't a, you, It wouldn't be a health potion. What other potion would you think of? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck? Here, here's the thing. For you, uh -huh. intellectually, yeah. uh, being an intellectual yeah. person, yeah. you think, you realizing that you are knowledgeable about something, emotionally, though. Emotionally, like, I can't, like, I am under the effects of yeah. it. So, like, I might realize what it is, but at the same time, emotionally. Yeah. You're still feeling what you feel. Yeah. How do I, how do I, I don't know how to play this. I, okay, just a note, I think you can be kind of like dismissive. I'm like, it was just a love potion. She's beautiful. Like, yeah. does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yes, I don't right. want to. Thank you. No, no, I appreciate yeah. it because like my brain's just like, how yeah, do I, yeah, how, yeah, do yeah, I yeah. how do I justify yeah. it? How do yeah. I justify yeah. knowing, but also. Yeah. I'm making this yeah, even weirder than it needs to be. So it's okay. Let me know if you, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. It's just a fucking love potion. It's fine. It's fine. It's oh fine. God. It's fine. Oh God. Um, the oh, charm only oh lasts God. for I don't know. A true love. Uh, hi. <laughs> it's okay. Like don't. It's, it's fine. Terry. Like it, you know, we all have Terry. our bad days. <laughs> One sec, guys. You're both like, now I'm over simulating. <laughs> One sec. Um, she's like, sorry, mate. You just 
he's too tall for me. And she turns around. It's like, I'm going to go enjoy the show. And wait, she, like, wait, 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 Here's my favorite thing is when I was like, oh, she's in this short, like half like whatever, you know? Like, I didn't think about that. Then I was like, hey, don't you? I was like, no, you're out of spell slots. And then you just, I was like, oh, fuck, never mind. Um, uh, she, you said, wait, wait. She, you, she's like, she looks around. Down here. <laughs> I can go even lower too if you need me to. Hey, yo. I can give her a wink. <laughs> oh. uh, roll me a persuasion with disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. I need to drink this tea. <laughs> it's a natural 20 and an 8, so it's a 9 persuasion. I'll say it should have an advantage because he's short now. <laughs> no, because that's the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have like a tissue or something? Maybe. Uh, Not for my like. I just feel like I'm getting all flummy from the laugh crying. Oh my god. Uh, <clears throat> oh it's my. like. Here you go. Thank you. Oh. Give me a sec, guys. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 A night at the rolling rock, everybody. <laughs> night at the rolling rock. Oh, I'm also there. She kind of looks at you. She's like. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Did you just is that magic? Like I, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't mind the dude on stage, to, 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 you know, to make the sound good. But what the fuck? Yeah, it's magic. I can do a lot with magic. What does Garrick's voice sound like like this? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna take a sip of tea. I really don't want to spit it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're the serious group. Yeah, we're the serious we're group. We're the really, really, the really so group. serious group. Can we get a counter every time they say that? <laughs> Listen, ever since I heard that for the first time, <laughs> I made it my mission. <laughs> to remind you know. that we are yeah. the serious group. Yeah. We are the serious group. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's magic. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm gonna ask him if it's magic. Of course it's magic. I can do magic. It's not the only magic I can do though, and I kind of do like shocking grass. And so you just see electricity along my fingertips. <laughs> she looks at you. Uh, <laughs> looks. <laughs> no, this is good. She looks at you and looks over at Crunch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's milk. just like, you know, I'll come back for the main band. It just like leaves the bar. <laughs> um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> go, go. <laughs> oh, you say you like short guys. <laughs> you run after her. <laughs> it's like. You see this happen, by yeah. the way. Like, you see the, uh, like, you're, like a and then go like this. I feel like I kind of, I feel like I kind of have to <laughs> yeah. because of it. Like, I don't want yeah. to because, like, you know, like, boundaries, no, and everything. But also, like, I'm just trying to make sure I'm... You are under a spell effect. Yeah. Yeah, you're under a spell effect. Right, right? so it's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I it's up, no, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. We make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm very bad at those. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, um, this is bad. It's a love potion. Love po- It's a love po- It's a seven. He immediately, like, you just see him go like- You are hold. You're held. And he looks over at Grunge. Like, Grunge, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think Grunge knew. Oh, that makes way more sense. That way, that makes way more sense. <laughs> you, so you didn't, you didn't drink it though, right? Just a little bit, for a second. Yeah. But um, I had a feeling that there's something weird about it. So um, usually, if I just uh, taste test something, it fucks me up a little less. And if I start feeling the effects, you know, I uh, normally I do something to like make myself feel you better. Know what? I feel like Derek's <clears throat> just like 
Yeah, he's just like, like trying to. Yeah, <laughs> while this is happening, you see Garrett. Like, he's little like, Garrett. No, it's like that. Eh, eh. <laughs> I love how this afternoon Garrick was like so many badass moments. <laughs> this is great. Coming humbling, out of the shell. And, for sure. Um, <clears throat> um, and he's like, um, oh yeah, no, like I, normally, normally I would, you know, just check myself and use magic if anything. Sure. Sometimes I have to try some poison. Do you have anything to fix it? No, I don't really have any ma more magic today. I don't use it all. <laughs> um, Sending spell times 10. Alara, I think Alara. Um, if you want to do the math of how many Yeah. I think after that, she kind of blushes because she knows what he used it on. Mm -hmm. And she just goes, oh! Um. Yeah, I just we should to see if the group needed help, you know, when Sure, uh, and um, um well, we, we should go help. Anyway, she's gonna run mm -hmm. over to um, help. I'm gonna go find Finor. Grunge. Finor. Get Grunge. Oh, I, I can't help Grunge. Um, I okay. think Finor might be able to help Grunge, and he's just gonna go into the bathroom, and he's gonna be like... <laughs> Knock on the door, yeah. Not to metagame, but yeah. what happened to the dwarf woman? The what? The dwarf, oh, yeah, the dwarf woman, woman that the, was in love with That got the splash from Terry. Girl, yeah. There's a lot of moving pieces, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's it. so messy. Yeah. Um, you would know if you, she was still at the bar. You would know if uh, you would know if she, you walked up to her. Okay. No, I'm, I'm in the bathroom. Um, yeah. No, he didn't know that he splashed her in the face. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> If you walk by her lit later or something, just let me okay, know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes you just gotta make a decision on the fly. And yeah, no, totally, totally fine. Totally um, fine. Yeah. So, yeah, he goes up to the washroom, uh, or like he just kind of knocks on the door. Venora! Uh, Venora! Yeah? Are you okay? Yeah! Did you get the shits from drinking too much tea? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. Roll the deception check. Also, I want you to know that the opening band's name is Feather Falling in Reverse. I was hoping you guys would come up with an opening band, opening band name. Thank you so much. Let's go. Um, it's a Jillian original. I have advantage. Go for it. Good thing you had advantage. Deception? Yep. Ten. Ten? Okay, he's like... Sure. Um, eleven, sir. Eleven. Uh, yeah. I mean, if, if, when you're done, uh, we, we could use your your help with something. Um, yeah. You okay? Um, just just the shits. <laughs> uh, you know, aside the shits, you know, problems can exist. Can coexist with other problems. Um, you're good. Oh. Um. Yes. Yeah. You. I mean, I I I I know I looked a little distracted, but I meant it when I said I forgive you. You know that, right? Oh, oh, um, uh, okay, great, thank you. You read, you read the poems about forgiveness, right? And, and how, you know, holding on to grudges, uh, you know, it leads to, I, I really read all, only the cool ones about storms, I'm so sorry. Um, but I sort of remember reading it once. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, no, I don't. Um, here's, the, here's, here's, here's the thing. It's occupied, fuck off. Um, <laughs> I hear, here, here's the tank, here's the tank. Um, do you have any, like, magic to, like, uh, if someone's, like, charmed or something, could you, like, stop them from being charmed? Do you know off the top of your head? Lesser. Uh, lesser, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, sometimes. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> well, shite. Um, I mean, it's really, it's really, he's just, the context, you know, he's just it's really urgent. Um, we could, it, I, I would, but I'm on a magic, um, unfortunately, uh, uh, or I, I don't really, I'm not um, really While he's don't, stuttering, Fainor yeah. <clears throat> has an idea. Yeah. Um, and she all of a sudden opens the bathroom door. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hey, she looks to see where Garrick is. Uh, where Garrick is? Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of pop out and you just see held is a little Garrick. <laughs> Can he see this? Um, I would say he's. you're facing out the door, right? Yeah. No. 
And I take Taryn by the hand and pull him to somewhere that is visible. Yeah. To Garrick. Yeah. I do that. Put me in front of Garrick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kiss him. <laughs> Wait, like, you're doing this, but, but she, Alora went to go home <laughs> Garrick, so she's not kissing him. This is the best of the night ever. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, he does like the front. It was like the worst kiss ever. Like, yeah. it wasn't even really a kiss. It was just like. He know. like, in his fashion, just kind of freezes for a second. Goes like, what the fuck was that? What? And he kind of looks, <laughs> he looks over at you. He's like, and just runs out the bar. Fuck, she goes after him. Okay. Uh, you see Grunge windmill over to uh, <laughs> Faye. It's like, do you hear that? They just play my favorite um, song. She also, You're so last summon. She's gonna, um, in her mind, she'll hear as uh, she's running after him. What the fuck did you just do? They all have blood potions. <laughs> you are you looking at him right now? As you as like, like, like as she says that, you could be looking at. Like, <laughs> They're under the love potion effect, except Taryn. I, I, Grunge and Grunge and G Grunge and Garrick are fucked right now. <laughs> so you they are not as, themselves. as you hear that in your head, you see little Garrick. And you see. Him. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't hold over to Faye to see him come out of the bathroom. I wish I wish I wasn't laughing so much so I can be better at the scene. No, this is great. so funny. Don't even this is oh, I need to breathe. So I'm 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 literally the problem is I'm literally constricting my throat <laughs> on, not on purpose. Diaphragm. Okay. Yeah. No. You Diaphragm. do see this situation as the so, words enter your head. Mm -hmm. You know. Um. I need another girl dinner. <laughs> so Faye, uh, hearing this. Was so good. That was such a good choice. She has the ability to come back. Yeah. Uh, I guess like. This is our Gilmore Girls D and D episode. Oh yeah. Whoa, just wait. Oh god. In her are. head, <laughs> we'll go. Oh yeah. Do you have a problem with that? What? What is that supposed to mean? Um, I saw the way you were putting aloe. <laughs> 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 it was some sort of, you just, you just Yeah, aloe on the armor. <laughs> uh, it, I think it was in. Oh, it, it was, was like it, underneath. It was, it was around of, the, it was the around joint. the yeah. gauntlets where they were at the, yeah. at the armor. It wasn't yeah. like inside, yeah. but it was. It's just, just going to be a strange polycule by the end of this, guys. Oh, God. Was this is Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah. Whichever one can give me the winning numbers. <laughs> we can't do 69. that. 69! 69, baby. Okay. <laughs> uh, let, 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 let me know if Lou said my number was good enough. 8.141592. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Um. Uh, yeah, I saw the way you were putting aloe on his arms. Some kind of slut. <laughs> She drops connection. She doesn't respond. She continues going after Darren. Okay. You you run outside. What are you doing in here with these two? Uh, I'm guessing. Yeah. Grunge comes up for me now. Can I impose a concentration check for a whole person with everything that's going on? Wait. You're holding polymorph. <gasps> <gasps> Oh my god. Wait, she wouldn't have cast whole person because she would not okay, have dropped okay, that okay, for okay, her dragon. Okay, okay. There's no way in hell. She was completely sober. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was like... That's Jillian, not uh, yeah, her. Yeah, actively thinking about it the whole time, yeah. So. That would be fucking hilarious. So. <laughs> Just during all this, I... <laughs> <laughs> that Just, would keep him down. Yeah. <laughs> that would keep oh him down. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, I really liked little Garrick. I'm so okay. sorry. So no, this is this is okay. Yeah. This is okay. It's not going on. Because I'm gonna play this. He doesn't have it prepared. I thought it was like, oh, what if he casts hold person just to like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but he doesn't have it prepared. I'm not gonna cheat his shit. Um, Do we have to wreck on? He would have. He would have like. No. Yeah. Who cares? Who's fuck? You know. 
Maybe he's like moving, like he's spending time yeah. getting out because he's like moving yeah, through yeah, the crowd. Yeah, yeah, there's a crowd. He's kind yeah, of yeah, moving, yeah, yeah. maybe okay. he's moving through the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so he and, still saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he, he stopped and saw that kiss uh, moment happen. Okay. Um, and then you started sort of sliding over, uh, and you saw I'm so you saw sorry. that moment happen. You, are you are you like surprised by it all, even in your charm state? I ooh, I feel How like. Feel? How do you feel? I think it. It, uh, it, uh, it, uh, he was already feeling a little iffy Mm -hmm. about things that happened earlier in the day and things that happened the day before. And that just kind of like further just like makes him not feel great. Make a wisdom saving throw. That is a two. Do advantage. I do have advantage. It is a three. (gasps) So that would be a, uh, it's on the dice, so that's a two. That's a three and two, two on my dice. <clears throat> so for a two total. Two, three, three? Two. That's good. Two they're, minus they're both, or they're three, both. three minus really one. really sad. Yeah. Um, He's not a wise guy. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. You give me the result of what that the wisdom saving throw, if you would have passed it, would have ended the charm effect. Oh. But it being so low, I'm not gonna tell you how you feel. You know the circumstance of what's going on, and what's going on to you, both intellectually and, you know, emotionally, mm-hmm. uh, magically emotionally. Hey, what is it? <laughs> Get it. Damn it. And look, um, there's. Oh. There's there's a crowd in front of me, kind nice. of thing. Crowd between me and the door. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Misty step <laughs> to the door. Okay. As little Garrick. As little Garrick. <laughs> um, okay, you get outside, good. and I'm gonna say by this moment, back to normal Garrick. Yeah, in the last minute. Okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> like it's it's the look on his face. If anyone sees his yeah. face, it's it's a it, it's not feeling good. When Taryn ran out, he like beelined and like <laughs> threw people, right? He's pretty broad, mm-hmm. he's pretty strong. Um, to, the, to the point where it's like, you're like, that guy's moshed before. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was like, a, <laughs> like you knew kind of how to push people out, <laughs> you know? Uh, so there, nice. And you you saw the, the, the type of energy was like, well that was an emo mosh, that was like, there's a lot of like pent up sadness that kind of came out of that, that mosh, you could tell. You're proficient in mosh, mm-hmm. um, and when he panned out, and you, you try to like move out, but you, if you want to like roll athletics to see if you can like. Misty step. All right. Uh, what, what you misty mean? step as that happens. Everybody's misty uh, step. I'm gonna say you arrive. You would have beaten him out if it wasn't for the fact that you stopped for a moment, had that little exchange, mm-hmm. then went out. Mm-hmm. So like he he runs out. Um, you. I think st- right before she yeah. misty steps because she can see. Day across the bar. Mm-hmm. I, I, she's tall, you know. Yeah, yeah. Gone. Um. Yeah. You're here. Grunge arrives to you. Um, I'm like, <clears throat> there are tears welling up right now. I think Grunge is so wired. He doesn't even like notice the tears at first. He yeah. just comes in like he's, just, he's like drenched. He's charmed yeah. and on yeah. fucking. And I'm just like, oh, did you hear they just played? Like, you're so last summoned. Uh, <laughs> you're so last summoned. That's the song name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was amazing. Hey, have you seen Garrick? Yeah, he's so fucking awesome. You know, you should you should talk to him. You guys get along really well. Where's Garrick? I don't know. Why would I know? Uh, do, do, do I have to insight check? Do, do, do I see that she's like upset? Uh, do you want to? Are you trying to hide it? I, I answered exactly like that. I don't know. Like, very deflective. And... I think for him, grunge is not good at reading stuff. So <laughs> do, you, do you want to roll insight? And then you sure. look at the dice and tell him what he could read behind that? Sure. Because he's sure. grunge. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, 19. That's you, really good. You know that I'm upset. Like, very fucking upset. And it has something to do with Garrick. Oh, is everything okay? I, I know sometimes I cry when I think about uh, how amazing Garrick is too, but... 
Yeah. You, you see, I am like crying. <laughs> Right, it's okay. almost better instead of like actually, like actually crying. It's like I'm actually crying, and I like, go back to the bit. Oh fucking Christ, man! All right, sorry. Keep going, guys. Okay. Um, sorry. What, what was the last thing you said? Uh, are you okay? Sometimes I cry when I think about how amazing Garrick is as well. But but like even though he is under the spell and like thinking about yeah. how much he loves Garrick, uh, yeah. He cares about like fame. Yeah, yeah. As it's, well, it's, and not, it's not legitimately like consuming. not all consuming. Yeah, right? yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I I'm fine. Why would you think I'm not fine? You're crying. Uh, I cry all the time, and it's like ninety nine percent bad. The one percent is when uh, Garrick told me that he was proud of me because he's such an amazing guy that just knows what to say at the right time. Right, make that like ninety eight percent now. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so stupid. What? Everything. What do you mean? Uh, taking back Small Hands playing is like the, one of the best bands. This is like the best night ever. It's the worst night ever. What are you talking about? Why? I don't know. Everything's ruined now. What's ruined? Everything. I like think about. I look over to like where Taryn, where I could maybe see Taryn, or if she's still in here. She? He? Taryn? Taryn? Yeah. He? He's he? Yeah, he? He, 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 he mosh pitted through and yeah. went outside. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Left. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, everyone's I look, gone now. You yeah. you, you would have seen him. You would have seen him kind yeah. of like pushing people yeah, to get out. I look around to see if, uh, if he's still around there. It's like, well, a very incredible author once wrote, they should never. Bottle in your emotions and not talk to people about it. And you're my friend. So you want to talk about it? Yeah. Like outside the bathroom. <laughs> what? We're like outside the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> can we go back into the bathroom? Yeah. You totally can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like, like a shoe away the dwarf yeah. girl. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know, it's because this place is fucking punk that the mirror is just like a bunch of pieces of mirror, kind of looking yeah, like yeah, yeah. uh, there's like uh, all over it. Your, case. Case. your cape, yeah. So you, you really fit the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. well, you have the, the <clears throat> spider climb cape, right? Yeah. Uh, in order to like get away from people, like we, we have to talk on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk up. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, like everyone, like I don't know, like people are in the bathroom just, just, <laughs> just like, upside down. <laughs> So what's going on? <laughs> I, I, um, uh, apparently, um, you guys drank some potion? Oh, that's what it was. What kind of potion? Uh, you said love potion. Yep. Apparently, a love potion. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> that really explains why I have not stopped thinking about Garrett ever since I drank that. <laughs> oh, great, you want you too? What do you mean, me too? I don't know like how like day shift has been, but yeah. like have like we as a group kind of clued into stuff, more or less. I think there have been some interactions. Yeah, yeah. and I was there when like they were like drunk and like and yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. mm. yep, <laughs> yep. Um, so when who was tell, drunk? Uh, when they were drunk at the whiskey tasting. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me know if I should insight like if I like, um, get it when she says that. Roll insight, you say what you want to. Wow. Uh, 21. This guy is rolling like a madman on yeah, these. Jesus it's like insights. being told he's on a love potion. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's like being on... just very hyper aware of your current, hyper aware of your current status. So you're currently like on red physiology. Minotaur, so. yeah. Yeah. yeah, red minotaur. Yeah. Gives you wings. Gives you wings. <laughs> Gives you wings. <laughs> Gives you spectral wings. Yeah. Um, sorry, again, what was the last thing you said? Uh, 
I think you said to me like, oh no, I, I asked like, what do you mean uh, when you said, said Red Griffin? Uh, you two. Oh, right, right, right. Well, then I think as I say like, what do you mean? Like, I also clue in. Right. But I wait for your reply. Never mind. Never mind. You guys like each other like a lot. Like I don't blame you. I like Eric a lot too. Like I actually <laughs> love the guy, but you like like him like in that different way. Um. In that way that like my dad and my mom once upon a time liked it, but then you know after a couple oh, years no. it faded away, and no. then they start taking it out on you. No, no, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Locked in, ladies and gents, and down by an east side, locked in. No. Lady, ladies and gentle thems? Yeah. Um, not, 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 like not like that. Ladies. Not like that at all. Um, oh I... Um, well, would it be weird if I did? I mean, right now, even though I know I'm in a love potion, and I would say, like, no, that's not weird because he's the most amazing guy in the world. No. It's not weird. But again, I could just be saying that because I think he's the most amazing guy in the world, which he very much is. I look over and see where he is, and I look back at you. You're inside a bathroom. Yeah, oh yeah, true. <laughs> in the ceiling. Well, like, inside. I'm still, like, yeah. you know, like, when you're, like, yeah. I don't know, you're smoking weed and you're looking around for cops, like, yeah. it's like, it's like, there? Uh, just happened to be around? Not anymore, like, every Toronto. couple seconds. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore, Toronto. Now it's your more, you look around and there's yeah. a weed shop anywhere yeah. you look around. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's weird. I think you're both so good at what you do. Especially Gary. And I don't know, it's just something magical about you guys. It's because we do magic. Yeah, that's true. And when Garrett does it, man, it's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> you too. You guys should talk about it. Well, I want the best for my best friend. What better person for my best friend than one of my other best friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, grunge. I love you so much. Never change. Uh, so much. Yeah. Um, Once this one, he's crashing hard after all. He's sleeping he's, for... Yeah, he's not waking up tomorrow <laughs> at all. Until noon. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least... I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. That it just what if what if he doesn't feel the same way you and it read ruins this everything. Book. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> read the book. I As the only it. person who, well, I guess, I guess except him that hasn't read the book. I take it. <laughs> These wise words are gonna get you through this. They got me through a lot. Do I know that this book was written by Karen? Yes, Taryn? you do. You told her. Mm-hmm. No, but you you said he Taryn. Oh yeah, no no. Yeah, I think it was a. Like, we all were made away, right? So yeah. much happened yeah. in, in in we're we're what know. thirty or forty something hours of D and D in. Yeah, that's the role play reel, I guess. It's the role play reel. Okay, like, so I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You we talked you talked about this. Okay. One. Yeah. Um, and then I remembered that I kissed Taryn in front of <laughs> Garrett, and then you saw. And my eyes go wide. Oh. Um, and I just leave. I don't say anything to you. I just walk down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, to go. All right. Okay. Yeah. Go. Are you okay? I don't even answer. I just leave. Uh, On the. You should be in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> On... <laughs> There's no gender bathroom. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, they're just, there's just, I'm just I, was, I said something cute, then I'm, there's just piss holes. Uh, <laughs> just piss holes. <laughs> there's just piss holes, right? Yeah. You know? Okay. What a mess. You know? Alright. Uh, Fucking uh, Um. Four advantages. Uh, one to each of, uh, Faye, Garrick, and Grunge because of the love triangle. Uh, <laughs> love, love triangle! triangle. <laughs> and one for Laura for the couple. Oh, oh no! Oh. From who? From Tom. Tom, from Tom. Tom, thank Tom. you. Tom, Tom, Tom. I will forgive you for saying my name wrong after 40 hours of D&D. Oh, 
Oh my it's goodness. Laura. It's a Laura, not a Laura. Oh, I was sorry, I read it. That was written. Yeah, it's okay. Who would have thought in the it's rolling It's actually, world. it's actually pronounced Alara, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. Okay. So, uh, this is the weirdest place for this drama. This is so weird. This is a little weird, but like, I'm glad it's that so we're doing fun, it. Serious though. group? Serious group, guys. I, this is such I day did, crew stuff. I know. Uh, I did not, I did not expect this to go down, <laughs> but it was, it all started because of this guy. <laughs> hey, I want to give you a gift. <laughs> That's yeah. Honestly, guys, that, across yeah. the board, fantastic choice. I was, I was across Matt, the board. Uh, during Jeez. dinner, that I like gave uh, Taryn a gift, and I was just looking at inventory, and I was yeah. like, I had to give him more because like he gave so much death ward, yeah. blah blah blah. He gave me so much, yeah. and like if I had any extra shit, I would give it to him. And I saw the filter of love. <laughs> That's what it is, chat. And I was like, ooh, okay. wouldn't this be fun? <laughs> so, yeah. on the outside, yeah. you guys uh, essentially. Um, it goes, he pops out, you Misty step right, like after him, he's about 10 feet away. You Misty step right next to her and continue on. If you, you see it, you, you clock her, uh, but you just see off to the, like, to the left is uh, just that um, orcish woman who's just kind of like chilling outside, getting some air, um, smoking a pipe. <laughs> you know, it's just trying to understand mechanics and how to play yeah. them. Um, it's okay, I know, I know. It's <laughs> it is weird, yeah. No, it's all good. You know, I think it's the initial pop out. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Playing the doctor again, like after every choice I have. Like she wants me either. He says that out loud, and I think he kind of like takes a step mm -hmm. towards the orc woman, and I think he just starts to slowly walk the other way. Um, you see, Taryn goes to walk up to her. And you see, he kind of pats on her shoulder and just kind of his hands up and says something or whatever. And uh, she kind of like looks like this and is like, and then they start laughing a little bit. And then uh, he gives her some gold uh, and she kind of walks away. And he kind of turns around, he sees you, he's like, so he bottles up to you. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, um, I, I, uh, I, I told her about the potion. Sure. And I realized we probably ruined her night, but I just gave her some coin to, I don't know. Well, well they're playing tomorrow night too, so maybe she can. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. I don't get flyers. I had to uh, memorize the, the, the amount of days based off of the last. It, they live here. They oh, here. I got a lot of time on my That's hands. That's cute. Yeah. Um, yeah, what, what, what was that? I. Um. I know, I know she doesn't like me. Like, yeah. You know? Different, you know, she's like uh, she's like the flowing water. I think the... Alara right now. Yeah. Uh, I think she's She's really not okay right now. Um not because of the kiss. Mm -hmm. But because of what they said. Mm -hmm. And I think um I don't, she, she likes Garrett, and I think oh. she was trying to get him back. Um, Sorry, oh, get him back as in revenge. Yeah. Um, oh, man, grunge. <laughs> he kind of uh, sighs a little bit, and like his, like you can but, hear his heart beating, and it kind of like starts slowing down a bit. I think Alara just starts crying. And just oh. sits down. Oh, oh no, no, oh, oh. He looks around, he's like, uh, and from on top of the, the roof. Um, he called, oh, we'll say it better. Uh, the, the, the owl flies over and he kind of like 
on his uh, gauntlet of his chainmail. He's like, And he kind of writes a piece of paper. Um, and you notice, uh, do, do you look at him do this while you're crying? Uh, he takes the piece of paper that you wrote on, um, that he just assumes is magically enchanted, because how the fuck would an owl have found him, like, just across where the sea is, and uh, writes something. Puts just it, an owl. Yeah, puts it on the thing. <laughs> goes to Nina. What? What was that? Oh, don't worry about it. How? Are you okay? I had to cast a spell to get the owl to go to you. <sighs> She'll be back. Yeah. Um, I will say, obnoxiously though, and uh, the <laughs> um, the uh, Jimothy the seagull pops in. <laughs> All right, Jimothy. I know you speak common. I fuck. I fucking know you speak common. Can you go get the owl? I should. I should have asked you first. Can you bring me? Turns around, he whispers. Okay, got it? Good. All right. Um, are you okay? Uh, I, I asked her if she was all right. Mm -hmm. uh, or I asked her why she, she did that. And um, I, I think she mistook me helping Derek the other day, and she said that I was a slut for doing that. Oh my. Um. So I, I'm just kind of feeling um, down, hurt, I don't know. I, I've never really- um, why, why, why would you be a slut for <laughs> helping Garrick? Uh, uh, I guess it was kind of suggestive. Uh, so? I don't. I didn't think it was that bad. I don't. I don't think she meant it. I think she's just hurt right now. But that doesn't change the fact that what she said wasn't okay. No, of course it's not okay. I. It's, that just uh, it's, that doesn't matter right now. I'm. I'm more worried about you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I was just. I feel bad guys. that you got dragged into all this. We're supposed to be making it up to you, and this is a mess. <laughs> I forgot about that. I know this was a nice time, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Honestly, guys, you're doing a really good following the script I wrote for you. Like, oh my god, like, <laughs> fucking phenomenal. Um, well, you guys got a script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, th so the whole part of the whole roleplay, I realized all scripted except for Gary. <laughs> <laughs> this is just Gary. You think Chris is like yeah. coming up with all these bangers on the fly? <laughs> kind of threw it all off when he had the kidney stone thing. <laughs> like, there's a whole chunk this thing. Yeah. Yep. We actually took one of the day cruise scripts and now they had to re Yeah. Um, it's. It's totally valid. Your friend hurt you. Said a shitty thing about you. She said a th shitty thing to me too. But I know that feeling. I know what it feels like to be mad. To be, to feel like you just want things to, you know? I don't. It's not right. It is not right, but it just means she probably needs a little help. Maybe, maybe someone to forgive her, even without her making it up to you. Maybe try to see how she's feeling. I don't don't do that if you don't feel it. If you, you're, you're hurt, your feelings are so valid. Heck, I'll I'll even fucking do it. I'll bite the bullet. You don't, you don't have to do that. Oh, I want to. Also, I think she still thinks I hate her. So, we're good to patch all the things up. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I really like the seagull. <laughs> do you? Yeah, 
I, I had like a friend with me this entire time. It was like having a dumb little child. You were child. so mad at me for him? I was upset at the situation. It was fucked up. It was like, you know, it was nice. And then I just felt like, you know, I didn't mind. Go to your thing. Save the world. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, um, I think it was a part of me and a part of my fear of abandonment that I didn't work through yet, you know? And you can't put a ship in a bottle. You gotta let the ship sail. It's the line I'm working on for the sequel. Um, it's... It could use work, but it's okay. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, I'm glad you're honest. That's good. I'm always honest with you, yeah. if I can be. Um, I'm still really sorry about the fact that it hurt you. If you go through life, I, I'm just speaking in metaphors now. I, <laughs> yeah, this is how I avoid genuine feelings. Is I. All of them up into metaphors, I throw them in a book instead of dealing with them. And that's, I had a lot of time. That's better. Hmm? Use that. That's better. What I just said? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it wasn't a metaphor. It was directly like if I wasn't going through it. Takes off his inside glasses. Every character's glasses. Crazy. Every character's glasses, yeah. right? Until they take yeah. them off and then they don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like you. I guess blindness, all right. <laughs> um, when he looks at you, he says, That potion? Oh, it doesn't matter how much you drink of it. Normally a potion, like a healing potion, drink the whole thing. You know, Pretty, pretty solid when it comes to like understanding medicine. I've had to help a lot of people with that, right? Um, back where I'm from. Sure. Uh, when I was younger, I was a teenager, my village got just savage. Like, for a while I thought helping people would work and then I set to the sea and just figured if I learned how to bring lightning down, maybe I'd catch a little luck. Maybe I'd catch a little bit of luck one time. But the fact that they split it with me and it still took effect and I tried a little bit of it. What do you mean it took effect? It didn't for me. Because uh, I think I'm already charmed by you. That's fucked up. I'm a half elf. Usually we're good with this shit. I wanted to say that. Um, She'll kiss him. Stunned for a second and then. And you embrace and you kiss. Until. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the. Seagull flies back with the owl, and the seagull drops down with what seems to be like uh, fallen, stolen like street meat food. Oh, I mean, it might be like ice cream or something, but uh, you know what? You're a seagull, um, <laughs> and he's like, "Would you like? Uh, would you like? Uh, would you like a snack?" I figured if people are sad, they need to eat. <laughs> he just looks at you like. And when you when you get up, you're what six two? No, uh, five ten. I five think that's what you said. Yeah, five they're taller than him. He's five nine. He's like, he's like five nine. Yeah. Okay, no, they're basically the same thing. I thought you were like like towering. No, seven. she's five ten. Okay. Every inch counts. Every inch counts, baby. Yes, yeah. for like our height, it's like five ten is like pretty tall, right? Except for you. Speak for yourself, <laughs> damn it. Hmm? Speak for yourself. Are you sure? It doesn't matter. Six foot. Yeah. Anyway, I'm. I see five seven. Um, so he looks at you, and you look at him in hand, and he's like this, and then you just see the seagull that you gave him lands on his shoulder. Oh, that was pretty good. 
<laughs> uh, she'll take the food. Sound effect. She'll take it. Right, nothing's pooping on this cloak. <laughs> take the food? Yeah. Um, we need to fix this. Do you want to talk to Garrick? Or do you want to talk to Fenora? I'll do whichever one you don't want. I'll talk to Faye. All right. Yeah, Garrick for bugs. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. um, you, uh-huh. where are you going to? Um, I think when upon her leaving, yeah, I feel like I probably would know that she wants to go see Garrick. Or... Or just leave? I think I was just leaving. Okay. Yeah, are you are you leaving the establishment or are you just yes. going in? So okay. you're leaving the establishment, okay. You walk by, um, you see the dwarven, now understanding. Yeah. You see the dwarven woman with the mohawk, and you see she has a journal out. Um, and you see she's writing very amazing, vivid drawings. Um, roll a perception check. <laughs> oh, God. Don't do this to me. Uh. Uh, five. Five perception <laughs> check. You just you just see drawings. Nothing like lewd, right? Uh-huh. Like you just see uh-huh. like drawings, but you don't recognize anything particular about the drawings. But a- as you walk by, she like closes the book. It goes like this. Yeah, cool. Yeah, not interested. Uh, have you seen my friend Gary? <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> I know you guys are like, I really wanted to know. <laughs> um, no, it's fine. You ask There's her. There's so much Garrick? going on. We yeah. don't need more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I see um, her looking at she's me. Like, so. uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Sorry, yeah, you don't know who we, uh, big, strong, handsome, uh, the shiniest armor you've ever seen, uh, very competent, uh, good at everything he does, my best friend. Outside? Gotcha, Maybe. thanks. <laughs> uh, as, you would have walked out first, uh, before he came out, so you walk out of the bar, as soon as you walk out of the bar, you see them kissing. Taryn. Taryn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I know that's like a retroactive moment where you're like, fuck, I can't like fuck with the thing, but what do you do? I know, I know you're... Well, you know what? Your conversation was a while, right? In that thing? It was a long time. Yeah. yeah. This... Honestly, guys, I don't yeah, have that much time to memorize timing. the script, so <laughs> let, me, let me go back. Um, Jack, no, no, better he, stage cues, He would have gone off. Uh, you went, you went like away from the bar, right? Yeah, I he, started walking. It wasn't like a fast walk. Yeah. It was like it was like that slow, dejected walk. He clocked your direction, mm-hmm. right? Um, and so he's gonna start moving. He's gonna. You see, essentially, he leaves out to the side, and you walk out, and you you turn around to go back inside, right? Well, I would probably see Faye at the door. No, exactly what I mean is you turn around, yeah. and yeah. damn, you see each other at the door. That's more like it. Ah, yeah. oh, it's yeah. called a workshop in chat. It'll be perfect. I'll we got that. there. I, I, <laughs> so sorry. Seven hours, no combat. <laughs> yeah, burning me out. Baby, sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just upset in the moment, and I took it out on you, because you got in my head right when I was feeling really vulnerable, and I'm just, I didn't mean it at all. She just hugs her. Does Faye get the impression that, like, she actually forgives me, or is just trying to defuse the situation? Don't ask me. You don't know yet. You don't know yet. I just, I, like, I'm unsure, so I just, with the hug, I just do a little, like, pat on the back. Mm Mm-hmm. But, like, something feels different. Yeah. So the thing earlier, because I don't want to leave you guys hanging, I have, uh, I, I, not that I have FOMO, I do have FOMO, but it's like, there's a joke, I'm like, I really want to know. Uh, he wrote Matt French laugh uh, with a timestamp. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, looked, I, I was looked like, really? Me. He was like, yeah. I was like, okay. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, I had to, to, to step in. So. Um, step in that. Okay. Uh, grunge. Actually, yeah, you follow right after. You were, you were, you left right after she did. Um, you walk out, they're hugging. Uh, do I see Eric? No, but you would see Taryn kind of going off. Uh, would I be able to like gauge that Taryn is going to go find 
Garrick. Like, my focus is yeah, on yeah, Garrick. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I would say, looking out here, you don't see Garrick. You see Taryn. You see them hugging. Yeah. Options are talk to them while they're hugging, follow Taryn. You guys are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, you go after Taryn. Uh, he's going to keep, he's kind of, he starts jogging to yeah. try to catch up with uh, Garrick. Uh, do you say something? Do you, do you pick up pace? Yeah, uh, just, yeah, I just follow. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> um, you say, whoa, Garrick, Garrick, hey, 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 buddy. No, 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 just, just, I think last time I saw called to me. Garrick. Oh, I'm, I'm petting Aurelia. Is there a different NPC that said that? No. Got you. I'm petting Aurelia. That's, that's what I'm doing when I do this. Okay, yeah, okay. A little walking. Yeah, Captain. No, you just, you just keep going. Darren, it's fine, man. You don't need to be all formal and stuff. You okay, buddy? Wonderful. It's it's gonna wear off, man. I, I brought, it shouldn't be too long now. You know, it, it can't last more than five hours. Um, I hope not. It's gonna save, then we can bring you to a doctor, but... I tried to get someone that is more of a doctor than me. You'll be, you'll be okay. It doesn't matter. It's all fucked, anyways. Hey, man, I, I, I'm not into like I didn't I didn't appreciate that. Uh, I, I didn't give consent to that uh, moment. No, it's not you. It's not you. He kind of gets up next to you. He was like sort of like walking as you were going. He finishes his jog and he walks next. To you. Oh, one sec. We should probably wait for brunch. As you're like walking over. Yeah. Hey, Grunge. You okay, buddy? <laughs> Garrick. <laughs> uh, he, he just goes like, oh boy. All right. I mean, good for you. Good for you. You know? This is not my stat. No, it's not. We'll work on that, bud. Well. Inia? <laughs> hey man, you look too happy. You need a hug? No, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. I know every time I hug you, I feel amazing after. No, I'm okay. Those couple seconds that we hugged when the Lara died were like... I mean, the Lara thing was fucked up, I was traumatized, but the, like, the two seconds after that we hugged... <laughs> Garrick, you know he's gonna just keep talking yeah, until you hug him, right? Ever. You're just gonna keep talking until you hug him, right? Yeah, I will. Oh, there we watch, go. watch out for Aurelia. Watch out for Aurelia. Oh, <laughs> she jumps down right in front of him. He's like, "Hello, darkness, my old friend." Um, it's okay. It's okay. He's like, "Listen, it doesn't have to be a bird guy versus cat guy thing. We could just, you know, love all the animals." And she goes back to Garrick, understanding that Garrick needs love. And uh, Grunt like crashes as he hugs, and he just like passes yeah. out nakedly after conversation. He just passes down on the floor. Yeah, I like, I like, yeah, I like hug, and then you just you feel it like, go a bit limp, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> red minotaur. I will, I will gently set Grunge on the ground on the pavement. <laughs> Um, he grabs his sort of satchel and put his like satchel puts it under Grunge's head. Yeah. While that's happening, yeah. she lets go. <sighs> I understand why why you said what you said. I really, really didn't mean it. I know it's gonna take a second for me. To get over that, though, because I just don't think I ever expected it from you. And that's what hurt more than anything. I don't give a shit if you think something I did is wrong. But if you want to slut shame me for that, I know you didn't mean it, but like, I just wish... 
If it's something that bothered you, then we should have talked to me about it. Instead of letting it boil over and come out in this way. And I think you owe it not just to me, but to Garrick to talk to him about your feelings. Because I know you want that. At least I know that you care. We love all of each other. We love each other, okay? We love, we love, we all love each other very much as, as friends, but I think that your feelings for him are slightly deeper. I think your feelings for him are slightly deeper, and you know that, I know that, Grunge knows that. Even Grunge. I think Garrick is too up in his own head to see it. And you owe it to both of us to talk it out. So they went that way. We can go over there. But you need to have a conversation with him. Not like right now though, right? We need to make sure we can get them back to the ship. Let them sober up. But you need to talk to him. For me and for him, because what you did tonight was not okay. You also used Taryn. And I'm not. I don't know what hurts worse, the fact that you said something like that to me or the fact that you used the person that I think you know that I care for. You made a lot of stupid decisions tonight, Faye. Like, seems pretty par for the course. <sighs> Listen, I love you. You are like a sister to me at this point. I would do anything for you. You brought me back from the dead. I died. We're never going to lose that. I might be upset with you, Faye. But I'm upset, at, I'm upset at you because I know you can do better. And I'm going to watch you do better. I told him to do better. <laughs> She actually giggles. <laughs> yeah, you really made a mess of things. God, tonight has been messy. Oh, grunge. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a dumb conversation. This episode will be called Oh, Grunge. <laughs> every, every episode will be called Oh, Grunge. It's kind of called Oh, Grunge. Oh, grunge. <laughs> two. No, this episode Crunch, is we're gonna have to Don't have a go con. With Crunch. <laughs> Don't go with Crunch. Don't go with Crunch. Do not go with Crunch. Do not go with Crunch. <laughs> hashtag. We're gonna have we're to making, have. There's gonna be a lot of hashtags. We're hashtag gonna have a go conversation with Crunch. with Crunch about not drinking strange liquids before he knows what they do. Um, so you normally goes like fight. You know things happen. Compress. Adventure. Move. It goes. This felt like combat. <laughs> this was combat. <laughs> this was emotional this combat. This was emotional combat. Oh, yeah, you guys are all getting. XP yeah. um, <laughs> because it was scripted. I scripted yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, this goes you know, party goes to a new place, uh, arrives there, uh, grunge does something, just a series of events, just like snowball effect, uh, hit a wall, and psh, the snow lands. And uh, yeah, hey, last time we drank a special liquid, he so, drank five HP. So I think yeah, at true. this point, we're gonna pop right. out and try to catch up with them so that we can get back to the ship to... You start move. moving towards them and uh, these guys here. Yeah, oh, I, think he's, I think he's good. Yeah. Um, past few weeks, I've had to relive things. And had to face myself. And now I see myself. It's hard, isn't it? And it finally started to seem like I was getting somewhere. And not just getting somewhere. But 
maybe seeing the life I wanted was actually attainable. And that maybe I I wasn't so bad. And that maybe I could be good enough for someone so good. I think I uh, I think I misread that one. No, you didn't. You absolutely did. Number one, you're under the effect of like some charmy stuff, right? But even if it wasn't charm stuff, we're always charmed by something, my friend. And that charm usually is our perception of the things around us. It's our perception of how we view things. Sometimes it's baked and he, he wants to like put his hand like just kind of on his stomach. He like asks for permission. Sometimes right here and it's been right here for fucking years and it doesn't want to leave because that's where it's safe you're a smart guy right it's a lot easier to think about the moment and think about and try to analyze what happened than it is to actually feel them it's not hard sorry it's not easy it's fucking it's fucking hard and progress buddy it, it, it isn't an, an constant streak it's up and down it's messy and it hurts if you're not hurting you're not feeling you're not going anywhere if you're hurting that means something's something good's happening i think that's why when you guys were acting really fucking weird the other day you know you guys are going around going through some serious shit what i fought a fucking stupid spinning top frog guy like that that was the least of our problems my problems anyways. I'm sure it was the least of your problems. <sighs> you don't need to tell me everything. But... He kind of like whispers. Facing your fear is hard. Sometimes if you care about someone, you gotta do it. If I express myself to you, would it make you feel better? Something hard for me to say? I haven't said to anyone yet, not a single person, not any of them. That. Can I express it? Not would it be for me, it wouldn't be. Do you want to? The way I'm getting you guys towards Delrock Spear, I'm using probably the biggest magic I have that I've always, that I've had for a while. That I haven't used since, since the last time I went there. Um, I can, teleport but only to one place a place that I've went to and sort of laid ground with and it's my it's, it's my hometown I'm not going to Pretend to understand how you feel about it. Um, to pretend like I know what that's going to be like exactly. But when we first met, I felt like I did something very similar. Going back to the academy and seeing it in flames. Seeing it left defenseless, I that almost destroyed me. So if you don't want to go back, don't feel like you need to. Last time I went, I was by myself. I don't have to be by myself this time. Everything you got going on there, you don't gotta do that by yourself. Don't want to. And you won't have to. I know, I know there's magical charm effect. Look at this fucking kid. Look at this fucking kid. 
Look how much heart he has. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. See, you see that? You see that innocence right now? You can protect that. I've been trying to. I've been trying to protect all of them. Unsuccessfully with Alara the other day. I've been trying so hard. What happened to Alara? Oh shit. <laughs> she uh his face goes white. Faye brought her back. Two, three seconds. I'm sorry. I, uh, that wasn't mine to tell you. The moment that's been tearing me up the past couple of days. It's not your, it's not your fault. can't take it all. You can just do your best. What when? What about when my best is good enough? What are you going to do? You can't beat up that problem, you're just going to beat yourself up? What the fuck's that going to do? After 16 years, it gets you here. You know why this kid's so talented? He doesn't get it. He doesn't get in his own way. Maybe he does, but he feels. He feels and he goes. He feels and he goes. He goes with grunge. He goes with grunge. I got to see both of you on the same medicine. And you both expressed it very different. That's something wrong with that. I mean, I... That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that was beckon cool. Yeah, I think only one of us made an ass of ourselves tonight, though. No! You all did. <laughs> uh, no. Three of you did. Only three. She kind of looks over to Seagull. Not really for her. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot, though. She look, told me to be better, and I haven't been better. Hey, Garrick, look, look me in the eye. How do you think she kissed me in front of you? I wasn't sure if you're hard to read or if you were generally like. He's not into me, dude. He likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case Jet didn't hear. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure y'all oh, get yeah, information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Huh? Can I can I ask you a question? Do you think you're handsome? No, 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 no. You, 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 that's 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 a no. You, I'm, not, you just... I'm not bad looking. No, look me in the eye. Do you think you're handsome? I can dress up well. I haven't done that in a while. Wow. Wow! 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 That's the saddest fucking answer I've ever heard. You're very handsome, mate. 
hairy fucking hands. Okay? I think you knew that at one point, but you forgot it. It's been a long 16 years, Gavin. Fine. I guess we'll get on a first name basis at some point. Do you have a title? Taryn. Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no title. I haven't had a title in a long time. I'm going to give you a title right now. Garrick Underfist, puncher of assholes. <laughs> Usually I aim for the face. That's good. I'd, I'd, I'd laugh out loud if I don't want to wake the, the little guy. Yeah. Not sure if he would get that joke. The asshole joke? Yeah. Ah, oh, give me more credit. <laughs> Thunderfist is so sick. We can shorten it. We can shorten it. Garrick Thunderfist. I know you do fire mostly, but like, you know, fire, thunder, light. Listen, lightning's my jam, buddy, and when it hits something, it fucking lights on fire. Yeah. At this point, you guys catch up at uh, seeing Grunge lying down on the ground. Uh, is he okay? Yeah, he's he's fine. Are you and okay? Will, yeah, I'm fine. And I'll, I'll pick Grunge up. Does Maybe he I, seem sober yeah. too? Yeah. <laughs> Biggest smile. Does his he face. seem sober to me? Garrick, yeah. I mean, he. I don't think he ever actually got to drink more than like a couple of sips of that ale that he had. Yeah. Um. I think I think she meant the love potion. potion. Oh, I. Hour? Yeah, what's, hour? Yeah, what's, what was it would be done by now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we just did about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just did like an hour and something. We did what? Yeah. We did an hour and 40 minutes of role play uh, <laughs> for it. So we'll say when the role play is. When the t- game time is longer than the actual game role play. Yeah. Um, then yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll meet you guys back at the ship, but. You need to talk. Faye, like, looks at Alara like... <laughs> He's fine. He walks up and grabs Grunge from you. That's my revenge. Bye! <laughs> you like... You see this well. <laughs> you see this like, hold on like a chat. <laughs> this is how as you're like making it, it up to me. Goodbye! As you're pulling him away, there's like a... <laughs> <laughs> he grabs you, he's like... He, he just have a moment where you, you, you kind of look at him and he's just like... His grunge here, he has two birds on his shoulders, and he's just like, and just turns around and starts going towards the ship. Yeah, so we're gonna take, we're gonna head back to the ship and walk ahead of you guys. Okay. Did I see her right now? This this whole scene. Goddamn. Toasty. Pick him. we're doing no 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 um I'm sorry i'm just trying to diffuse the tension um <clears throat> how are you feeling like a million platinum how are you feeling like shit same i thought you said okay um do you ever believe me when i say i'm doing wonderful or feeling great sure if we were on the same page on that one. Are you ever feeling great? Usually, 
feeling pretty okay when I'm uh, standing near you. Uh, I mean, I feel like everybody would be. Um, oh, right, just, yeah, yeah. Because you know, the cleric thing. Well, be, it just, yeah, you know. Because of you people. You know, who, who you are, everything, how nice you are to everybody. Not that nice, apparently. We all have our moments. Seems like some of us more than others. Yeah, I'm not always the greatest. Um, That's not what I meant. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, you do a lot of good. I think maybe you can cut yourself some slack sometimes when you slip up. Happens to the worst of us. Yeah, I just, like... You and Laura are probably the last people in the world I would ever want to hurt. But Ed Grunt, too, of course. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I did anything to him, though. Besides leave him on the ceiling. <laughs> um, he, uh, he ended up here. I'm sure it's fine. Um, Alara's got a pretty good heart, so I'd imagine she... If anything happens, it'll be okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think we patched things up, maybe, but it feels Right now, she did say that I could make it up to her by talking to you about things, though. What's there to talk about, though? Um, I don't know. Did you have anything you wanted to talk about? <laughs> Every time I see you get hurt and go down, it kills me a little inside. It's just, it's hard because it's such a like meta D and D term, you know, it's, mm -hmm. yeah. we don't, we don't, we know what it means, right? Yeah. What does it mean, man? We know what it means you fall on the ground, oh. but you're failing death saving throws, but you can still speak. Oh, interesting. Or it means you're going down, down in an earlier round. <laughs> Every time I see you get hurt or get knocked down, it kills me a little inside. Uh huh. Okay. I want to protect all of you. Right. But I want to protect you the most. Um, I don't know what to say to that. Is it because I'm the cleric? Because <laughs> I care about you, Faye. I care about you a lot. I care about all of you for different reasons, but... Very different for you. I care about you too. The same way or 
care about all the other people who get hurt and they have to take care of. She, um, she just blushes, like, really hard, like, like, just bright red. That is, yes. Takes a step towards you. <laughs> and he takes your hand. It's very sweaty. He doesn't really feel it too much because of the gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> How do you take my hand? Can you still move? Yeah, gauntlets are yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. articulated. Okay. okay. They're not like. Right. It's not mittens. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Or just like you know, grr, or mm-hmm. you know, clenched fists. Yeah, they're just not. They're not fists all the time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing I was wondering how he does. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 that, yeah. So, sorry, please continue. Yes, sorry. That's where Mage Hand really comes in handy. <laughs> We're the serious group. Anyway. I'm sorry, this is just banger after banger. This is awesome. Keep going. I'm going to protect you for as long as you'll let me protect you. I don't really think I need to be protected, but you can protect me if you want. I know you don't need it. It's very apparent. How strong you are. I did beat you at getting that bone devil. Up to the circle after the beauty. You didn't say it was a competition. Oh, well. (laughs) Always a competition. Takes another step closer to you. I don't think there's much distance anymore at this point. Um, we should go back to the ship. Um, she just walks back. He still ship. has your hand. <laughs> um, I'm going to. Spend my superiority die to do bait and switch. What does that mean? Explain to me what you do. Um, as you start to walk away, still holding your hand, he kind of pulls, not really pulls you, just like yanks on you, but like... Pull spins, like... Yeah, it, it's like a, that? it's a, it's a, pulls you in a way to kind of like spin you closer to him, mm-hmm. where like it's almost like a swap places. Mm-hmm. So we basically just. Why am I actually nervous right now? <laughs> um, this, is, this is vulnerable. It's, it's okay. There's nothing wrong. And still holding your hand and putting his hand on your on your waist. He leans in and kisses you. And that's where we're going to take a break, my friends.
school. That's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, uh, before we take a break, yeah. so, um, I get to pick who gets uh, an advantage. Oh, yeah. Players can't hear it, but the music is amazing, so I get to pick. Yay! Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, Jack has been killing it with the music. Thank you so much. Jack, Jack is the best. Jack who, is Night Squad. Who, who did that? Uh, that was Rant. Rant! I would Cute. give the advantage to Garrick. Or yes. Let's go. Yes, Ooh. so well deserved. So well deserved. Hell yeah. Listen, we might take a lot of twists and turns, but at the end of the day, we're a serious group. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, that sure started. We're weird. gonna come back in about uh, what's that? Let's make it. Let's make it a quick five. We'll take one final break for the end of the night. Uh, we mm. only have three hours and Fuck. seventeen minutes. <laughs> what have we left. done? We have I'm not done role playing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What you gonna do? Uh, no. Uh, guys, we're gonna take a break. Uh, you guys start now. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta do a bit of a recap. Um, it's really it's really have fun with that one. Yeah. <laughs> a little uh, AC going. You know what? You guys have your notes for the other players. It's gonna be mostly events and stuff. For uh, People people no. can come and watch. No, no you have no, to do a recap. Have, yeah. You can't. Leave. Okay. Let me know when. Uh, where did we leave off? That's the one thing with these recaps is where did I leave off? Uh, just before, just after we took the, uh, we were about to like. I haven't recapped since the start of this session, guys. Oh, yeah. I did, I did recap. I think you it was, it was the, the file of love. Oh twice. my god. You did okay. Twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, I, I can't recap an entire fucking dangerous liaison style. You know, Shakespearean comedy. Um, all right. You're all good. You guys left during the opening band. Oh, wow. Oh man, internet. Uh, that was uh, basically Dangerous Liaisons and, I don't know, Gilmore Girls, the D&D game. That was very fun. What happened uh, last we left off on the recap, the number is down here uh, because that's how YouTube works. Um, our party went to see a, a rock show that Grunge was really interested in uh, to bring Taryn, uh, their sort of ship captain, friend, um, Tempest cleric of Galbu, um, to be, basically say sorry for the time that they, well, kind of fired him uh, and left on some odd terms. And uh, as they got there, uh, they got some drinks at the bar, Grunge pulled out a filter of love, a magical potion that charms a person to essentially be charmed by the next person they see if they are attracted to that person's vibe. Um, Taryn, kind of not sure what this was, threw his away. Grunge saw Garrick and was oddly enamored by Garrick. Garrick saw uh, some uh, one bar patron and was enamored by her, chased after her. A slew of events happened, uh, uh, leading Garrick to be rejected, leading... Um, in order to be jealous of this situation, not knowing uh, that uh, Garrick was under the effects of the spell, uh, Taryn went up to Alara asking her and basically telling her a little bit of what happened. She messaged Garrick, letting him know that he was under the effect of a spell, uh, which he was conflicted about because intellectually he knew he knew what was going on, but he was still under this effect. Um, and so. Fenora, jealous at this situation, went up to Taryn, kissed him in front of Garrick. Uh, Taryn left. Alara was upset with Fenora. Um, Alara left, had a conversation with Taryn. Uh, they, they patched things up, had a little smooch. Um, Grunge ran out uh, trying to find uh, Garrick. Um, afterwards, uh, Taryn told Alara that, you know, maybe she should try to forgive Fenora, even though she said, you know, some pretty awful things to Lara earlier. And so Taryn went after to find Garrick and to make him feel better while she went to see uh, Fenora. They had a scene, patch things up a little bit, who knows, we'll find out in the future. Um, and <laughs> Grunge fell asleep as Taryn talked to Garrick and tried to make him feel better, but tried to also make him understand um, that Fenora didn't actually kiss him because she liked him, she kissed him to make Garrick feel jealous. Afterwards, the group all caught up together. Uh, Taryn, a sleeping baby grunge, and Alara went back to the ship. 
Garrick and um, Feynora had a little bit of a moment in the scene where they told each other they liked each other and had a kiss. That was the most, um, that was the most, what, what? Avoidant. That was the most avoidant sort of, no, the whole thing was very, what's the word? It was very cute. Go watch it. Uh, it was some really cool role playing and I'll catch you after for some action. All right, here we go. My best to catch every detail. I missed a few of them. Which means you know this is Felrosia, but this is Felrosia on legendkeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those. And the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without legendkeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? Legendkeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your legend keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your legend keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the roleplay relay even happening. We see the star-spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this. We came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you propose to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. <laughs> and I don't like those big deals <laughs> that sneak up on you. You guys think you just break in here into this fort and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do it then, bruv. I fucking dare you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could ride on your back. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. It's so stupid. <laughs> This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes, so how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties, but you can just call me Twerk, and I am one of the players playing the eldritch knight fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing d and I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War of Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game. 
and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet. Stay cheeky, folks. Mwah. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching the Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild.
You're watching the Roleplay Relay, which means you know this is Felrosia. But this is Felrosia on LegendKeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those. And the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without LegendKeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? LegendKeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your legend keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your legend keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the roleplay relay even happening. We see the star-spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this. We came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you propose to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. <laughs> and I don't like those big deals <laughs> that sneak up on you. You guys think you just break in here into this fort and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do it then, bruv. I fucking dare you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could ride on your back. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> so stupid. This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes, so how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, a 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties, but you can just call me Twerk, and I am one of the players playing the Eldritch Knight Fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing d and I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet stay cheeky folks Mwah. Hey guys, 
what is up welcome back to my channel holly wolf here and you're watching wolf of the wild wolf of the wild wolf of the wild Dungeons and Dragons, everyone. This is uh, this is roleplay relay. We got about another three hours left, and uh, that was some pretty intense stuff. That Shit. was some pretty intense yeah. stuff, guys. Wow. Oh. I will say that kind of roleplay is not easy, in you know, not easy to. I yeah. thought we were playing a dating simulator. Yeah. I do always say that D and D is just not? a dating simulator. Dating yeah, it really is, though. So, yeah. It's yeah. the way for you to flirt with your friends. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It really is. It What's is. the point of D and D unless you can flirt with your friends? Yeah. Yeah. Or make puns, like the, the two the two things, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so for the purpose of time, you, uh, this beautiful moment between uh, Fenora and Garrick happens. With, with Aurelia on, <laughs> Cat Aurelia on yep. Garrick's shoulders. Cat Aurelia on. We uh, left during the opening act, I would like to point out. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Graduating the sea, taking mm -hmm. back small hand. Wow. Yeah, no, yeah, you guys didn't see the band. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! No, I did say that like they played my favorite song here so last time. Yeah. Song. So oh, they, so they, they did play. It. It. Yeah, they made oh shit! Sure. He, he had a couple. Grunge canonized. The band actually went on. So last time I did play. Grunge was the only one who saw the band then. Uh, yeah. Taren, 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 <laughs> Taren yeah, didn't actually the get to see. Pit. Yeah, oh, Taren didn't actually get to see the band. He was moshing. It's okay. He was moshing something else. Uh, he was moshing. Yeah. Something else. <laughs> um, so as a group, uh, you gather back and uh, you're staying in the ship. Uh, the ship is docked, um, you get to, you know, relax and sleep in the ship, mm -hmm. and uh, you get a long rest. Um, which, <laughs> thank fucking god for yeah. Terran. Terran. <laughs> spent, you want to know how many spell slots well, he spent? Also, yes. please. So. I'm not going to say what numbers, I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, wow. 7, 8. Wow. Um, Man, I respect it. His long distance When we get back to the ship? Yeah. She drops polymorph on the ship or in or inside the ship. It's in a dock area that has like other boats and stuff. Um, inside because Aurelia is small enough that she would fit. Yeah, yeah, she's the size of you guys. Yeah. So she drops it. This thing I do that happens as a DM when you say you take a long rest for the next day and the player's like, no, we're not. We're still at this point, and I'm just like, that happens all the time. That happens all the time. Well, we have things we want to role play and do. This is the role play relay. It's not, it's not the, the fight all the time. You know what, guys? Yeah. I will say this is my revenge for, for death. Yes, this is your revenge for death yeah. yesterday. Yeah. You're all traumatized and you don't want to get into combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're level 11. You're we want to love I, each other. Entirety yeah. of level I want to get into combat. No, I know you do. I thought it was a Kraken. How about instead of fighting, we go to concerts? <laughs> We have emotional battles. That's honestly, we've, get, we've had emotional, spot, like, like, emotional well, battles. Well, to be fair, I yeah. threw the bone, and yeah. uh, you grabbed it and sprinted 400 meters. Another right. bone was thrown tonight. Cannibal corpses, bones of Um, Never, never. Uh, so you uh, Are drop polymorph? guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> this gross-ass protein yeah, shake. It's awful. Uh, guys, I need my, need my vitamins. Okay, well, right. Fine, fine. I won't drink this on stream, but gross is you. Some I will have girl D's. dinner, though. Girl, mm. girl dinner. You're drinking water, right? Come yes. Hi, That's drink. not water. Uh, Sparkling water. That's not the same. You need to drink straight water. Spicy no, I, I only drink gay water. <laughs> water Malone. Water Malone. Water Malone. Water Malone. Okay, so um, you drop Polymorph, uh, and he goes like, 
Whoa! Is that her? Yeah, this is Aurelia. Wow, and she... I feel like it just, like, crushes Garrett because he didn't know it was coming. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, fuck. Uh, she immediately curls up into a ball and falls asleep on your back. <laughs> Uh, like that. I, um, I will, I will misty step, just like uh, out from underneath her. You catch her as you misty step. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'm not going like far. It's just more like a. Uh, she, she'd fall on the ground. She'd yeah, fall, like uh, I don't know. It's a cha- it's just changing of positions, but I feel like you know he doesn't have any good support on her. Yeah, because you already used your bait and switch for a <laughs> sweet kit, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> you know the rule. If they're sleeping on you, you're not allowed to move. Yeah. Well, That's you know, it's it's. He's gonna, he's I'm gonna get a misty step every time my cat tries to fall asleep on me when I'm doing work. Just misty step out the room. And Garrick's gonna sleep, no. like, with Aurelia. Mm-hmm. You know, make sure she's comfortable. Of course. But also that he can sleep and that he's comfortable too. So, uh, yeah, it's just like misty, misty step. step drop to... her down, she lies in a ball, and you can, like, lie on the ground and then use her as a pillow. Yeah. She's big, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what he's gonna You'll see Garrick, yeah. Yeah. Cute. He's he's virtual <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't got, go with grunge. Hashtag don't, don't go with grunch. grunch. Hashtag don't, don't go, go with grunge, grunch today. Uh, <laughs> he's got that smile on his face after like you know, after you kiss someone you really like. He's got that smile on his like <laughs> You all see this. Yeah. Yeah. Not me. Um Yeah, not grunge. <laughs> Taryn like is like wow, that's very it's very sweet. Um oh Leave a lot of you to your privacy, and I'll go, uh, you know, gaze at the stars or something. Um, yeah, uh, first, first, Percy's gonna go go put grunge in a little <laughs> pot, <laughs> and it, he puts grunge in, like in a little ball, like like you know. Yeah. Um, I love you, Derek. <laughs> I don't want to make it seem like I'm following you, but I I want to look at the stars. So I, I'm gonna. You can just follow me. You don't have to. Yeah, come. Okay. Uh, just one second. Let's go to a hammock. <laughs> This one feels a lot better. Yeah. Uh, he goes upstairs and kind of lies out on the deck. Start looking at him. And then you just, you just hear like, as he starts falling asleep, uh, you see the, the owl kind of like lands and just perches on his stomach. Cute. And right on his forehead is uh, Jimothy the seagull just kind of perches on his forehead. He just kind of goes like, <laughs> and puts him right on his chest. So he's got owl and bird there and just kind of goes like... He would have he would have taken off his armor at some point and just been in like the, the cloth underneath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, falls asleep. Did you do anything before you go to bed? Just stars. Just gaze at the stars, do you think? Right, you all get that long... accidentally falls asleep up there too. Yeah, amazing. You accidentally fall asleep up there. You get the long rest that I spoke of like seven minutes ago. Um, and uh, you wake up. Wait. We made it quick. Well, wait. We made it wait. quick. Kind of. To be fair, all the evidence is here that it's you guys. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Um, yeah. When I do wake up, though, one, I have to cast my... Yeah, yeah, you wake up. You... It's just one for all of them now, right? What do you mean? One uh, casting of Anime Dead to recontrol everyone, I believe. No, you... It, so, part of having all these creatures is... You do lose the spell slots according, right? So if you have nine I creatures, see. it's so third level. I think it's two for you. Yeah. So it's like uh, you have nine creatures. I think three at fourth level. Is that it? Uh, it is two additional. Two additional. Yeah. So four total. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do three. Th- How many you have? You have uh, to do math. Now. You can do four. One, Here's the three. thing, if let's say let's say you cast anime dead at third level yeah. and you only have one left to animate, you just animate that one. Otherwise it deanimates and just flops down as a body. I see. Right. Uh, so part of I it, Necromancers, y'all, part of it is like calculating the amount of spell slots you gotta spend every day to do that, right? Mm-hmm. And being like, Oh, do I just wanna use a third or something or a fourth? I don't know if you have a fourth yet. 
I do. You do, you do. If you want to use a fourth, do four. Use your second fourth, do four. It's up to you, right? But um, yeah, you do get less of those spell slots the more undead you have. Yeah, I'll do the math. But uh, yeah, when Grunge does wake up, uh, he just seems stretched and he's just like, oh, I feel like shit. Oh my god, last night was the best night ever, eh? You see, are you awake yet? You think you're going to wake up first? Oh, yeah. You, you, yep. You wake up, you see her in a hammock, you see him just like... You see one of my favorite bands. Got oh, no, two. sorry, I meant I'd be up first. You'd be up first, yeah, you're yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, Garrick, is he sleeping or is he up? He's Guys, we can't roll like through the whole morning too yeah, much, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'd, say, I'd say he's up. He's yeah, up. Okay. I'd say he's up. Yeah. Um, amazing. Wearing a red polo shirt, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, think some people, I think some people get that. Uh, I can't remember exactly which show did it, but there was it was like an episode where oh it was Parks and Rec with Ron the night after Ron Swanson got laid. Uh, he wore a red polo shirt in honor of like Tiger Woods. Cause Is he's he was going around like this? Good. Yeah, he was just like super happy. He's not actually in a red polo shirt, but Garrett's That's just so like funny. he's got that vibe. Not like. Super happy with it, you know. Mm. Uh, it, it's it's happening today. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Just uh, reasserting control after 24 hours. It's up to four creatures per one use. You're just reasserting control? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. This use of spell reasserts control for up to four creatures if yeah, you have animated with this spell rather than anima animating a new one. Oh, sick. Cool. Yeah. Yep, I didn't know that. So I use uh, less to. Uh, the spell going. has about seven paragraphs. Uh, yeah. Two <laughs> words. Yeah. It's like, yeah, no, do you. Perfect. So do the um, the okay, so. Uh, you wake up at the deck by yourself. You look around a moment, and you see Taryn kind of coming back up the, the, the plank. It seems like a bag full of like, bread and food and croissants and breakfast and stuff. Um, and he kind of like drops it down. He's like, got everyone snacks uh, for the journey. Um, and he kind of like, like puts his head aside. Oh, wake up, everybody. It's time to eat and go. We're up. We're awake. It's a good morning. It's a good morning. Yeah. Faye right. has like a smile, but like, yeah. is it making eye contact? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, um, we talked about it briefly, but mostly I think it was through this, the, the messaging. Oh, our plan was to fly over to the Don Smithy. All right, Don Smithy first, then Fisherman's Point second. Yeah. Fisherman's Grove? Yeah, Fisherman's Grove second. When he says that, Fisherman's Grove. Village I grew up. I can take you guys back there. That's the only way I can get across the continent. That's where you grew up? Yeah. Um, how old does he look? 35. He's a half elf. Yeah. I'm 24. Yeah. 11 years older than me. Would I recognize him at all? Go ahead and set check. <laughs> <laughs> All these Dancing. days later, I was hanging out, yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. It's hard to tell, like, he, he looks like he could be from there. It was it was a small-ish village, but it was still sizable enough that, like, you quite quite an age gap, right? Yeah, also I was young, yeah. so, yeah. like, but just might not the religion? Sorry? Like, the religion? Yeah. Makes sense? You know? Right. Like where you guys are from? Yeah. He's like, yeah. I haven't been in uh, over a year. Um, Wait, you've been back? Yeah. Since? Yeah. Wait a second. Um, what do you mean I've been back? That's where I was born. Explains why I don't see a lot of people of our faith, doesn't it? There's not much many left of us. To be honest, I just assumed it was a coincidence. I didn't think anyone was left. Are there more of us?
Yeah. What? Yeah, there are. Where? Some there, some fled. Uh, I swore it would come back one day when I had more help. Um, after the village fell, you know, some people left, some people stayed, and some roving creatures and bandits sort of took over the town. And, um, one of them just had this monstrosity that he kind of used to rule and put terror over the people there in the I uh, got scared. So I I found the old orphanage. And he, there's one of them. There, and I sanctified it so that I could. I found the old orphanage and I sanctified it so either I got stronger or I found some people that could help. I, I, I'd go back one day, and not that I. Let's go. Are you sure? I mean, I haven't been back since it happened, but. I have to go back. When do you need to be to the Don Smithy by? Eight days is when we told a couple of dwarves. Okay, eight days. You said you guys wanted to go to Del Rogue Spear? There's someone doing something real bad in that area. Right. If we go to Fisherman's Grove, I'll go with you to Del Rogue Spear. Okay. It's gonna be dangerous. If, if you want me to come with you, I don't want to cramp your style. The last time, uh, no, you don't please. Felt <laughs> like you guys wanted to do your own thing. I always oh, oh, so strong. Come. You're so strong, Grunge. Mm -hmm. Grunge, what do you do? What? You cast magic. What's your What's your style of magic? Cool style. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cool beans. Can I yeah. make a check um, to see whether or not it's safe for Grunge to be honest about it? Uh, uh, what, are you, are you, what are you trying? Are you trying to insight check him? Yeah. Like, yeah. would he be okay with it? Real insight check. The DC is high just because there's, he's not giving any indication or yeah. has said anything. Yeah. This is my last advantage. Yeah. Okay. can't tell. He doesn't know. He's just like, okay. Because you never really cast... What did you cast around? You cast, like, Ray of Sickness, and this was, yeah. like, level 7. And I guess he okay. hasn't... Has he seen my zombies? No, I put them in the portal before we met up with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you didn't... Uh, yeah, he hasn't seen your zombies. He hasn't seen Ghost yeah. Malone. But I, in general, I think we would know that necromancy isn't that yeah. popularly practiced. No, of course. And there is a bit of taboo with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, We've had talks. Yeah, which is I think why like grunge knee jerk defense would be like, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> cool magic. Cool magic. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Taryn, does it sound like a uh, we're teleporting into kind of a I don't want to say dangerous situation, but to, just to, to our, our village is basically. Are Sorry. you saying you want to go to the? To, to your town first? I thought we were going to Dawnsmith. See, that's, I, I don't want to change up your plans. I just, I, I didn't are know you we coming with us no matter what, or are you only I'm coming with you no matter what, of course. I'm not in a rush to go do this, right? It's up to you what you want to do. I don't know what's going on at Del Roque Spirit. I, think, I don't I know think if you've ever seen there. and we made a promise, and I keep my promises. What? As long as you're coming no matter what, I'm happy. Yeah, mm -hmm. whatever you guys want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Huh? 
Oh, uh, nothing. He's actually happy today. You look very, I was going to say, he looks very happy today. Uh, Aurelia is a great pillow. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got decent sleep. Um, yeah, if, if we want to do Smithy first and then to y'all's hometown, then we can absolutely do that. But if we think that is wherever the priority is. So. I think we should stick to the plan. Yeah, we came all this way. Okay. 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 All right. But like, last once again, went. once again, I, I don't mean to crack your style on you. No, oh, not, at all. not at all. Please, you have been nothing but lovely. Yeah. We'd love to have you. And I mean that just as a friend. I know. Don't worry. Okay, just checking. That's, I don't. Let's break the ice here. That was the most awkward kiss I've ever had in my life. That was terrible. Oh. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, grunge. <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> so, uh, the plan That's is... That's the episode title. <laughs> no, grunge. Oh, grunge. Uh, um, these two have the capabilities to fly, and so the plan is oh, to... Okay. Yeah. We fly to the Don Smithy today. All right, um with Aurelia as well. You can fly and like, okay, you can fly. Well, how do you fly? What do you, how many people can you fly with? I'll take, I'll be taking you and, and Grunge. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I, no, I thought, I like going on the broom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, I, I like Grunge, the broom Grunge, I can't, I can't take him and, no. and they're too grunge. big. Grunge, yeah, yeah, we're, we're clad in That armor. sounds so bad. <laughs> Uh, I did not mean it like that. No, it's. Oh my god. Taryn looks to grunge and he's like. I think Alara just yeah. sinks into the. Gr oh, you know what? No, Alara turns into a giant swan. Yeah, I'm like, well, when grunge, if you're with me, then um, we can we can do a bit of like a book like a book talk, like you know you know oh, like yeah, a yeah, book yeah, discussion, cool. like yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, and then he looks back and then she's a giant swan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so do we get on the back, or do we just like ride on on like the legs? I, I, I don't. Jack is laughing. We get Jack to crack. I love when we get Jack to laugh. We get Jack to crack. <laughs> Jack to crack. Um. All right, they jump on. Uh, so you're gonna start flying. Uh, yeah. How long can you fly for? That's the main thing. Shua, shua. So. Flying will actually make it, like, depending on how long you can fly, you'll save a lot of time. I know your broom, you can just I'm pretty sure going, it's going. like a couple of hours. It's like four, I think. Uh, but you can expend two uses of wild shape? Yeah, five hours now. Five hours? Wow. wow. All right, That's I'm awesome. going to say you can do ten hours, and then it would be going exhaustion, right? Yeah, well, then I would have to short rest to get them back or exhaust myself. Yeah. Cool. And then I will obviously tell Aurelia and Draconic, like, hey, it's time to fly. You want to fly with us? Uh, you notice this morning now. Mm -hmm. um, you were felt a little bit more up when she's already grown a little bit. Um, do we think it's a good idea to have her fly in where people can see? It's not like we're flying over too many towns. I honestly don't think there's much between here and Dawn. Is there? Maybe. That's true. There's like not much. Maybe a few small villages and stuff, but. Okay. Gonna do. She asks before she turns into a giant swan. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So you get up and start flying. Yep. All right. You, sword in the sky, fly to a whole day of flying travel, land, take a long rest. Next morning, same thing. Back up. If you need to change your spells going into this, cool. go ahead right now as you soar all the way back up. I need 16 spells now. Yeah, I like, I, out, out of curiosity, when it's two of us on the broomstick, what's the seating arrangement? That's not, that's not a me question. I know it's not a you question. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's my broom. I understand it's your broom. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm not just saying. 
Um, Faye takes the front. Like, no one else can drive the group. Yeah. I'm able to see. Yeah, well, you know, grunge was in the front, the battle against the goblin. That's, yeah. that's, that's all. I was just. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so as you guys bound to in love on the. Uh, what? Magic room, <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Just right. Garrick naked, like. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got the reference. Uh, um. Second day of travel, you start arriving to. Uh, I need. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call this a history check. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be like. Because mm -hmm. you're about to hit a huge mountain range, a huge shifting mountain range. So if you know anything about like where to find uh, an entrance towards these places. History. Nat twenty. Yeah. Nat twenty. Wait. Yeah. Sorry. What check? History check. Oh, I've read about these. Oh, I have advantage. Hey. hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Ten for me. God damn. The boys are back. Yeah, the boys are back in both, town. Both of us got natural twenties. Yeah, nice. like, yeah. Can I get one of you guys? Both natural twenties? Yeah. Twenty-eight. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, that's gonna. Uh, Twenty-five. Oh, that's gonna weirdly speed hard, this so. up so much. Um, Speed's the name of the game, baby. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. You guys, you guys uh, find a button, you press it, and uh, the emperor dies. Uh, oh. No. Whew. We won. Look, wait, look. I'm not we saying can. Garrick knows how to press. Oh, no, I'm not being sarcastic to you guys. I'm just. <gasps> did that, did that <gasps> register on Mike? Yeah. <laughs> he ripped his pants. Don't. Don't even dare. Don't even dare. Don't even dare. <laughs> Gotta time Do it. Up that one. Do it, Jack. Do it. Do it, Jack. Do it, Jack. Do it, Jack. Do it, Jack. Do it. Not even Jack listens to me, guys. God damn it! All right. <laughs> Don't you it's not his job to listen to you. How many? How many diamonds? How many? How much diamonds do you guys have? Two seventy. Two seventy, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Are we in town? Like, are we? Is the Don the Don Smithy is like a whole dwarven it's a subterranean village, right? City. Like city, yeah. Buried in rubble. So finding an entrance is. And it's abandoned, right? It's it's not currently abandoned. Okay. But okay. you know there are lots of dwarves that have gone back attempting to dig it out and uh -huh. deal with it. Big question. Yeah. Before we left, knowing that they had only a couple of diamonds, could they have gone somewhere in town like a jeweler's and see if they could buy like all of their stuff? Well, um, I need an investigation check. I have managed. Yeah. This My is to this managed. is to see if you can possibly try to find a place without killing time, uh, and to see it's a little bit of luck check too to see if they would have something like that. You know. Um, Investigation. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, uh, oh, I thought my investigation was better. Seventeen. Advantage? Yeah. You have it. Sight base. Uh, that is a... This is you going around to every rock you see, just trying to see if they're diamonds and stores <laughs> and pawn shops. Um, 23 for, for grunge. In this port city, you would find a merchant that has diamonds. Yeah. Um, but for every 10, like for every, I'd say 50 gold of diamonds, he charges 150. 150 gold? Which, yep. How many do we need for the? We just need 30, right? For Revivify? Because we, yeah. but yeah. you see he has them in little gems and he'll only sell them in like 50 grams each. Yeah, we only need 30 more for Revivify, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so 150 is 150? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Is that, will, is that what and you get, saying? Yeah, you get 50. For You give 150 gold, he gives you 50 gold worth of diamonds. Deal. Okay. I'm marking uh, it It's off. marked up I'm like crazy because it's a very rare resource. That Sorry, is Chad. Okay. I don't want to see us die, but... It's okay. You just killed two of them. <laughs> wow. Or you kill the player. <laughs> Here, you just kill But don't listen to me. Ah. What do I know about D&D? &D? Um, any. Um, math. I don't feel like... I hope I didn't make chat mad. I'm going to be like, disadvantage everything. Okay. Alright, so let's say you did that before, and you arrive uh, with natural 20 history checks on this side of the table. Yeah. Uh, you would know that um, you basically see what seems to be the tip of a giant sort of... Just the tip? <laughs> just, just, like just, just the tip of it? We're the serious group, guys. Yeah, everybody, shh. Serious faces. <laughs> you, motherfuckers. You all fall. 
Okay. You basically see like what seems to be the end or the top. <laughs> not even better. Not better. <laughs> no, it's just funny because you're like, well, I'm not gonna say that word. <laughs> and you made it worse. <laughs> oh my God! Please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. <laughs> no, he's ripping up all the like our artifact upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you fly, I'll say this before, just, you know, if I can't get you to do anything. Um, you, the, the, the lake that was at this dock, across from that is the closest you've been to home for a while. That's something that as you sort of like start flying out, you Shit. get this feeling behind you, right? And over two days of travel, you arrive and you see the tip. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Go over it? Yeah, no? I mean, if we need okay. to go over it, we'll go over it, but... Um, of what seems to be like a huge structure buried into a mountain. It's almost like mountains just smashed around each other, and this was like, I don't know if it's just like the top part that was ripped off, mm -hmm. which means you're in the right area. Yeah. Uh, you would know to find sort of any sort of little cavernous entrance the best you can. It'd be hard to... You pretty good at finding that entrance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> we'll never make it. <laughs> Cavern entrances. Mm -hmm. There'd be a serious. <laughs> Is everything pussy to you, twerk? <laughs> huh? Is everything just the minge? Huh? Yeah, it's the right mindset. <sighs> hey, anything can be pussy if you really, really, really believe. Exactly. What I'm saying. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for the relay. <laughs> Back to <throw> yours. <laughs> Come on, jack us off. <laughs> just the tip, though, please. Uh, <laughs> he's just put on clothes. <laughs> he's gonna kill us all. Mm -hmm. Luckily, though, you knew a bit about the dance, and you know that where you found like great statues. Uh, Proper entrances and cavern systems is really. <laughs> he just wrote, Is everything pussy to you? <laughs> what a great time stamp. Yeah. Do you know it's all nerdy? He's like, No, what the hell? I'll be like, Yeah, I'm tricks back. Like, <laughs> the halfway point. We're having fun here. We're having fun here. We're having fun here, guys. That's all that matters. Okay. Uh, where you'd find large statues yeah. and entrances nearby would lead to proper caverns that don't like turn into cave mm -hmm. That's what you've heard. Yeah. Uh, you do flying over this initial thing see like the mountains go up and down. There's like uh, canyons and stuff, and you do see one statue. And you guys all like go down to get closer as you you know while spooning. Um, it's not like a total spoon, yeah. but at the same time when you go like, shh, he's just like. Oh, no. Guys, you can do the awkward role play with each other. You don't need to do that to me. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Uh, you, you go down and you do see there seems to be like, um, like, t like torch lights in the ground. Mm -hmm. And you do see a few like dwarves in and around sort of guarding this entrance. Mm. Um, you see dwarven individuals clad in like uh, stone and plate armor, shields, and uh, like huge war hammers on their back. Um... Do we land before... What's your flying speed? That's a swan. It's a swan. It's a swan. Uh, 80 feet. Along oh, Swanson. 80? 80 feet. Oh. Okay, well you get there... No. Wait. Oh, I get it. 10 feet on land and then flying 80 feet. Yep. Um, wow. Just kind of waddle on land and you can fly fast. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Um, so she would be, no, she would be slow, she would slow down to stay next to you guys at all times. Okay. But other okay. way. Um, before, before we land, can Cray kind of give, do you like a look like, slow down a little farther? To her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're doing the look like this, you know, as you're like flying. <laughs> as you're like on the broom, like wind's hitting your hair. <laughs> the subtle awkward thing, you try to do it, you're like, like, um, yeah. She'll land. She'll land? Mm. How far away from this entrance and these doors do you want to land? Um, pretty, like, 100 meters. 200 okay. meters. Right. I, I sure, know. yeah. Yeah. 10 meters? What, I, I'm just, American, an American said meters to me. I was like, oh, I thought you guys use yards and stuff. Wait, so you use meters, but you don't use kilometers? 
No, we don't use meters. I'm being polite. Oh. <laughs> oh. She doesn't know what that means. But all right. I do, kind of. <laughs> it's a yard-ish. So. That's a fast red height. 100 meters. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like a couple hundred feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple hundred feet. It's like yeah. 200. Yeah, we would. Feet I don't want to be like right there. Yeah, we're close enough. Feet. Yeah, you, you land. Uh, do you uh, un unpolymorph? I unpolymorph and I cast. I cast. Uh, uh, you unwild un shape. Sorry. Unwild shape, and then I cast uh, polymorph. On. By now, both okay. uses of your wild, wild shape would be used. By this part of the day. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. This would be like far into the second day of travel. Well, uh, just we're gonna land a little farther back. Yep. You guys are land a little farther farther back? Okay. Yeah. Right. And with hopefully some privacy or maybe What are you? Awkwardly staring at us. Yeah. Um she's gonna just like really shyly and quickly kiss you and at the same time cast death form on you. Spalso. Also I'd like to imagine that when she when she lets go of her well shape, yeah. that he's just like Around her still. Sure, absolutely. And it's just like, yeah. You wanna, you wanna look him. But also, grunge is on, his on, back. Grunge is on him. <laughs> on his back, it's grunge. No. It's like, it's like, um, I will in a second. I just grunge. I need you to, I need you to let go. Stop farting. All right. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> I hate flying. <laughs> uh, I think uh, uh, Garrick is just like, well, just like stunned. I just walk away. <laughs> uh, so he takes a moment, kind of like adjusts himself, and it's like, all right, <sighs> good flying. Was it actually good flying? Good flying. Uh, that's up. That's up. That's up to Garrick, I guess. <laughs> Great flying. I mean, I mean, it's been two days. Just kind of like, I guess, like. Canoodling, I guess, a little bit. Who gives a shit about the flying quality? <laughs> um. <laughs> Canoodling. The same man that, like, every everything was a dick joke. He's like, I could just spend a little bit of time canoodling. It's Yeah, anywho, we're, we're, we're meeting up with everybody. Hey, you, you catch up to everybody. Yeah. Um, and it is darker at this point. It is. It is probably into the evening. Well, um, we uh, we don't have our kind of uh, I guess dwarven escort tour guides that we were yeah. kind of planning on having, but we just want to walk on Do up. Do we not learn their names? I don't know. <laughs> Do we ever? Learn I would hope we did if dwarf if Feynora <laughs> promised. Uh, something, but also I know that's not on. Hey, Nora, what are their names? One second. Don't um. be unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> not to be nosy, but I'm looking at these notes and it's just dwarves. Dwarves said this. Oh, no. Dwarves to be them. honest, Nerdy told me they never learned their names. Oh, okay. So if you got nothing from me in my notes, that's fair. No, that means you never learned their names. Just the guys. The guys. All right. So I guess we'll go around looking for the guys. <laughs> well, they wouldn't be here right no, now. They no, they would it's, it's still be so. a few days because it was eight days when we left. Um, uh, small, it was nine, small hand. Nine days when we left. Or? Well, it was. Oh, eight days when we left small hand. Yeah, 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 yeah eight yeah. days when we left small hand, so now it's six days till we agreed to meet them here. Wait, it still took two days to get over there? I thought it was two days by, like, walking. Hmm? Wait, I'm confused. You said it, I thought it was two days to get from small hand to, um, the Dawn Smithy walking? I don't make any sense if it's just two days. It'd be like three, three and a half. It's like, uh, so two days I don't by know, guys. Uh, let's see. Because flying's was, a lot faster. This yeah, let's see. Four days to mag like this. Yeah, we'll say, we'll say, honestly, we'll say you got there the next morning, one use of watch it. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so... You would have to stop to rest anyways. That's fine. So, yeah. So, day and a half. So I'd say it'd, it'd be it'd be two days by horse, uh, or, or ram, or something okay. that can move mm -hmm. up. Maybe we should hours. leave them some kind of note or sign that we got here. So, rather than getting there in the evening, we got there in the morning. Uh, the Grunge could cast send in. You just met them. I haven't prepared today. Okay. Um, well, uh, 
maybe they'll get here and the problem will be fixed, and they'll know we were here. Taren has been sending them. Hmm? He's never met them, though. He's never met them. Uh, yeah. Okay, so they look like this. <laughs> Your hands? Just open the... <laughs> Grunge. He can't do mind meld, I can. Why don't we just go talk to those dwarves? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's do that. that. Okay. We can do yeah. that. Um, <laughs> it's like 30 dwarves. I feel I'm like so a DMPC you. right now. I'm just going to shut up and let you guys do your no, thing. You're good. Uh, Garrett's uh, gonna thank like, you, Taryn. Kind of like, shh. I'm going to shut up and do, do your thing. We'll snap a little bit from being like on, like not stretching for like a day and a half. They're like, all right, let's see what's going on. And then you'll start walking up towards the dwarves unless anyone has any objections to anything. I'm not gonna like totally force it, but. Okay, oh, it's a door? Uh, to the dwarves oh. that are guarding. Got it. Um, I, I approach the dwarves. You approach the dwarves. At the good mall, bro. No. Um, <laughs> Hello! 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 Hello, Gabla! Hello! Sworn your shoes. <laughs> Alright. Um, he's like, he looks at you guys, like you see a dwarf with just like a, a, lo- a big scraggly beard. Yeah. Uh, eyes looks at you like he hasn't so much. Hey, whoa! Good morning. Uh, what are you doing in these parts? Uh, we're actually here to help. We met a couple of dwarves in our travels who mentioned some issues with the Great Forge and requested help. And so, um,. We came here to help, hopefully to help with the uh, Great Forge issues. Who are you? We are Death and Divine. <laughs> Does he say that, like, proudly, or, like... It's not, like, it's more just, like... We're a mercenary ma- group. Matter of fact. So, oh. why, why would, I mean, I, it sounds nice, but why would you want to help us? We've been, a lot of people come up, up here, and, you know, lots of help that was sent up here, just kind of... It's rough. It's rough. It's rough in these parts. It's it's been a rough time for a lot of us for 16 years, and I oh. think it's time that we all help each other get up and put the world right. Roll a group persuasion check. It's group persuasion. Okay, it's not just me. Please. Who got the nat 20? Me. You? Uh, 10. Dirty 20. I had to figure out this was a 6 or a 9. Dirty 20. Dirty. What do you say on a nat 20? Um, I'm curious if they would recognize the symbol of my god. Um, this guy, with your insight, this guy hasn't really himself. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm a cleric, actually. Um, not like the preachy kind, so if you don't follow cool. my religion, it's totally cool. I get it. It's I'm a cool player. <laughs> what they said. Um, and um, well, we, we met a couple of, uh, of dwarves on our journeys while we were helping out um, some other folk. The orcs in, in May, actually. Oh. Um, there were some food supply issues, and, and so we, we helped fix that. Never mind. I had side thought, and then not a good idea. Um. <laughs> Show them the bone poison. <laughs> <laughs> Grumps goes like this with the hand. <laughs> the, the no, hand. I was gonna say poison. I was, I was gonna say show them asshole. Oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we always could. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's maybe not. Yeah. Do you? Not. Do I? I haven't used this I don't, yet. I don't. I say, cast message I don't and I'm like, no, 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 uh, I, I don't mm-hmm. suggest it. Mm-hmm. If you did, I, I wouldn't be mad about it, but anyway. Um, and uh, anyway, they said that you were having some issues here and we just, we, we really wanted to help. We're trying to um, get the world back to what it was. Or somewhere better. 
you know, I uh, felt quite alone out here for a very long time. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm a wee peckish right now. Oh, fuck. All right, follow me. You, you need some jerky? All the time. Thank you, lad. Yeah. And he takes a big bite, and he brings you through uh, a cavernous area. He lights a torch as you go in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like, it's a beautiful stone, sort of, it's, it's not just a cavern. The cavern area sort of turns into a beautiful stone passageway. You walk for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, until you go and you see these, a drop that goes kilometers, sorry, like a mile down. <laughs> What's that? Ah, it's, it's like 2.2 .2 kilometers, really. Oh, so Commercial rate's pretty easy, I don't know why. Weird, who do you say? Yeah. Time with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're coming back to Canada again. They said they were nice in Canada. <laughs> Actually, you're kind of fucking real. Um, Goddamn Quebecois. Quebec. So, um, and there are essentially like intertwining, like, floors everywhere. And he kind of goes over and, right, let's see, this works and like, pulls on something, and you see a pulley system starts as this big sort of cart. Not, yeah, like a stone mm -hmm. cart flies up. Come on in. Um, I'll bring you to uh, our lot and uh, see if what you can do. Maybe we can get you to, I don't know, uh, do some digging. What's your specialty? What's your, what's your specialty? And he kind of hits a thing. He doesn't know who you are. He doesn't know what Death Divine does. Sure. Yeah, uh, you start going down. What, can you explain to us what's wrong with the forge? Is there a dragon out here or a cat? Cat, I, I, I said this morning. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, cat on the shoulder right now. I, we are, uh, Do you need, you need towels, don't you? <gasps> There's a wee bit crack in the towel, please. Uh, it's okay. If you don't mind, lad, I love you. Uh, happens to the best of us. Love you, Hot Jack. Hashtag Hot Jack. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag Hot Jack. What, 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 what are you saying? Uh, we are. <laughs> We're good at handling problems, whether it be of a uh, physical nature or magical nature. Okay. Uh, okay. Fire. We're pretty good with fire, which is kind of wait, guy. wait. You, you you like make your magical. You do fire. You do stuff like that. I do. I do a little bit, and then I will because like we're trying to like show that we can hopefully help with their great forge not being lit problem. Thank you, lot. Um, um, you just see Garrick's gauntlet. Like inside kind of inside like him. Just uh, as to the genuineness of. Letting them assist, that they aren't just bringing them because they don't. Roll you know what I mean? Yeah, roll inside, keep going, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the gongs just kind of like flicker up with blue flame, you know, mm -hmm. just to like show like there's fire and it's kind of magical in nature. Okay. Uh, he sees that and he's like, oh, so what? Hoping we can potentially help. That's fucking cool, I like that. Yeah. Good for you. Um, yeah, uh, sure. How strong are you? We're uh, we're pretty strong. Okay. Um, I'll bring you to see. Uh, I'll bring you to see. Um, Do you have a chief leader? I'll bring you back. President. Trying to trying to. We haven't seen magic like this in a long time. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll, I'll bring you to see the king. Okay. Yeah. Uh. That's a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven? No, he just didn't know who you were. Yeah. You, you, you were, you were so genuine. And he was like, "Oh my God, someone's here to help us." Mm -hmm. There, this is like a, a relief effort to a certain. So you don't know what's going on here too much. You heard like very base details about a great forge. Um, Would I know who this king is? Uh, I have an idea who he is. Roll a history check. Can I also? I, I may have read yes. something. He's eighteen. Fifteen. So. Who was on your edge? Oh yeah, King. King. <laughs> King. Colrad. Blazefort. King Colrad Blazefort. Yep. That's an that's a Kickstarter name, isn't it? Nope. Just made it up right now. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Sorry. Randy. What was it again? King Colrad, Blazefort. Hey, you know what? Not too late. 
Well, that's probably spelled Coles and C O A L. Knocked right? out like three of them yesterday, so I'll save some for Nerdy and then uh, kill them all on the last day, I think. Yeah, this is an easy. This is an easy job. All right. Super easy. I was making you make believe. What's up? Did you say something, Chris? I thought I heard Matt. Um, I was kind of hoping with my persuasion check that uh, something to do with the orcs would trigger something, maybe? Um, I feel like I heard something about an alliance. Between the orcs and, and the dwarves? the dwarves, and the orcs wanting us to go here because they make good weapons. Oh, good. I think. I'm you not you want to start sure. forging an alliance between them. I, th I think I yeah, remember yeah, yeah. hearing that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're good. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they don't know that. The orcs give you that information. Okay. Yeah. The, or the orcs might have given that information to the dwarves who are traveling up to. Got They're it. not here yet. Got yeah. It. yeah, you can bring that up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To King, Colrad Blazeford. Okay. We fast forward down, you move through these halls. Uh, you see, like, in, in the, like, as you're going down this thing, there are bits of lava like pouring through certain parts of the cavern. But this is it's very, very like warm in here, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you do see sort of as it like hits up an area, you, you see this great sort of hall. There's a bunch of dwarves like moving, mining, and you move through different. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, your magical dark vision, and you do see like. Um, she also does it to not freak out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are deep underground. Um, you do see a subterranean. Hand on your shoulders, we move through this stuff too. That's just a little way to cover. A subterranean. Uh, sorry. Um, you do see like a, in the subterranean area, like uh, you're moving through this big hall, and the ground looks like there's different be uh, types of mineral and steel carved into different um, sort of uh, patterns. It's beautiful. There's statues everywhere, built into the walls, and you do see one uh, one gentleman. Um, uh, what seems to be like uh, an older dwarf man, uh, big bushy beard, like bald, bald with like a little crow's nest hair. Uh, he doesn't have a crown on his head per se, but he has like, um, uh, on his shoulder there is like a spike that sticks out, and you would know that's kind of like, it's like an ornate sort of thing on his shoulder and his shoulder, uh, uh, shoulder pad, mm -hmm. and you know this was a symbol of like the king of, um, of, of, of the dwarven society, right? Mm -hmm. And this specific king in this Don Smithy. Or, self-proclaimed king, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Uh, but you would have heard about this one. This is the king that's been, trying to bring his people back here um, after the Tectonicum, after they lost it. Got you, okay. um, And you do see him, he's surrounded by different uh, different people. They're kind of talking, they're on a table, kind of looking, and they have like this little battle plan going like on. like a war table? Uh, it looks more like uh, a map. Sure. Like there's no like other moving pieces on it. They're just kind of looking for ruts and stuff. Uh, you approach, and um, this uh, dwarven fellow that you're talking to kind of goes up to him and is like, uh, Oh, um, your, 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 your highness, um, and he turns like, yeah, don't call me that. I haven't been a king for 16 years. Goes, no, you're still a king. He's like, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Just call me Cora. Hey, who are you? Oh, it's interesting to see not our kind here. We've come a long way. Yeah. Um, well, we've actually just come from uh, May. Oh. Very lonely. Fun? Yeah. 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 Um, we're due to get some shipments of food from them soon. Oh, they're a little late, fortunately. We, we, sh we helped fix that issue. There was some interference with their food supply shipments, and we corrected that. And who are, are you lot? Won't you we are, we're deaf and divine. Deaf and divine. Deaf and divine, that's quite metal. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> are you, are uh, we're, you, are, we're are a you mercenary. Oh, mercenary. Mercenary. Okay, I thought you were like a band or something. No. Some, some would say. Cool, white. <laughs> so we are we're a group whose main focus is to help put the world right. Nice. From where it was and has been. Maybe was, make it better. I was in band once. It was called Judas Cleric. Good oh. band. Mm -hmm. So, um... Fucking love that. Okay. Well, Your Highness, we heard we actually met a couple of dwarves while we were in Mag oh. who kind of requested our help here at the Dawn Smithy. Are they coming here? They are, but we kinda we were moved a little bit faster than what they, they did. look like. Ooh, I described to him the dwarves that we spent multiple days traveling with. <laughs> oh um, But are they lovers? They were. Ah hey, that's Kelrick and Bulmadir. Yeah, that's right, Kelric and Bulbadir. We knew that. Remind me after this to write these names down. Please. Dwarves. 
We're just gonna write gay dwarves. Dwarf. Listen, there's a severe lack of LGBTQ representation for a table full of bees. Um, yeah. Um, Kelric as in K E L R I C? Uh, yes. Uh, K E L R I C, Balmadir, B A L M A D E R E. Balmadir? Balmadir. Yeah, I'm gonna spell that later. Oh, that's good. No, they're, uh, they're, they're travelers, merchants. Uh, they're kind of good at uh, locating things and. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be here in, I think, about six days' time. Great, um, great. But they didn't like, say much to you guys. They're, they're usually quite, quite quiet. They were pretty quiet, but, uh, you know, this one here, uh, pointing to Faye, has a way with people, and they opened up to her and requested um, help for the uh, Great Forge. You see the Dwarven soldier who you natural 20 on earlier uh, was like, was like, hey, it's true, it's true, my leash. So we... we I'm we, so sorry, Scott, as mm -hmm. my Scott's at home. We, uh, we came here to help with the, the lighting of the Great Forge issues that y'all seem to... Be we, we heard that. How, uh, I mean, if you're strong and you, you think you can kill big creatures, that's all nice, but I don't know how we're going to light the forge. Well, what seems to be the issue with it? It's, you can't just use regular flame, you need something powerful and, you know, we haven't had magic in these parts for a long, long time. It's all in the hands of the fucking dragonborn. Sure. Um, is, what kind of area are we in right now? Uh, you're in a large, the, the, it's probably about... 150 feet high. Perfect. It's and maybe like 200 feet wide. This is a huge open space and hall. It's almost gonna be kind of like an Iron Man way of doing it, but just uh, he'll just kind of like throw his cloak back a little bit, and yeah. his gauntlets will flare up and ignite, and he'll okay. shoot two fire bolts, two blue fire bolts <laughs> into the sky. Whoa! Um, that was just kind yeah. of hold it back a little bit, but I I'm mean, hoping can help with that. I mean, it's worth a shot. But it comes to what is, uh, if, if you kill the mind, I think clearing the clear, clearing the forage might be nice. Uh, I can I can turn things to rubble fast. I, it's hard to describe. It's a uh, me and of many many appendages, feet Dark. like a huge sort of insect. Oh, uh, it's got stingers. It's got. Uh, it's hard to tell. Lurks in the darkness and stares at you with one big yellow eye. A yellow eye? One big yellow eye. Uh huh. Yeah. Large, massive, you'd say? I'm pretty big, yeah. Yeah. It's taken a lot of my men, so we kind of. We've kind of closed off the area to the cavern, the passage towards there, but. We can open it up for you if you like. I think we'd be happy to help. All right. I, I need a little bit of a short rest, preferably. Yeah, check it, on that. you take a short rest easily yeah. with, with this, like if you're in a space here. Yeah. Uh, after that short rest, he is going to, for the purpose of time, start moving you towards the cavern. He's bringing uh, roughly about 15 uh, miners mm -hmm. uh, slash soldiers, soldiers equipped with like mining uh, tools. You'd think he'd want to bring adults. <laughs> it's only fair because I made that joke in session one. Um, Remember Kevin, guys? Kevin. Rest in peace. Yeah, Kevin. Let me rest in peace. Oh, okay. What? Wait, what? No, guys, what the hell? It was Here's a joke. about uh, day shift? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking day shift, man. Uh, as we go, I do want Don't to eat that, kind Kevin. of like inquire, <laughs> inquire with the king about <laughs> the current state of affairs. Yeah. Um, and kind of what their plans are moving forward. Also, I guess, personally, what Garrick knows, what does he know about the relationship between the dwarves and the Empire? Hates them? Fucking hates them. Fucking hates them. One of the Fantastic. first things the Bugbear Emperor did, you know this, mm -hmm. was sack the Dawn Smithy. He okay. sacked where the, be the best weapons out of the world came from. To, okay. From the society, from the society that literally put common into the fucking world, mm -hmm. he sacked the, This is, you don't have to roll for this shit. Yeah, this yeah. is common knowledge. I just this sure is the society that literally brought language and culture throughout the world. You're speaking Dwarven, dude. You're speaking right. his language, his original language, right? Um, as um, we move along, then I want to inform him of some of the political updates. Yeah. Primarily with the the outcry for war from the Orcs of Mag. The Orcs against, of Mag? Against the Empire due to treachery. 
on the supply issues. Are you going to tell issues. them about Asseldaxi? Yes. Uh, the Killed Goblin it. General of Killed Symbol. Asseldaxi. Asseldaxi. I fucking hate that cunt. Yeah, Good, she's, she's dead. She's dead now. Good. We killed her. Um, we helped King Wanna Harry. <laughs> what? Wanna see? <laughs> Wait, you have, a, you have a painting or something? I open a little portal <laughs> and, I, and I command it to like act like a corpse. Yeah. And then I like pull out the corpse of Asseldaxi. You should have her dead body like that. What the fuck happened to her armor? It, it, it like melted into her skin. It was a tough fight. That's so fucking rad. metal. <laughs> so fucking sick. Oh. Your band was what again? Judas hmm? Clare? What? Judas Clare? Judas, Judas Clare, man. man. Yeah. Pretty sick. Yeah. It is, uh, also Dwarvish. Do, are you familiar with the Bad Religion Check? Bad Religion Check? I love Bad Religion Check. So good. Who's that supposed to be? Bad Religion? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of, um, have you heard of one of our, fav- our most famous songs, Powered Painkiller? Mm. Yeah. I like this guy. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Your armor looks like shit. If you can get my force started, I will give you the best armor you've ever had in your life. How does that sound, lad? I'll make it myself. You have yourself Put a my deal. entire asshole into it. Wow. How does that sound? Entire asshole. You got Boom. it. Okay, and then they start, uh, they, they move you through these, these halls as you have this conversation. They start <laughs> digging it out. It does take a little bit. So what's going to happen is very simple. Um, uh, we're going to start creating a, little bit, a wee bit of a, a fail safe in case you do come back and we see the creature come. We're going to re- recollapse the cave and run like hell. Fair. Us dwarfs. Yeah. Natural sprinters. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> you all pass through because I don't want to keep doing this accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And they just kind of look at you like, and you just look at each other, like, like these guys are fucks. Um, <laughs> you move through the halls and you start seeing like pit, bits like lava flowing through like a canal system. Um, the best example I have is, you know, uh, the city of Bumi in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah. They have like a system where they move mail and stuff, but it's all sort of so lava sick. that moves everywhere. Um, and you can see like there's an ancient abandoned sort of home, uh, broken down, and the lava like went under. It's what a lot of the home um, and this cavern starts getting less and less warm as you start seeing less lava mm-hmm. uh, you move through another area where it's almost like the lava stops into just molten rock on the ground and it isn't flowing much anymore you keep walking about say an hour down this, these caverns an hour and a half mm-hmm. until you see a great open area in pitch black Mm-hmm. Woo-hoo! Peace out, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am... Oh, okay, okay. It's time. To dance with me. Bless you. Bless. Elders bless. Bless. There you go. He's sorting through the maps, folks. But did you know, instead of maps, you can get some nice, sick, beautiful This dice combat is sponsored by, by Misty Mountain, Mountain Gaming. Gaming. I hope we win. <laughs> Not only do we have giveaways every day for Misty Mountain Gaming, but also if you use code, code ROLEPLAYRELAY, you get 15% off your order. So go to MistyMountainGaming.com now and roll a natural 20. Did you actually roll a natural 20? No, it's a 16. Oh. Don't be a shoehorn. Get your dice at Misty Mountain Gaming. Seconds. Also tell them to make more liquid cores so that they can put them on the website. <laughs> I yeah. would like more. More colorways, more types. Save one for me. So yeah, now that you're listening to us. <laughs> now that you're listening. Yeah. Is it now that you're listening to us? Yeah. Uh, we have requests. This is cool. Also, uh, Legend Keeper. Great way to keep your lore as you world build like fucking crazy for a seven day long, 24 hours a day D&D extravaganza. Brown, brown. Brown, brown. Brown. Legend Keeper. Killing it. Killing Keep it. that legend safe. Oh, wait, do that again. <laughs> wait, which part? Say legend keeper. Legend keeper. This part looks... <laughs> this part right Keep here. Keep those legends safe. <laughs> Julie, do the, uh, do the thing. Um, I am... 
I don't have anything prepared, but I am I'm, I'm ready to cast something as soon as danger approaches. Okay, I'm just going to use this. All right, Jack, you can get us on the map. I'm going to add a little something. We're just doing a little, a wee bit of a modification. A little modification. Right. Look at that, folks. We got ourselves some lava. Um, there is just no. We're gonna say there's just no loot in the center here. There's no like treasure, but you do see this will represent a large sort of forge-like area. Okay. As you move through here, uh, it is dark for a while until you see some light off in the distance. As there is, and the light is very dim coming from this lava. Mm -hmm. Right, just a very dim light happening here. I'm gonna put you guys. Uh, let's go right here. Definitely leading the way. I am not. <laughs> no, it's always you two in the front, I know. Usually, um, before for competition, but now I'm holding hands. Um, is no, this good? We're not holding hands. Is this hands. good? Um, this is good for you guys? You also need a, a thing for Taryn. 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 And also, oh, Abby. Yeah, Taryn's here. That's Taryn. Uh, yeah, if I put that there, there everyone's going to think it's fine. Also, I, I don't know what to do with Aurelia if we should just like have her wait. Further back in the cave, I mean, she is like a wormling dragon. I don't want her to get hurt. Oh fuck! You need skellies, eh? I need skellies. How many? How many skellies? Uh, one, zombs? two, three, four, five, six zombs and three skellies. Well, you would probably have taken them out, right? Yeah, yeah. Once we like got in, like out of the sight of like civilians, I would have opened my portal. Portable hole. A portable, portable hole. I think we all of us have those. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 look of disappointment and confusion on your face. I love you so much. Not from you. <laughs> what do you mean not from her? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're like you were my safety, my safety net. That was uh, surprising. I'm being corrupted. <laughs> We're supposed to destroy the Sith, All right. not join them. Uh, <laughs> how many skellies? How, how uh, appropriate for this one? Oh, right. Cool. How many skellies and how many? Sorry? Uh, three six and, and six. three. Six and three? Yeah. Six on. Oh, sorry, three skellies skills. is three, and then, yeah. Yeah, I wish we could, like, fight with a really Although, one of the, one of the zombies is, is, um, is uh, uh, Axel Dexy. Haley Killiam. Haley Killiam. Perfect. It would be nice to have, like, your stat block and everything. Like, well, at least she can fly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can fly. A dragon. We have a dragon. She's on your back right now. Um, well, it's been a... She might have to drop It's been a couple of hours, though. So, how long does Polymorph last? Because, yeah, and also, like... She, what, she literally cast it right I'm gonna before I'm going to use this, this one here yeah. as uh, Taryn. Taryn's going to be up here, too. Cool. Um, so, I feel like once... Kind of like similar with like as soon as as soon as yeah we were alone that she would drop polymorph yeah. so that she wouldn't have to exactly uh, waste spells because who knows what kind of shit storm we're about to fucking get into uh, one two three four we also need a dragon five, one two would like to well, yeah your baby dragon yeah wow, so many minis guys so you know what we're gonna do minis. guys we're gonna take our last break of the evening uh -huh. I'm, set up. I'm yeah. gonna pee and finish setting up. Chat, I should have done this before, but it's okay. We're gonna get into it very soon. Um, it is 3.15, we'll be back. Be back in the chairs in six minutes at 3.20, and then we're going right into it. And when okay. you get back, immediately just roll addition. All right, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna roll uh, it now. Just take a second. Yeah. I'll do a recap. Which means you know this is Felrosia, but this is Felrosia on legendkeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those and the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without legendkeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? Legendkeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your Legend Keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your Legend Keeper. Legend Keeper also has
It's an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the role play relay even happening. We see the star spangled void of space as you see a ship zip through it. Nice to meet you. I am captain of the Hot Potato. We are a trucking company to serve all of your trucking needs. Hello, my name is Whiskers. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you this, we came to you at peace, being wrong, at peace. And you propose to us to dance your pony show with one leg? This is a big deal. It may seem like a small deal, but if you keep on putting enough small deals together, you get a big deal. <laughs> and I don't like those big deals <laughs> that sneak up on you. You guys think you just break in here into this fort and do whatever the fuck you want? Hey, a lot of shit comes in and out, all right? A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do it then, bruv. I fucking dare you. Do it. Apologies, gentlemen. Uh, I was caught in the moment. Hey, what's a bag of holding? To my knowledge, uh, all bags hold things. If heaven is a fucking spaceship, I'm going to be real pissed off right now. Maybe one day I could ride on your back. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. It's so stupid. This is not a fun place right now, and I feel like I need a good meal and a cigarette and a sleep. I like to do some business. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I become. I do not understand why it is a funny joke. Who's laughing? All right, you guys are like some pretty super dudes, so how about this? Oh, howdy, everybody. I am Twerkules, a 2016, the Greek god of twerking, the lord of jiggly booties, but you can just call me Twerk, and I am one of the players playing the Eldritch Knight Fighter, Garrick. But when I'm not playing d and I am a variety gaming content creator on Twitch and YouTube, focusing on first playthroughs of RPGs, Soulsborne games, roguelikes. I'm talking God of War Ragnarok. I'm talking Elden Ring, Hades. I love these games so much. But right now, my main focus is on the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. I'm loving it. It's a great game. It's a wonderful community. And I'm living my best cat boy dreams as a sprout in the wonderful world of Eorzea. But on top of that, I'm also doing cinematic trailer reactions for the game and taking a little bit of a deep dive into the development history of the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you here and also elsewhere on the internet stay cheeky folks Mwah. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here, and you're watching The Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild. Wolf of the Wild.
You're watching the Roleplay Relay, which means you know this is Felrosia. But this is Felrosia on LegendKeeper.com. You see the pins on the map? You can click on those. And the page to that specific location opens up, revealing to you the lore and information of your world. This is the perfect tool for a DM, or in the case of the Roleplay Relay, two DMs that need to share a world and improvise and pass information back and forth. It is not hyperbolic to say this stream is not possible without LegendKeeper.com. It's why we are so grateful to have them as a sponsor for the stream. There are other uses though. It's not just TTRPGs. Are you writing a book? Do you want to keep track of all the intricate backstories of your characters and where they happened? LegendKeeper.com. Are you bad at remembering where your friends or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, where you met them, what they like, what they're allergic to? It is quite possible that your legend keeper could save Brad's life because Brad is allergic to peanuts and you need to not bring Reese's Pieces to his birthday party. Think of Brad and write about him in your legend keeper. Legend Keeper also has an incredible Discord that you can go to for advice or just to build a community around world building. It also is easily shareable and you can create a public version of your world to share with your players that has little DM secrets that's private just for yourself. I am so grateful to Legend Keeper. It is so wonderful to work with them and it is so wonderful that they exist because without them, I don't know that this would happen. So go to legendkeeper.com, try it out for yourself as a little thank you for the roleplay relay even happening. We see the star spangled void of space as you see You arrive, group. We're gonna dive right back in into the Great Forge area. You, uh, a lot of you, look at this army of people here. We've got a baby yeah. dragon, we've got an army, skeleton army. We've got an ally in a Terran, uh, the cleric. You hear the bubbling in the magma as crawling out of it is this strange skittering horror. Mirror image. As this creature pops oh, up. Mirror image. You can absolutely cast Dear. mirror image. There, no, God. Um, if we're gonna, yeah. What's it made of? Uh, you see its what? carapace, the magma flies off of it. It's really hard to yeah, tell. Yeah, are we doing like a preparation round? Or nope. Roll like, initiative. We're about to, oh, I I've got like, all four of our initiatives. I just don't have for Taren. our side. Taryn uh, and Taryn is... Taryn's a five. Taryn's a five. Uh, I'd say he's a ten. Aurelia is going to be a seven. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Plus, she gets one sec. She gets uh, a nine. Uh, the creature is going to be a natural one. Ooh! Wow. Yeah. Off to a great start. Um, okay, okay, okay. All right, so top of our initiative is going to be Faye and Nora for whenever we are ready to get this shit going on the road. I already know what I'm doing. Perfect. So whenever Matt's ready. All right, uh, Faye and Nora, you are up. You see this creature kind of pop out. Um, as you see it, Perfect. No, you're good. Go ahead. I'm going to cast Dispel Evil and Good. Dispel Ooh. Evil and Good. What does it do? Shimmering energy surrounds and protects you from fey, undead, and creatures originating from beyond the material plane. For the duration, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead have a disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Is that a saving throw? Sorry? Nope. No, they just, they just have That's disadvantage. So. Sorry, what are the, te- the creature types? One more time, please. Celestials, yeah. elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Okay. Nice. All right, perfect. And that's an action? That's my action. Brilliant. Uh, bonus action, Shillelagh on my quarterstaff. Yes. You've, uh, Shillelagh, what's next? We're going to be moving, guys. Alara is next. Alara is next. Who's on deck? Uh, Grunt will be on deck. Okay. Um, Alara, this thing looks like it came out of fire, right? Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Um... Sorry, she is going to cast um, Ice Storm. Ooh. Ice Storm. All right. Nice. Uh, what is that? Saving throw? Um, yeah. All right. Uh, how big is it? Uh, 20 foot radius, 40 foot high, all creatures within that. That's filthy. All right. Uh, yeah. You said, sorry, uh, con save? Uh, cold damage. It doesn't, I'm assuming it's a con save. All right. Or sorry, dex save. I'm so sorry. Dex save. All right. That is a seven on the dex save. Does not make it. So it does. 
Yeah. Amazing. We'll kill the right. dinosaurs. You uh, start. Yes. Oh my god. You start. You summon down. Uh, you oh, summon oh, okay. Down it's 2d8 bludgeoning and 4d6 cold damage. Okay, that makes more sense. You're all good. Okay, so um, this ice storm, what does this do anything else? Um, one round difficult terrain. So until my next one round. round difficult terrain. All right. I'm going to say. So I'm gonna say what it's gonna do because uh, the parts in there that is lava mm -hmm. will not be difficult terrain, but it will make it so you can pass through that passage as your ice goes down and cools the rock enough. It's gonna be hot, but it's not gonna be melting your boots. Like it's not gonna be like making like melting through your boots Six. and like destroying your feet. Yeah. How much damage? Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, cold and bludgeoning. Yep. Amazing. Fantastic. Uh, the do you, do you want them separated out? Or does it not matter? Nope, doesn't matter. You're good. Cool, cool. Um, you're all good. Is that your turn? Yep. Anything else? Um, no, I think that's it from her. Cool. Grunge is next. Grunge, you're up. Um, can I do a bit of uh, either Arcana or Insight to see like what kind of being this is? Yeah, go for it. Uh, also included in like this anal analysis is like visually, audio-wise, what, what he's got going on or what it's hey, no going on. Go for it. Oh, uh, at least inspiration. The one that you gave me a while back. Yep. Two threes. Uh, that is, uh, sorry, Arcana or which? Uh, Arcana, yep. Uh, that's a 12. 12. It's extremely hard to tell, especially at a first glance like this, like as a free action sort of thing. Uh, this creature is not something you've ever heard of or read of before. I will say the one thing I'll point out is it has a big old yellow eye, sure. uh, and it's creepy looking, like things you've seen okay. recently. Uh, I'm gonna cast blindness deafness on it. Okay. Mm. Helped us in the past, yeah. Right. Uh, constitution. Con, yeah. Go for it. Uh, give me a sec, guys. Alright, cost is the same. Uh, that's 22? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to get uh, Abby to fly up to. Right, like in and around it to, to give me the help action for future things, I guess. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then my skellies. I'm going to keep my fortification here, but my skellies are going to fire off short bows. Okay. Nice. Uh, <laughs> this is a volley. <laughs> I love this so much. Yeah, they're little armies. Fester, Jack Blight, Adam Lazarus, go! <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna fire off uh, a couple of these. Uh, short bow plus. Uh, oh, twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six. That hits absolutely. Uh, I'll just roll all the attack rolls first. Uh, yes. Uh, twenty-five um, to hit. Yeah, these of course. These are strong. And in that one. No. Uh, so that is going to be... So two of them hit, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nine damage, nine piercing on one, magic piercing. Okay. And then uh, 14 magical piercing on the other. Uh, wow. For two arrows? Two arrows, yeah. Nine and... Nine and 14? Uh, 14, yeah. All right. Nine yeah. 14. That's 23. These guys are not bad now. No. Oh. Uh, and then I'll, I'll stay put. Is it 9 and 14? 9 and 14 piercing, and they have magical properties. You're all good. To um, okay, so, uh, that's your turn. Who's next? It's me. All right. Um, how big is this thing? Huge. Uh, sorry, uh, what's the height of it? About 19 feet. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say it's, it's taller than it is wide. I'm going to say about 20 feet tall. 20 feet tall. Okay, yeah. cool. I just want to make sure I understood. Because uh, ideally, I don't want to do anything too crazy. I want to try and get on it to do my attacks. Okay. Are you trying to, like, misty stuff up there? No. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Uh, that's why I'm like, I don't want to, like, use it yet. Yeah, misty step on top of it. 
Uh, okay, just give me a sec. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Messy stuff on top of that. Very easily feeling that butt. Yeah. Could I have said, um, uh, when I get Abby to distract, it's help on the next attack? Yep. Like, supporting him, since I know he's always after me. Because <laughs> I'm so bad on initiative. Sure. <laughs> hey. Bestie. Do you think on the butt? Like so uh, I need you to make a strength saving throw to see if you can grapple on. And this is going to burn your reaction. Cool. Okay. Strength saving throw, it's a 19. 19. Yeah, you make on it. But it does burn your reaction. Cool. Uh, this is, yeah, out to the start. Reaction, bonus action, they're both done. So uh, we're going for a booming blade, baby. All right, go for it. And advantage. With Thank God. Ah. 16. To hit? Yeah. Hit. You poof the booming blade and right in the, the part of its head, you can feel the carapace. It's like hitting, it's like hitting diamond almost. Oh, wow. Um, wheel. Wheel, okay. Six. That hits. So 22, okay. Oh, yeah. oh thank you. Um, yeah, so yep, that's my reaction. Though. I am level 11 now, so booming blade gets some more d8s. Um, so, okay, all right, all right, all right, I'm going, I'm going fast. Who's after you? Uh, after me is going to be Aurelia. Okay. Um, so that's five, five, that's ten. Um, I get an extra D8 for building blade now. Ten, thirteen, eight, twenty-two. Plus six. Uh, Let's see that? Cool. I'm, I didn't mind any of that, actually. That's 28 points of damage total between the bludgeoning, the thunder, and the 28? fire. 28? Uh, how much was the fire? Uh, uh, that was going to be four, but uh, with my gauntlets, I believe I overcome. Resistance, um, right? All, yeah. Ooh. Fire resistance. What's the damage without the fire? It, it's bludgeoning, magical bludgeoning, and thunder? Yeah. What's that? Uh... I said what, 28, so 24. It was four on the die okay, for right, okay. the fire. Uh, uh, fire doesn't have a common unity, right? Uh, yeah, probably. So as you punch down, the fire seeps in, psh, nothing on the skin. Yeah. Uh, I will say the, the, the impact from your hit, very solid, and mm -hmm. the booming of the blade uh, makes purchase, but the fire, you saw this thing crawl straight out of lava. Yep. And that's right. perfect. Yeah, you know, makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. I'm glad I just went for booming blade then. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, that's it for everything. I will yell out to Aurelia to Endrochronic to stay far away. Anyways, uh, after your turn, it's going to take a legendary action and cast Scorching Ray. Oh! Uh, uh, it's going to go, um, right now it can't kind of grab you, so it's going to go and attack you. Okay. Just a natural two, so that even with that, it's not going to hit. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, no. Yep. But also, disadvantage maybe? Maybe not, I don't know, but From the uh, dispel. List them again. Uh, that, that's creature. fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, just uh, make to make sure I'm not, I didn't yeah. miss here. Advantage for everyone. <gasps> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Right, there go. From Tom. From Tom! Tom. Thank you. Tom, you're such a fucking trooper. Thank you. Uh, it was Celestials, Elementals, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. It's not one of those. Okay. Oh, wow. What uh, is yeah. it then? It's like a monstrosity or something. Probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, so thing. that's two attacks. It's going to make its third. We're going to go... It's going to go next to you and go for a turn instead. That's going to be a dirty 30. Whoa. Mm. How many rays come out in the first question? Three. Three, damn. Um, all right, Taren's gonna take four points of damage. Four points. Uh, and Taren takes it in the chest like it is nothing. Oh boy. Um, all right, next is your Bubba Dragon. Uh, dragon. Uh, I rolled a wisdom saving throw to see if she'd be terrified. Uh-huh. She rolled a natural 20. Wow. So she's gonna fly up girl. 30 feet. Girl. She's gonna fly up and just breath weapon. Uh-huh. Gonna do nothing. Because it's fire. Yeah, and she's gonna fly up and like just like... Phew, yeah. Stay kind of up here. I think I kind of, uh, it's part of the reason I wanted to tell her to stay away too. Is just like, yeah. shit, I don't, I don't want her to get like, yeah, too close. Yeah, no worries. Um, so after her, um, it's going to be Taryn. Taryn, all right. Uh, Taryn 
is going to seeing this, and he's like, oh, he kind of looks, and he, he, you see, like he go, he looks like he's gonna call lightning. Sees Garrett go there, like, so he looks around. Uh, Taryn, <laughs> tearing up my heart when I'm in the way. No, Ooh, that wasn't very good. So sorry. I laughed on the inside. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. I was just yeah. like looking at the mm -hmm. Taryn's gonna look at you, uh, Fenora. Mm -hmm. They're gonna nod. Uh, he's gonna cast Spirit Guardians Ooh. Uh, at third that level. Spell. Nice. Um, and he's gonna move. Chris character was a cleric. Right. Uh, this is difficult uh, terrain, right? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna move right here. One, two, three. Yeah, it's gonna be just in his Spirit Guardians. He's gonna kind of like. Stay here. He's got his shield and his like hammer out, and he's gonna stay right there. Uh, that's gonna be sweet. Uh, from Tom to the bats. <gasps> to the bats? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit! I thought we had a good thing going. Oh Thanks, shit! Tom. Thank, you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Um, it's gonna use a legendary action after its turn uh, to swipe at Garrick. Yeah. Yeah. With advantage. Do it. Do it up, do it up, do it um, up. Where is it? Uh, where, where is it? I've got a lot of pages open. Where is she? Bit of a tech issue, my friends. We're good now. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, 23 to hit. That does hit. I got mirror image up, which is a new thing for me. Okay, uh, so I've got to roll. Uh, let me know. I'm going to roll. You have to roll a d20, right? Yeah, roll See a d20. See if it's you uh -huh. or one of your images. Three duplicates must roll a six or higher to change the target's attack to a duplicate. Okay, six or higher. That's a 17. Hell yeah. 17. So it hits a duplicate. It, so it goes up and like slashes one of your duplicates. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, that's going to be its last legendary action for the turn. Um, okay, so. It's its, it's, it's turn it's now. It's turn. Ooh, the spirit guardians. The spirit guardians are going to go. Yeah. Uh, that is, oh, that's a, that's an 11, so oh. that's going to be a failure, he's going to do. Uh, you see as his spirit guardians come out, you see the spirit of fishermen. Uh, the spirits of the people of your village. Whoa. Uh, that's what he's had on his mind for the last couple of days. Damn. Uh, not the greatest, eight, eight points of damage. Um, Every little bit counts. Amazing. Okay, uh, it's going to go, uh, Terran just attacked it, so it's going to cast Disintegrate on Terran. Uh, you uh, see it's counter spell. What level? Uh, how does it work? Do I have to match the level or something? Uh, yeah, it, it's weird because like I built this in the stat block, but right now I'm just yeah, rebuilding the stat block yeah, in my head yeah. because I don't have the paper. Um, yeah, I'll allow it. Yeah, does that have to match? So here's how it works. You can you either that. match the level. Of whatever this spell is, yeah. doesn't matter. If Grunge doesn't know it, he might not know. Or if you roll a d20, add your int on a fire, uh, and it's 10 plus your int. It's the DC is 10 plus the spell level. You essentially just roll a d20 and add your int modifier. And if you beat that DC, it's countered. If not, it happens. All right, nice little roll. <laughs> I kind of want to be mean. Can I burn an advantage to give you disadvantage on this? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I mean, <sighs> fine. The thing that you've asked me many, many times? Yeah, fine, sure, you know. I'll just remember this forever. And our relationship will never be the same. That's okay. You go. Uh, so disadvantage, right? Disadvantage. That is a... Plus my in? In modifier, in yes. In modifier, 14. 14 total? You see as, like, the laser of the eye and fires towards Terran, he's going to make a dexterity saving throw. I will make it an advantage. Because I'm not trying to fuck you guys. So that's two of my advantages. Don't have a reaction. Alright. He has a plus zero modifier. But I rolled a natural 90. Oh. This spell, the way it works... Saber suck, baby. The beam hits the ground and cut and goes right towards Terran, and he's just like, oh fuck, so he's gonna move out of the way, but the seagull, zoom! <gasps> its body split in half as Jimmy the seagull is completely just disintegrated. And he kinda looks back and looks at the creature, and his eyes start roiling with thunder. That's gonna be uh, that's Shit. gonna be 
that whole ability is going to be its turn. Uh, so who's up next? Uh, it's uh, Faye Nora. And who's on deck after that? Uh, you are. Got it, cool, thank you. Yeah, yep. Okay, so seeing that um, my dispel did an evil didn't really do much, of anything. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to drop that and I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Um, mm. And that will sort of boost up Terrence. Okay, like the same effect, but like uh, around um, the two of you? No, it's going to be like my um, water and, and right. prismatic energy um, sort of enveloping his spirit guardians. As your sort of whirling water and energy enters into the radius of his uh, uh, fishermen, it becomes a tableau. A beautiful tableau of just fishermen at sea. And you were near like just a massive, massive lake and that's where they did a lot of their fishing. But you know, um, actually, back then it wasn't a lake. <laughs> back then it was sea, right? Now it's a lake. But at back, I think I don't know. We'll say it was sea. Um, as you were at, as they were at sea and like braving braving the seas and, and fishing and you know living a life for themselves. As you both have these memories, if you want to get in range for it to, uh, I'd actually like to get on my broom. Right, your broom. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get you. Uh, how high you want to fly? You scaling girl. Uh, she was I a can take you <laughs> higher. We'll go uh, thirty feet up. Yep. You need to be in within 15 feet of like the, at least the top of his head to. Yep. I would like to be. Split it. Uh, we're gonna say you it's are. 20 feet tall, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Do you want to go like above? Do you want to go above Taryn, so that sure. you don't fall in lava in case something happens? Cool. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna say you're literally right here. So that you'll okay? fall in lava? Is that what no, you're yeah. I'm gonna say you're here, but you're literally. We'll say you're here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this here because you can walk through that space now because Sounds of good. the ice thing. Yep. Cool. Yep, uh, on its turn, turn, it's going to make a, a shade. What? Until my turn. That part, you would have... Uh, it's lava. Yeah, no. The flow of lava is going to start moving over, like, and just kind of moving over it. So, yeah. yeah. Until your turn, it's going to probably start... I'm going to give it an extra turn, where after that, the lava is going to kind of move over it, okay? Yeah. It's not difficult terrain. It, it wasn't uh, in this part here because of the lava. Uh, okay. Who, that's, it. that's it. Who's next? Alara's not. Okay, who's on deck? Grunge is next. Okay. Um, so, Alara... Um, knows what this is. She knows what is meant, what she's meant to do. So uh, she goes into her many sun form, mm -hmm. and she sends an arrow made of pure sunlight. Love it. At it. Okay, go for it. Um, I have advantage. So I'm going to do the bet first one was better. Um, and that's plus 10, so that's 24 to hit. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Oh. damage. Uh, because of my ability. Uh, so that's 7 plus uh, 5 plus 1, so that's uh, 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 13 damage. 13 to hit? That's our 13 damage? Yes, absolutely. Alright. And then she's going to uh, cast her Garden Bolt at fifth level. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so her Garden Bolt goes off. Uh, with a uh, 19 to hit. Yeah, just hits. <laughs> just, right. just hits. Yeah. Hearing 19, just hit. Right? I yeah. don't love that. Um, so at fifth, that's... Good. <laughs> Cute mini, eh? Yeah, that's That's dope. eight? Yeah. yeah, that's eight D6. I would need two D6 from you, please. Holy. Getting bullet at what level? Fifth. Baller, okay. Yeah. Nice. We ain't fucking around, Bobby. Whoa. Where? Was, oh, that's what it is. It's right here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> 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 Tearing the golem from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, at least, the, yeah, okay, that's not so bad. You can, you can hold on somewhere. 
29 points of damage. Let's 29? Go. Oh, wow. And that is all radiant. Good. Uh, yes, it is. Stuff. Okay, so. Okay, damn, you guys are hitting it hard. Let's go. Yeah, we ain't fucking around. Fucking with epic. It. Look at this shit. Whoo! She ain't fucking around with this. Uh, Don't like that. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, that's your turn? Yep. Who's next? Runji, Runji boy, go. Uh, I'm going to expend uh, my advantage to impose disadvantage on it. Okay, what are you casting? A new spell. New spell? A new spell. New Brian spell? Shack opens like a fresh page on his book and he's just like... All right, let's give it a try. I'm going to cast Blight. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes, give, me a, give me a con save at disadvantage. All right. Uh, 12. 17. Roll damage. That's 8. Necrotic? Necrotic. Oh. Let's go. Let's see. Why would you say it like that? I'm just curious. Six necrotic. Twenty six necrotic. As you like, go to like Good. draw all of its energy and moisture out of it. You realize it's very hard. It doesn't have a lot of it. It is ne- uh, resistant to necrotic of damage. So that's thirteen yeah. points. Of course. Fuck off, mate. Sorry, guys. Uh, but I gain one d four plus. Uh, you do. Four. HP. You and I didn't lose any. Uh, I am also going to use my turn to uh, get Abby to give Garrick the help uh, action again, and then. Can everyone, all of my zombies, move up 20? Uh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Can reach we'll adjacent or no? Four, no, this is four. Uh, that was the closest one, so one, two, three. Tr- to try to keep the same formation as possible. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's actually quite easy. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alara, no. She was, she was here? You were here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I will still be in the middle, like, like before. I'm going to move up as well. You have, like, a fucking, like... Yeah. Oh, what's the word? Like a phalanx right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, can you swap uh, that front one with uh, Halo? Okay, this is a deep cut, front. but I'm thinking of the Spy Kids the movie with the movie. president's yeah. daughter yeah. in the middle of all of the bodyguards. If anyone gets that reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So none of the uh, zombies are in range, I guess, but uh, yeah. the skellies are going <laughs> to shake movies. Fire a volley. Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, one of them has advantage because of Guiding Bolt. Bolt. Okay. Hell yes, it is. Um, so that'll be Fester Skellington, the... Uh, goblin killer. Okay. <laughs> goblin killer. Uh, that is a dirty 20. My hits? Uh, I'll roll the other ones as well. That's three of them? Yeah. Uh, 14's not gonna hit. Uh, 19 just, just hits. hits yeah. Two of them. Uh, so that is a. Just double check. And then the I mean, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> From who? From Lips Factor. Lips! Lips, oh. hi, hello, 13 thank and you. 13, 12, 25? All right. I've said it a couple times, but I fucking love Yeah, that thing's fucking strong. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I might have to just adjust a wee bit. Well, well just to, to let you know how balanced that is, yeah. I don't really have any, like, very levels. Yeah, spells, that's true. You lose, like, all those spells, too, eh? Yeah. Like, I had to use Blight because I don't really have much left. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah. Fantastic. I think I it's think the tight hit that might be. Because they, 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 keep, they keep it low. Like, I kind of like it, though. Things are going to have higher ACs as we go. It should, it should match mine, because mine's like plus yeah. uh, nine now. I think that the so way they give you a bunch of them, I don't know. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's not terrible. Honestly, it's not terrible. And it does cost you like a lot of your resources yeah. to do these. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, is, that, is that your turn? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, my turn. Um, I know where I'm at. I know what I'm doing. Oh, actually, no. Before, it's going to take a legendary action. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Advantage. Ah. Uh, Maybe you yeah. got left. I had two from earlier. I never used them. Uh, 28 to hit. Who? You. Oh. Uh, mirror image. Hey. Yeah. That's my best um, I got that. two duplicates, so it's got to be an eight or higher. Mm-hmm. That is a nine. Nine? Oh. So just barely. Uh, hits you? No, just it's barely hit, yeah. hits a duplicate. Hits another duplicate, that's fine. 
um, on Mars. Um, okay, cool. All right, mm -hmm. uh, done with your legendary action yeah. shit? Yeah, go ahead. All right, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> since I have advantage because of Abby, praise be. Um, booming Blade on okay. the action. Yeah, go for it. Um, shoo, that's a good one. Uh, that's a 27 to hit. 27 to hit, that hits. And you know what I'm doing this one? I'm going to use my superiority mm -hmm. uh, die to do a goading attack. So I would like a wisdom Not saving throw. It. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just, do I, do I, I'm not even going to bother rolling the fire damage at 14. this point. 14 fails. Okay. So any attacks until the end of my next turn, not made against me, have disadvantage. Attacks. Attacks. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me double clear, let me clarify like that. that. What? Um, I don't like that. Yep, That's on fair. all attack rolls against targets other than you to the end of my next turn. Okay, um, all right, go for it. I'm not even going to bother with the fire damage anymore, just since it's immune. It's, it's, it's fully immune. Yeah. Sorry. So just, no, it's just, okay. Yeah. Just like save a damage roll. Um, that's four. 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 So that's not many. Though. Twelve. And then I add the D6 on that, I believe. Not yes, many I do. <laughs> I can't four, that is, slot. four fours I just rolled on the dice. Uh, so that's 16 plus 6, uh, 22 minute. points of damage between bludgeoning um, and thunder damage. So how much? 26? Uh, 22. 22, all right, 22. Uh, Bonus action. I'm going to hit it again. Okay, go for it. Which I do have advantages thanks to chat, Tom and Lips. Thank you both. Um, that is a... Uh, 19 on the die for 29. Cool. Um, fuck off, that's just 1d8 this time. Because no fire. Um, so that is uh, 13 points of bludgeoning. 13? Yep, I rolled a 7 on the yeah, d8. Yeah, nice. Um, so yeah, that is it for me. So, solid hits, guys. Yeah, solid hits and got goading off, so I love that. Nice. And then now it is Aurelia's turn, and again, it's just yelling at her to stay away. All right. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, Aurelia is, is like trying to bah, 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 breath yeah. out, and it's not working. Cool. Uh, she's just gonna kind of float around and stay here. Actually, she's gonna fly a little bit away. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay, get out of there. Uh, next. Uh, after Aurelia, it's Taryn. Taryn. All right. Uh, Taryn. After Taryn, just it's gonna be the baddie. Got it. Uh, oh can, yeah. Can Aurelia give me the she doesn't know that. That would take animal handling and okay. like, yeah. like learning that and stuff. All right. She's, She's still really new to battle, so that's yeah. fine. there's Maybe too much going future. on. I'm gonna say yeah. yeah in the future. I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say. Taryn is. Especially if you had to fly right out the gate. I know. Not right? happy yeah. uh, with this thing trying to fucking disintegrate. It just killed its vision. Uh, he's gonna cast. Seagull, but okay. He's gonna cast. Uh, sorry, his seagull. He's gonna cast destructive wave. Whoa. Um, he's like my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, he's like, you son of a bitch. And so he's going to, his hammer's gonna like light up with like lightning. He's gonna smash the ground and it's gonna blow up all around him. Uh, awesome. And he's gonna max out the thunder damage aspect of it. Yeah. So it's gonna be uh, 30 plus uh, 3d6. Uh, all right. Yeah, 16, 16, 21, Damn, 23. Yeah. Uh, this is, we'll have to make a save first, right? 23, so 353, the save is gonna be, um, I think that, I think it's a con save. Uh, which they're pretty good at. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a con save, 16, natural 20. Mm. Still very barbs. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, I kinda want my guy to fuck, too, so. Yeah, like, of course. You know. Oh, he's gonna fuck, don't you worry, as long as you survive. Uh, that's a 17, high con modifier. It's still gonna be halved, okay. so the total is gonna be 53 divided by two. It's still 26 points of damage. Yeah, man. It's still nice. fucking great. Uh, and it's an AOE spell. Uh, one, 86, there we go. Uh, after Terran's turn, legendary action. Uh, it's gonna claw at you. Yeah, yeah, do it up, do it up. All right, that's a regular roll. Mm, that's gonna be a 22 to hit. It hits, I got one more mirror image. Go for it. It's Who's gonna manage you? Gotta be 11 or higher. I'll give it to that one. Cool. What, thank you, you are too kind. 11 or higher, it's a 15. My last image though, so. Yeah, perfect, yep, no worries. Uh, that's gonna be one of its legendary yeah, actions. Three. 
Uh, it used two of those this turn, uh, two attacks. Okay. That's really good. Um, all right, uh, sorry, who's next? It's turn. It's turn, oh, okay. Uh -oh. Two um, spirit guardians. Two, two spirit the guardians. double spirit oh, guardians. All right, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say. <laughs> it's filthy. Ooh, you're going to be the red dice. Uh, Taryn's going to be the dark dice. Uh, yours is a natural one, the failure. Uh, the other one's going to be... Yeah, they're both fail. We both yes. roll 3d8. Doing some damage on this thing. Yeah. All on two, this sucker. This is Boy, like 12. That's going to be 16. 16. 16? Him as well. As you call, that's 36 points of damage from both your spirit guardians. Oh, uh, it is going to be... Um, How's it looking? I'm just curious. Taking hits. Yeah. Yeah, it's taking hits. Um, Icon mod, so it's beefy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know. It's a legendary creature, so. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay. It's like four right now, so. We're doing See? amazing. Yeah, you guys we're, are fucking. We're going. Hit. We're going pretty fast. All right, too. it's turn. Uh huh. So we. Okay. Um, it's going to. Oh man. Okay. It's gonna. It's gonna make. Um. It's gonna look at you, Grunge. Uh -huh. Seeing this army here uh, and all that, uh, I need you to make a Wisdom saving throw. This is a spell? No, this was not a spell. Fine. Wisdom right, saving throw. Can't currently throw. look at. Uh, uh, does it have to do with disease? No. Okay. That's okay. Probably not enough though. Uh, let's see. That's uh, sixteen. 16? Uh, that fails. Uh, you feel its eye gaze into your mind, and you feel an utter and terrible fear. You are paralyzed until the end of its next turn. Okay. So I just yeah. can't do actions. Uh, you, you, on paralyzed, I believe you can't do actions, uh, reactions, bonus actions. It's basically oh. stunned. Paralyzed. Okay. It's like a whole person. Paralyzed. 5e. Sorry, buddy. That's fine. I can't even, uh, my zombies, zombies can't check? Oh, my zombies. Because my zombies, I, it just says I might... incapacitated, you automatically fail strength, and dexterity saving throws, attack rolls against a creature with advantage. Any attack against a creature is a critical hit if it's attacked within five feet of the creature. Uh, incapacitated on that also means... Um, dupe, dupe, to dupe, just going to double check we get that right. You can't take actions or reactions. If you cannot take an action in D&D 5, you can also not take a bonus action. Uh, it doesn't matter because my bonus action is just give them a command and they do that command until I issue sick, a different one. Sick, they can and move, it was like move in and them. attack. They can do yeah. their thing. You just can't have a turn. Cool? Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, so it can do that. It's going to take three attacks. Um, uh, so it's going to make its first attack against you. It's going to uh, claw you. At yeah. There? Yeah, yeah. You, cool. It has to. You, you've got it. No, no, I was making sure. You're all good. 30-30? Uh, yeah, that'll hit. Okay, as it claws you, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna give me a strength saving throw. Uh, if you want to use a reaction to try to hold on, you can make a strength saving throw. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna say hold on. Cool, strength saving throw. It's your reaction. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. I have advantage. Yeah, you're good. What'd you get? Uh, twenty-two. You're good. Yeah, Abby, uh, Abby, what's the reaction, Abby? Uh, I you take sixteen points of slashing damage. Okay. It's going to make its second attack against you, another claw attack. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll let you stay on for the whole round with that cool. reaction. Cool. So. Okay? Because else, what was the point? Uh, this is just going to be an 18 to hit. That'll hit. Um, all right. Uh, okay. 28 points of slashing damage. 28. You got it. Yep. Um, and it's going to... Oh, it's going to move over. You had a booming blade on it, right? I do. Roll the damage. Yeah. Uh, it's going to move over here. I believe that's 3d8 now. Actually, it's going to skitter. Oh, no one's in range, eh? You're going to go around. What's its movement? Oh, so I've had Can two turns, so this is gone. And oh, yeah, perfect. Uh, 2d8. Thank you. Uh, it's going to skitter through here. And hmm, sure. it's going to go for. I'm going to make it move in here. It's going to go for Terran, and it's going to try to bite him. Oh, shit. I rolled, I rolled 3d8 now for Booming Blade on a move. I rolled two twos and a one. Oh, so level 11 now. Five, four, points five, of, five points of thunder damage. Uh, amazing. Uh, it's going to hit Terran's AC. With the disadvantage, just making sure. Oh, disadvantage because of a uh, goading attack, right? Yep. It's until your start of your turn? Yep. Cool. 
Uh, yeah, I rolled uh, the same thing. Two eights plus modifier. Um, all right. Uh, this is the tens because he's going to fight him. Do math in my head at this point in time. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna so, so bad at it. Oh, yeah. I'm not bad. I don't give a shit. Math so doesn't improve uh, by doing it in my ten. head. Oh boy, guys, so many moving pieces. We're getting to the high levels. Oh, fuck off. Um. All right. So that's gonna be twelve. Uh, twelve plus twenty-four. Thirty-three. Uh, it's going to be 33 plus 12, 45, 51 points of damage to Terran. Wow. What did, what did he see? Is he alive? Is oh, he up? he's alive. What, what did he see? Is he alive? Uh, he's, he's, you see, you see this creature kind of like slitter in and like you're on it. You're literally on it, like yeah. goading it, doing your, where'd you yeah. go? Did you fall? No, I think you took me off to move and then and I, I don't you back. Know. You're right here. Yeah. yeah you're good. Um, yeah, you're like holding on and stuff, and you're trying to pull it, its things mm -hmm. back as the best you can. It is clawing at you as it's moving, and for the spirit garden, it's gonna uh, bite in. Um, we're gonna use my home rules for this. Uh, the damage 51, so the DC would be 25. Actually, can you make a 25 con save? No, he can't. On a natural 20, he maintains concentration. No, he loses spirit garden. Oh, um, that's gonna be, uh, that's maddening presence, three attacks, that's gonna be the creature's turn. Okay, fuck. Um, it, it did the spirit guardians save. Yeah, yeah we both did right? 32 damage okay, to it, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was baller. It's a uh, Fae Norris. Kind of yeah. badass though that your zombies can keep doing stuff while you're paralyzed. Yeah, yeah, I actually yeah, feel yeah, less yeah. bad as a DM because I fucking hate stunning, but like, I guess for this it's more like every now and yeah, then, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they just do basic stuff, but yeah. Yeah, it's fun, it's like, yeah. Okay, I hate so it more for online work, it's like you're stunned and you're playing online. You're just sitting like, there. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, Fenor is going to yeah, dive control. bomb. Dive bomb? With the shillelagh broom. Oh, shillelagh, you did the broom. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing. Okay, uh, I'm going to put you here just to show that you're still up somewhere. Um, how far down do you want to go? Like just to its face? To its face, yeah. Uh, Alright. Just. Aim for the eyeball. Why yeah, not? I'm gonna leave you here. We'll say you're about 15 inch yeah, yeah. for the That's face. Just, uh, just remember that. Um, and. Your attack. Roll attack. Mm -hmm. How's Taryn looking? Which passive uh, insight? 19. 19. That's he a took a solid hit, he, but impressive. Wait, I have advantage. What his constitution is, like how, like how much he can take a hit on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's 26. he's strong. He's strong as shit. Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. Uh, yeah, hits absolutely. Okay. So um, he took a solid, solid hit, but he didn't really take much damage before. I'm also going to divine strike. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. On all on all your smacks, you can do that. All yeah. oh, right. Sh Shillelagh cleric, love to see it. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. And Shillelagh is just always a twenty, right? And yeah. Go up a little. Uh, yeah, Shillelagh is always. Just a eight. <laughs> 15. Nice. Huh. Plus 217. I rolled a little. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's your wisdom mod. Okay. What's my wisdom? Yeah, Shillelagh adds your wisdom on. That's why it never goes up, because it's pretty uh, boss off the, off the top. Okay, then that's plus 5, so. Uh, 22. 20. Tw no, 17 just, plus 5? Just, just 20. Uh, I think I wrote the mod down wrong. The Shillelagh mod would be your wisdom, not your strength. Yeah, I have strength now, so it's plus 5, not plus 2. Oh. So it's 20. Okay. I thought you said 17 on the dice. Is it 15? I'm, 15 on the I'm dice. Straight. I miss her. Plus Fools. five. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, nice. Eldritch Bless. Eldritch Bless. Eldritch Bless. Uh, on that, it is starting to look like it's taking some solid wear and tear. It's starting um, to look a little rough. I'm also going to You guys did a shit ton of damage. Bonus yeah. action, mass healing word. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who are you targeting? I think you get... Six creatures. Yeah. So Terran for sure. I'm okay. okay. Anyone else who's hurt? I think Not it's her. just Terran and myself who have been hit. Then that's it. Yeah. That's it. Uh, we'll do that at second level. Okay. Six plus. Oh my god, 
I get a lot of stuff now. So level eleven, guys. That's right, it's your first time with the using the upgraded. I forget what it's called. Yep. Um, Did you guys get upgraded? I can teleport thirty feet to any unoccupied space I can see. Oh. Or if the target of the spell is willing, they can teleport an unoccupied space of your choosing that I can see within thirty feet. Yeah. So one of your targets. You can Does Taryn want to teleport? Uh. Do you ask him? Huh? Oh, away. I I didn't target you. Oh, true. Do you ask him? Yeah. Uh, he wants to kind of stay in there and fight. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, if I teleport, does it get an attack of opportunity? Uh, I'm no. Teleporting. No. No. no? Okay. I, so no. Yeah, yeah, you can teleport. Your room is something you're holding. You teleport. Yeah. You want to move back? Back to where I was. Okay, so you're back with like nice. the 30 feet up. Yes. Uh, you also get plus two to your AC. Oh, fuck. For how long? Until the beginning of my next turn. Did both of them do? Or just one? Uh, the, I'm the, assuming... It's the target that teleports gets the plus two. Mmm. Oh! You teleport a target and they get a plus two. You essentially like misty and boom, create mist around them. Oh, so then I get the plus two. Yeah. Okay. That's Sorry. great. Damn. That's, that's okay. <laughs> Damn. So, so want to teleport is any of the other healing stuff come into play from that? So how much yes, healing yes, is it for? Yes, Sorry, oh, so six yeah. healing. Um, and then does the temp HP still happen from phase one? No, the temp HP? Yeah. Does that still happen from phase one? Yep. So that's second level plus wisdom. So seven temporary hit points. To uh, who? So I think you only get, was it only one? It's, it's one person instead of temporary hit points. I'm gonna, mm, yeah, you can, you can, mm, 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 mm. What? this is what you play test, you try stuff. Uh, I'm gonna say, sure, you can separate the temp HP and, and the, the effect from the second card. Uh, you said mass healing work? So you're hitting, you're hitting uh, everybody, so you're hitting Terran, you, you're hitting Grunge, has Grunge taken a hit? You're good. Uh, I'm good. You're okay. good. Yeah, Sweet. sorry, how much was the temp HP? I apologize. Seven. Thank you. Cool. And six points of healing, you said? Yeah. Wait, but if you target us all, do we get the temp? No, or just one person does. Just one. Yeah. Got it. Cool. Alright, uh, so. Right, two. Hmm. Who's next? Me. You? Oh, Laura. Okay. Um, Look it up. Yeah, she's not, none too pleased um, with the fact that yeah, it just. Please. Did a lot of damage to him. Um, to her. Um, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna do another guarding bowl at sixth level. Sixth level? Yeah. Mm. Sixth level. <laughs> That's a twenty-nine to hit. Hey. Yeah. Twenty-nine to hit. Okay. Um, who in this party doesn't fuck? True, very true. Grunge, um, except for you, Grunge. I, <laughs> Grunge fucks situations up. <laughs> I in the best way. In the best way. Four it's more way. Hey, it's, a po it's still the positive uh, yeah. rendition of the word fuck. It's always in that positive yeah. for Grunge. Plus one. Right. Feels good. That's a great sound. Right? Isn't that great? It's great when we do it, not great when Matt does it. Thirty-six damage. Thirty-six and one. Two. Ooh. Could you imagine if I got a D twenty, uh, a uh, twenty on that? Oh, a natural oh, twenty would be beautiful. So good. That would have been. All right. So um, good. you guiding bolt. She hits it. It starts lighting right with radiant light. Anything else? Yep. And she's gonna do luminous arrow as well. Go yeah. for it. Roll, oh, roll, yeah. roll attack. Here are dice back. All right. Sorry, there's so many dice to. Manage. And I get a nice little advantage on that too. I do. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because I did it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a 1 in a 15, which means 25 to hit. I hit, roll damage. Ooh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and then that's, I think, 
just a D. Okay. Uh, for us, uh, seven damage. Seven damage, okay. How's it um, looking now? It's starting to look like really rough. Uh, like it's taking some solid wear and tear. Uh, sorry, seven. Um, yeah. Uh, Is your turn? She's gonna run back a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make, make some room for the zombies to pour in. And yeah. Give, give you a little <laughs> she, shield. She wants to move back, run away. Yeah. Um. Yeah, she wants to move back in the way. Okay. However, would it um, evoke an attack of opportunity? Uh, she is ten foot away from this creature. Uh, the creature is here. You guys are actually here. Uh, you're ten foot away. You're good. Where are you moving? Um, like all the way as far back around as I can. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gonna use three legendary actions in your turn. It's gonna cast its one use of its biggest fire ability, Firestorm. And I can't. I can't do reactions. It's going to get you guys here, so it's it's four 10-foot cubes, four 10-foot cubes, Shit. and <gasps> But she's cubes. A probably, she has to be one. Uh, I need everybody, I'm so sorry, there's so many of your guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. to roll a dexterity saving throw. And I uh, had it with disadvantage, right? Uh, yours is with disadvantage, theirs is normal. Fuck. Oh. I'm going to say... Do you want to roll one for all of them? Do you want to roll three in, for groups of three, or do you want to roll all nine? Uh, I'll roll all nine. All right. Okay. Give me time to count. Yeah. Why do I even bother? Dead saves are just not my forte. Mm-hmm. All righty. Good thing so. I'm resistant. Dead saves. Okay. What'd you get? Uh, 12. 12? You fail, but you're resistant. You take only 18 points of damage. What type of damage? Fire. Mm-hmm. Damn an element! On you? On him? No. <laughs> He's already resistant. Yeah, I'm already yeah, taking... It, you said it still... Does it give resistance, or does it have to damage? What does it say? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Have to go, go look. Just, let's just look at the wording, just so it doesn't, like, so it doesn't actually double up. How would you get? Alara? Oh, sorry. Oh my god, 21. 21. You're going to take 18 points of fire damage. And roll for Terran. He's going to fail. He's going to take 37 points of fire damage. Okay, I'll, I'll damage now. Okay, all right. 18 <laughs> for him. Uh, to you. Yeah. Uh, and you see the firestorm hits your baby dragon. It uh-huh. is resistant. What? It's resistant. It's resistance, he already has resistance. Who else do you want to? Oh, you give it to yeah. him. Yeah, okay, yeah. it is resistance, yeah. okay. And it engulfs your baby dragon for a moment. It's you flying over. You see it. You can't see it in the, the rain of fire. And as the fire goes through. Uh huh. Resistance, come on. It's just like flipping around, like it's like in a uh-huh. water current, and uh-huh. it's immune to fire. Yeah! I double checked to make sure it didn't get that at later levels. It is. It is immune to fire. That's my girl. Oh, um, okay. How you doing? How you? How you? Uh, ten for grunge. Ten for grunge. Grunge is gonna take thirty-seven points of damage. And then my skelly's got. Oh, sorry. My zombie's got thirteen, fifteen, nine, one, four, nine. Yeah. All fails. All fails. Thirty-seven damage. And then my skelly's fester skeleton got an eighteen. That just saves. And then thirteen and eight. Okay, so Fester Skeleton takes 18 points of damage. All your other zombies take 37 points of fire damage. Okay, so... Uh, your pixie's gone. I think... Uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, no. She, she was yet. right... Oh, I don't know if oh, she's actually in the battle. She was there, I guess. Yeah. Um, honestly, it was four here and one, two, three, four squares. She was just out of it. It was um, four, four, and then, like, two out here. <sighs> yeah, so everyone except Fester Skeleton is gone. And how much did he say? Uh, 37 points. No, uh, he saved. Sorry? Fester Skeleton saved. Oh, 18. 18. 18. So yeah. Okay, so he's okay. Um, you see... Wow. You are s- paralyzed in this moment as you see your entire army turn to ash. How much should I take? 37. Uh, right in front of you, uh, oh. turning in front of you, is Mysterious Valentino. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the he, dog! You, yeah. ju- you just hear, you just hear, like, oh, and the last thing to Ash 
is the dong. Uh, In his mind, like, he imagined such a more epic, uh, like, with his army. And in his mind, he, like, pictured, like, a scene where he was like, Fight, my brothers! We will not die today, and if you do, I'll raise you again tomorrow! (laughs) And then, like, none of this happened. He's just, like, stuck there frozen, and all that's left is Fester Skellington. One of them is left. Fester yeah. Skellington is just like uh, the the bone part of it is just soot. It's just dark. You moved all of them off, uh, except for Fester Skellington. Yeah, sorry. Fester, oh, Mr. Gothton, I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh my oh, god! No. Some of the video uh, templates is last to burn is the dong. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jagged uh, That was three legendary actions uh, for to cast that spell. Uh, who is next after? Alar. Yeah, yeah, after Alar's run. At the end of my turn, that become not. Uh, at the end of it, it's next turn. It's next. Yeah. I stand there, I guess. You Chester, stand there. can you do something? Uh, how much HP do you have? Uh, 32. 32? Uh, yeah. Okay. Was I supposed to take damage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 18. Uh, yeah, you, you, you made the save? What'd you roll? No, I rolled a 6. Oh, you take 37 points. <laughs> you were uh, within this. It, it comes from, like, just... Yep. From on high. It's a storm. Storm. Firestorm. Fresh Festa, 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 the goblin Your last slayer. last standing zombie. I just, like, my eye darts <laughs> yeah. forward and I just, like, nod. R.I.P. Chester. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a 13. 13 to hit? Uh, he, he shoots the arrow, it just turns to ash as he shoots <laughs> yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from the firestorm. Um, okay, I'm just sorry. Uh, who's my next? Bit, my voice. It's a me. Alright, it's okay. a you, Garrick. So... My question is about this eye. Uh-huh. Where is it in relation to me on top of its head? Mm-hmm. Like, is it just like smack dab like middle of its forehead? It's in the middle. You're kind of in the back there. Do you want to try to hit the eye? Yeah, I want to see if I yep. can't like swing my way down while still holding on to just yep. come in for a uh, punch. So the for you to specifically target the eye, I want you to hit its AC plus five. AC That's plus usually five. usually how I do it. Yep. Go for it. Um, AC plus five. AC plus five. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Roll good for Twerk. is uh, a booming blade, by the way. Cool. That would be a natural 20. Hey! For a 30. A natural 20! Look at his little face. Look at his little face. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Hell yeah! <laughs> Can't wait to see a clip of that later. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Um, so that's. 1d8 for weapon die, 2d8 for booming blade, so that's 68 since it's a crit. Mm-hmm. Cool, I just want to make sure I understood that right. Hey, what? 2d8 for a booming blade, 2d8 for weapon die. Yeah, I'm level 11 now, so it's, I get... Booming blade goes from 1 to 2 on the thing. It's 3d8 if it moves. So, the thing you did before, you just add a dice for when you hit it, you add a dice for when it moves. Right, right, yeah. right. At fifth level, the melee attack deals one d eight. Both damage rolls increase. Oh by shit! 1D8 no, no, no. So 11. your crit would be forty eight and one d eight. Sorry, forty eight, sixty eight. Sixty eight. Yeah. 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 Honestly, I always do. You roll. You just double the number on the dice. It's I know. Easier. I just feel like I've been burned too many times about a low roll like a two and then you. Sixty eight plus mod. That's what you're rolling. Sixty eight. Sorry, plus my brain mod. forgot the crit. All good. You're good. All Go good. ahead. Roll. Roll. Let's Six, go. <laughs> seven. <laughs> One, I'm going to make notes of this as yep. I go along so I don't forget as I do math. Four. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That is 15, uh, 22. Uh, do that right. Yeah, 22, uh, 28 plus the 6 mod, uh, 34 points of damage. You're punching in the eye? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And uh, bonus action. Yeah, I'm just going for a normal weapon attack just to hit the fucker wherever. Uh, that's going to miss because that is a 16. 16? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Um, and then just like, it's like a like I'm swinging down and trying to swing my way back up. Like so, a, sorry, 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 sorry. How much damage was the booming blade crit? It was... I was trying to think of something. 34. Yeah. 34. 34. Okay, that's 34 point points thick, of damage. I feel like its eye is vibrating now. It can yeah, yeah, see straight, you know. And yeah, it's just like it's like I'm swinging down, punch, and I'm trying to swing my way back up to be back on its head still. So, so uh, you're swinging your way. 
Well, like, swing is like I'm holding it. Yeah. Well, uh, to come down to hit it, and then. Yeah, yeah. Then you're good. Okay. Cool. We'll make sure logistically we're on the same page. Yeah, you're just kind of reaching over. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, reaching over, turn? reaching around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it for my turn. Who's next? Uh, that's going to be Aurelia. Aurelia. Uh, Aurelia. We're going to see if she gets here. Nope. Uh, she's going to keep flying around. Yeah. And she's going to pull up. <laughs> she can't really do much here. She's uh, real, real little, and it's immune to it's her fire. And that is okay. That's, I just want her to be safe. Yeah. Who's next? Uh, after her, it's going to be uh, tearing up my heart. Karen at your heart when you're with you. <laughs> Time check, it's 4.30. Yep. How hurt does it look? It's looking pretty rough. It's looking pretty rough. Um, okay, yeah. Hmm. Hey, Taryn's gonna get in there. Fox. Uh, Taryn's gonna try to climb it. Uh, yeah, I respect that. Uh, Taryn begins just jumping up and climbing the thing, and he's going to just jump up, smack your hand, and cast Holy Weapon. Oh. Your gauntlets start glowing. Oh yeah. Uh, and he's gonna do, 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 fall and take fall damage <gasps> because his athletics check down is oh, shit. No. How, how high is that gonna be? Don't worry about it. You just boom. Uh, your your gauntlets start glowing. You do an initial two D holy uh, radiant damage per hit. No, oh, yeah. dog. All right. All right. Uh, who's next? Uh, after Taryn, it's gonna be our baddie. Sweet. Uh, he's gonna it's um, gonna turn around. Um, spirit guardian. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a failure. Roll damage. Let's fucking go. Spirit guardian is just oh, such uh, a filthy. Well, spell in the best way. Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. That's great. I did not anticipate using as many D8s, and I should have brought more. <laughs> uh, he is going, uh, the creature's going to skitter around and is going to make attacks and turn as he's on the floor. Skitter around as it's moving? It's... Okay, like yeah, no, I'm just I'm just clarifying on the language here. It's going to hit. Uh, first thing he's going to use is Maddening Presence. Oh, he's going to use that on Alara. He needs to make a wisdom saving throw. I have advantage. advantage. That's a nat 20. All right. Hey. As he nice. tries to paralyze you, it does not work. So that first yeah. attack is going to be... Alara fucks. Uh, two. two. Uh, this is, you're right. This is Chris. This is my shit we're going to have I really hope Goblin's out there just being like, yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Attack. Turn it again. It's, it's gonna hit again. Ooh, how many of these hitting? Second one hit. Uh, thirteen. Can she do a couple cosmic? Or she wants to do at least a one low to some of that. Uh, to the attack roll. Uh huh. All right. Two. Still hits. Cool. That's your reaction. Yep. That's fine. She would have tried. Twenty-one. No, of course, of course. Uh, turns down. Uh, it's going to reach down, you're holding on to it, and it's going to go down and bite him. Uh, Tyrion's going to fail two death saves. Silvery barbs. Oh, shit. Natural 20. Oh, God. Forget about that side of the spell. Turn is about to die. All right, whose turn is it? Uh, it's That's Faye, it. It's it's uh it's Faye Nora's turn. Okay. Um, the advantage. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, I'm, I'm released from paralysis. I'm right? I'm giving it. To yes, you. you are now released from paralysis. You have your reaction back to everything. like do something. Yeah. To okay. potentially get him up. So I'm giving it to you. Okay. Um. Yeah, Laura's freaking out. So. She's white. Yeah. If, I, if I heal him, he'll be awake, right? He'll be he'll be conscious. He'll be prone but conscious. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, once again, I'm going to do mass healing word. Mass healing word. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go I'm, for it. I'm going to do that. Now we've all been damage. Yeah, we've, we've so. all been hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? I'm we've okay. all been hit this time, so like it's way more. It'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can hit the whole party. Uh, uh, so I'll do that at fifth level. 
Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah, roll for it. Okay. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 64. 64? Yeah, it's, it's one at first level, so it's a little bit of five, an additional for your ability. 64, then you choose one person to Misty Step and get a plus two AC, and one other person to get the temp HP bonus. I'll gladly take 64 again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> can I borrow um, two more? Yes, of course you can. Thank you for the Misty Mountain dice. Misty Mountain. Rolling all fours for us here. What if I want my own <laughs> set of Misty Mountain dice? What do I do? I knew I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> That's ten total plus um God it does so many things. I'll mm -hmm. give the plus two AC and the teleport to um Karen. Yeah. Are you moving him? He he doesn't have the choice because by the time yeah, you heal no, him using that. He's gonna go behind Alara. Okay. That's um, such a clutch thing. Yeah, so he also gets the plus two AC. Uh, and the temp HP will go to, because that was fourth level, uh, that ten. would be four, that's why that's nine, um, I'll give it to you. Cool. Uh, is that the end of your turn? No, that was my bonus action. Uh, nice. I'm gonna, right. I'm going to attack. Are you going to fly in? Yep. Cool. You you know, it's nose with your shillelagh broom. I do not have advantage. You're surfing on it. Unless Guiding Bolt is oh, you see You're surfing on your shillelagh broom, right? No, because she, no, she used to. Guiding Bolt with her arrow after. After, so uh, it immediately. Got it. Sorry. That's not it. Okay. I'm now also within. Uh, yeah, you're within melee range. Cool. It's a legendary action to uh, swipe you. I still have advantages, so I'm going to use it. Uh, that's going to be a dirty 30. Oh. That misses? <laughs> yeah. It sucks because you have such a high AC right now. Mm -hmm. uh, or you well, did. no, no, I don't. Fuck, now you're back down to Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, these are not. Uh, five, six, uh, 17 points of slashing damage. It's not awful. Uh, who's next? Me. Cool. Oh. Yeah. So, Alara oh. sees this happen in front of her, mm -hmm. and it's weird. Because it's like seeing what happened the other day from a different perspective mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and getting really close. But the outcome is slightly different. It's a little bit better. And now he's behind her. And so I think a part of her feels his presence behind her and can feel him yeah. breathing. Struggling, but breathing. Mm -hmm. So bad this. Got him both fifth level. Okay, go. Let's go. That's a 28 to hit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Roll damage. Who's on deck? Uh, Grunge. Grunge boy, okay. Um, at fifth, that's eight, so I need two from you, please. Okay. Eight one, eight one. Yeah. Look at him, look at him. That's six. Twelve. We're adding in a monster. Oh, shit. Chat, please! Oh, shit. Lips! Why did you do this? Lips! We trusted you! You were the chosen one! You were the chosen one! Lips, That please. is 36 damage. Fucking A. It's really good. It's good enough. Looks like, uh... It's good enough, Looks yeah. like the crew's gonna start a little late today. 36, all right. I you said daycare for a second. I was like, wow. You mean, we, I mean, we are daycare yeah. at this point. Yeah, I feel yeah. like we have a baby yeah. dragon. Thank you for being Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, take care of Grunch. For the support, too. even if it's for Matt. Nefarious purposes. Which deck is this? To be fair, Lips is nothing but nefarious, so. <laughs> <laughs> what else does it make sense, each player. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. From Tom. From Tom! Let's go. Thanks, still alive. Thanks, Tom. Just a reminder that the next thing to go off also has advantage, so if I do my Lumis Air off, I'll be going to use it. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fucking light this fucker up. This is the right one. Ah, oh, here we go. So confident that I'm just going to have my D8 right now. Alright. 
Uh, you see the actual creature that is the mini of this, a Grick, pops up oh, oh. right here. Uh, as it burrows from the ground from all the motion that's happening. Cool. It's going to go on an initiative count to 17. 17? Cool. I hate that. I like that. Uh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Is everybody looking? I'm okay after that heal, but not oh, great. Mentally? Fucked up. Yeah, we smell slow <sighs> Alright, who's next? My turn. Uh, uh, uh I'm not done yet. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Go, go. go. Um, We're running late. Okay. Uh, 16, so it's 26 to hit? That hits. Yeah. Um,. That's ten another ten damage. Another ten damage. Okay. He's still alive. How yep. how's it looking? It's like a rough. Uh, it's gonna use a legendary action. Uh, it's going to. Uh, I'm gonna use my last of those little bandages. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Oh. Um. What's your HP? Fifty-five. Thirty-two. Seventy-eight. You. Uh, twenty-one ahead. Yeah, hit. Ooh, baby. Okay, yeah. You take 30 points of slashing damage. Uh, you're gonna make a strength saving throw to see if you can stay up on there. If you want to, that is your reaction. Uh, I have already used my reaction to silvery barbs for so Terran. You're gonna go flying, so that's 15 feet. You're gonna take an additional, uh, that's about 20 feet, 2d10. You take an initial eight points of damage. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be. Just put a dice in dice jail. No, no, that was one of the dice from there earlier. It's not mine. I just don't want to accidentally take it. Okay. Um, uh, that is gonna be legendary action. Who's up next? It's grunge. Grungy boy. Uh, I look around at the charred remains of all of my zombie armor. I spent mm -hmm. so much time and energy raising. Yep, and they're all. I there. look at this fucking thing. You see that uh, his eyes glow a little bit red, and maybe his horn grows a little bit uh, mm -hmm. uh, larger as he's just like. <laughs> Those were my friends! <laughs> Did I throw something? And yeah. you see this emerald little bead of acid come out of his hands and it grows large and I cast vitriolic sphere? Oh my Whoa. god! Okay. I'm not gonna hit, uh, oh, you're not even on it anymore. But it's, yeah. it's no, yeah. 20 feet. You can go behind and just yeah, like yeah, hit yeah. in the back. Um, in and I'm back. gonna uh, spend my advantage to make it roll a disadvantage. Sure. Let's go. Uh, and it's a deck 17. That's good. Uh, dex, you said? Yeah. That's a fail, that's an 11. So it takes 10d4 damage, and then another 5d4 at the end of its next turn if it doesn't die from this. Okay. Let's freaking go. And I'm hoping because it's acid damage it's not resistant. It's like about force. 23 acid damage. 23? Does it yeah. seem like it does a decent amount? 23 total? Yeah. Once again, hitting it exactly wow. what you need. I shit you not. How do you finish it off? my friends! <laughs> and you just, and it like melts, and Garrick, you see it just kind of like collapse in front of you. And its body starts just melting into this dark, shadowy sludge. Um, and for the first time ever, because I don't think this happened with Chantel, Grim Harvest activates. Is it a necromancy spell? I believe so. I think it's evocation. Is it evocation? Yeah, because it's acid. It's like an element. Oh, it is evocation. Yeah, sorry, buddy. One day, one day you'll get to use your level oh 2 God, ability. I can't believe I got, yeah, I got a level 2. I still never did it. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to get Fester. I'm just look over to Fester. That's Fester's why I boosted the Necromancer. Yeah. I always feel like that never uh, Yeah, I look over to Fester Skeleton and then look over at this weird new thing. I'm just like, avenge your brothers. And it is going to... Uh, it's stronger, actually. Uh, who's next while this happens? Me. Okay. Um, 
Oh, they broke the same. It's going to shoot from afar, another short bow. Uh, yeah, you're it. 10 feet from it, it's fine. Alright. It's like the Sarlacc bit a little bit. Nat 20. Whoa. Master Skellington yeah. with a nat 20. It Holy teared shit. on the two yeah. and then just... Go for it, roll damage. Holy shit, okay. Uh, that's awesome. Good. Yeah. Just do two of them, Wow. Wow, Master wow. Skellington, who killed uh, the goblin commander, for those who did not remember. Asshole Dexy. So let's see, that's uh, 18 piercing damage, magical piercing damage. 18? It's built 18. I'm a weedo zombie. I'm a weedo zombie. Amazing green set, guys. Look at this. <laughs> the only remaining <laughs> zombie. My only friend left. Aww. Well, Aww. Undead, undead friend. Friends that you met or friends that you conjured? Well, like conjured, conjured them and, them and then, then I met, met them. So <laughs> <laughs> <Some> fucking good. <laughs> it's like such a, a kid thing yeah. to respond to like a parrot. <laughs> Alright, um, who's next? That's a me. I go for it. That's a me. That's a me. I assume uh, you run and punch. After you, who's next? Uh, af you? After, after me, it's Aurelia, and then it'll be Taryn. Um, and then it'll be back top order. Okay, so this guy, this thing that just popped out of the ground, mm -hmm. um, seemingly out of nowhere. How does it feel about all this lava that's nearby it, a.k.a. heat? I don't know. I was just curious if there's a general, like, eh. Okay, that's fine, whatever. I'm fucking punching the, I'm punching the goddamn you thing. Know. You do um, know. Yeah, yeah. what would you say the, what would you like? I don't know. On camera, in front of thousands of people. Yeah, thousands of Hundreds of I don't have a camera ever. What are you talking Millions about? Millions, even. Millions. I have an advantage, and that is a 27 to hit. That hits. Um, okay, all right. This is a lot of d8s because of the, the holy really weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> we all know We all know the biggest ever streamed event was uh, in the Digimon movie. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> like, when they're all looking and like, yeah, what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My question to you. Yes. Am I rolling the fire damage? Just, just roll damage. Just roll damage. I'm just, I'm just, just asking. I'm just asking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and really, he. Oh, I might actually be able to do something with this one. Yeah. So that's 23 points of damage. 23. Total between the, yep. the bludgeoning thunder and fire. Yep. And seeing that the fire damage makes purchase, yes. Yep. Fucking burning hands. Okay. Go for it. Roll damage. Um, because that is second level now, so it's going to be 46, I believe. That's. If my calculations are correct, mm -hmm. um, somewhere in here. Where the fuck is the it? The charred remains of my friends. They're still, they're not like ash, right? They're like still. They're ash. They're ash? Is that what yeah. it says on the spell card? Six. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's eight points of fire damage. It specifically says Grunge's friends turned to ash? That's fucked Whoa, up. Whoa, that's so weird. It says Grunge that's has no up. fucking friends. Where's on the coast? <laughs> oh my god! What? I said jo grunge has no friends. What the fuck? I don't know. You can we well, can check after. You can see what happens. Wow. I will say, no matter what, the dong's gone. So wow. that was eight, eight points of fire damage from burning hands. Yep. And then I'm oh, that's dex save. Oh fuck! I forgot about the dex save aspect of it. That's shit. Yeah. Uh, you said nine points. Eight. Okay. I would love it to be nine, but you cool. know. Um, bonus action. I am hitting it. Weapon attack. Yep. Uh, that is a dirty, filthy, naughty twenty. Dirty, filthy, naughty twenty. Uh, that hits. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah. Three. Lip smacker. If Torque kills this before it has a chance to do anything, I'm super sorry. He's a uh, he's a much higher CR than we've been drawing from before. Sixteen plus six, twenty-two points of damage. Okay. Oh, and you have the holy weapon. The whole I, I, I'm yeah. rolling. You did that? Okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm yeah. like. No, no, I understand. You roll so much damage. I'm right, like, you got the thing, right? Uh, after me, it is Aurelia. Our girl can do stuff. Aurelia. Aurelia? Yeah, but she doesn't have her breath. Um, back, she's so. gonna fly around in circles. She doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. At this point, uh, right. who's next? Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Taryn. Taryn. All right, Taryn is kind of down. Ooh, Taryn's gonna get back up. And you get knocked down. Oh, and get up kill your dragon. Not my girl. <laughs> 
Oh, how much damage did you do with Holy Weapon? You would have lost him when you went unconscious. Oh. Yeah. I was not entirely keeping track of that, I'm going to be honest with you. Want to re-roll me some D8s? Yeah, I can roll you, I'll roll you four D8s. Do for Lip Smacker. Yeah, yeah. Do for Lip Smacker. Fuck yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to be rolling so high on these, I'm going to be so mad. Seven, I'm sorry. Four. No, it's, it's good, it's good, it's good. Mm. Fuck, I'm rolling so well on this stuff. Uh, that's 23 points. Uh. That All right, that's fine. 48. All right, uh, so it's Taryn. Taryn gets up. He, ooh, he's... I should have I asked on that. That's my ball. But I still have it. Jesus. I need a mouse for this thing. God, that was... Fucking hell. Uh, he is going to... Party like a rock. Party like a rock star. Party like a rock. Party like a rock star. Uh, he's gonna cast Cure Wounds on himself at... What? Good call. Let's give a second level just to what? get a bit of energy. I respect there. that. Nine, fourteen. I'm a little mugger. First songs I bought on my little Nokia for my, I, uh, my Party uh, like a rock star. ringer. Party like a rock star. It's the first ring time I really bought. Alright. No regrets. Okay. Um, that's gonna just be his turn. I'm gonna say, what's next? Uh, top of the round to Feynora. Feynora, what are you doing? All right, uh, I'm gonna move. You gonna fly into range. it? Range. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And my spirit guardian is gonna follow me. Right. We're gonna um, say you're in its face. This thing is just—it has one one length. One length. I know. I think it's got one length. And. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Actually, uh, we're gonna flame strike at six level. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, what deck save? That is yes. All right. Uh, that is eighteen. In the deck save. Oh, I want so Half great. damage. Four. Damn. Yes. Light this fucker up. Yay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh my god, 8d6 at regular, and Whoa. then... I have all the d6s you need. And another d6, so 9d6. Also, if you need any, let me know. Four, five, six, Sacred? six. Hmm? What spell was it? Seven. Uh, s- flame uh, strike. Flame, flame strike. Fifth right. level, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Clarique it's spell, it's fire and radiant damage. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Okay. Six, eight, nine, um, 15, 18, 19, 25, 30, yeah. uh, 31. It's okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, 25 HP left. How do you want to tell Lip Smacker that her creature did nothing in combat? <laughs> 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 as you're, as you're, it, this thing comes out of the ground, has no moment to act as it sees the other creature go down, and it does this like, ah, with its tentacles, you all jump over, <laughs> attack it, burn it, punch it, uh, you do, no, you, you asked no, it, I, I you just combo attack this thing immediately, and it dies. Uh, that's where we're going to end at this moment as initiative is over, as you stare at the unlit uh, Great Forge within Don Smithy. All right. I read Firestorm, didn't say anything. I guess Nerdy's gonna have to, that que- have to answer that question yeah. for uh, Chantel. At least like the metal encased uh, goblin commander. Yeah, she looks good. She's fine. She had like protection Haley, and Haley stuff. Haley Killiams. Yeah, Haley How Killiams. How did you get here? Dude, we tree traveled, we flew, we punched yeah. shit. Within oh, 10 days? days? We kissed. Yeah. Within yeah. like yeah. 4 yeah. days. It's been like 2. We yeah, like 2 days. Yeah. You yeah. guys are gonna leave the Don Smithy before those dwarves even fucking show up. No, 100%. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. They still have 6 days to get here. Yeah, yeah. they're on the road somewhere being like, I really hope those heroes yeah, show up like they promised. Yeah. We finally found their names. Um, guys, 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 I'm gonna do the recap, then I'm gonna leave so uh, you guys can do your thing, okay? Oh my. Fucking wild. Let me get this. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, they're muted. Okay, yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready whenever. I'm ready. No, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, you guys are muted. I'm ready whenever. I don't care. That's fine. Um, okay. Oh, man, y'all. This is uh, the roleplay relay recap number, whatever the number is, right under me here. Uh, our heroes uh, traveled from the port um, of... <laughs> Uh, give me a sec here. Uh, from the port city of uh, Smallhand, uh, where they went to uh, hang out in a concert for a little bit, and they flew all the way to the Dawn Smithy, traveled underground, and met with the king, uh, or the former king before uh, their sort of kingdom was uh, annihilated, King Colrad Blazefort. Uh, chatted with him a bit. He was very excited to have people help. Uh, you showed some prowess of magic through fire, and he basically threw you down in the mines towards... Um, the Great Forge to fight whatever creature was guarding it, and then maybe afterwards see if you guys can light it. You guys had a few ideas you wanted to try with that. Um, he said, be our guests, you know, if you wanna go down there, please don't die, and he went down, you fought a strange, skittering horror creature, another one of those strange creatures with the little yellow like eyes that you've been seeing, these nightmarish creatures, uh, and after quite a great fight, uh, the group of you plus Tarion, plus your new, <laughs> Baby dragon Aurelia, a young uh, wormling that hatched from under uh, the castle in the uh, sort of crypts of Ula. Yes, that happened. Um, <laughs> wait, what? Oh yeah, no, we're, we're gonna I'm talk. Um, yeah. Wait, 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 I wanna jump in on this recap yeah. real quick. We were really shocked to uh, hear that you had named Af uh, the dragon after uh, Clarus's best friend yeah. and the maid of honor at our wedding. I had no clue. So that's no fun clue. for us to just constantly be talking about Aurelia thing. being in danger for the rest of the fucking week. Yeah. You're gonna have a fun time with that, Clarus. And that's all you missed on the roleplay relay. I'll catch you guys soon. All right, I'm done. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. All right. So, so wait, what the fuck happened uh, to the place? What? Why was well, the 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 what the fuck happened to the place? Oh, what is this? Uh, Baby, you hail, we don't We know the king. Uh, it's, it's, and then we check out the vault. We got 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 the vault. So she gets Claire the dragon player's head on. She's a sword and she needs better weapons. So they head to the vault, they find the giant ring. They go to the feast afterwards. She takes the moment to check out the stars. Yeah, so Henry Dead is basically a lot of people. Yeah, it's because it doesn't even not spread out. Yeah, it's because it doesn't even not spread out. Yeah, it's because it doesn't even not spread out. Yeah, it's because it how many? How many people can you have? Let's see, look how long the actual one is. So, okay. Basically, it stops there. Oh, but you were just so basically you can use your phone to check. So they rest. Um, they take her. 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 It's really pretty. It's like a bit of 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 a bit of
<laughs> so this does, it's just like, it's just a bump and all that stuff, just like with this, which is really good, they can do it, it's not crazy, they can do it, it's not crazy, 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 it's
Like, yeah. And he's like, I'm sorry, she just kissed me to make him jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, and she kind of, yeah, she's so and I, like, put the yeah. Um, and so they touch up with Garrick and then they have like really cute moments together. Um, she doesn't hear this, but Garrick tells him that she's talking to everyone in the My bad. But he says, we had our own time with her. This one feels really terrible about not like saving her. And he says, you can't do it all. You can just do it. You know, I feel like that's one of the things I should do. I know, we're like, oh, like so all the girls are getting yeah. so cute. Yeah. Um, okay, and so, and then, also, uh, also uh, I would have been yeah, like, I don't understand. Um, we wrote an exam with her. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't understand. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't understand. Oh, no, God. It was like, this was so chaotic. So, Paige, I also realized this. I think Karen and Paige are all the best. So, guys, we're going to be here. I like Fish and Fish and so they fly to the dog smithy. She has to concentrate on calling more Polymorph for because she turns him into like a type of an orange cab. Her clothes go by and she has a size. So she turns Aurelia when they need to go undercover because of how cute she's not She don't want to be a kid. We know how to do it, right? We got all the cabinets. We got all the cabinets. We got all the cabinets. We got also, Matt said that the thing that we established is that she has um, three level fours, which is not a level above the average. So, if you need it, you can get it. Um, so just let you know. But like, we're trying to make her under wraps. So she's still young. She's growing a lot every day. But like, but she's big. She's a big creature. I wanted to do something like that. If there was a way to like put his hand on the floor, like let it go. So we're taking two pink pole rats, pink pork, pink dog, and pink. So like, you know, that and like let it go. But all the people are like, you're the fucking king. The dwarves' names that we never. For Calric and Calric and Belmody, we did ask. We just didn't tell y'all. Oh shit! Yeah, it's okay. Okay, well he's okay. That is a good Um, there's something insect-based working in the forest. That's why they haven't been able to get that forest company. Yeah, we may not. But we go down to fight it, and it's Munifar, which is the better. And then Jim is killed by the monster. And then um, he Terrence then is a monster. Yeah. So she like, you know, they're trying to so finally it goes down and he comes back. He doesn't die, but like he gets I know. Okay. And so that was hard. That was hard. I think she is like really shaken because it is so different from when it's someone that you're trying to love. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you might be taking a screen there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
<laughs> in the middle of the, the rats. Oh my god. The yeah, Pied Piper. Pied Piper. Mice. That's just, that, you guys, if you've never seen Shrek the Musical. Go it's see it. It's one of the best That's shows. That's when the bird blows up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the bird, yeah, 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 the bird yeah, yeah. literally explodes. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and then she's oh like, man. Yeah. good morning. Cuts the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's professionally filmed too. You can go see oh, it. Any the pro screen. shot. Yeah. Yeah, the pro shot's amazing. Um, uh, it, 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 it was wasn't. Uh, 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 actually, don't go watch it because, uh, well, no, we can't. What? We can't. Well, we, go we, watch we, it we didn't live. tell you to watch we it, is what I'm saying. We can't promote it. Yeah. Yeah. watching content. Uh, no, the studios not, know it's how not it's not work. It Theater. It's not a struck work, right? I guess. It's not a struck piece of work. Um, because it's not SAG contracts. Yeah, if you have well, questions like about the show, go to the Equity. SAG website and the WGA website. Don't listen to TikTok. It, yeah. was, on yeah, yeah, no, it's it's all like, was on the streaming platform. There's a lot of misinformation. The musical would be on like Broadway HD, yeah. so like that wouldn't be a strike. Go to Broadway HD. No, no, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, no, theatrical productions, still fine. Yeah. yeah. I auditioned for one the other day, and it went well. Yeah. Well, yeah. Except for being up for like a 45-year-old man against 45-year-old men and being the only person under 30. Just don't shave your beard, it's fine. They're not worried about your hips, though. My hips don't lie, Goblin. My hips don't lie. Oh, I wish they did. My mouth does, though. All right, welcome back to the Roleplay Relay. My name's Nerdy, and I don't know what is... Oh, yeah, that's my wife. It's like a reflex now. All right. So, are you flying? Yes. You're still flying. my broom. Oh, the broom that we definitely remember. Yes. That you had. I have a broom of flying. Yeah. Uh, and then this is Aurelia, uh, your maid of honor. Yeah, truly. Maid of honor. Like, she doesn't know what the fuck D&D is, <laughs> so I can't even, like, send her this. Be like, you're a dragon. She'd be like, what? Like, I also, she was made of scales. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also think that she would be like, did you fucking put me in your fucking nerd game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Why, why, why do you keep You're saying my, why, why am I taking necrotic damage? <laughs> what, what is necrotic? What's necrotic? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All you right. Do play like video games or like, did you ever, so this would be like so out of left field. Sounds like someone's missing out. I know. I just stared <laughs> the camera down. <laughs> oh, that's dead. We just gonna instead of Oklahoma sing Shrek the musical today. Or yeah, but that's like, great. Pick, pick that, one every day. Yeah, please. I'm gonna build me a wall. <laughs> oh, make it ten feet high. Rude. That's that hostile. Legally. See you later, pal. <laughs> 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 All right, tomorrow's Legally Blondes. Just so oh, you guys perfect. Know, musical every day. <laughs> Love that it. one's like, oh my god, that's gonna get annoying. No, no. it's not. Yeah. No. I know. Serious. I'm already annoyed. Stop already. Stop already. Stop already. Jackie. I'm gonna chip in my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I, I love the, Do you know what they were fighting? Do you know what this was this the grip? It was, Is right? It actually a grip? I don't know. The grip dies. This, oh. Oh yeah, no, that was the final blow. Yeah, it was the final blow. Oh, you guys killed it. I thought we were in the middle no, of the No, we, we walked in on the last hit. <laughs> You're like, I don't wanna do this combat. It dies. <laughs> it falls over. <laughs> that would be great, actually. Uh you guys won. Congratulations. Hip hip hooray. Woo! Hip Woo! hip hooray. Yeah. Of course we did. Woo! Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Let's Good level morning. up because the Grick has died. Good morning. Awesome. Does anyone have their next sheets ready? Yes. What's a sheet? What? What's a sheet? I have so many. All right, let's do our level ups. Uh, oh, we, oh, but it's the end of the fight, so we can level up. Grick like, has passed, and uh, I'm sure Garrett killed it with hasted bullshit. Probably. Um, Leave him chat. alone. Thank you, chat. I'm so right one. Now. Leave me alone. I didn't do uh, it. Yeah, so... Um, what are you doing, guys? I didn't do it. I didn't do nothing. I always feel like I'm like, all right, the handoff is done. Let's uh, we're, let's get moving. Uh, and then there's there's so much else that needs to happen oh, right yeah. after we hand off. Should we... Yeah. Um, but yeah. uh, we're all level 12 now. 20. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Which, 20. <laughs> for, for the sake of this, for the sake of this campaign and moving forward story-wise, uh -huh. does mean uh, that I believe Grunge now has access to teleport. I do. I what? have transport by plants. Yes. 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 Um, but I don't know. But I, 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 those are both six level spells, right? Yes. Um, or seven level spells? I can fly. Or me, no, wait, maybe you get it he at 14. Fly, he can fly, he can I have fly. a teleportation circle, you are right. You have a teleportation circle. Uh, when you get teleport, though. Everything is uh, musical. Now. 
Yeah. Oh, no, wait, you're behind. Oh, my God. Right, right, because of your multi class, I don't think yeah, you have it yet, actually. No, I, I, don't oh. think so. I just have teleportation circle. So, not yet. But soon. Soon. Right. Um, right. So, Taryn is with you. Uh, you guys have. Yeah, it's a seventh level. I don't think you have seventh level spells yet, right? No. No. All right, that's fine. Uh, so, uh, but uh, when we take over tomorrow, yeah, uh, you will have a teleport. Um, and you yes. have tree, uh, walk through trees or whatever. Transport by plants. Transport by plants. Thank I, you. Think, I think that's what it's called. Uh, so as I we're moving, as we're moving stuff. forward with this, um, you guys are going to be able to start moving around to places you have already been a little bit faster. Thank God. Which is going to make things a little, uh, difficult for me and Matt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as the Grick dies, um, Fred Fredberger uh, pops out, uh, and you feel that like familiar energy that seems to have happened uh, six times to you now. Uh, and he plays a little ditty on his uh, lute. Um, About Jack dying. <laughs> I know, he's just like, this place is on fire. <laughs> but that forge ain't on fire. Five in the morning, good for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, so professional. You, <laughs> professional. You guys level up. Um, Taryn doesn't, but he is looking at you guys like, why are you all like vibrating a little bit? It's uh, it's an interesting sight. Ooh, oh. it's we're just a level 12. <laughs> it's just a special talent I have. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go around the table and talk through our level ups again. Uh, and uh, we're gonna roll our health. So, Goblin. Awesome. Um, I do know that I got new armor again. Yeah. Whoa. Do you have plus two now? Yes. So now Any my resistances. Holy yeah, my AC is sixteen. It's Elven chain, so it just doesn't give us like. I think it's a medium armor. Um, it doesn't give us its advantage on checks. Right. Um, the the self checks. Second. Which one's the tiger's eye? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the other thing is nice. You've been good energy. Um, I should have put them out under the full moon. Anyways, um, I thought I got something else. No, I think it was just the chain. So let's roll some 1d8 plus 1. Is that 5? So 6. Uh, 6 points of health for me. Um, and then my new feature. At level 12 as a druid is just the feat. Okay. And that took war caster, so now I have the advantage Ooh. on concentration. I yep. can perform somatic while holding a shield if I like. Yep. Um, yeah. And I can do it on an opportunity to cast spell of one action casting time that targets only one creature instead of an opportunity attack. So, yeah. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. Good for me. Good for me. Clarooster. Um, well, it looks like I got some. Uh, have you never oh, heard that before? Health. Oh my god! I caught the, the number of. <laughs> we literally call her room in the house the roost. I love it so yeah. much. Because it's like at the front, it overlooks the street. I don't know how I've missed that all these years. <laughs> you haven't seen the clip of her being like, "I'm the motherfucking Clarooster." <laughs> It's one of my uh, favorite clips of you. Oh boy, that's gonna make me oh. curious. Ah, uh, cool. Ah, uh, cool, cool. We have the Brimbo Flying, wow. which we're on. Um, we also uh, apparently now have Cloak of Arachnida. Your favorite. Gross, yeah. We can uh, use spiders together. We, we can. We can. Does yeah. that allow you to turn into a spider? No, you have poison resistance, you have climbing speed equal to your walking speed, you can move up and down across vertical surfaces and along thick ceilings, you can't be caught in webs and can move through webs as if they were difficult to rain, and you can use an action to cast the web spell. The spell created by the web created by the spell fills twice the normal area, and that's like once per day. Yeah, Not yeah. per long rest, it resets at dawn. Correct. Um, so that's interesting. And then necklace of adaptation is you can breathe normally in any environment and you have advantage on saving throws made against harmful gases and vapors. Right. And poisons. Bars. Okay. So. Right <laughs> oh, guys, we didn't really mention it. Uh, we're halfway there. Living oh. on a prayer. Yeah, this handoff was the halfway point of uh, the campaign. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also... Ish. Like, congratulations to us and, yeah. Yeah. and everyone. Yeah. They've done Holy four, we've man. done three, we have four left, they have three left. Oh, shoot. Because I do think I, we're going to go a little long on the last one. I feel like the final fight is not going to end at 5 o'clock. Yes. But, um... Agreed. 
Not with the way these fights are going. <laughs> well, fuck, who knows? We'll just keep bumping up the bugbear's health. If it's... So everyone... It's public knowledge that everyone's coming... Doing... Uh, we're gonna try. Okay. The one question we have about that right now is where do they go? Where do they sit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we'll figure it out. Can you and Matt do if like the set that? falls apart during the final fight, whatever. Can, can we have it that you and Matt do three-headed opera, but it's two-headed opera? So do you guys just each say one word in a sentence? Oh my god! No. Okay. Or my voice. <laughs> my name yeah. is Scruffleupagus. I yeah. am the bugbear emperor. Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's why you have one voice. So you need so to yeah, It needs to just happen like four minutes. My anyway. name is Scruffleupagus. We're crushing it. Um, okay, ah, uh, ooh. So I did a dumb thing in D&D Beyond, and I like went sure. back to previous levels to like look at them. And because I did that, the stuff that I chose for later levels um, isn't like selected anymore. But I'm like 99% sure that Fanta and I chose tough. Wait, it should be on your sheet. Well, I only printed off the like first page of the sheet because I was like, I don't need the list of spells. But it, uh, but that means that I don't have some of the like features, so it's fine. I'll go. I'm like I'm almost positive we like decided to pick tough. What and does then tough do? Tough. Th that. See, that's a it's fantastic tough. question. It's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, is it, isn't tough just a shit more health points? It's, yeah. Yes, HP. it's a lot more HP. So I'm just going to like put it in here. Um, I don't know if it affects your AC else? or not. It doesn't it's, affect your AC. It, maybe it's constant. No, it's your uh, HP. It's just HP. But wait, wait, I, does it affect your like, hit point maximum increases by, by amount, amount equal to twice, twice your, your level. level? Yeah. That's nice. Whenever you gain a level thereafter, your hit point max increases by additional two points. That's what the second part is. Got it. So all of your rolls are plus two uh, from now on. Um, yeah, so, so, so my hit and, point maximum uh, increases... You're level 12, so your hit point maximum increases by 24. So 24, and then I roll? Uh, so 86 plus 24, and then I roll for my... Yes, but you don't get, uh, the, you don't get the additional 2 on this level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're getting the 24. Because then you would get 26 this level and... So that'll be 110 plus... plus whatever you roll. Plus 2 plus... My con is three, so plus five, so 115. Great, Rob. What's up with Garrick? Um, you guys are uh, you. Oh, by, by the way, you guys have um, had a little smoochy smooch. I I heard, I heard oh. after, uh, two smoochy smooches. The yeah. serious, the serious side of the table. Yeah, in a fucking, fucking episode of The Office where Jim and Pam finally kissed. Jim, well, and Jim <laughs> took a love potion, fell in love with an orc or an ogre or some shit, and I yeah. had to apologize. Yeah, wow. Garrick was like, hi, sexy orc. And then you were all like, huh, fuck you, come Apparently here, I'm Taryn. Jealous. And yeah. then you were like, Taryn? And then it was like, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, yeah, we're the goofy yeah. ones, and they're having a fucking scooby. sitcom plot over there. <laughs> it's just Shakespeare. Yeah, it is, yeah, it, yeah. it's over. Comedy of errors, right? You made up with Taryn, which I'm happy oh, about. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. apologized yeah. to Taryn. Made up, made up. I, I did, you know, I, 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 I feel that I have literally felt, like me as a person, felt so bad about what happened with Taryn. You were drunk. It yeah, happens. I'm very glad that um, it uh, has it's worked out. So. And now things are good. I, They're Gucci. They're Gucci. I Thank will you. give up just a quick props. It's work for using bait and switch as the way to pull her in and kiss her. That was yes. really, yeah. that yes. I literally burned yeah. my special die for that. Yeah, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> no, why I'm, not? I'm 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 happy about it. You don't uh, get a first <laughs> kiss uh, that often. No, 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 exactly. You only get a first kiss. No, once. no, it would, you can't have first kiss with the same person more than that was not like, Garrick's first kiss no 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 I mean, no oh, okay. with, with one with person no, it, no. <laughs> no. That, that I do believe no 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 uh, it's my I mean you you can't have a first kiss with the same person more than once you know yes mm -hmm. it's true so I don't know. Every kiss with you feels like my first oh bet. my oh wow please <laughs> I you know, I'll give you, you I'll, 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 I'll give you, yeah. The, the, Talk okay. about a baby. All right, I'll take it. See, she's speechless. Gentlemen, this is how you treat your woman right. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, well, he's not hasted yet, so he's useless. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh he's, God, the shot. only new thing, really, about Garrick is, oh, yeah, he has a dragon. Oh, yeah. yeah, Aurelia. Yeah. A gold dragon. A gold dragon oh, that is... Uh, you guys aren't at full <laughs> HP, right? You, your maximum HP goes up, but you're, you have yeah, keep current. the same I'm still current at, HP. Yeah, like, I think your current HP does not go up with what you roll. Thank um, you. The oh, yeah. only really new thing I think that uh, 
really popped up skill set wise with Garrick is the another annoying thing for you is now I do have Sentinel. So if I oh if my I God. reaction take an opportunity attack on a creature that moves, your movement goes to zero and you stay there. Oh my fucking god. That's rude. Isn't doesn't it do something else? It might do one more thing, but... Doesn't Sentinel allow I did to, just read it! Doesn't it allow you to take... Um, yeah, it does. Uh, so when uh, you when a creature... Oh, uh, even if you disengage, I take a reaction to it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, creature, but then the, but they, still, they get away. So if they disengage, they do get to move if you hit them. If they don't disengage, then you hit them and their movement goes to zero. I believe. I don't know. Uh, but the, uh, the other <laughs> important thing about Sentinel is that... Um, if you are standing next to someone and they take an attack from someone in your melee range, you can, your reaction, you can yeah. use Sentinel to attack that person. Great. So he's yeah. becoming very defensive against everything around him, it seems. So yes. it works pe- It works for uh Which is RP why there's so much for- area of effect coming your way. Well, yeah. Any new uh, magic items you're excited <laughs> about? Um, I don't think he has any new magic items. Gauntlets are where they're at. Uh, I think when they did find all the magic items they dispersed it amongst the team. Yeah, yeah, there was great. a promise to him from the king that if this does succeed, I would be given the best armor I've ever had in my life. Ooh. I don't know if Matt relayed that. <laughs> and if he didn't, I will be sure. He said I'm the gonna, best armor I'm I've ever had Matt, in my life. I'm going to text Matt really quick. Just, yeah. just make sure Is it just a picture of the middle finger? No, I'm just going to text Matt to be like, did you promise? Yes. We'll pause. Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait. Also, yeah. while we're pa- so, do we need to mark off the spell slots that um, we use, or is it just that our HP stays at the? I think like, I, I'm I'm leaving my spell slots that are used used. Yeah. yeah no, no, you yeah. guys are you, you have not rested. You yeah. have leveled up, yeah. but you everything else you are you are tapped. Whatever's expelled. Yeah. But we can use our Spend new it. features. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Say yes, yeah. Okay. unless it uses a slot that you're, you're using right now. Yeah. Okay, thank you. But no, no, you didn't. You don't get anything back. Uh, you yeah. don't get any health points back. You've not short rested. Uh, you are in the forge. It is very hot. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I'll roll. Uh, I guess I'll roll for max HP. Or, yeah, and yeah. roll your HP, please. Yeah. Grunge. What's going on with Grunge at level twelve? Ah, lots of new spells. Um, many. Plus Actually, four. I have too many to choose from. I don't want to hear them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, that's a mood. <laughs> I did get a magical microphone. <laughs> it just enhances my voice. <clears throat> Incredible. <laughs> Not that you needed it. So I'm just gonna, you know, sing whenever now. Um, but mechanically, I think that that is very interesting. Yeah. What is the range on your magical microphone? Uh, that I don't know. It's a thaumaturgy. Right. The same distance as thaumaturgy, which would be so that. That is not just flare, right? Because oh. you are leading your Chris zombie just army. Told me it was flare. But keep in mind that because you have a magical microphone, that you will you can now command your zombies from further away on the battlefield. Hmm, okay. Because oh. they will be able to hear you at greater are distances. You ready? Are you ready to that, rock? Let's right. go! That, that's just thaumaturgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so say. Why are you over there? <laughs> with, with that, you will be able to command your forces oh of your army from uh, 30 feet greater distance than usual. Sweet, cool, um, awesome. That's pretty, okay, that's I need really to write sad. that down. I think you're gonna be like a sports coach. I don't know that Matt thought about that when he gave it to you, but there's, I can't yeah. think of a reason why it wouldn't they work that way. They hear you clearly, uh, yeah. so why, yeah, yeah. 30 um, All right. Oh, I do not have the scimitar anymore. I gave it to Clarence. Yes, Clarence is using the dragon killer scimitar thing. I feel, um, is it? Matt's night shift now is like, let's buff these guys as much as we can to make Nerdy's days worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. While well, not hours. moving the plot forward, because we're going to spend seven hours doing <laughs> making up with Taryn, because Clarus fucked it up. Matt, I, I love you. I'm just messing with you. Does, does anyone know who this is? No. What, their last song? Oh, that must be Taryn. No. Oh, oh, that's Taryn. Okay, okay, okay. No, that's your last song. Oh, yeah. okay. You have one. Wow, Taryn has flowing locks. <laughs> He also has knows, my capability now. Turn also has titties. What? what? Oh, good. I'm bisexual. Like <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. No, it's so funny. I hear, never mind. I don't need to. <laughs> oh, also, and I need to note that my health is at 69. Nice. Right. <laughs> nice. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. All right. Uh, you are standing in the forge, uh, the final forge as it is known, because it was the last one they built, the deepest into the mountain. It is a massive construct before you. That, uh, the ceiling of this place reaches 
uh, so high that even with your dark vision, you cannot quite see uh, as the light uh, from the lava pools that is lit uh, doesn't quite extend or uh, reflect off of anything. Uh, as you look up into that internal darkness, in the middle, you see this silver forge. It looks like it possi couldn't possibly be silver, but there's something about its design that gleams and shines even after over a decade of not being used. Um, it is quite clearly a very magical artifact to those of you who have studied the arcane. Uh, and this silver pillar of ornamented metal uh, rises up into the darkness above you to who knows where. Uh, it is a truly awe-inspiring piece of work, and whoever built this did something truly incredible with their time. But now it is your time. You have just killed a Grick. Its corpse is lying before you. What would you like to do? Did they loot? They did not. Loot! <laughs> what are you looting? Um, do we see any... There, is, um, there are two things. Okay. That are in the room. What are you looting? Yes. 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 Whatever it is, yes. <laughs> One of them is this. Oh. The Ew. corpse of this thing. That's disgusting. That's awesome. Gross. Grunge would love that. <laughs> Ride that into battle. Uh, and the other is the Grick. Uh, which I painted. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Still disgusting. The red is a little too red, but, but other than that, I like yeah, him a lot. Yeah, totally. um, red from all the killing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so both of those large corpses are around you. Uh, you don't see a lot else. This wasn't, it's not like you would find like a hoard of treasure here. This gotcha. is, um, y the dwarves didn't keep their gold next to their smithy. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you wanted to loot on your way out, you could rob the dwarves of their no. goods um, from their no. home that they're trying to proclaim. I, but I, you can loot these corpses. I, yeah, and I feel like if there's nothing on them, like, I don't know if they have, like, a little satchel, or, you know, a little Indiana Jones satchel. No, but it's more so, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what Garrick would know unless it's maybe Arcana, but it'd be essentially anything that you can even break off of them, like a spike, something with, with magically imbued, poisonous, can, like, you, something that could be useful or maybe change like into something. Insight check or something? Yeah. Roll an intelligence check for me. Got it. That, yeah, uh, and uh, thank you. roll a nature check for me. Let's do intelligence, and it's guided, which does 1d6, 1 1d4. 1 1 1 yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm intelligent, but I don't think I'm going to be that. That's not bad. Uh, 13, so it's not the, it's not the highest. Uh, no, but you would know this is a large burrowing creature that yeah. has to, like, use its mouth. It consumes as it goes. Okay. Uh, you know that um, a Grick, something like this, maybe not necessarily Grick, uh, it is entirely possible that it has, that, that, that um, getting into what it, it, its bowels and stuff, that there might be stuff there. Um, oh, like, because it's going through shit. Yeah, yeah you also yeah. know that the burrowing, the bur <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Get out of here. <laughs> the, the pieces of this that it uses to burrow um, are exceptionally hard. Uh, the, the claw pincer at the front and the beak. Yeah. Uh, and um, th those would be of value uh, to people who would gotcha. need stuff like that. Perfect. Okay, and cool. would I know that if I attempted to cut its stomach open to see if there's any goods, I'm assuming, is it, do I know if it breaks the ground down because it just has amazingly hard teeth or it's high in acid that would shred me if I opened it? <laughs> Mm. Um, That's a good question. Right? With a like 13. crazy digestive system. That is a or, good question. Thirteen's low, I, 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 comparatively, so I, I, you cannot give me it. Uh, you're not sure. Yeah. But <laughs> you just fought this thing, and it gave you no reason to believe that it had any poisonous Acid. or acidic okay. things. Okay. So like, it, it might be deep in its bowels. That is different. Yeah. yeah but yeah. um, from from the experience that you've just had, being very up close and personal with it. It doesn't seem, because you guys have dealt with a lot of poison, the abolith and sizzle, yeah, the yeah, 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 bone devils, yeah. it doesn't seem to have that kind of quality that those things have. Cool. Um, amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like those, th the two valuable things that you said, like would be like the sharp tooth or whatever that it uses, mm -hmm. I, I give it a g attempted like little snap. Give see me if, a survival if, check. Survival check, yeah. See if I can like preserve Got it somehow. It. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to roll it with it this time. <laughs> Guided. Um, survival's not bad. I am proficient. Yeah, I, I always see, this is a thing that I've seen debated. Is it like, is it nature? Is it survival? I feel like survival. I think it's survival because uh, 
because of Boy Scouts. Yeah. Like, I, when I was learning how to survive in the woods, that's when I learned how to, like, gut animals yeah. and stuff and like that. For RPing for me, it's great, too, because of 16 years of survival, that he's like, I picked up a thing or two. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's go survival. Yeah. Let's see if he... Around Boy Scouts. I learned a little bit in 16 years, it seems. <laughs> but 14. Uh, yeah. Um, it's you, 11 plus 3. You, you carve through, and most of what comes out seems to be dirt. Um, but uh, you do find yeah. one... Uh, Hilt. Cool. Um, this is a gift to the party from Deadsy. Hey. Uh, and, and a super chat. Uh, but you find Deadsy. a hilt yeah. that doesn't seem to have a blade. Um, roll an Arcana check for me. Arcana is going to be blue. Um, Those guys are good. We like I do. Well, yeah, very good. But um, it's 25. Right. You know, that it's <laughs> worth, you, you know that it is very worth identifying this item. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you now you have to identify. Like, as soon as you touch this hilt, you're like... Can I... You can take time, yeah, now if you want to do that. It's a minute. <laughs> or, or you can take ten minutes to keep ritual cast. You can do it, because I have to raise my army. Yeah, I'm like... It, it, Wait, actually, so, can you ritual cast? I don't know if you can. I can't. Grunge can. I yeah. Can. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Um, I could Wait, even I just... <laughs> you, but, uh, yeah, I'll just give you this now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you don't know what it is, and you can't use it. Until um, <laughs> you fucking shit. I, I don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what that is? I do. Well, I, I don't I don't it's just, Eric doesn't. It's I just cool. No yeah. But I have it, a feeling it's, it's Feynor will end up with that. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I would, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. no idea what this is. I just got excited. It's funny. Would anyone like. Uh, uh, oh, uh, mm. what did you roll in your survival check? 20. No. Uh, 14. Uh, you you're not able to pull the beak off the okay. most like the, the beak is pretty shattered from punches and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you do get two of it, the, the the claws at the end of its tentacles. Sweet. Um, who did the dragon scales last? Time? Can I give you the claws? They Can are. You like, you're gonna want to put them in the bag of holding. Yeah. Never mind. I'll put they're, them in the bag of holding. They are like, large you enough. Might need like these. They look like this big compared to. Oh, okay. Us. They're large enough that um, the primary use for these would probably be to make a shield. Okay. So, okay, so that, That's why they're of value, um, is because you literally just put straps on the back and you have a very good shield. Cool. And letting his exhausted and bleeding <laughs> nerdy side show, yeah. he like sits cross-legged with the bag of holding in between his legs like he's mm -hmm. about to build his Legos and like takes this claw and goes like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like <laughs> pushing it in the... Yeah. You have to like, you have to like, squish the bag this way a little bit so it gets a little bit wider. Yeah, it goes like... Perfect <laughs> through. But you do get two of them cleanly off and they're in good shape. Thank you. Um, and then uh, would anyone like to handle uh, the skittering nightmare over here? Mm. I'm flying, so... I will. Right. You have me roll something. <laughs> yeah, I had you roll a uh, nature check. It was a seven. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are poisoned. Yeah, so I, I, you rolled nature and he rolled uh, intelligence to see if you would know about the grip. Your oh, seven so didn't help him, but he got a twenty-six. So it was like, yeah, yeah sorry. No, you're um, right. Thanks for trying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just guided. Yeah. I didn't know it, guidance. If he had failed, I feel like you would have been like, from a natural perspective, understood this kind of creature maybe. Heard. Um, but he won that fight. Safety. Roll for me. I appreciate the safety. I do. Seventeen. Nice. A seventeen. Uh, you plus. I don't know what, because what is, he didn't say. <laughs> what was the check? Uh, oh, it was um, a... <laughs> Same. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Roll for loot. You rolled high enough. You do find okay. one item um, <laughs> with it. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Shit. Another item? Jesus Christ. Well, there's only supposed to be one, and then Betsy paid for one. So. That's fair. Yeah. And, like, you know... I'm not going to, like, take away one that you were supposed to get because someone paid for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that's fair. And some of these are breakable, so... They're mostly breakable at this point because you have so many fucking items. No, no, the ones given this, by chat are not. This I know, but like you still have, already. you guys have a lot of magic <laughs> items. Oh, I know. Like, it's it's getting, and thankfully a lot of them are tuned, so mm -hmm. that's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Alright, you guys have looted these corpses. You have a couple of potential shields or, or things that you can sell. Mm -hmm. um, you are in the forge. You are looking at this beautiful silver instrument of metal work. What, uh, what would you like to do? For those of you who didn't uh, participate, uh, the, for you, you two took a short mess there. Uh, in the time it took them to like gut those corpses, you guys, didn't, unless there's something you want to do, you can say that you took a short rest. I was guiding, but that's a cantrip, so it's up to you if I do or not. 
Yeah, no, no, you were fully, like, I, I'm gonna say Lara was, like, fully relaxing back, like, just, like, chilling and, like, being like, you're doing great! <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, I, yeah, I think she was just, like, like, <laughs> yeah, she was just, like, trying to check in on them, but she also, like, um, immediately <laughs> ran to Taryn as well, because I know, um, within the fight, he was down and getting pummeled, mm -hmm. and yeah. she was, like... So we are resting? Um, you're, you're, cra you're like cradling this out of the ground, you're like petting him and be like, hey, uh, if you just like cut, yeah, no, no. slow strokes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she like yeah. takes his forearms like, uh, like, is he looking okay? Taryn is okay right now. Okay. He's not like great, but he's okay. Yeah, she, okay, so she goes and she like, she just looks him over and he's like, how many, uh, Four. Oh, I'm always fine when I'm looking at you, lass. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you just, he just brings like one, one hand up and he just like your chin a yeah. little bit. Uh, <laughs> ner nerdy. Are my gauntlets attunement or are they just part of me at this point? All of the artifacts yes. have to be attuned. So I have two. I have two attunements. So you have two in addition to your artifacts. Because mm -hmm. otherwise. Is, wait, is it attunement attunement? Or is it no, 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 no. The, okay. the gauntlets are yeah. one. So okay. one, one, two, one, one and the necklace makes How much two attunements. Would yeah. you like this? Because I'm not gonna use it. Chat, one thousand dollars for extra attunements. <laughs> yeah, you you lose a lot if you use a weapon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So if anything, it would be one of those two. But if I'm gonna do that one, anybody, for Pedro, it might be Alora. Alora. If, it's a sim if it can be a scimitar, um, does it say any sword? Uh, no, on the you vest? can't use the nine life sealer. It's yeah, no, it's just a it's just a sword that adds <clears throat> damage. That was a sword I thought you guys gave to Clarence when I woke up. Because um, it's the sort that you guys have had since the beginning of the campaign. Well, I, I'm no not use, ever going to use, use it, I and I'm reattaining to the tentacle too big, right? so... Yeah, the fighter out in our party not being able to use weapons because he already has the best weapons money can buy is, is sort of like, it makes, because we I, when we're doing the de magic items, we I pull a lot of swords and stuff, right. and I'm like, there's no... It doesn't, it's not useful. Can Terrence use it? Yeah, I was going to say, Grunge turns to Terrence and, uh, hey man. Yeah. I got something really cool for you. I, I don't really well, do. need it, but maybe it will help you on your travels. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, you guys keep apologizing. I said it was all right. Feynor apologized. I feel like we're good. Thanks, just, 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 oh, no, thanks, I'm so Galvin. sorry about Timothy. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea what the fuck his name is. <laughs> I'm so sorry about Timothy. You see, go. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. The monster. I didn't know it had a name, to be honest. Oh yeah, they can talk. Well, you can talk to, to me. Him. Oh, well, it's okay. That's um, I didn't ask good. the owl what his name was, but I can. Oh, or I could just um, whenever we wind down, I can cast it on you, and then if you want to. I'd be quite surprised if we saw that owl again. <laughs> really? I thought you, she was with you on your shoulder when... Currently? Oh, I saw it again. I'm surprised. <laughs> it's okay. I got knocked in the head when I was younger, too, so I forget some things. Um, I just died. <laughs> so he's... But are you just already a ghost? Was, was, yeah, sure, wait, sure, sure. So no one can use that? What? Would you consider it a simple? Uh... Because it's, it it's not short or long. I am going to say that the radiant nature of it... Um, can be attuned to a cleric. So overruled. I'm overruling the card because it got pulled. And, and it's sick. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gift from chat. It got pulled. And I'm going to say that the only person here who could use it would be you, um, but you're not going to, or a cleric, because of the radiant nature of it. Beautiful. Um, so so then, yeah. given proficiency because of the radiant nature of it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Beautiful. You're amazing. Thank you. um, it's like the connection to, because it is a radiant weapon, be, the, your connection to your god is what allows you to use it. You're awesome. not good at using it as a sword. Yes. You're more using it as a radiant yep. like scepter of the yep. gods. I I would be using it as a sword, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I Does would. that make sense? Yeah. 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 Think, yeah. It's also just like <clears throat> you you don't really have a good weapon. Um, no, I I And I, I think I, that it would be fun for you to have something. Yeah, no, that's fair. And so like, when I pulled it, I thought it was technically perfect. like I could use it, but I it, I don't get a proficiency bonus with it, and so it kind of just like nerfs it. Because mm -hmm. you can use things that you're not proficient in, but then... But I'm saying that, yeah, I'm going to, and I'm going to tell Matt this, the call is that your proficiency in it comes from your god. Thank you. Not from your, like, ability to use swords. Yeah, no, I appreciate when that. When you see what it is, you'll understand why you don't necessarily need to be as proficient in it as you would with another sword. Oh, okay. um, 
I, when it, Unless we're we'll, going by Star Wars rules, but that's we'll all. Keep, <laughs> mm-hmm. We'll keep going, but then if uh, I will, I will fully use a spell slot to identify because it's he's he's nerding out right. Okay, now. then do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so after <laughs> after shoving two giant claws cross-legged into a thing and like being all excited, you kind of see Garrick like pacing around in circles, like just with this hilt of a sword, of yeah. a sword, and you're like, oh, he's got a broken sword. Um, and then he kind of just does does a bit of a wave with his hands and identify and then kind of like backs up sort of knows what's happening and then it doesn't really make a sound does it? <laughs> no you see, <laughs> like you, you see like as his hand passes over the hilt of the blade the, it, it, it's like the there are like imprints of his hand that become translucent behind as the like image of his hand stays where it was uh, so and cool. as those imprints catch up with his hand uh, an energy seems to pulse up his arm and um, you uh, have this moment of clarity where you realize what this can do. Amazing. Um, and do you ignite it? Yeah. So immediately understanding, like you see his eyes going incredibly um, wide with excitement, and he just holds it sideways and ignites it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see this silvery handle of a um, of a sword <laughs> um, from the the quion of the sword a beam of radiant energy begins to uh, pass into the space in front of it. And you hear a light hum as, uh, is it called the sun blade? It is the sun blade. Uh, as the sun blade ignites for the first time, uh, and Garrick is now holding a beaming sword of radiant energy. Um, so, semi-blinded by the 30-foot radius of sunlight. <laughs> it is very bright. It's very yeah. bright, yeah. He, he kind of like looks over the light and if you allow Locke's eyes with you, deactivates it. I'm just like sitting on the broom. Yeah. It's like hovering on the ground. And <laughs> just approaches you and, and, and <laughs> when you pass a knife to a friend, like blunt end forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, she like you does You de-ignite it first. Yes, yeah, so yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I just flip it around and no. grab this burning hot yeah. blade of But he's still, he's still being so careful. Yeah. That even if something happens and it false ignites, he's pointing it at himself and he's not pointing it at her. True gentleman. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, the wow. only the only thing on top of that that you do notice yeah. is that when you ignite it, Aurelia gets very excited yeah. and it's like <laughs> my yeah the dragon. Uh, <laughs> by life. And when you deignite it to hand it to um, to Fenora, it's like I'm mindly at her. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> Because we've, we've talked, Mac. The fucking Aurelia can talk to you guys? Well, she was well, an intelligent being. Why did we give you guys so many different people who can talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the dragons not have, Isn't like, the game? Did, did, did this she hatch this morning? Or no, I guess it's in, like, four days. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, she's two she's days old. She's two days old. She's a medium creature, so she's... She no, because you guys hatched it in Ula, and then you went up to the Dawn's and then uh, it took you, like, a few days to get over. Or, sorry, went up to uh-huh. support hand and went over. Sure, told me she's two. Okay, she's days. two days old. Yeah. Well, she uh, okay. I was told she was a medium creature. Um, yeah, right now, so yeah. I, I yeah. can she speak draconic? If she can speak draconic, if she can speak something, then I can talk with her. I, yeah, I'm not no, no, no. I'm just, not. I'm not upset with you. I'm saying that when we <laughs> planned this out, <laughs> okay. Matt and I should not. Matt and I should have been like, we're going to. There are going to be things that show up as part of the campaign. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't have started with Abby and Fred. There's so there are, there's like so many like elements with you guys that are like getting dropped and forgotten and then coming back later because we're like oh fuck that's right there's all, Fred is also here and Abby's here <laughs> this person's here and now there's a dragon uh, yeah, so you mind leave with it and it's like it was so bright yeah you just really like the sunlight I, it just came from nowhere and then it was gone it was very cool it's magic just like you I'm magic <laughs> I think so. oh cool I don't know what that means I just know you're special. Happy <laughs> <laughs> little dragon. Right. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, you pass the sort of. I pass order. it and just. Um, I'm like very like hesitant because like like I said like she's not like proficient with simple weapons. She's held a dagger. She yeah. has them. She's used them. But like, would I know that she'd be able to just radiantly handle it? Essentially, uh, you like, wouldn't know. Okay. I think that you're just like this feels like your magic. Yeah, and his movement towards you felt like instinct. It felt yeah. like gut feeling. Like this would suit you. Okay. Can I, I'll like, I'll put my hand on it, but I'll kind of like make high contact and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. And kind of like offer like the bottom half of the 
laid towards your hand as well. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I don't actually know what to do with this. He actually he gently puts his hand on yours instead yeah, of the yeah. hilt of the blade and, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and gently turns it back and says, "You, I just have a feeling you, you will." And he releases it. This is a good sword. <laughs> um, it's a good sword. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> as as you hold it, and as as it like you you feel, it is it is a good sword. <laughs> you feel like a radiant light fill you, like um, when you connect with Gal. Yeah. Uh, it is not exactly the same. Okay. Um, and having having been to temples and worship uh, places of worship. Uh, this is a similar feeling that you, as, as someone attuned to the religious side of this world, have felt in places of worship of Gal men. Uh, and uh, as, a, as, a, as a connected god in the pantheon um, through their connection of Gal, um, you feel that you are able to be proficient in that. You, you, you feel like you could have some sort of connection to this um, through your connection with your deity. Thank you. So I have to unattune to an item which takes 10 minutes to attune to this? Uh, yeah, and you, right can, uh, you need to take a short rest to attune to something. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Do you guys want to take a, a full short rest before you try to figure out how to light the oh, forge? Oh, uh, fully, like I roll yeah, my head dice and everything. I was just about yeah, to right, so we're going well. to we're gonna say that all of that happened and then we short rest. Yeah, what that'd be amazing. What was the Gal Men? Gal Men. Uh, yeah, it's the god of air and fire. He was the first god. Uh, and he created the suns. I have seven pieces. Thank you. Okay. All right. What do I get to unattune? I'm gonna. We don't need the necklace of adaptation. Ooh. Necklace of adaptation. Nice. Yeah, that was the like the Six. you're protected from like breathing in like harmful gases mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and the breath ball. weapons of some dragon. I mean that that that's not bad, but is it is that the wind wall can't see like fight? Yeah, no, no. That's How many more dragons are we gonna make you guys fight? I don't know. We gave away the dragons. I know, so or race. Are, so. I know how many dragon oh, minis you uh, printed. Okay. And nerdy, I think. No, you I think. Don't. I don't. No, you don't. I, I've painted one of them and it looks great. You think that you do, but you don't. Don't know how. I was just told I because the dragon imprinted with me. I speak to it as like actually. Oh, I you think, can just talk to it? Uh, yeah, I think Bert said I, I just speak Draconic. I don't know when it came because right. we, used to be, we used to be Dwarven and Elvish, but now it's Draconic. I do love that this is the, the handoffs for this are so chaotic that you guys could tell me anything, and I'd be like, sure? I guess that happened. <laughs> I, I, if you say so. He's like, you, you speak to her. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, okay. Oh, I'm going to roll really quickly for... Um, I wish Matt had told me what her voice sounded like. Uh, Damn. Thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, for yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, she's just kind of like she's like she can't be up here because that's Clarence, so she's gonna be like Clarence, but a bit lower. No, she actually um, canonically she sounds like Carol Channing. Like who? Carol like Channing. Carol Channing. Yeah. Wait, so you've got a two year old no, 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 no. brain who sounds like Carol Channing? I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. No, 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 no. I was kidding. I can't. Oh, that's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> You can tell me anything, and I'll believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this is canon now, so this is what your little dry... Uh, hi, my name's Aurelia. Uh, <laughs> why am I... No, Janet. I'm becoming like Dr. Evil. Yeah. What the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> starting to sound very... Freaky. Freaky dinky. <laughs> Number two. Can you be Janet from Friends? Oh, yeah. Janet. Oh, that's Friend Drescher, right? We stand for Dresher. Isn't she like this? Yes, all yeah. nasal, and then goes like, nasal. Ah. Hey, friend Dresher. Uh, I, tweeted, uh, I tweeted at you um, uh, during the writer's strike, and I was mean. And then uh, during the sex strike, you turned it around, and you fucking crushed it. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. There was that whole clip of her where she was at the writer's strike being like, I don't think we're going to strike, because like, we're, we're having different negotiations. Uh, and, it, and everyone online was like, what the fuck? Are you your mid negotiations, shut mm -hmm. up. Uh, and then she came out like that day one and was like, fuck the day of <laughs> We're going on strike. Yeah. And I was like, all right, never mind. Yeah, like, friend judges are president, let's go. <laughs> and then I tweeted, I was like, this video is like watching someone lose the next election for SAC president. And then literally two weeks later, I was like, I have to, I have to rescind this. She's crushing it. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, okay, uh, yeah, so you take your short rest. Um, uh, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say Taryn is looking a lot better. That rest was good for him. Good. Uh, and uh, you guys are looking at the final forge glittering before you. You've looted. Um, you've taken some time. 
you have one zombie right now. I was going to say, what yeah. would you like me to roll to uh, start bringing them back? <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> Matt and I discussed your zombies. Yeah. yeah, not all of them can come back. Uh, no, none of them can come back as zombies. Uh, if you would like to, you oh, can raise okay. skeletons out of their bones. I was told mm. that Axel Dexy can come back. Axel Dexy is, um, oh, sorry, Axel Dexy is still alive. Ah, okay. Uh, Axel Dexy is fine. Um, oh, no, no, you can you can animate Axel Dexy, but the rest of them, the flesh has been um, seared from their bones. Good. So there are bones that you could turn into skeletons. Let's do it. I um, think I can that's... do four at a time. Great. So you want point. four skeletons? Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> come on, bonies. Oh, wait, I should call them boners. Bone. Yep. <laughs> Come on, boners. <laughs> oh, and when shit. they walk, they just have like... The minis slide around in here, and so all of the undead have gotten mixed up with your backup minis. Back up there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they, There's a couple skeletons there. Or I have them right here. Okay. Uh, I have to climb over here. What kind of sword is this? It, uh, long sword. No, it says if you're proficient with short or long, you can use it. But I th is it actually a long oh, sword? Oh, it is a yeah. long sword. Oh. Thank you. So... We're going to say... Like, it can be whatever you want it to be. Since it is so much like a lightsaber in Star Wars, yeah. uh, you can uh, set... It, it will extend to the length that you want it to be. Okay. Because you are... It basically, you are powering it with your cleric, like your godly light. Yeah. Um, and so, you are you are powering it to the length that you would like. Gotcha. Well, so there's a little dial on it. You can turn it up to ten or eight. That's a thing in Star Wars. Is it actually? And you can yeah, decide. Um, there's a dial on lightsabers uh, so that they can choose. Uh, there's there's that two. That is so cool. You can you can turn it to um, non. You can turn it to not damaging. Yeah. Uh, for practice, um, and that's what the like the younglings theirs are locked to that uh, in the Jedi Temple. That makes so uh, sense. And then now. you can also mm -hmm. change the length. That would be um, really cool. Star Wars Rebels made that canon because Ezra changes the length of Kanan's lightsabers so that he can use it. Um, I'm sorry. I, I am a fucking nerd! I have, like, I also a has like the dagger kind of one. And then no, that's a show totally. That's, that's, that's a whole other different. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going to ask Sam. It might be a few ones. I don't really so cool. know what like, pluses so I get from my normal hmm? stuff in terms of. I'm going to assume those two are still there. What do you mean? Damage. Yes? What's the damage on the sword? Well, it just says you do an additional D8 radiant damage. I don't know. And then there's a plus two on here. But just what of up. my so things do I add to that? Because I know that the, like there's something like on here that gets added. I have. Is it no, like strength? Is I it proficiency? I think, it, I think swords are dex or strength. So you're going to have to choose if you want to use your dex or your strength. Well, if it's a finesse weapon. You can use, you can finesse weapons, use your dex. I think. No, you know what? I'm going to say uh, use your proficiency bonus. For my damage? No, to I hit. Got, yeah, my proficiency I got to hit. That's fine. I mean the damage. You know how you roll one d eight plus whatever. Like, it yeah. Is. So what? What is? What kind of a sword? Do you, what kind of? What length do you want it to be? Um. I mean, I might as well do a long sword because it does more damage. Like, yeah. Okay, so you it's a, you have a long sword yeah, damage yeah. plus one d eight radiant plus two. Plus two, but what it, what do I add from my sheet to the plus? Because I'm pretty sure it's there's something that gets added. Oh, I, I understand what you're saying. I thought you were just asking what the sword damage is. Yeah, no, I got like what the sword damage is, to, but I is don't know like what my like base. radiant spell damage. No, there's radiant no, spell damage no, is already happening. Just like the plus to the dice. To the like damage, damage dice. I think it might be my strength modifier, which is plus one. Uh, you do yeah. not. I see. You don't add your proficiency bonus to damage. No. No, no, it's a hit. I, I go, uh, go I with plus my one. Strength, yeah. And then this is a plus two, so it's a two d eight plus three. We just got a new yeah. super chat. Yeah. Hey. Um, from Kenny. Theology. What's up, Kenny? How Kenny, you doing? Thank you. That, that nerdy singing has inspired Brunch. Oh, Brunch. Hey. thank you. Hey, that's thank cool. you, Kenny. Let's go. Let's go. You can use that megaphone. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, Fred Fredberger, who has been just staring at the Ford, comes out and is like, "This yeah. is the rest that never ends." <laughs> and it just goes on, and the guys can. There's a Ford in front of us. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Fred's a little impatient. He's like, you know, he's like, "You're drunk, uncle." Yeah, yeah. While we're also all just like, "Ooh, weapons! Ooh, teeth! Ooh, things!" And it's like, "There's a fucking Forge in front of you. <laughs> Do something about it." <laughs> 
right. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? Your rest has come to an end. Do we, um, can we get to the forge? There looks like there's yeah. a lot of lava. There is a path. Here. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Yeah. yeah. The shiny job here was to clear out the forge so they could come in and use yeah. it, right? Yeah. We'll also potentially reset it because it's dim, right? It's out. Yeah, I mean, the forge has oh. not been turned on in 16 years. Wow. Yeah. the tectonic. So it's like we... There has not been anyone in this room except you... I mean, you do see... There are the bones of dwarves yes. who were clearly killed now, um, when this place was sealed off. My uh, lovely shift change uh, told me that we were told it requires a significant amount of magical fire to reignite. Yes. Is that canon? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we know this as a squad. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would love to walk up to the path and go through and inspect right. an area of, do we shove coal in here? You know what I mean? Like, what, yeah. what's the area of where we could light? So, as you all come around, we'll just say you all. Yeah. We. <laughs> So uh, what is the marching like order here? Like what? What's? I think I think Garrett kind of knew what was up, so he'd like to lead. Unless okay, we're saying Garrett gets like here. Uh, for once, Faye is distracted. She's not actually. She's at the like. She's at the back. <laughs> she like hasn't like ignited it yet because she's like a little nervous. She's like yeah, like a little bit nervous, and if she fucks it up, she doesn't want people to see. And the zombies just... have a slower move speed, so they're kind of like behind, like catching up. Yeah, they're chilling. <laughs> just carrying. Just carrying. <laughs> yeah, they can no, carry me <laughs> into battle. <laughs> Uh, and Aurelia is like flying. Uh, Aurelia, like, wait, is like just watching guys. She's flying over the lava, kind of just enjoying. She's enjoying the heat coming up at her. Yeah. Um, so you you get to this forge, um, and you see uh, it is. Um, the, the, there is just this like magical bed um, that is uh, the same silver as the rest of the forge. Mm. Um, but. It does seem like uh, roll roll an investigation check for me. I would love to. Thank you. You've been rolling okay. Yeah, let's try you. The investigation is not bad, cause I'm book smart. <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, yeah. You see, um, it, it, it appears like the oh, the, yes. the there there's like grooves in the metal in these like uh, circular patterns mm. towards the outside, where it seems like this could open. Um, in a way where these these circular piece of metal would shift, uh, and so kind of like a gear if you turn. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, there, but there doesn't seem to be any buttons or any way to like interact with it. It yep. is just a solid piece of metal, uh, and then that uh, has ornamented design on the sides. Yeah, uh, and then the top is this triangular piece of. Um, it's this triangle sheet that has this sort of design in it that looks almost like it is meant to open like a portal. The, in the same way that, uh, that a portal that you would see okay. has opened in the past. Um, as part of that that investigation, I guess like, he, obviously it's not hot, it has been out for 16 years, but he does like that stovetop check for a second, yeah. just to see if there's anything. And then... It is, it is warm because it is metal in, in a, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it is not hot. Um, and then like, uh, like a dad looking for where the hell's the button on the TV, he kind of like <laughs> like guides his hands around to find the creases, the gears. Like yeah, he's just kind of yeah, yeah. like feeling about, being like, "Where's the remote?" When you pause uh, after that first, like I thought you were about to say, "Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there." <laughs> <laughs> and then not, a not a sponsor. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so you, you can see it, it seems like there's some magical property. Like um, you you have been around enough large arcane items to know it seems like there's some magical property about this. Okay. Um, but you can't like immediately distinguish what it is. Gotcha. Okay. I kind of relay that. I'm like, it just, it, uh, um, it feels magic. It doesn't feel fully mechanical. And I don't know if anyone has a second pair of eyes. They want to look at this. Like I, 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 I guess and he kind of like does the, uh, <laughs> like, the, the like the hands on I, hips, dad, like, <laughs> like, I have identify with that B. Um, I, I'm go I know. Okay. Uh, it is. I mean, you could Actually, try if you yeah. wanted, but um, from, any... but based on your initial investigation, all yeah, I'll say. I was gonna say, does anything happen to people? There, it is. It is magical. Yeah. Much much like the um uh, technology that created the Kalashtar, 
this is a blend of magic and dwarven technology. Yeah. So it isn't a purely enough magical thing to be able to identify. You could identify what some of the magics do, Got but it. that wouldn't necessarily tell you how they work with the technology in a way that would help you solve that. Would an arcana yeah. check? Oh, you can absolutely make an arcana okay. check. I would yeah. also like to do an arcana check. Okay. Hey, Garrick, why don't you ask Aurelia if she can breathe fire? She can. She can. She can. At this age? Okay, Yeah, great. she can make fire. Yeah. Love that for us. No, she nine can. Not no, we're, we're not, we're not short on fire spells uh, right, right now. The yeah. both of you, um, you, the both of you are at this, like, su this edge of the thing. And I you both kind of reach out wrong. with, um, not, not with a spell, but just sort of with uh, what, what your connection to the arcane. Uh, and uh, yours being this druidic nature, you don't feel anything from this um, device uh, in particular. But grunge, as you kind of reach out with uh, just your innate magical essence, uh, you feel it being pulled into the um, metal device in front of you, uh, and you hear a, a grinding of movement in the gears, but not, not, nothing like moves. Do we have to go around this room with like banging like three gongs until? Like... Do I know <laughs> what the magic is? No, you just feel you just feel um you just feel the the magical. Uh, you haven't cast anything into it. You just feel like as you, a little bit of magic in your fingertips gets pulled into the device, and that causes some sort of some sort of gear to start moving inside it. Oh okay. shit. Okay. Hmm. Um, could I try Mage Hand, I think, to, like, make the Mage Hand move the gears? Uh, sure, you want to cast Mage Hand at it? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so you cast Mage Hand. Uh, that's Cantrip, right? Yes. Yeah, so you cast Mage Hand, uh, and the spell gets absorbed into, as soon as the Mage Hand comes in contact with the top of the metal, uh, the smell disappears. Um, now, it dissipates, and the energy of the spell gets absorbed into the metal, and you hear just a little, again, just a little bit of grinding. So we all see this? Yeah, I mean, you see what happens here. Do we, oh. do we clue in that it needs think... a shit ton of magic to maybe move? Yeah, how much magic? <laughs> I mean, actually, how much magic do we need really do, hot? Like, I, I have, yeah, I, yeah, I do we think it. fire? Really a lot of it? I have the I mean, fireball rod. I'll see what I can Somewhere. do. Um, so, I'm gonna heat. As you guys are talking about that, turn does go, I mean, we have a dragon. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think oh, just yeah. the dragon's enough? I'm not saying, no, I'm just oh. saying that Taryn is like, you, you guys are talking about like uh, using a fireball rod, and he's like, you have a dragon, yeah. have fire. <laughs> um, um, so at, and but that, if you want, uh, you're heating it up with your hands? Yeah, I'll just cast it at second level, because I have heat metal, and that feels very appropriate. Right, yeah, at, yeah. At um, the same time, Garrick whistles to Aurelia as well, too, and be like, yeah, that's, right. that's smarter. No, um, to get, like, I want to, no, no chances. Oh, if you want me to wait, I'll wait until Aurelia comes up and we'll do it together. Yeah, uh, um, so. That's I'm just going to stand with them and uh, cast um, Sacred Flame. Okay, yeah, yeah, time. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I'm c And I'm kind of fe feeling like <laughs> puts his gauntlets down and does burning hands on it as well, too. <laughs> so it's just like, the Power Rangers unite. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all, like, everyone does a little bit of something. Yeah. All of that happens. Okay. Uh, there is, uh, you do kind of point Aurelia. I'm going to say Aurelia is going to go over here. Uh, yeah, Because yeah. her fire breath is just a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to stay over here and cast Sacred Flame from there, or do you want to move in closer? I was just going to move in beside Alara. Okay, I'm going to say you guys kind of shift this way um, so that Taryn steps back as a Tempest Cleric. He's not very helpful here. Yeah, um, Taryn. Uh, <laughs> and you're here. Okay. Uh, and so, uh, <laughs> yeah. as you sounds all, like a you problem. <laughs> as you all begin to cast fire, and as Aurelia opens its mouth and spews a modest amount of fire, it's a small, it's two days old, you know. Yeah. Uh, you can do it, Aurelia. <laughs> all of your magic uh, comes out the way that it should, and as soon as it gets within about a half inch of the thing, it stops being what it once was, mm. and it starts to get absorbed into the metal in front of you and you hear that tiny click of something trying to start moving suddenly start to spin. Mm. And you hear this almost clockwork sound as this centrifugal pattern on top begins to open and open and open. And it looks like it is going to reach its apex. It looks like you're pumping enough energy in. And then in a moment, it stalls. And at the edges, 
where you are still heating up that metal, uh, that magical energy begins to get drawn towards the middle of this forge. And in that moment, rising up out of the forge. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Is a monstrous creature of fire. Oh. And yeah. he begins to absorb the fire that you are pumping into this forge. Ooh, I mean, my, mine is crit. radiant. Yours is radiant, yes, but yes. Uh, the, that so is still getting... So if he takes damage from that. Yours is not getting absorbed <laughs> that, uh, but yours is getting, still getting absorbed into the forge. Uh, as he stands upon it, absorbing the fire uh, of uh, the dragon uh, and uh, uh-huh. and your burning hands... Yeah, yeah, it's all fire, uh, yeah. And your, your heat he would absorb. Um, it, it is fire. But it, is it because I'm right? It does. You're not actually shooting fire out, though. He's only absorbing like the actual fire from the room. Oh, whoa, whoa, uh, yeah. Metal object on touch. Uh, it does fire damage, but yeah, okay. Right. Cool. No, I, but I'm saying like. Yeah, I'm giving mine to the visible, metal yeah, around him. Visibly, you can <laughs> see. Yeah, yeah. He's only absorbing the fire that is in the air. Yeah, like if okay, you were to take cool, a flamethrower, he's yeah. taking that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Whereas if you were to poke, uh, put a hot poker, that would like. That yeah. is so rude. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, really? Stop, 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 stop. As, <laughs> as, he, as he ascends out of this, um, the, the, two of, the magic of the two of you is not enough to keep this thing open, and the forge below him begins to close as he absorbs the fire in himself. And you hear him say... Can I just keep... It's a cantrip, so can I keep casting? Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, alone, it's not enough. And yeah. so, like, the, the gears are turning, but they're, it's not... It's, you're not putting enough power into right. it right now without everybody else's help. Is he okay. all the way through? Ah, uh, yes. Damn it. And you hear him say as he looks down on you. Close it halfway, cut him in half. Finally, I have been freed. Um, Fuck. Please roll initiative for me. God damn it. Did he bring him back his fucking broken tooth? And now he's free? I'm the devil, I'm a man. I just need to take note that I am inspired. Nice. You are inspired. Yeah, I and I got a 19. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Oh no! Sorry, Matt. Oh. Okay, I will. I will give you one <laughs> chance to convince him that he can take Garrett to hell and make him gargle mayonnaise if you want. <laughs> <laughs> but Garrett will die and go to hell. Oh. Mayonnaise is good. Though. Oh my wow. God! Oh. Um, that's that, that's I, not. But the, the, it's not mayonnaise. Oh, it's, it's not. not no, it's, oh, it's not. Uh, no. You're gonna gargle mayonnaise. Oh, no. If we win. <laughs> Must take your sorry ass back to hell. I'd rather just play the best song in the world than kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, KJ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! I didn't realize how cool that you was. So, you got too into it. <laughs> so into it. <laughs> Do we have paper towels in the room? No. Got too into it. It's fine. This is what Tenacious D brings out. <laughs> Now it's time to blow this mother down. It's fine. And miss. Oh, I don't want to sing that one. The next line's a little bit. I made it right. I'm genuinely impressed still. It's 6.20 in the morning. Good for you. (laughs) Guys, I'm a baritone. I'm, like I said. Broadway was like, baritones don't exist anymore. And I was like, I guess I'll learn. No, I'm. Waving through a window. (laughs) Ah, PTSD. Uh, All right, so yes, in front of you is a very, very large uh, fire. Uh, this skeleton is not in the lava. Uh, <laughs> I hope it's a large, <laughs> fiery <laughs> fine, creature uh, from the hells uh, who looks like um, an absolute monstrosity. Uh, 20 to 25. No. Did anyone roll above a 15? 19. I rolled a 15. I rolled a 15. Uh, okay, you rolled a 16, babe? I did. Great. Oh my god, Fanta, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not, that was amazing. Uh, that then, was pretty, uh, uh, 10 to 15, pretty uh, you rolled 15. 1, 5, yeah, 15. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, what'd what you roll? 5. Right. Um, alright. 15 minus 10, love it. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this guy is going to start by dropping a fireball. No. On all of you. Aww. Uh, because no. you're so all inclusive. so close. Um, so, yeah, everybody make a uh, save for me. Save for me. Uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Dexterity saving. We don't have um, anything from chat. For 18! Oh, thank God. Wow. 19. 
Yeah, chat has not added a monster to this fight yet. Wait, why would you bring that up? No reason. You, the just, church you are so excited to kill us. I just gave you a lightsaber. Calm down. <laughs> okay. A dexterity saving throw. Okay. I do. Okay, perfect. That's just uh, the thing I needed to know. Dexterity saving throw. No, that's not my dex roll. This one. That's a 12. <laughs> um, my dexterity is a whopping plus zero, so watch out, world. Okay. It's a good yeah. thing I got on board. <laughs> Oh. I fail. Oh, wait, do we get spell slots back on short rests? No. No, there's no... It depends like, on what your special is. Like, for me, I can get up to three... Okay. Oh, like, you get your third level. Right? No, it, it says I get uh, spell slots up to a certain, like, oh, amount. Great. Oh, great. I'll Google for the cleric. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, so now it's five. Seventeen. Damn. Okay. Combined level of five or half. Yeah. Wow. Great. Yep. Just all my high levels. Which is why I just got my. Oh, I rolled a four. I feel. Uh, I feel. What did you roll? Eighteen. All right, Kenny. we have two super chats that came in. Right. Um, Kenny Theology has blessed the um, group, and then also Donovan uh, has bought a random monster and there it is. Uh, <gasps> two disadvantages of the DM's choice. <gasps> Wow. Um, is well, it easy to give them to Gary? Yes, 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's too late to do the blast for the same. Wait, it's too late? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, oh. the blast will start after this attack. All right, that's This me. is where Make he yourself. dies. True. I mean, you're going to have blast for the rest of this fight. Oh, I need to pick a random creature. We're blessed? We're blessed. You're blessed after Wait. this roll. You're not blessed for this roll. Not this one. That, that would not matter. For me, anyway. Oh, what are the, Oh, no, these are... No, there's no... I, I pulled this deck to pull a monster. Yeah. These are all My challenge ratings five or lower. The, the first one you showed me, I was Should like, I give you a I closet with seven HP? Yes. And so this thing absorbed fire? Yes. Cool. It, it absorbed like... fire into it? Nom, 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 nom. And <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 And it looked like it absorbed it with like the speed of a resistance or an immunity. <laughs> um. It looked like the fire went into it. The fire was not inside of it. Oh, I get And then the fire was inside of no. it after that. Got you. I have a question, actually. Because the level ups are oh, like so in sorry, the so kind sorry. of middle of things. <laughs> yeah. Well, he when I level up, I get to prep. Be... I, I technically have one more spell that I can prep. But I can't change to prep spells until like <laughs> sleeping. <clears throat> so I would you not. You can pick a spell, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, okay. Mm, That's, I don't... No, I'm going to say you don't get to this time because the fight has already started yeah. and you can like. Yeah. Meta game, which no, spell that's you want. No, that's 100% Then if fair. you had said that when you leveled up, I would have given it to you. Sure, I'm bad. Do you know what I mean? Yep, I, I hear you, I hear you. Are any of these a high enough level for you guys? I don't have any like high if level spell slots anyways, so. Yeah, I, I'm just saying like I, I, I would give it to you if you had said it then. No, I, I uh, yeah, I respect it. Where are all the higher levels? I wish I could earn like compare all the spells in um, Yeah, I've just uh, never had a class where you prepare spells every day. No, it's, like, it's a lot. It's, it's hard. hard. Especially in this setting, because like we jump right into things. Yeah. So, like, Even but talking about the level ups has really helped, like, give me a second to, like, orient myself. <laughs> that's yeah. why I've been yeah, trying to, that's why I yeah. changed things. It was like, all right, let's go through person by person. Yeah, it's yeah. working yeah, really no, well. Yeah, no, that works so much better. When oh, I, hell yes. Uh -oh. No. <clears throat> I printed a mini for this, and I'm going to use it. Do, yeah, well, cause, see, like, she, like, technically we have one more spell. You have 122 now. Yeah, when, last time I, when wait, I played okay. a druid. Wait, actually, before I do this, how much health do you guys have? Um, 60, 61. 58. How much you, how much is your total? 100. My total is 69. Okay, so you're only like, I'm, yeah, I'm less than, by now. less than half. 61, and yep. my total is 69. How do you have the same <laughs> max health as a wizard? <laughs> What world are we living in? I, it, oh, I have been hurt. rolling so low for all of oh, my yeah. HP. And dru druids are not that. I, okay, so my the, the standard HP for a druid, because like, I use the D&D Beyond on my phone for spell slots um, and stuff. My general HP, if I roll pure average, should be 75 minimum. I'm well no. under my average hit points. Yeah. 
do better. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw. I, we are gonna fight that thing eventually. I'm, I'm not gonna throw it in now, um, cause. Really, after all that we did to you yesterday? Mm-hmm. I, I I will wipe the floor with you, rather quickly if I bring out what I just pulled, and I don't really want to do that. Well, you seemed so excited about it, so maybe ask whoever super chatted if they want to have that creature. Nah, this, be, this, will, this pull, is better. Pull okay. the creature and then haste the party. Yeah. 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 See what the quick work will happen. <laughs> yeah, this is better. That other thing was a monster and uh, had resistance to every kind of damage you guys could do. Oh, my God. oh wow. <laughs> wow. That would have sucked. That's why it would have been fun. Even, um, if, even if I ignore resistances? Uh, no, uh... uh I ignore bludgeoning, fire. Yeah, but it, it has resistance to all magic attacks. So you oh, ignore it that magically, doesn't... so like if you're, it's resistance to your attacking it with magic. I kind of wish I'd just pulled up a holder, to be honest. <laughs> um, this is not what you're fighting. Uh, but it's, it's not there yet. Mm, great. Lovely. Um, yeah, it's not there yet. All right. Uh, it is the Afridi's turn. Wait. Uh, sorry. God, all that happened in the middle of an attack. Fireball happened. <laughs> yes, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Now, can I get Terran? No. Oh, wow. Actually, can I get Garrick and Grunge? I don't think I can. It's right? Wait, where are, you, where are you dropping so it? Oh. I think that you guys are... Oh, yeah, no, it's four squares, so you know. Yeah, no. So it's just going to hit Garrick. Uh, Wait, but Grunge saved. <laughs> yeah, it's going to hit. Well, yeah, but I, it makes sense for him to shoot it at the three that come out right there. Um, so you both failed? No, I got it. You, no, you, you I failed, failed. I failed. So you both take 24 points of damage, and you take 12. Resistance to fire. From what? <laughs> from my gauntlets. Oh, okay. I was like, no, you're not I'm, I'm literally anymore. fire yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so you take 12, 12 you yeah. take 12, and uh, uh, Lara takes 24. We're both resistance to fire, you demon. Oh, yeah. 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 I should have used more of my hit dice. I know. I'm I used I'm all of my hit dice. Oh my god. That's brutal. I mean, yeah. I think I'd rather heal myself at that point. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that is going to uh, actually doesn't want to do anything. No, probably not. He's tired. It yeah. was sleeping for 16 years. Yeah, exactly. it, that, that tuckered it out. He's such a crick in the neck. He just lays <laughs> back down. He's such a crick in the neck. No, you have death ward on you, right? I do have death yeah. ward on me, yes. Did y'all figure out the money? The, the party money? I asked party and they, did, they, did they had not. no clue. No, uh, they took Grunge that to a platinum and they left it there with a note being like, aw, thanks, but no. Like, Grunge, yeah, oh, Grunge, the Grunge, Grunge did that. Oh. I, I am You <laughs> dick. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know what? You it started It is going it. to fly this way. <laughs> room and board. Thank you. Uh, room and board. And it is going to um, <laughs> like flies. hover this over the lava you. here. Got you. Can fly too. Do I have a stat sheet for Aurelia? Or anything about a medium size? Do I, do I know uh, attack damage? Oh, things? I was not given anything. Oh I, not yet. Yeah. to run. Like, what the fuck? Run. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, she's a baby. If she dies, I will No, no, she's, she's not. I will drive back to Toronto and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. If anything happens, I can just shoot her with a polygon. Um, so she's at least protected enough. Oh, yeah, that's true. I could do that, too. Yeah. Oh, and, sh- and should I roll initiative public, like, we, I, for... I yeah, actually, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, so right. Keep in mind of what animals have the most HP though. Yes, yeah, but like regardless, if, if it gets hit from something big, it, it'll shift back anyways. But basically, but it does uh, the over them. goes the, the damage it takes over that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so like, yeah. if you okay. choose an ape, it has a hundred HP. If you guys are okay. walking around with a fucking silver back gorilla, I. Don't. Uh, I don't. Okay, but I've used polymorph so much that I'm eight, like, so I'm almost one dead. Eight. I need nah, to switch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She would have to have a plus seven initiative to not. She's yeah. where she yeah. is then. Ape is the biggest. Yeah. Well, thank you. No problem. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Um, maybe dragons actually have a plus ten to initiative. Um. It doesn't really matter because right now uh, it is all of you in a row. Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Because it, it rolled a natural twenty initiative. Jane. 
Um, all right, that is, uh, it's going to pull back a little bit. Uh, it's going to be like here so that you would have to step into the lava in it's, order it, to punch it. It's walking on lava? Uh, it is floating over the lava. Okay. Uh, and, and you can see the, like, the, the heat from the lava is absorbed up into it, and he looks very happy. I'm upset. Yeah, he's He came out of a forge. Practice yes. Ball. Yeah. Um, all right, this is now going to be Chantel, your turn. Don't even know where I can go <laughs> without hitting lava. Um, I don't even know what I can do. I am. Oh, um. Nah, fuck it. What? No, I just I wasted my reaction. Oh. Your book reaction. Um. It moved out of. No, it was in Amelia with you. It was like it like was like then I'm good in the middle hovering yeah. above you. All good. Yeah, I would have let you know if it was like close enough for you to punch at it. You were so kind. Well, until uh, you go uh, Is he uh, stepping or hovering? He's hovering. Uh, he's currently hovering, hovering over, uh, but like not like flying, but he just he just kind of like hovers a little bit off the ground. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what to do right now. Huh. Oh, the um, same. Yeah. Every time. I, I, I am going to. I, 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 I am going to, of course, instruct my zombies to get ready for battle. And skeletons. Boner Brigade, let's go! What do you tell your skeletons to do? Uh, I want them to. Would it be, they can't move very far, they can only move 30, right? Yes. Uh, 20 for the zombie and 30 for the skeletons. So I guess I would like them to start flanking behind, maybe? Or should um, I put them in front? I don't know. Uh, they can go... They, I, I mean, yeah, they can start moving around. There is a pillar here, so like they okay. would have to cross through lava here, which would kill them, or oh, yeah. they would have them, to come all the way around this way. I want them to be my meat shield, essentially, actually, so. So they want, you want them up here with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, so how much movement do they have? 20. Uh, tw uh, 20 for the zombie, 30 for the skeletons. Um, there's two zombies and four skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, so this is uh, this is uh, the skeleton, or no, sorry, this is the skeleton. So this guy can get to like here. They can kind of get like this. Yeah. Okay. And like that, if you want. Sure, mm -hmm. that works. And you put them on actual squares. They're on actual squares. No, no, this is like in the middle of a square. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's the cake. It's for this cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. I just and this like, like for yeah. clarity, it will make things. I can't stand on that thing, yeah. can I? Uh, you can. It's not hot anymore, and it's closed. Okay, cool. Okay, interesting. interesting. Would that just take a regular five feet of movement? Yep, five feet of movement. You can climb up on it if you want. I um, would like to climb up on it, but just on the corner side edge. Still very close to my zombies. Okay, you climb up to here. Yeah. And I'm going to attempt to bane the creature. Right. Uh, charisma oh, saving throw. Right. For you. Oh, we forgot about Asexy. Oh, yes, right. Asexy's following. Uh, all right, uh, so that bane, oh, it, it failed. <laughs> so then you are going to take a, um, make an attack roll or a saving throw. So the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. There's a bracelet. Cool. It is bane. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Is it almost like a purse or a clutch? Uh, yeah. Like <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. My, right. my zombies are long range, though. They're the only ones that can hit currently. Mm. Or my skeletons, sorry. Cool. Uh, is that, that's your turn? That's uh, we're going to go to um, Klaus. It is Feynora's turn. Oh shit, I'm gonna cast Banishment. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. So, uh, make a Charisma saving throw. He seems like an asshole, so I'm gonna just. I mean, he is a girl. Uh, that's good. a 19 plus 3, it's a 22. Well, 
Um, <laughs> cool, yeah. Um, then I'm uh, just uh, gonna move <laughs> out the cave. <laughs> just like leaves. Can I move here? Yeah. You can move through people. Well, you can move through allies. Mm -hmm. You just can't end in a space that they're occupying. Okay. Right. Uh, then uh, that is going to be uh, Garrett's turn. I'm good. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, that that is going to be Aurelius. Really <laughs> um, those is the map full accurate where those stones floating in the lava are movable. You can like, jump on them. I uh, I'm gonna say yeah, yeah. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Um, I would love to go five, ten, fifteen on the stone, twenty, twenty-five, thirty behind him. To here. Yeah. Okay. With it looks like it's a shared square space for melee range. Uh, yeah, yeah. Great, but instead of meleeing, I'm actually just going to, um, <laughs> Garrick, um, just kind of like widens his step by like stomp, stomp, and like the stones underneath him kind of crack. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cast enlarge, and grow to this right. maybe the same size as him. I don't know You're how. You're gonna be a little bit smaller. A little but bit smaller. Yeah, you get pretty big. Great. <laughs> um, you have enlarge. Yeah. I do enlarge. <laughs> We use it. Oh no! Uh, at the Twerk used it. Twerk, Twerk used it. Yeah, yeah. I thought someone cast and large on you. I didn't realize he, he, he could no, do that. No, he he got it. Yeah. How many second level spell slots do you have? Me? I have three or four. Oh, damn it. Uh, and um, how long does it last? It lasts up to one minute's concentration. Right. Um, I have one spell slot left, but I have three total. Yes. So, oh. It is second level. So. Um, obviously, if it's unwilling, con save, I don't have to do that. Great. So, Garrick's all tall and shit, and he's like, hello. Um, and then just as my bonus action, I think I'll do it now, because who knows. He just sort of, uh, <laughs> he just reloads his arms and second wins. As a bonus action. Oh, it gets some health back? Once per Absolutely. short rest. Bonus action, 1d10 plus 12 HP. Right. So I would love to do that for myself. Yeah, just, absolutely. Just in, just in cases yeah. you want to turn around and punch me in the face. Um, it's a 4, so 16 health. Uh, great. And that, that is all for today. Thank you. Cool. Uh, that is going <laughs> to be time. Aurelia's See turn. See you what later. do you want your fire dragon to do? Um, what can it do? Uh, you can breathe fire. Mm -hmm. uh, it can attack. It is not, it is two days old. It is not the strongest creature yeah. and to exist. And it can Move. fly up to? 40 feet. 40 feet. It has HP of? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and potential resistances? I would assume fire. Yeah, it's, it's a, it would be resistant to fire for yeah. sure. And, uh... Resistance to Dave's roll. In fact, all demonic creatures. In fact, lava, caves, uh, dwarves. Yeah, it, it's very comfortable in here. Resistance to death. Cool. Um, can for for the sake of right now, it it's, has. Um, wow. What? Uh, it has seventy-five HP. All right. And it's a fly speed of sixty feet. I'm going off this red dragon wormling stack block, and I, that's what we're going to use. I'll today. take that. Yeah, so it does have 75 HP. Um, is there a spot? It's a magic creature, like it. You know, totally stuff. fine. If it sees it or not, or reaches it within this turn, he just calls to her and goes, um, like Aurelia, perch, and just tells her to go up somewhere safer. Yeah. 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 So for, for I'm not going to build a platform. We're going to say uh, <laughs> it is on this. There's like a pillar up here. Sweet. Um, and it flies 60 feet up and leaves the battlefield. Amazing. Oh, thank God. <laughs> For now. Yeah. And, like, maybe desperately if I say, like, bring back into initiative. Yeah, yeah. Because right now I, I, I think she'll die. Its turn will always be immediately after you, based on how you rolled. And then I'll be like, like I'm So good. if you want to do something with it after your turn. Okay. Um, it does have a bite attack that's plus 6 to hit, uh, 1d10 for 4 piercing damage, one plus 1d6 fire damage. Oh, okay. Not a girl. Um, cool. No, I, I'm that, and that's what I'm fire you, dragging. Yeah. I mean, you don't know what happens when it absorbs fire and smiles, but you see it absorbs <laughs> fire and smile. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a balloon, make it pop. 
Um, all right, uh, that is going to be complete. Oh, what does Alara do? Awesome. Fills it until it. Um, well, first off, I'm going to five foot close to um, Grind real quick, and I'm going sure. to I'm going to grasp at him like if he's a little bit above me, which is like whatever. Just put a hand on him, um, be like, all right, stay alive. And I'm going to cast Enhance Ability Bear's Endurance on him. Can I cast Bear Endurance on myself? Yes. Um, okay, so I'm going to do it on both of us since I'm casting at third level. Right. Um, which means, does that go up? Does that mean the hit points? No, it's 2d6 temp hit points. So I'm going to give us both. Um, Four temporary hit points, or no? <laughs> yeah, four temporary hit points. Right. Um, and then I'm going to use my boots of springing and striding to uh, jump 25 feet. Five, ten. Oh, hold on. Yeah, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Does this give me cover? Uh, no, no, no. The, those those smoke things are not there. Just so you know. Okay. Cool. That's just part of the map that, as we have it. Um, and uh, do you have to make any sort of save or anything when you're jumping with that? No. Okay. Um, it just happens. What are those called? The boots of springing and striding. Right. Um, right. I just sorry. Want to sorry, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone in the headphones is like, ah. I remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't. You didn't enhance two people, did you? Yeah, I enhanced myself and Grunge. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, think it's yeah, one, so I, think, I think it's one creature. No, and she got one creature for every spell slot above. Hell yeah! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't I was going to hit all three. I didn't know you. Up, I didn't know you. Up, sorry. Um, my strength modifier is uh, minus one. So <laughs> you can only jump. You can't jump twenty-five feet. Uh, you can only jump um, three times your normal distance. Uh, your strength modifier is minus one, so you actually can only jump. Wait, three times the normal distance would be ninety feet. No, based on strength modifier, not movement. No, no. no. Oh, so you so can jump. Insane. You can jump a number of feet equal to three plus your strength modifier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can jump two feet times three. So you can jump six feet based on the based on the way jump movement works in D and D. Jumping in D and D uh, sucks. I had yeah. I had a fighter with your, your jump, jump suck. Yeah, your jump is six with yeah. boots of striding. Your jump is two without because your strength is so. Low. I genuinely hate jumping in D and D. Yeah, it's I terrible. Ha- I'm sorry. I just I was looking at that and I was like, uh, there's no way your yes. your normal jump is ten feet. Yeah, I. You're like that's that's the that would be the most Olympic yeah. hot, like long well, jump. Well, the Spartans. Yeah. I, that's my bad. I think I was thinking of Pathfinder yeah. rules because so you're like here. your standard yeah. jump is like th- like thirty feet because you're all heroes. Um, that's okay. So that's different. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, superhero I was like, landing. I, I, I was I, I didn't understand where your twenty five feet was coming yeah. from. No, five e jumping is garbage. It's really yeah, bad. Yeah, it's thought, really bad. That, that's my bad. You I, should have a minimum of four feet. Isn't there a yes. different kind of boots that make you jump four feet? But like to jump Power. further than that in armor, like you should not be able to jump at all. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Plate no. armor is next to impossible. Yes, although yeah. I'm not wearing plate just yet, but chainmail's heavy. Yeah. Right, right. But yeah. even chainmail. Yeah. Like, no, it's fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. It's just, I just, it sucks. But I was like, boots of, <laughs> yeah. boots of leaping. Yeah, I was gonna say. Which are jumping boots. boots? Don't even give you 25 feet of jumping. Oh. So the fact that there's like 30 additional feet of movement and allow like you to like jump. 50. No, it doesn't Something give me 30 ten, additional feet. I was a 10 vertical, 15 across. These boots basically do not. It brings, brings my walking start, speed to 30 like. if I was 20. So. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I misread the card. These boots do nothing yeah. for me. Ah, no. <laughs> sure. I just. Um, <laughs> no, it's yeah, okay. But, I. That's fine. I'm going to instead. Um, give a gift. I'm going to. You said that yesterday, and I was like, I have that. I, I was thinking about it after him. I was like, that, that just doesn't make it does, No, yeah, I yeah, misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. I fine. thought the standard jump was like at least 10 feet because we're heroes. If, if but you have a gift receipt, you can ex- exchange it. I am the fire <laughs> from. The fire <laughs> from <laughs> the um, ground just like shoots up through me as I po- uh, go into my health spark form. I'm still going here. I'm hovering. Nice. Oh, nice. There you go. <laughs> uh, your health spark form uh, go. has a fly speed of 20, right? And I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you're flying. <laughs> yeah, I'm hovering. So I'm hovering, not flying, but I still think that uses fly speed, so. Uh, yeah, 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 because yeah. you've seen her in a health spark form, you know the Afrit um, is uh, uh, hovering, not flying. Sweet. Like, it looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. not far enough off the ground to seem like he can do a go wherever he wants. Yeah. Um, for uh, just because you're familiar with her abilities. Yeah, for future, um, 
I know it's really hot in here, but like if say a different element was magical, would it still have an effect like ice? I don't know what you mean. So like if I were to cast an ice spell, yeah. um, would it, would it be able to happen because it's magical ice? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It if just probably like, couldn't permanently affect an area. If you were to hold area. a drink, the ice in there would still melt. But your spell, yeah, your spell would still hit. Like an, okay. ice, an ice knife would still hit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, well, I've, I've used my... It melts before it reaches him. Action, <gasps> bonus action. Yeah, no, it's movement. magical. It's magic. It doesn't so care. I'm, I'm all set. That's me. I just wanted to... But if your spell time. were to, like... If your spell were to be, like, you make... You put ice on a weapon, I would say you probably have to roll to see if it lasts. Or, like, or how long it lasts. Area of effect make difficult terrain as ice. That would That would melt. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm In a volcano, in. that would melt. Yeah. Um, unless it was, like, a pretty significant spell. Yeah, okay, cool. So many cool. things to consider. Uh, so like that is about. going, uh, this, at this point, you are going yes. to see um, the magical creature that was summoned by our chat. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Uh, who Thanks. was that again? Sorry. Donovan. Uh, Donovan, thank you. Uh, you see a fiery, uh, uh, not fiery, because she's not a fire, but you see a woman in full plate armor with uh, large red wings uh, swoop down. I hate what? this. Okay. Um, what is her fly speed? Six feet, yeah. You see her swoop down from over here, uh, and she's going to land next to Feynora. Okay. Uh, and uh, she is going to... Fuck off. Yes, she actually is. She, <laughs> she takes off. 60 more feet as a dash. Love and that. Thank she you. leaves. I'm like, boo. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> She actually goes directly into the lava and, says, oh, no. and then gives you a thumbs up. She as she <laughs> she's going to take two swings at you. Fuck. With its long sword. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a twenty-one to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is going to be a ten to hit. No. All right. So its first swing with its long sword hits. Uh, all right. That's going to be uh, eight points of damage. Uh, and you take three points of poison damage. Okay, thank you. Wait, do I have something that gives me... Hang on. Hope yes. of our <laughs> arachnida has resistance to poison damage. So I give myself one HP yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you take, no, you take one point poison damage. Beautiful. Oh, because <laughs> I thought yeah, it was nice, round. Nice. We always round down. If I'm going to round down for you guys, I'm going to round down for them as well. I'm not going to make a different roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Thank you. Sick. Maybe you're losing your shoulder then. I know. Right. It's not going anywhere, it's just annoying. This is now going to be uh, the Afriti's turn. Uh, and it is going to... Um, oh my god, where did I put that setback? There it is. Uh, it is going to cast Wall of Fire. There's a theme here, I think. Uh, it might the, be the fire monster that was in the Yeah, yeah, it might be fire, yeah. Uh, it is going to create a Wall of Fire. Uh, uh, and it is going to be... Right through your face. Here. Oh my god. Uh, so it's going to hit grunge uh, these four uh, and these four. It hits me? Uh, I'm up top. Yeah. Uh, when <laughs> it's like 30 feet high. It is 20 feet high and it is one foot thick. Uh, it is opaque uh, and. Uh, when the wall appears, each creature in its area must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed saving throw, uh, creature takes 5d8 fire damage. I'm inspired and blessed. What does that mean? Uh, you can add a d4 to this. Oh, okay. And you can uh, add a bark inspiration, which is a d8 if you need to. But you can choose that after you roll. Okay. So, uh, yeah, six. And then your dex is plus one. Plus one. You might have to add both if you want to make this seven. save. Yeah. Uh, so d4 and, d4 and a, a d8. d8. Yeah. Baby. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Adding 10 to that. Yeah. So 17. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 17 saves. Nice. <laughs> uh, now roll for uh, your, uh, My zombies. a zombie, a skeleton, a zombie, and a an asshole vexy. So oh. roll me four more dexterity saves. Yeah, all the d20s there. All the d20s. Oh, okay, wow. wow. One natural 20. Yeah. A 19 plus whatever their save is. We're going to go in order this way. So okay. that one saved, that one saved. Uh, well, eight, they, they have the different five. stats. <laughs> okay, so Axeldexy and they both fail. Axeldexy is a plus. plus. 
Minus hey. two. Oh no. Yeah, no. zombies be oh, slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. they're, they're zombies. Yeah, a, 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 a area of effect attacks kill them. Uh, so, yeah, the second one before Asshole Dexy and Asshole fail. Right. Mm -hmm. Nat 20 on the first one, 19 on the second one. I'm going to say actually this continues here a little bit. Uh, oh, still assault. Because it can be 60 feet long. He I wants to keep the there. Aaron Yes in uh, his vision, so he's just going to do it right Bye. there along the bridge. <laughs> the Aaron Yes? That is what it is called. It looks like uh, it looks like this. Oh my! Nice. <laughs> I know it's a really cool creature, right? How you doing? Yeah, they're yeah. not very cool. Creature. I think she's got the rope that one of us has. Oh. I love her helmet so much. It's pretty sick. Right. It only has twenty hit points. Oh Here's wait, let's see. Yeah. Can I see that? Uh, that is just the image. You don't see that in the world. Oh man, she's hot. It gives me samurai vibes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh man, she's hot. In the world, like, oh dear. Have that rope. I'm saying like that is this image has the blue rope that looks like the rope of entangling. Yeah. That one in the room does not look like it has that. I just don't want you to take this and think that there's something yeah. going on in the yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, I hear you. Runs Super. thinks it's she just a really looks cool really piece of art. Does this say though. movie art is moving? Uh, this was Franz Vollwinkel. Franz, well done. Love yeah, it. beautiful. Very, very, well very beautiful. All right, so that is going to be, uh, oh, God, what a terrible roll. Good. Aww. 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, that's going to be 17 on uh, fail and uh, uh, 8 on eight, a save. Yeah. So uh, your so asshole you takes 17. Okay. Asshole takes 17. And the and zombie in front of her takes 17. Yeah. No. The, the skeleton. Yeah, the zombie in front of her it takes 17. It is a zombie, yeah? Okay, okay. So asshole and zombie so, take okay. 17. So, both the zombies then. Yeah. And then, and then the other two, two take eight. Yeah. Eight, okay. And right. you take eight. Uh, and you take eight. Yeah. Um, and, um... He is going to turn after doing that, um, and it is going to swing its scimitar once at you. Did it expect to meet me at eye level? <laughs> uh, no, no, it didn't. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Not actually. Garrick's scared. <laughs> you know he's like, what? 